morning show. But, and I know a lot of you know this, that's why you all multi-buy, that's why we always stock up um, on our sterling silver chains. How much would something like this be elsewhere? Even when we're not talking about the big designer brands, if you were to go to your Samuels, your Heinz, um, what's the other one, Christ your Beaver Brooks, all of those design, uh, all of those jewellery houses, you, would you pay £5.29? No, you pay not considerably likely. more than that. <laughs> Not likely. No. Not likely, yeah, exactly. Um, you've got to check them out. Again, if you wanted to create the necklace that I'm actually wearing, um, get hold of get hold of the chain. Get hold of the 925 chain. It's different to this one slightly. Get hold of the, your, uh, your Murano glass and pop it together. In fact, shall I hold one there so you can see? Try and bunch that up so it doesn't detract. But imagine... That is a pendant. I know I'm holding it the wrong way around because you can see the 925 hole mark. But look how beautiful that is a combination. And that's, what, less than £25 mm. as a piece of jewellery. Murano glass and 925 sterling silver. Um, there are a quantity of your chains, jewellery makers. They are a reorder because they're essential stock to us. Um, OK, let's do... Let's bring you the gold-plated 925 sterling silver. Lovely. I always run out of the gold-plated sterling silver, so I'm going to remember that we brought this, brought this to air. One of your citrines. Look at, oh, Liam. I'm looking at this chain. I'm looking, thinking of the citrines. Oh, there's my tweezers gone. Think of this. Uh, I'm thinking of the citrine that we had, and I'm also looking at this. Oh yes. But no, we haven't brought that to air. We'll do it in a second if you want to pop those citrines. Goodness me. Gold-plated uh, gold 925 sterling silver. Again, a 20-inch for 579. Mm. I, I genuinely... Obviously, we buy big quantities, and it's, a, it's, it's, it's an item, chains in particular, an item that we bring regularly for our jewelry maker viewers because you said earlier on about that pendant... The pendant that you did in the masterclass, Monica. Yeah. You know, just one of those suspended from the 925 sterling silver yeah. chain would look so beautiful. Oh, it would, wouldn't it? Yeah. So we tend to run out of precious metal chains quite yeah. frequently. Um, I don't know about you, but I also get lots of requests from my friends and family for yeah. sterling silver chains. I mean, especially if you're selling your jewellery, you know, if you, if you make pendants, um, you can't really sell a pendant without a chain, can you? Not really. No. Because... I mean, I've bought pendants else. I've bought pendants off our sister channel. Yeah. That I had every intention of buying the chain to yeah. go with it, and I've just never got round yeah. to it. Um, so yeah, it's worthwhile doing the, the two together. Stock up on them, especially at five seventy nine. Let's do. Should we? Do, should we? Do, should we actually do that? That mount. So if you wanted to, it would go beautifully. And I'm actually going to put it on the gold plated nine two five sterling silver just to show you. You know this amazing piece of jewellery that you can make obviously I can't set the stone in that time but imagine this with one of your cut stones it doesn't have to be the citrine maybe you have some within your stash already but I love the liquid that you know the golden colours the buttery gold that you're having here there's your there we go look at that and then teaming that with the golden colours of your citrine. That is beautiful. And oh. would everybody agree? Imagining a stone actually in there as well. That looks like a three-figure piece of jewellery. And it absolutely should be a three-figure piece of yeah. jewellery. You, again, you have Cambodian uh, genuine zircon. Zircon. Zircon is the... Uh, sorry, Cambodia is the premium source of location for, uh, for that gemstone. So you've got a little pico on top um, of your sort of Tiffany set mount. You can use those either for your citrine that we've just brought you, um, or you can use it for some of the loose stones that you might have acquired um, throughout the course uh, of shopping with us here at Jewelry Maker. $9.99 only. Make sure you check out those baskets. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that beautiful? Literally sunshine in a piece of jewelry. <laughs> Gorgeous. Single figure price tag. Now, Monica, can I just, uh, um, I'll quickly recap okay. your kits. Okay. Um, quickly recap your kits here. I don't actually have them all here. So we're going to show you the piece of jewellery that Monica has actually created. Now, within the kits, you get all of the gemstones um, and you also get Monica's uh, incredible booklet. So this included, the, the gems that are actually suspending just here are natural opal. Um, you have your 11 Mayukis. 
you have your Ato shell pearls, you've got black spinel just there, and also some little hematite rondelles. So four strands of genuine gemstones, plus your Mayuki, plus Monica's book, um, we have five of this kit left. Five mm. of the kit left, all for $24.99. The only way you can get hold of uh, Monica's book is actually through these kits. Um, the, the other kit, the only other kit that we actually have available is called Beachy Bliss, and it's got a really wonderful colour combination of turquoise blues and soft, delicate pinks. So you've got Opalina in there, Magnesite in there, in the two blues, in that turquoise like shades, and also the 8 mil. You've got, uh, was that Rose Quartz? Four millimetre rounds? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Rose quartz in your four mil round, and you have the sea foam colour of your Mayuki too. Twenty four ninety nine with Monica's amazing booklet, which by the way they're going to be a sellout come the because there's still loads of you would actually have it in your basket. Um, we're running out of time. Congratulations, Monica, you are awesome. Oh, thank, you. thank you so much for joining me. Um, when are you back next Sunday on the morning show? On the morning show. Yeah. Anything exciting? Uh, I don't know yet. <laughs> ah, okay. I'm back with you now on Wednesday morning, jewelry makers. But don't go anywhere because Poppy's up with the bedding after this. Birthday girl in a birthday girl in a birthday suit. Oh no! No. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yay. Oh yeah! Happy birthday! Thank you. Thank you. Twenty one today. Yeah. Twenty one today. Oh. Fifty percent more. <laughs> no, double that. Exactly. Oh, double yeah. How are you, birthday girl? Yeah, I'm really good. I've still got my bit. I'm still a bit snuffly, so you might oh. have to dip my mic a few times today. But other than that, I'm no. feeling all right. Well, you've had quite a few days, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> oh my word! If you're yeah. a fan of uh, Crow's Mojo uh, on Facebook, you have been busy. Yeah, we had a great time this weekend. A whole day, so ten till four thirty, full of demonstrations. Tutorials, um, lovely, lovely, uh, lovely tutors teaching all day. It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Loads of cake. Yes. And cocktails at lunchtime. You can't really go you wrong. Can't, you can't go wrong no. with that, can you? And it's your actual birthday today. Yes. Well, this is exciting. This is an <laughs> exciting day. Exciting because, of course, it's Gemma's birthday. Exciting because we've got the lovely Adam Tice. He's there. He is. He's on cameras, everyone. No, Adam, it's the other way. It's this way. There you go. There you go. Uh, we've got <laughs> producer no, 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 no. He's producing the show today. There he is. Oh, he's lovely. We've got production manager Ali. He's directing the show. Look at his arms. Look at those arms. They've got lovely long arms. Mr. So Tickle. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we've also got Hero Hannah, the hero of the morning show. She's on floor. Oh, 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 oh. There she is. Oh, she's got a new tattoo. Did you add to the collection, Hannah? Yeah. I haven't seen it yet. Is it a good one? Is it the raspberry you said you were going to get done? <laughs> ah, she get the raspberry. Never mind. How are you today? Welcome to Jewelry Maker. Oh, my word. We've got an amazing show for you today. Um, uh, we've got loads, loads and loads and loads. Um, in the 8 o'clock hour, it's all about viewer's choice. Uh, 9 o'clock hour, we've got these kits here, which are all about wraparound bracelets. These kind of bracelets are so big right now. They're mm -hmm. absolutely everywhere. Um, and um, we've got some gorgeous kits with which you can make them uh, coming up in the night. These are gorgeous, Gemma. Yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? Really popular. Yeah. They're really popular. Everybody wants um, one of these. They, anybody that's seen them wants one. So, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. So we've got three different kits coming up in the nine o'clock hour, uh, which which uh, which are gonna um, which yeah, which is great. Uh, <laughs> it's going so well, isn't it? <laughs> um, we've also got, hang on, what the hang on, Neri? Wow. God, look at look at wow. I love those. This now. 
This is your deal of the day today. We've got a brand new strand of multicolour amber. These are so good. And also this incredible strand. Uh, we finally managed to get a reorder of this strand. And I mean a decent quantity as well um, of these coming up at, uh, um, at 10 a.m. this morning. We've got an amber showcase coming up after that as well. These are so gorgeous, aren't oh, they? they? delicious. Yeah, yeah, absolutely love those. They're really, really big, big amber pieces. It's taken a long time to get these back in stock. They sold so well the very first time they were in stock. And then ever since then, we've had twos and threes available. We've got a decent quantity. It's your deal of the day coming up at 10 with a load more amber. Your mega deals coming up in the 12 today. We've got loads, basically. Uh, we've got... Uh, these, are, these are just... Um, Four examples of what we've got coming up. So we've got a mega deal for a strand uh, for this strand of uh, uh, fluorite, a mega deal for this strand of howlite, a mega deal for this strand of uh, rhodochrosite, and a mega deal for this incredible strand of frosted quartzite as well. So all those coming up in the uh, twelve o'clock hour, and then in the eleven for the masterclass, we've got this. We've got resin. We've got resin kits. And they're kind of beautiful, kind of enamel y uh, finishes that you get yeah. with these, aren't they? They're gorgeous. Yeah. So it's a doming resin we've got, and we've got the resin <gasps> pigment colours at long last as well. So we can start doing some, you know, more unique pieces and yes. more sort of um, design pieces. So I've used the cloisonne effect. Um, oh. So I'm going to show you how to do that, yeah, in the 11. Gorgeous. That's going to be such a brilliant medium to see. It's not something that we see often enough at all, you know, these kind of the, these mm. truly creative mediums. It's great. Shall we get going? Yes. Shall we get going? We've got loads coming up. Uh, so basically, the 8 o'clock hour is all about a viewer's choice hour, which means go to our website, jewellerymaker.com, click on Watch Live, scroll down, you'll see all of the items we've got scheduled for this hour. If there's anything you like the look of in particular, um, number 25, number 37, look at that scrolling technique that Neary's showing you there. He's done that before, hasn't he? Hands-free. Hands-free scroll. What's he scrolling it with? I'd rather not know. Uh, we've got loads of items coming up. So if, the, if you like the look of anything in particular, number 10, number 11, number 34, whatever it might be, so to, to 780, I'm just, I'm just asking the question. 78070. <laughs> um, and uh, we would love to hear you, um, uh, hear from you. Um, start your text with the word JM Studio and we'll show whatever you like. Perfect. Okay, should we get going? Let's do the early bird special coming up right now. Puffy Diamonds, a gorgeous amethyst. <laughs> Starting off today, kicking off today's show uh, with these puffy diamonds of the most gorgeous, gorgeous amethyst. I have to say, um, you've got this beautiful uh, these beautiful kind of chevron amethyst diamonds that you're going to be getting here. Gorgeous, gorgeous gems. Um, we've got loads of incredible gemstones coming up today, but there are gemstones, you know, gemstones that you might not have heard of before, but I think everybody's heard of amethyst. Everybody knows what to expect with amethyst. This, however, is where you start to get what I think is, is, is the truly, truly awesome varieties of this gemstone. When you start to get the chevrons and you start to get the striations and the lines and the characteristics going through these and um, we're going to be bringing you some amazing deals all of these deals by the way in the eight o'clock hour are only available till 9 a.m so all of the items we've got scheduled in this hour and that we play are only available till 9 a.m or until they sell out 14.99 uh, for 165 carats of your amethyst puffy diamonds not your price point today let's get that price point down even lower we are the uk's only dedicated jewelry making channel Woo! We've got a 30-day money-back guarantee, and you're going to be able to get these today for as little as, enjoy everyone, $9.99. Get involved when you can. You can get involved in three different ways, either by calling us on our free phone number, which is 0800 644 655, or you can get involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com, or you can download our app and watch us on the go. Send in your birthday messages for Gemma as well. It's her birthday today. Mm. Oh, Leah and Bucks is already message through that's ah. great to say good morning big happy birthday to you Gemma thank you oh this is lovely thank you um another message here from uh Mandy good morning gorgeous ladies and what does that say thank you fabulous crew happy birthday Gemma have thank a you. wonderful day thank you very much oh I will. we've got loads 
Um, yeah, so we've got lots and lots and lots of requests coming through. Well done. We've got lots of makers coming through. Makers in Cornwall, Sadari, Alan, met another maker in Cornwall coming through now. That's great to see. Well done. Uh, bidders from all over the country getting involved. Uh, well done, everybody. You can multi-buy. You can get as many of these as you want. There's no limit. Um, if the quantity is available, you can absolutely get these pieces, many of them as you like. Just speak to our call centre team um, and, ask, and ask them to add three or four onto your order, however many you'd like. Um, or just alter the quantity you check out in your baskets. There you go. Fantastic. We've got loads to get through. We've got loads of requests coming through. What? Yes, let's do the triangles. Back to back, early birds. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, now these are gorgeous. Oh, they're nice. Oh, aren't they lovely? I haven't seen... I don't think I've seen that shape before. No, I haven't. I love shapes like this because mm. they really can help, like sort of give you direction in your work absolutely they? or just add a little bit of an unusual twist you know they've, got, pieces. they've got quite blunt sides as well yeah. which i think makes them really really usable if you wanted to use one maybe in the middle of a ring or you wanted to kind of give give one of them maybe a flow uh, a faux claw setting yeah you've got the opportunity to do that they have gorgeous blunt sides on them really really pretty yeah lovely come on let's get that price point down neary no 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 hanging around this morning. He is on one this morning. Well done. I've got lots of people coming through. Lots in baskets. What do you reckon, everyone? Yeah, $9.99. Same price. Let's match the price. There you go, everyone. Nice to be able to mix up your shapes, isn't it? We've got mm. a we've got a Labradorite. Um, we've got a Labradorite um, uh, showcase coming up later on in today's show. Which is great because, of course, if you want to use the same gemstone but different shapes and sizes, um, uh, then, then, you know, absolutely wonderful. We've got that opportunity for you coming up throughout today's show. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. Well done. Hope you've all enjoyed the lovely weekend that we've had, the gorgeous mm. sunshine. Really maybe beautiful. a few of you have been taking advantage of maybe of a beer garden or two, or maybe you've been out for dinner or lunch, or maybe you've seen people in their gardens, maybe for mm. a barbecue. Mm, Just I had a fire on Saturday night and had oh. um, my nephews round, which was nice. Oh, how gorgeous. Yeah, it was lovely. It really does feel like the world is starting to open back up, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's so nice. I've, I've, been, um, I've been shopping. I went clothes shopping. Was, Did you? Yeah, in, in an actual shop? In an actual shop. It was it was accident. I didn't mean to. <gasps> but it's just, you know, the shops happened to be open as One I was walking home. One thing led to another. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Yeah. One thing led to another and TK Maxx. Oh, and how actually, amazing. my my um, my bank rang me and, and thought it was a, a fraud because I haven't spent money in the shop for <laughs> you so long. Haven't used your card at all. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, how glorious. Oh, let us know what you've been up to. Good morning, all. Please, can we see number fifteen? Says collector in West Yorkshire. I should think so. I should think so, my lovelies. Oh, oh, it's a colour change floor, right? Yes, please. Oh, gee, where's Adam? Well, look at look at this bad boy. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my word. When you've got a gem of this kind of size and calibre. Wow. Oh, Adam literally shielding his eyes there. <laughs> Incredible. Look at this. That's gorgeous. $99.99 uh, or three interest-free split payments of $33.33. That is unbelievable. And in Somerset, you're interested. That's fantastic. What an incredible color for a gem here beautiful and you might find that when you get this near incandescent light uh, you'll get beautiful color. ah there you go perfect that looks like an adam ties recording to me uh with beautiful kind of rosy colors coming out of it well done with the incandescent light is kind of introduced it's beautiful isn't it what an incredible stone that blue is just so oh it, it's so unusual it's gorgeous yeah. isn't it that's absolutely stunning yeah yeah, Reminds really me a little gorgeous. bit of uh, Bristol glass, actually. It's got that kind of depth of colour to it, hasn't it? Yeah. <gasps> wow. Cool. Gorgeous. Well done. 0800 644 Well done, everyone getting involved this morning. This is great. Yeah, Kirsty in Hertfordshire. Morning, Carol. Happy birthday, Gemma. Can I see number 14, please? Yay. Yes, of course you can. Oh, oh, yes. This is lovely, isn't it, Gemma's birthday? Oh, gorgeous. Do Have you got some people I've seen today? Hmm? So you're the first people I've seen today because I was up before anybody else in the house. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> have, you, uh, have you got any special plans for later? Have you got a special meal or anything planned for later or anything um, like that? Well, I do a live on a Monday night, a teaching live on Babble Dabble on Mondays. Fantastic. And so we're doing a birthday special. Oh. So we're cooking pizza. So I'm going to... 
I can imagine that's probably going to, to involve a couple of drinkies attempt, there. Yeah, I'll attempt to demonstrate how to make <laughs> how to make pizza bases. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that sounds like awesome fun. <laughs> That's worth tuning in for. <laughs> oh, my word. They're talking about food already. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got here beautiful earring finies. I tell you something. These Lovely. are so popular. Don't you love these, Gemma? Yeah, I do. Actually. I think they're just so classy, aren't they? Yeah. Just very simple gemstones dropped off of those. Perfect. They're beautiful, aren't they? You've got this little loop here on which you can you can dangle your gemstones from there. Um, you've got your chain here, which can either go at the front or the back of the um, of, of, of the ear. And then you've got these beautiful little strips here, which add a little bit of weight. And they and they what they do is they um, uh, create that beautiful uh, drop, that gorgeous, gorgeous kind of. Uh, designer quality here. They're beautiful, aren't they? I suppose you could use them as a peg if you wanted to. You could pop something on the back, that, uh, on the bottom of them if you wanted to. You could, I'm sure, fashion away. Uh, Kirsty, yes, they'd never leave your ear though. Just uh, do bear that in mind. Uh, Kirsty in Hertfordshire, you've got five loads of these. Sarah, well done to you. Jennifer in Tyne and Weir. Jennifer in County Tyrone, well done to Maker in Kent. Well done to Charmaine as well. Loads of people coming through. Six ninety nine. And they're precious metal as well. They're rose gold plated sterling silver. So they're so they're absolute precious metal. And these are the kind of findings um, that are being used up and down the high street right now. It's so great to have something which is not just really beautiful and useful, but something which is really current fashion wise as well. Yeah. Um, Marley in Arizona, well done to you as well. Loads of people coming through. Do come through for those. They're about to sell out. Number 17, we've got a request for. But yes, of course. Um, here we go. Oh, oh, it's the shunga. Oh, I love this gem. This is so cool. We've got some strands as well of this gemstone coming up. Oh, is that to stick on your phone? It is. Right, yeah, these are great, aren't they? So this is shungite. Um, shungite is an amazing gemstone. It's one of the only. It's one of the only gems um, on planet Earth that actually factually has proven benefits associated with this gemstone first one being this gemstone is full of antioxidants so it actually uh, is a, a, a medical grade shungite can um, um, uh, purify water thank you ollie can purify water it was actually responsible for uh, russia's very first thermospar um, uh, because it purified the water of the local lake that is a fact and when you consider that we're made up of goodness knows mm. what percentage of of water it, it, it Arguably, it could be hugely beneficial for you to wear it as well. But another thing that it's um, that it's that it's that it's been uh, proven to do is to help. I'm not saying it completely does it, but it helps to block um, uh, three three G and four G. Um, uh, I don't want to say radiation um, uh, uh, um, forces, um, electromagnetic forces, or whatever it's called. Yes, um, <laughs> forces. Uh, I mean, if you're a Jedi, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I mean, I'd take your lightsaber as well. <laughs> uh, but you've got here um, a gemstone, which is, which can help uh, block out um, uh, the, the, the rays from 3G and 4G, which is why you've got this. Now, this is a phone sticker. I won't, I won't take that all the way off. It's a really, really strong um, adhesive you've got under there. And you stick that on the back of your phone. And certain people swear by it. It's amazing. Uh, Julie's already through. Lynn's got two. Poppy's already through. That's great to see. Um, it's it's an amazing thing. Something that you're interested mm. as well, Gemma? Yeah, I've got a shungite in every um, room in the house. Do you? Yeah, yeah, to sort of help. Because obviously, you know, we've got wireless networks all over the house. To deflect the yeah. electromagnetic fields. We spend a lot of time in that environment. So... I just thought, well, you might as well. And they look nice as well, don't they? They're interesting. Yeah, they're interesting beautiful. Stones, it's so. a beautiful gem. And as Gemma says, in for a penny, in for a pound. That's in it. for a penny, in for a shungite. There you go. What was the message? Sorry, is it because I was... Was I being too long-winded there? Sorry, the message is gone. Happy birthday. Can you put it on my thingy, please, Lovey? Because I just look like a right Wally squinting <laughs> at the screen there. Miss Janet, happy birthday, Gemma. And welcome back, Carol. Thank you. Hope you had a lovely holiday. I did. Very nice. Thank you. Uh, can I see number 36, please? You betcha, Janet. You betcha. I had a lovely time away. Very blessed with the weather. Yeah. Did lots of lovely things. Bodyboarding and bike rides. and it looked amazing. The girls looked like they had a lovely time. Oh, my gosh. They were, they were wild for, for a week. They were completely wild with their hair, everything, just wild. Um, <laughs> it was great fun. Look at these. Gorgeous rose gold coloured copper French wire. This is such beautiful beautiful finish um on this french wire 
Now, your French wine is normally there to protect your delicate threading materials, yeah. your delicate silks, isn't it? Yeah. I've seen guest designers use these in the most unusual ways. They're creating little sculptures. I mean, it, yeah. it's a brilliant material, isn't it? It is. It's just a really lovely fine wire that's, that's sort of gizmo coiled for you. So great for protecting your threads, like you said, but also great for giving texture, making beads, yeah. um, adding to your wire weaving, things like that. Yeah, so, yeah it's brilliant. And it just feels it amazing. Oh, yeah, it, it really does, yeah. doesn't it? Uh, Sheila Charmaine, Jane, uh, Maker, well done to you. Six ninety nine today, and uh, you're going to be getting 20 lengths here. If you, if you do just use it in, a, in the simplest way of finishing off necklaces and bracelets, you know, to, to, to protect your um, threading material, per necklace, per bracelet, you'll probably use about that much. So you've got enough here to finish off dozens of pieces of jewellery. Well done, everybody. Loads of people there. I needed to check out. Well done. Uh, message through. Good morning. This is from, uh, this is from Wendy. That's all right, lovely. Um, good morning. Uh, may I please wish Gemma a very happy birthday. Drink yes. coffee, eat cake, lots of love. Number 10, please. Oh, thank you, Wendy. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. Um, how lovely. <laughs> oh, Mm. I've got an endless strand. I'll put that beautiful ring back on. Endless nuggets. Yes, wouldn't that be amazing if the Golden Archers did endless nuggets? <laughs> a friend of mine on, 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 on the way home, this is years ago when she was a student, used to uh, walk home past the Golden Archers and she just used to say, just fit as many nuggets in a box as you can. Um, so, you know, you know, the 12 out the window, you know, just as many as you can fit in a box and a little tub of um, ketchup. <laughs> good stuff there you go um nilamani nuggets uh these are nuggets of a very 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 different gemstone an amazingly rare gem um we the only reason why we've got this incredible gemstone we made the what can only be described as a pilgrimage over to um uh just literally a stone's throw from where Kashmir sapphire um sapphire has been mined for 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 you know just a few short years um and being able to source this incredible gemstone which has got near mythical status its color is just it is amazing and actually when it was first discovered it was thought that it was cashmere sapphire it's actually something which um which a lot of people believe to be even rarer than your sapphire it's got the most incredible color um and it's one of our famous 60 inch endless strands i i i you know there are certain gemstones which you feel an affinity with this is one of those gemstones for me i just feel so connected to this gem yeah, i love it's it beautiful, isn't color it? and it's silver reflex don't mm. you yeah it is it's 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 like a, it's kyanite isn't it it's like mm. a kyanite but like mm. the best quality yeah. absolutely but yeah it's gorgeous it's gorgeous and i, I love that pearlescence within yes it's so lovely it's gorgeous, yeah. isn't it? Yours today for $19.99. Well done. What a price for an amazing strand. Seller in Somerset would love to see number five and number 22. Looking forward to the resin masterclass. I know. Now, it's going to be a brilliant masterclass today, um, giving you the option to, to kind of to just, to just go completely nuts for your kind of enamel finished pieces. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Birthday wishes from Hong Kong. Yay. Says Stella in Somerset. <laughs> right. Are you, in, are you in Hong Kong? Or just, just everyone in Hong Kong wish wish Gemma a happy birthday. Senna, are you of course. <laughs> are you in Hong Kong right now? Can imagine her in Kowloon, you know, piping, piping away. away. How amazing is that? What time is it in Hong Kong? It must be what, like seven, eight hours ahead? How many hours? Three in the afternoon. Mm. I laugh if she said, No, I'm not in Hong Kong, I'm in Somerset. <laughs> 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 oh well that's amazing there you go yeah that's good <laughs> oh gorgeous um sorry lovely what do we oh yes yes here we go golden oh these look oh do you know i watched i watched um pirates of the caribbean with my kids uh, a few weeks ago uh, which they enjoyed they enjoyed massively i forgot about the part where the yeah. pirates are actually skeletons um forgot about that but um it's which they were terrified scary. about but then I mean, they're fine now they're fine now she does live in hong kong <coughs> oh there you go that's amazing um Ooh. and they they remind oh they just look like kind of pieces of eight don't they they yeah. look like gold coins don't yeah, they they do. <gasps> they do they're lovely aren't they aren't they just and they add so much weight to a piece of jewelry as well which is lovely but they just they look so luxurious don't they mm. 
gorgeous i love with them. with black spinel and mm. leary saying yeah with your gorgeous um yes, top just, slash dress yeah with they my look amazing shoulders today anything with <laughs> zh, 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 anything with a bit of um to add a bit of texture and as you say Gemma, to add a bit of weight to your pieces as yeah. well these are perfect yeah, aren't they absolutely gorgeous lots of people coming through 6.99 a great great deal for you today well done um number 22 i think somebody yes i i can't remember well done, six ninety nine for you today. Well done. Loads of requests coming through. This is great to see. Well done. We've got lots and lots and lots of items to get through. Um, if there is anything that you would like to see, basically go to our website, click on Watch Live, scroll down. You'll see all the items we've got scheduled for this hour. All these items are only available until nine a.m. So if if you like the look of number number nine, which is a bead box, if you love the look of number four, which is gorgeous tourmaline, um, then um, then please do um, you know just just send us a request with the number of the item that you'd like to see, and we'll play it for you no problem at all. Uh, there's our text number there seven eight zero seven zero, and we'll play the item for you no problem whatsoever. Gorgeous, well done. Okay, so we've got now um, oh the Atlas oh collection. I love these. Penjing, uh, penjing globes. Oh, I still haven't got these. I love I them. Really need them. I absolutely love them. Um, we were learning all about these the other week with um, Jake Thompson, and penjing is basically the Chinese equivalent of bonsai. Um, or uh, and then and then we started talking about things like. Um, dioramas as well and kind of you know little miniatures of scenes of oh, it's just it, i find it so exciting i love looking at things like that these are this is a dying art um uh, these incredible globes have been created using um using a simulated lapis lazuli for the blue and then you've got gemstones inset into these such as uh, mother of pearl you've got gorgeous jasper and these gorgeous beautifully hand created um uh, globes are yours today the company and, and the gentleman that has made these globes, though, um, they're not going to be making them moving forward. The kind of the yeah, they, they are amazing. Um, you've got here sterling silver chain, a meter of sterling silver chain to make your necklaces, your earrings. To be able to give this to maybe somebody who is on the other side of the world, maybe you haven't seen for you know over a year now, or even lovely Stella over in Hong Kong. Mm. Uh, we've got Claire, we've got Stella. Oh, there she is. Uh, we've got Alan, Sue, Christine, Kimberly. They're absolutely beautiful. I just think the most amazing gift to be able to give yeah. to somebody, you know, you are my world or somebody who you haven't seen for such a long time or someone who was due to go traveling maybe and mm -hmm. hasn't been able to, obviously because of the pandemic. And, and, you know, these are beautiful pieces of art to own, aren't they? Yeah, they're absolutely gorgeous. I love them. I love what they could symbolize. I love just the look of them. Yes. Anyway, and they're just so lovely. All this workmanship and skill in them. Yes. They're just yeah. incredible, aren't they? Treasures, yeah. um, sterling silver, figure of eight chain as well. Twenty nine ninety nine, by the way. An amazing deal for you today. Gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Lots and lots of people coming through. That's great to see. Well done. Francis has requested... Um, oh, you are going to love today's deal of the day then, Francis. Um, we've got the most amazing deal of the day coming up at um, 10 o'clock. It's, it's all about amber. And we've got an amber showcase as well. So let's do... Let's do these beauties oh, gorgeous amber free form um specimens they're absolutely incredible now they come to you in this in this little in this little frame which you can take the little feet off if you want to um if you open the box come on carol come on it says push you can do this there we go lovely open up the box and then you've got these oh, see this is this is such this is so surreal. I, I, don't think, I don't think the novelty will ever wear off. You know, I'm holding something which is 40 to 100 million years in age. This is, this is so special. Um, these pieces have been so difficult to source. Um, uh, they are almost... Um, uh, the, these... These pieces are unbelievably large uh, mm. and they are so, so, so rare. And our amber suppliers um, um, over in Poland, um, honestly, these pieces are these pieces could be made into a lot of other pieces. And the fact that you've got three enormous um, examples of amber here, just just I mean, these are museum pieces, aren't they? Yeah, they're amazing. They're amazing. No, this is exactly you know what I went searching for when I went over to Poland just yes. to buy them, and you just couldn't find them like yeah. this. So. I think the fact that we're, we've sort of commissioned them and can mm. get them direct is, is amazing. And yeah, that, that really price, is. 
It's incredible. Exactly. $49.99 and you get all three and you, and of course, they're all going to be unique. And of course, you also get the uh, case that they come in as well, the little display case. I just, I think they're absolutely wonderful. Incredibly rare. Lots of interest there. That's great to see. Well done. They're both really, really well for our dinner today, which is coming up at 10 o'clock this morning, uh, which is all about Amber. And we've got a showcase following it as well. Well done. And um, don't forget, all these items are only available till 9 a.m. So for the next half an hour or so, and then they disappear. Um, Michaela would like some lovely wire end tips. Uh, now, these, again, really, really useful findings, um, Gemma. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and, I've, and, and again, I've seen guest designers use these in different ways. But how, how would you use these in a kind of like conventional, traditional way, Gemma? So these are wonderful because they, they do um, what the um, French wire does. Yeah. But they do it... Um, they do it much more solidly. So yes. you can thread your beading thread up through the loop and around the horseshoe and then back down. And what it does is protects the wire or the thread from rubbing onto the jump ring or the clasp. Yeah. And they just add that really professional finish. Yeah. But they're also great for charm bales and things like that. Exactly. For the same reason, they stop that rub on, on the, the thread or cord. Absolutely. They are, they are, they, they, they've got so many uses. And by all means, you know, you get your pack of... Um, you get your pack of 20 of these. And if you want to use them in a way that they're not conventionally, you know, meant to be used for, you know, you, you go for it. I've seen these being used as, as, as you say, uh, bales. Um, and they look absolutely beautiful. I've just seen, uh, you know, the, these being embraced by our guest designers in, in lots of different ways. Mm. Um, made out of solid sterling silver as well. So, of course, you can now sell your piece of jewellery, uh, which has got all of your sterling silver findings in, and with these as well as a sterling silver piece of jewellery, which is so exciting because... You know, even if you've got little crimp beads, you know, the smallest findings in your jewellery and they're silver plated copper, you can't sell that piece of jewellery really as a piece of precious metal jewellery. Whereas you've got sterling silver right the way through to the core. Well done. Five ninety nine for a pack of 20 of those. That's great. Well done, everyone. Loads of people there. Well done. That's great. Well done. Ah, sorry. Say again. Nip. Oh, yes. I've got it here. Julie. Julie, you have got amazing taste. Julie has requested a strand of amazing Larimar. Ooh. Oh, there it is. Amazing Larimar. Uh, these are gorgeous nuggets of a truly amazing gemstone. Said to be a gemstone um, associated with the lost city of Atlantis. I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Jewelry. Uh, you've got here an amazing 32-inch strand of your Larimar today. That's great. Oh, Larimar. Wow. Lightning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, basically forms <laughs> inside the walls of a volcano in the Dominican Republic, the only place in the world where you can get it from. Whoa! The floor is lava! <laughs> Amazing. Uh, being able to get this incredible gemstone. It, it gets its blue colour by the gases which are trapped inside the chimneys of the... Um, of the uh, 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 dormant uh, volcano, and it's the cobalt which gives it this incredible colour. It's absolutely beautiful. It's only from the Dominican Republic. It's absolutely gorgeous quality, and it's got that colour is the colour of the Dominican Republic, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <gasps> It, it is. You, love could, it. you could almost just guess where it's from, couldn't you, if you yes. didn't know anything about it? Yeah. It is beautiful. beautiful. Vera Belinda, well done to you, Patricia. Collectors coming through, that's great. Well done. Um, here we go, Margaret in Fife. Morning, lovely people. May I see number 12, please? Happy birthday, Gemma. Have a fun day, says Margot. Thanks, Margot. Oh, lovely. This is so nice. This is lovely. So uh, it is, what is it? I've got it. I've got it. This is it. Right, this has got a little Ooh. handle on it. Useful. Because it's got a handle on it. You've got to get it. It's got one of those double zips. I do like a double zip, as in as in you've got two tags. You know, you know, none of this kind of messing around. Look at this. Oh, my word. Wow. Goodness me. Goodness me. Yeah, you get stickies with it. And you could put the stickers on the top. I probably shouldn't be doing this. Oh, there you are. Put your stickers on the top and you can label them. Mm. Someone's going to get that one. Oh, uh, and you've got all of these. Look, all of these little pots, seed beads, findings, precious gemstones. Let's see if I can get the sticker off. Oh, no, I'm just pushing it on. Oh, no, just leave. Just leave it. Uh, but, yeah, you've got, um, you've got all of the uh, little segments here to put your uh, little pots in as well. Also, once you've finished using all the pots, there you are. 
you can take them out and you can store tools in here you can store all sorts in here and you've got a little pocket here as well such a useful little uh, bag to have isn't yeah, it I think this, this is great for if you're going if you're doing commission work and you're going to see a client for you know planning their piece that they want created this is a nice way to present you know the stones that you could potentially they could potentially use because mm. you've got like little specimen tabs and Mm. You know, and it just looks very professional, doesn't it? It really does, doesn't it? And also, it's got these kind of rigid sides as well. So if it's going to be something quite delicate in there, or people who collect maybe dried flowers or rare rare flowers, mm. or maybe a few um, oh, I don't know. It just it just I'm just thinking of things which you know need to be kept in a really in a really kind of safe environment because it's quite delicate. Then yeah, rare flowers. If you dry your flowers, I love doing that. Um, then uh, you know these are absolutely. This is absolutely perfect. Or your paper craft, you know, yeah. that's really really delicate. Um, Collector and Avon, wow. I just love that ring Carol, uh, Carol's wearing. Uh, did Gemma make it? Yes, she did. Isn't it awesome? Isn't it brilliant? My sister had a pendant uh, exactly like this in the, um, in the 90s. She yeah. used to have a pendant. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I really feel that we've kind of come full circle. Yeah. Back to this kind of celestial, celestial kind of yeah, um, we have. Uh, theme, haven't we? Yeah, we have, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's exciting, really, because the design um, ideas are wonderful from that from that as well aren't they just as, as well as meaningful you know yeah absolutely beautiful yin yang um symbol gorgeous isn't it can't wait and that's coming up at 11 by the way in the uh, master class um sorry lovely i am listening oh these are these are ridiculous pearl the word pearl means the word oh are they gonna say, okay right okay we need to bring the details on for these because mm -hmm. they're about to sell out the word pearl means unique Wow. You cannot get more unique than this. Oh, my word. Wow, that'd be... This is unique quality. Um, these are absolutely incredible. Unique quality. Yeah. 199.99 or four interest-free split payments of 49.99. Gemma, I, I look at these. They are... For me, these this is what pearls are all about. As soon as I see the word Baroque yeah. with pearls, I, I just know I'm going to love them. Oh, yeah. They are incredibly beautiful, aren't they? Aren't they? They're just so interesting. And, like, every single one has got its own character and its yeah. own... You know, you're going to see in that pearl whatever you want to see, aren't you? Or whatever you... <sighs> you know, it's personal to you. They're, and they're just so beautiful and interesting. They really are, yeah. aren't they? It's like billowy satin, isn't it, over the top of a, um, a bead. They, they've got such movement, such incredible quality. And it's almost like you can see the actual physical uh, motion of, of, of the water over the top of the, uh, over the, the mollusk. They're gorgeous. Maker in London, well done. G uh, Jean in uh, Ayrshire has got hers. Well done to you, my lovely. I've literally uh, got only a couple of chances left. Well done. We've got some amazing, some more amazing pearls. Where are they? Really? I did not know. Oh, wow. Okay. These are, yeah. Oh, my word. These are incredible. Wow. Okay. Right. These are incredible quality. Genuine. Wow. Akoya pearls. This is the pearl that was made famous by Mikimoto in Japan in the early 1900s, um, uh, um, becoming the world's first kind of pearl culture. And, and to be able to create perfection like you do with an Akoya is something, uh, it takes a long time, it takes a lot of skill. The Akoya mollusk um, only contains one pearl, uh, sometimes two, but more often than not, it's one pearl. Whereas with your freshwater culture pearls, you can have up to kind of 20, maybe even 30 pearls in per, per, per oyster. This has only got one pearl per, per mollusk, making it one of the lowest yield um, and hardest to cultivate um, um, uh, uh, pearl collections. You've got here something of such incredible purity, and they're famous for their mirror shine. They're famous for their almost unparalleled orient as well. The nacre on these pearls is so thick and so beautiful. And that light comes from within the pearl. Just a millimetre or down into the pearl, you have a layer of aragonite, which reflects the light. It takes the light into the pearl. Not all the way, obviously, but it takes it partially into the pearl and then reflects it back out. $139.99, uh, all your interest-free split payments of $46.66. Loads of people coming through. They are 
on another level, aren't Absolutely they? Absolutely stunning. Yeah, they're really stunning. And actually, you know the um, you know the necklace that um, um, the Duch um, the Duchess of Cambridge uh, wore on uh, to to Prince Philip's um, uh, funeral over the weekend. She 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 borrowed one of the Queen's Japanese pearl uh, necklaces, yeah. and the and, and almost I think they would have been a coins as well. I mean, these are just these are your prestige. Yeah. Absolutely incredible quality pearls. Gorgeous. Well done. 139.99 or uh, your interest-free split payments of 46.66. From one extreme to another, we've got an amazing, um, we've got an amazing star by now. It's time for your gorgeous Shungite. Oh. So back to this amazing gemstone of Shungite. The, the phone sticker, by the way, that we had earlier on, um, sold out. Great, great, great um, uh, gemstone. I am fascinated by this gem. It's one of the only gems on planet Earth where there is actual factual evidence, scientific evidence, if you like, um, to, to, to back up um, the supposed properties this gemstone has. Um, the only other gem I can think of is 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 clear quartz uh, that has that has a certain amount of um, evidence to back it up. Everything else is is really kind of myth and legend, and 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 you know we can't we can't focus too much on that. But with this, you have got a gemstone here which people swear by. Um, if you wear shungite jewellery, um, supposedly the properties inside this gemstone, because they are kind of full of antioxidants, are meant to help purify and detoxify the body. I think, I, I don't know whether I necessarily believe that or I'd whether cling too much on that, but I know that, Gemma, we were saying, uh, it was the other week, wasn't it, you were talking about snowflake obsidian yeah. and, and, and what it's, um, 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 what it's um, uh, done and what it's meant to do to alleviate back pain yeah. Um, yeah. and joint pain. There are people out there who literally swear by it, aren't Absolutely, there? Absolutely, yeah. I, I mean, I know a lot of people now that wear the bracelets because mm. I've said, oh, this is what it is, and that's mm. where I've got it, and they're like, I'll have that, and now they swear by it, you yeah. know? So, um, I mean, whether whether it's sort of placebo or what, it's, there's an intention, and intention is powerful. Whether You're absolutely whether right. Whether it works or not, the intention of that gift and, and what it is supposed to do is really powerful anyway. Definitely. So, yeah, it's, it's just a lovely thing to gift, isn't it? Isn't it? Just uh, the colour you get is this dead kind of black uh, note, but it feels really unusual. It feels, it does feel stony, but it does feel slightly waxy, a bit like mm. a black jade. It, it's got that, it's got that gorgeous, gorgeous, um, kind of yeah waxiness to it it is an amazing gemstone that people swear by to 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 deflect um 3g and 4g uh, uh rays um electromagnetic fields a lot of people are very very sensitive uh to um electromagnetic fields and they find that wearing shungite um or having shungite around the mm -hmm. home um really does help with that kind of hypersensitivity uh which you might experience in connection with that I'm willing to give anything a go. You know, if I was, if I, you know, you know, those kind of things can really make you miserable. And if, and if you're willing to, you know, have a go at anything, you know, this, this is definitely a way to get it. This is such a phenomenal deal. $21.99 for you today for 62 carats of this Shungite. Now, anybody, um, if you, if you, if you were to put this um, on a little wish style bracelet on the strand, you've got approximately two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, it's about 18 on the strand. If you were to just put one on a bracelet, you know, you could do that 18 times over. Just think how well that's mm -hmm. going to be received with a little yeah. bit of um, a little bit of blurb about the gemstone, about what its supposed properties are, what its what its actual physical properties are. You know, evidence based. Mm -hmm. um, and I think you'll find people will be absolutely fascinated. Um, it's one of those gemstones that definitely has crossed over into the mainstream with people who who are who who want to um, who want to embrace gemstones and wear them for their properties. Um, uh, and it's and it's absolutely loved and adored throughout the world. Only found in Russia. That's the only place you can get it from. Um, mm. It's a it's a it's a it's a true one locational gemstone. And we've got Ruby Maker Carol, another maker in London, maker in Yorkshire, another maker, another maker in Lancashire. Well done. Che uh, check your baskets out. Twenty one ninety nine for genuine gorgeous shungite. Absolutely beautiful. And in jewellery, would you put this into bracelets or rings, Gemma, all of the yeah, above? Yeah, I think bracelets and rings are ideal because they sit really nice and close yes. to the skin. So if you are going to use them or you are gifting them for their health benefits or mm. their properties, then 
put them in something that's going to touch the skin. Yes. So, um, yeah, ideal. But, you know, they, they just look nice as nice gems. They feel nice. They're very tactile. Mm. So they look nice in any jewellery, really. Absolutely. And definitely a unisex gemstone as yeah. well. Um, it's not something which I would say is, is particularly for, for, for guys or, or, for, or for women. You know, it's, you know, it's one of those gemstones which everybody can wear and everyone can appreciate. Well done. Twenty one ninety nine. Brilliant deal for you. Loads in baskets. Julia, Janina, Cindy, Maker. Carol, let's do back to back because we've got a, um, a strand of smooth. Oh, sorry, sorry, smooth ovals. Oh, these are even bigger. These are lovely. Oh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. There's about fifteen on the strand there. Definitely use both together. Mm. Why not? Beautiful pendants. I like the faceting on these as well. Not that they've been faceted, but the surface of them. If I turn this one, for instance, you can see it almost looks like it's been molded or slightly kind of almost, almost kind of, I don't want to say chiseled, but do you see what yeah. I mean? It's got that slight kind of patination over the top. Yeah, it's that hand, it's that, char that charm of them being crafted, you know. By hand. By, yeah, by hand. Isn't yeah, it? they are absolutely gorgeous. And do you see what I mean about the waxiness of this gemstone? Yeah. It's got that lovely kind of, yeah, that kind of jadeite feel to it or, or almost a, a nephrite feel about it. Um, we've had a Russian nephrite on the show the other day. Absolutely fantastic. Um, we are showing you here a strand of 70 carats of your gorgeous shungite here. Beautiful strand. Already lots of people coming through. Already lots of people adding this onto their order. Should be the same price. And you're getting, you're getting some really, really big individuals here. We've got a 30 sec a 30 second clock. Okay. Mm. Come on, Ollie. Let's I don't think I've ever seen. Oh, mm -hmm. there you go. <laughs> a 30 second clock. Neary says he, he hasn't got time to dilly dally around today with any of your 60 second clocks. No. We've got the wall of fame to do and everything. Here we go. Um, we're at 50 pounds at the minute. In 15 seconds, the price is going to go down significantly, uh, just to let you know. Oh, here we go. Well done. Your price coming in in five, four, three. Come on, Neri. I believe in you. Yes! Wow. 19.99. Well done. Absolutely fantastic. Well done for 70 carats of your gorgeous young like Beautiful. There is a bit of a queue on the phone lines at the minute. Maker in Lancashire, Ruby, April, Cheryl, Sylvie, Jane. Well done. Always a popular gemstone. And a gemstone people have heard of, I think, because of you know, the, the properties this gemstone has, and I can actually say that with this gemstone. You know, a lot of other gemstones, I have to say, the supposed properties uh, that the gemstones have. But these have actual physical properties. Able to uh, purify water with, with your medical grade um, uh, shungite, which this isn't. You know, this is, I mean, this is proper, proper shungite. Uh, but with your, you know, I, I, so what I'm saying is don't go to your local reservoir and put some of this in a bottle and think that you can now drink the water. Uh, you know, leave that to the professionals. Uh, but, um, uh, but with regards to wearing this next to your body, because we're made up of so much water, a lot of people do believe that this incredible gem helps to purify and detoxify um, uh, your body. We are, after all, made up of a huge percentage of water, aren't we? And incredible um, uh, in the fact that this, in, uh, this um, uh, gemstone um, is said to deflect 3G and 4G rays. I mean, absolutely amazing. Well done, everyone. Under 20 pounds. Well done. Sylvie Sherrill's come in for another one. Well done. Maker Yvonne, well done to you. More people coming through. Jane, well done to you in County Durham. Well done. Under 20 pounds for you today. Well done. Gorgeous. Let's go to the Wall of Fame and see some of your incredible pieces. So the Wall of Fame is a chance for you to showcase your pieces of jewellery which you make with uh, Jewellery Maker items. You simply take a photograph of it and email it to studio at jewellerymaker.com. Uh, and every Wednesday we pick a winner and a runner-up who win £100 or £50 credited to their Jewellery Maker account. So let's start off with Debbie. Debbie Asprey, you're number 151. Oh, now that's a lovely pair of earrings. I've created these earrings using two shapes of Amazonite with space to beads on gold-plated base metal ear wires. All from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to everyone. I always look forward to seeing everyone's makes, and that's from Debbie. Really simple, really wearable yeah, pieces. Lovely. Yeah, that's lovely. Me. 
Hey, uh, your number 152K Varley. Hello, Thank lovely. You. Hi, all at JM. Please see attached my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a, a pair of necklaces uh, and a set of earrings made with two different strands of eyelight. One is I like nuggets with shell pearl rounds and spacey beads, and the other is I like slices with seed beads and shell pearl spaces. With a pair of I like drops with shell pearls. Gosh, there's a definite theme here. All items are from Jewelry Maker. Um, of course, uh, good luck to all my fellow offers. Stay safe. Uh, uh, kind regards, Kay. That's a really lovely piece. That is the very epitome of using the same gem yeah. and creating a really gorgeous piece full of texture, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, they look great together, don't they? Layered up as well. Yeah, really yeah. nice. Karen, your number 153. Oh, wow, beautiful jewellery. Hello, JM team. My entry for the Wall of Fame is a suite of jewellery created from shell, pearl shapes and uh, coated spinel. All components are from Jewellery Maker. Thank you for your company, talent and inspiration. That's from Karen. Thank you, Karen. Lovely, lovely jewellery. Um, Stephanie, uh, Stephanie Lippett, your number 154. Whoa, that is Colour. Lovely colour. Uh, here's my Wall of Fame entry. Several rainbow-inspired stretchy bracelets made with coloured magnesite rounds, black hemat uh, sorry, black agate, hematite buddhas, and magnesite heshi beads. Bright and summer ready. All products from JM. Good luck to everyone in the draw. Do you know what, Stephanie? That is going to look amazing this summer. Yeah, they're great summer vibe bracelets, aren't they? Absolutely. Really I love gorgeous. the look of those. Elaine Day, your number 155, my lovely. Oh, gorgeous. Uh, this is my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a beautiful Baroque embellished pearl on a silver chain. Here's hoping for a win. I can't stop my obs uh, my obsession with JM. Lots of love, Elaine, from Chelmsford. Do you know what? I love that. With the gorgeous pearls we had earlier on. I, oh, that is such a lovely piece of jewellery, Elaine. Joe, your number 156. Ooh. Morning, JMers. Oh, now that's pretty. This is a moonstone and pyrite necklace made with my denim feather experiment. Wow. Oh, I may add another couple. Uh, what do you think? All the best, Joe. That's a very Gemma Crow piece of jewellery, isn't, isn't it? it? I love that feather. Yeah, that's gorgeous, Joe. Well done. Nice. Uh, Wendy, your number 157. Oh, mm. hi to all at, J at, at, at JM. This is my entry for this week. It's a kiss cross set I've made for a friend. I love this design. Glam it up with a little black dress or glam it down with T-shirt and jeans. Thank you, Mark, for your tutorial. So helpful as always. Uh, good luck. To all the waffers this week, but of course I would love a win, uh, Wendy in Hanstanton. Now that would have taken love hours that. to make, Wendy. Your friend is going to love that. I love that. Yeah, gorgeous. Bronwyn, your number 158. Oh, lovely, lovely. Really wearable jewellery here. Uh, hello to all at Jewellery Maker. This week, my Wall of Fame entry is made with clear and smoky quartz with uh, 80 gold seed beads and uh, used as separators. The clasp is made from one and a quarter mil gold plated copper wire, which I hammered to give a more professional appearance. Really pleased with the results uh, and all components were purchased from Jewelry Maker. A good luck to all of the fellow waffers uh, on the draw for Wednesday. Best wishes, Bronwyn. That is, that's a lovely, lovely piece. You will be able to wear that with absolutely anything in your wardrobe. That's so good. Um, Kirsty, Kirsty Morgan, 159. Oh, lovely. Oh, that is pretty. Please find a touch my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a Burmese jadeite with rose gold ring mount in the centre. Oh, wow. It uh, is also jadeite and zircon stretchy rings either side. Finished off with some twisted wire rings using rose gold wire. It's my first time setting a ring and I'm so pleased with how it turned out. Good luck to everyone. Sending lots of virtual hugs to Kirsty. You've done an amazing job setting that, Kirsty. Yeah. That's gorgeous, and that combination is lovely, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, with the rose gold, it looks, gold, so, it looks well. so good. Yeah, gorgeous. Um, and I believe we've got one more from Ruth Hopkins. Ooh, oh, lovely! Oh, look at the colours. That's amazing. This is number 160. Hi all at JM. Please find the touch my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's been, uh, I've recently been making some Egyptian style pieces. And after some research, I made this collar. I really enjoyed the process and the make uh, and have lots of positive, have had lots of positive feedback. Uh, it's all made with products purchased from JM. Good luck to all. That's from Ruth. Isn't that a gorgeous piece of jewellery? That's stunning. Yeah. Oh, stunning. gorgeous. Well done. You're so talented. I love it. Brill, 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 brill. Well done, everybody. Have we got some more? Have we got time to do some more, um, Neary? Come on. Of course we do. First of all, we have to say, ah, happy birthday to you. Oh, happy you. birthday to you. Happy you. birthday, dear Gemma. Oh, 
Happy birthday to you. Oh, Yay! Yeah. Happy birthday. Look, it's, 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 it's got its own isolation screen around yeah. it as well. <laughs> yeah, no, so given, given my, um, my lurgy, I don't think I should blow the candles out. <laughs> Maybe no. fan it. Fan it, with a car, fan it with your cards. Yeah, the, yeah look, the cake's got oh. its own mask, just to be extra safe. I've got a card. A little card. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love oh, it. Thank you very small. much. <sighs> oh, oh, I'm going to work on my birthday, birthday. every year. Oh, You're going to oh. have to come to work on your birthday. Oh. <laughs> Everyone. Happy birthday, my lovely. Oh, thank you. That's lovely. Oh, there we go. Aww. So it's Gemma's birthday. There we go. And um, we are going to be off. Thank you so much for all of your messages so far. Wishing uh, Gemma a happy birthday. Neer is talking about uh, wanting cream with the cake yeah. now and how he's going to eat. Oh, gee whiz, Neer. Um, <laughs> send, keep sending in your messages, though. We'd love to hear from you today. Um, there's our um, text number there. Um, just to let you know, all these items, all these items are only available until 9 a.m. and then they and then they disappear. So anything that we played in this hour, um, and anything that we've got scheduled in this hour, which looks you know brilliant, brilliant stuff, are only available until 9 a.m. Kits in the next hour. These pieces mm. are, these pieces, this kind of design is everywhere right now, isn't it? Yeah, it is. These wrap around bracelets, and you get so many gems in these kits. You can do like like three or four wraps around yeah. if you want to but i've sort of tried to make two with each with each colorway they're just really nice to make they they, re they sit really nicely they're really unisex and versatile you can make this little ankle or for your wrist or you know they're just they're just really lovely oh so we've got three kits coming up in the next hour uh and a little uh demo as well Deal of the day today coming up in an hour's time oh it's amber so this strand here it is going to be unbelievable. You're absolutely right, Neri. This strand here, brand new, multicolour, yes. multicolour amber strand with your uh, butterscotch, with your gorgeous cognac uh, amber, and of course with your gorgeous cherry amber. And then this strand here, this has taken us a good few months to get this back in stock, but we've finally got a reordered. Uh, strand of this the quantity is decent it is going to fly and oh this is honestly we've got the most amazing showcase coming up after both of these strands as well lots of messages coming through this is so lovely um here we go this is from nikki hi carol Gemma, and fab jam team happy birthday Gemma. thank you for sharing your birthday with us oh, oh thank you isn't that lovely this is lovely there's no better place to be oh <laughs> happy lovely. Gemma. hope Hi. you have a lovely day uh and that's from karen in blackpool happy birthday Gemma. thank love you love and best wishes from diane thank you diane this is so lovely Cheers. we'll see you in a couple of minutes for an amazing set of kits and a lovely demo as well the Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry makers, we have a new Facebook group dedicated to sharing your makes and jewelry making advice. To join the group, simply head over to the page and hit request. You'll then be able to share your designs with our JM community and join like-minded people. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we've got some really exciting news. After 10 and a half years, we can finally launch Split Pay. The whole point of this is to make it as affordable as possible to buy things from Jewelry Maker. So you have the opportunity to pay either two or three fixed interest free payments depending on the item's value. It's that simple. Thank you, Carols. We are so excited about this opportunity and we know that you will be as well. So enjoy this new way of shopping on Jewelry Maker. So from the three of us and everyone else here at Jewelry Maker, see it, love it, split it. Here at 
jewellery maker, we want to still be able to support you in your jewellery making journey. We understand that during these unprecedented times, the priority is to keep everyone safe. We want to still give you the option to learn, experience and join like-minded people by offering our online workshops. Our online workshops are still run by our amazing designers who will guide you step by step and give you all the support needed to develop your skills. For more information, contact our workshop coordination team by emailing sarah.bingham at jewellerymaker.com. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. I'm very excited to be back with you on Jewellery Maker this Sunday at 1pm. I'll be bringing with me our U Bamboo Bedding. Now, if you've never experienced this bedding before, it's sustainable, soft and stylish. And what better time to invest in new bedding than the spring summer season? It's lightweight, ventilated, but so luxurious. I'll also be bringing supplements and a gorgeous natural face cream as well. I'm so excited to show these to you. I'll see you there this weekend. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. <laughs> oh hello welcome back everybody I, I wasn't expecting coming back to the to the to the thingy the split screen the split screen i think it's called <laughs> oh hello happy hello. birthday again oh thank you thank you it's so lovely thank you for the cake um i think you organized it at your time oh no it's really kind ah oh, oh. there you go <laughs> um we have got some gorgeous kits coming up in this hour um and i think that these kind of designs are everywhere right now. We've kind of mm -hmm. established like, these beautiful wraparound bracelets. This kind of relaxed bohemian jewellery is just, oh, it's a joy to wear, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's lovely. They just, you know, and everybody seems to really like them. They just mm. seem to be quite universal in taste and style. So, yeah, and you can, like, like I said, you can do three wraps, two wraps, one wrap. It's mm. really up to you. And I think what's nice as well is... It's, it's pretty much one size fits all in the fact that if you find you've made one and it's mm. a little bit too long for you, you can kind of twist it round a little bit more to kind of make it a little bit shorter. But I think that you've got here um, a real chance to be able to show off the gemstone to their full potential. You can make them so the gemstones move so that they turn and that they twist. And, the, and, and you can be quite rigid and, 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 and um, regimented with how you put them. You know, you can put them in a definite order or you can just go with the flow. Um, they're definitely unisex. And of course, we're not that far away from Father's Day, which of course mm. is in uh, June. Um, got some gorgeous gems and some great, great materials to be able to uh, work with here. We're starting off, and by the way, these three kits are so affordable. I mean, the kind of prices where you will um, be able to get all three of these kits today, uh, which is fantastic. So uh, what are you going to be getting in your first kit? Well, you're going to be getting um, a load of your gorgeous uh, leather cord. This is beautiful stuff. Uh, this is really, really gorgeous. Very, very supple. The great thing about using leather cord and any kind of leather in your jewellery is that the more 
the more you wear it, the better it feels. It kind of conditions, it softens, it's gorgeous. You get two meters of your leather cord here. Whenever we do this material on Jewelry Maker, it always goes absolutely nuts. Um, and, and just it, it, leather cord using this kind of mixed media approach to your jewelry, it just, it's so popular. Everybody seems to love it, which is great. With your gorgeous bronzy colored leather cord, you're also going to be getting amethyst. Now there's two strands of amethyst here. The first one is your amethyst cubes. Gorgeous four millimeter cubes that you've got here. Instantly, you can start to think about doing things like ladder weave, channel setting. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is this is this is such a usable strand of gemstones, isn't it, Gemma? It is. It is. And I love the fact that you've got all those different tones of amethyst in Me there. Me too. Because it, it just adds so much variety and texture as well as that it being that lovely sort of cube shape. It's, it really does. And they, these the cubes sit beautifully in these wrap bracelets. They're perfect. Yes. Yeah. Gorgeous. Perfect. So you've got your beautiful cubes. You've then got beautiful little um, uh, seed beads of your amethyst as well. Now these are um, two mil. Oh, they're adorable. Mm. They're not micro faceted. We haven't gone down that route. They are. They are just highly polished rounds that you're going to be getting here. Does that? that don't those two gems? Those two strands, I should say, go mm. so well together. The phone lines have gone absolutely nuts already. This is great to see. Well done. Um, and then last but not least, this. This is. I love this. Yeah, thank you, Ollie. Look at that. This is a strand of the most gorgeous mystic, um, um, mystic brown spinel. It's got the most gorgeous kind of navy blues. It's got browns in there. You've got your bronzes. It looks, a little, it reminds me a little bit of uh, Peter Sight or mm -hmm. of Smoky Quartz. It's a gorgeous collection of gemstones. Loads of people already coming through. Um, quantity wise, Tom, how many of this kit do we have? Yeah, it is. A, OK, yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, so we've got about 75 of this kit available. What we're going to do. OK, the reason why I'm pulling that face is because I've got so many people already coming through. I'm a little bit worried. That, OK, let, let's start the 60 second clock. The price, by the way, on these three kits is amazing. It really is tremendous. And when you consider as well that these are so popular, you make these pieces and you try and, you know, take them to your uh, local um, uh, craft fairs when we can finally do them again. And you're all, you've got almost a guaranteed sell uh, with these. This design is so, so, so popular. This kind of theme and feel for the uh, for jewelry at the minute is so, so, so popular. And um, already loads of people coming through, loads of people um, adding this into their order. You've got quite specialist strands here. You've got your cube shapes, you've got your mystic coated, and you've got your beautiful little seed beads as well. I like the fact you can see the um threading material as well i think that adds a really gorgeous kind of rustic charm to the yeah. piece doesn't it yeah it does it does and and you can change the colors of that threading material if you want nice and, and sort of add a introduce a new color mm. so that's that's always nice to do as well oh gorgeous and um, okay your price is coming in in five seconds loads of people already coming through already multi-buyers coming through this is great to see here's your deal 14.99 for the lot for the That's lot, great. amazing. Your two meters of leather cord, your amethyst four mil cubes, your amethyst um, um, uh, beautiful plain two mil rounds, and then your bronze, your kind of uh, mystic bronze uh, spinel as well. Amazing, loads of people coming through. Wow, well done everybody. And of course, the whole point of these kits and by doing them at these kind of price points is that you'll be able to mix them together. You'll be able to um, uh, change the strands up if you want. You'll be able to change the cord um, and, and mix and match them and use them together. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, leather cord elsewhere as well. You look at kind of uh, the prices of leather cord. And I know that one of um, one things that you've done in the past as a job is 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 is, is kind of work in a craft shop and, and yeah. you know been measuring ribbon and lengths of material and things yeah. like that. And this is amazing, yeah. isn't it? Leather leather thonging can you know range in price from about three pounds a meter up. You know, oh so, my word! You know, and, and this has got that bronze finish as well. So I should imagine you'd pay a little bit more for yeah. that bronzy finish. Absolutely. So, yeah. Absolutely. Well done, everybody. Uh, so many people coming through to get this. Well done, everybody. What an incredible deal. 0800 644 655. We'll get involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com. Well done. Oh, my word. Now, Gemma, mm -hmm. what is special about today? Um, it's Monday, yes. It's Monday. Yeah. I'm working with you. Of course. And the rest of this team. Yeah. There's cake. 
There's cake, yeah, of course, yeah. There's cake. <clears throat> why, um, why, is there, why is there cake? <gasps> it's my birthday. Ah, <laughs> so guess what we're going to do? <sighs> we're going to do a Gemma Crow special. This is only because it's her birthday. We're going to absolutely annihilate the price point that we've got here. This kit's about to sell out. There's no need for us to be doing this at all. But this is... This bodes very well for what we've got coming up uh, in the other two kits. £12.99. Oh, my word. Amazing, amazing, amazing deal for you today. Well done. £12.99. What an incredible deal, Gemma. That's a great deal, isn't it? Because oh. you're going to make, you're gonna make a, you know, you could make two full wraps. Yes. Um, two ty times two of two full wraps. Yes. This. So, Absolutely awesome. You know, it's great value. It really, and, really is. And uh, this kit is about to sell out. Well done. I've got loads of people coming through. The phone lines are really, really busy, just to let you know. So do come through as quickly as you can. Well done, everybody. There's Gorgeous. Also, there's also, um, if you buy one of the kits, you get entered into the draw. So tell us about this. So what is this draw? So there's some, I've bought some bonus pieces of jewellery of mine from my collection at home. So I've got wow. a few bits and pieces underneath. And if you buy a kit, you will get a piece of the, if you're in the draw and you get drawn, you get a piece of the jewellery from that kit. Oh. And then one person from the, over the three will get um, this bangle. I've put this bangle in today, this Amazonite wire work bangle. Oh my gosh. So that one's up for grabs as well. Shema, that's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. Also, senior producer Tom Stewart, there he is in there. Hello. He's going to put together a goodie bag. Yeah. Yay! That sounds awesome. Yeah. Chloe Jones! Chloe Jones is here as well. The founder of Jewelry Maker, everyone. There's a hand. <laughs> the royal way. The queen of Jewelry Maker. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. Well done. <laughs> Chloe the Hand Jones. Which one are we doing, love? <laughs> that sounded really wrong. Yes, give me the colour. There we go. Oh. 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 I love pink too. We're all just saying how much we like pink. My husband loves wearing pink. Absolutely loves it. Got a pink pair of sunglasses that he took on holiday with him. And uh, gee whiz, it just, yeah, you're going to get noticed in those. <laughs> he said, men's clothes are so boring, Carol, so I thought I'd express myself. Through, uh, through my sunglasses. <laughs> my word, that is some expression that he is, uh, you know, I mean, they're bright, bright pink. <laughs> Thank you. God love him, he's like Timmy Mallet. So you've got here your gorgeous tickled pink, uh, beautiful baby pink leather cords. <laughs> Goodness me. <laughs> you've got your gorgeous... <laughs> Oh, dear me, we're having fun this morning. So you've got your gorgeous um, pink uh, leather cord. You've then got, right, where do we start with this? You've got your white quartz two and a half mil faceted round strand. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? You've then got your rose quartz faceted three to five mil rondelles. Absolutely gorgeous. And last but not least, you've got your gorgeous hematite smooth tubes oh this is a lovely strand isn't it yeah this is lovely strand and again this is the lovely one even just to use on its own to make these wrap bracelets but yes the combination all together I just works that. really nicely yeah it really does doesn't it that looks yeah. so good together yeah. now what do we do what do we do? we have backed ourselves into a corner a little bit now haven't we because it is Gemma's birthday Blah, blah, blah. Uh, so we've got to do something really special with them. Come on, let's just do it. Let's do it. Yeah, jewellery making. Yeah, jewellery. Yeah. Losing money. Twelve ninety nine. There you are, everybody. We are losing money at these prices, just to let you know. But you know what? It's Gemma's birthday. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Well done, everyone. Uh, Michelle, Jeanette, Maker, Rosemary, uh, Marge, Claire, um, Debbie, Mary, Sue, Karen, Teresa, Cheryl, Maker, Marge, well done, Karen, Teresa, Allison, Josie, Rapunzi, well done. Oh my word, there's so many people coming through. This is great to see. $12.99, gorgeous. Now, if I look at the first kit that we did, and I wanted to make a really lovely girly kind of 
bracelet. I would use the pink cord from the second kit with the amethyst from the first kit mm -hmm. and maybe some of the gorgeous clear quartz as well. You know, you can totally change the look of the kits, can't yeah. you? Yeah, you can mix and match them. Definitely. I think at these prices, you've just got, you, you've just got to mix and match. You've got a bit. This too good an opportunity to miss out on, isn't it? Well done, everybody, especially on Gemma's birthday. Exactly, Mundo. I'm in on my birthday. Oh, yeah. Okay. Happy birthday, Gemma. Oh, um, mine is on Wednesday. Oh, there you go. When's um, when's uh, Michael Wolf's birthday? Is Michael Wolf's birthday the twenty second? Is it? I can't remember. Jenny's birthday is the 28th. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mary's booked it off. My birthday is 9th of May. I'm in on my birthday on the Sunday. Yeah. Nice. There you go. See? Well done, everyone. 12 .99. I think there might have been a typo that's gone out on our uh, jewelry maker email, by the way, uh, oh, at the newsletter. What is the title? What's the title? <laughs> I think the type I think the word was meant to say snowflake and I think that it's gone out and it says snotflake so <laughs> apologies it might be a, might be a competition you never know definitely not snotflake um, yeah snowflake anyway uh, here we go third and final kit now this is my favourite uh, chord oh <gasps> Love this colour. Love this navy blue, Gemma. Isn't that gorgeous? Lovely, isn't it? It is lovely. Gorgeous. Beautiful inky blue. Oh, it's just gorgeous. The smell of the cord as well is so nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you get that proper leather smell. You don't do, you? don't you? It's absolutely gorgeous. You've then got um, one of the most beautiful colours, I think, to go with navy blue. Um, it's, it's yellow. It's gorgeous citrine that's a really lovely strand of citrine isn't it yeah it's fresh isn't it it's a really fresh collection this these colors together are lovely yeah gorgeous so little two mil rounds then you've got howlite <laughs> you've then got howlite and you've got uh howlite in four mil rounds and four mil cubes nice yeah Nice. Oh, this is a really this is a gorgeous kind of nautical themed kit almost yeah, isn't it is. it? it is it's, it's really sort of very classy. It's, it always reminds me of sort of going to the boating lake and that sort Ooh, of you know, yes. Henley on Thames. Oh, sort of, wow. Yeah, it's that sort of feel. Come on, Neary. There's no going back now. We've got to do it. Yeah, come on, lovely. All the way down. We've got to do it. It's Gemma Crow's birthday. Let's do it. <laughs> Twelve ninety nine for you today. Who likes the idea of a snot, a snot, what was it? Snotflake. Snotflake cut. Oh, dear me. Uh, by the way, I think it's meant to say snowflake, not snotflake. <laughs> <laughs> it's only taken Gemma's birthday messages. Oh, no. Let's show a couple of those messages, shall we, for... Uh... Yeah, why not? That's all right. Never want to shy away from the odd little typo or mistake there. I like the idea of the snotflake cut. So do I. I'm intrigued. <laughs> I think it should be snowflake. Yes, exactly. Oh, damn it. You know, it happens. We're only human. We're only human. Well, yes, yes, we are only human. Uh, hi, Carol and Gemma. There's an unfortunate typo in JM's promo email this morning in the subject of the irresistible snowflake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Happy birthday, sweetie. Hope you're having an amazing day. Carol, can you tell me what a snowflake is? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? What if it's an actual thing? What if it is a thing? <laughs> <laughs> it's not the first of April, I think it, it should be anyway. Oh, now, from now definitely on. it should be a thing. Definitely the snotflake. Oh, I love a snotflake. <laughs> uh, right, Gemma, what are you going to show us, lovely? <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to, how to start off and how to um, create these wrap bracelets yes. and just how it works, really, Brilliant. Um, to make it easier for you. Now, um, because we're working with really lovely, fine gemstones... And smaller drill holes, we want to use thread that's going to go through the, the drill holes twice because you, you thread backwards and forwards through the gems to get this ladder effect. Um, so to do that, you'll, you'll want either your fire line, sort of your eight pound um, mm. fire line or 
or is it, is it wildfire? Fire line, yeah, you're eight pounds, so you're finer. Or is it Nymo thread? That's it. Yeah, Nymo thread is what I've used in these samples here because I've got lots of colours, so you can change the colours of the Nymos uh, and create, again, like that different effect and add, add different um, mm -hmm. colours and um, stripes and things around the edges, which looks really nice. Um, but in this studio, just for the ease of threading my needles, etc., I've gone with the fire line. So um, you'll want two needles, and I've gone with a size, these are size 11 needles because they're nice and small, and they'll go through my gemstones really easily. Lovely. So I've got a really long length of my thread to start with, um, and I've threaded a needle either end, okay? So you probably go for about a metre. You can add in quite easily, um, but go for about a metre to start with. Um, and that will probably do about half of your bracelet if you're doing a double wrap mm -hmm. and you'll sort of add halfway through. But trying to work with two metres of thread can get quite tricky. And, you know, you end up with, you know, real exercise in your arms. And yes. So um, I would start with a smaller length and add. And then to, to start with, um, you get two metres of your, of your cord. Now, for a double wrap, you'll need half of that length. So um, fold it in half and cut it. So that means you've got two lots left. Um, You've got one meter left and then you want a button or um, a larger bead or something i found this in my pencil case just a minute ago i found this um jadeite um round here so this is this is ideal this is the sort of thing you'll want through the clasp okay so i've threaded my cord through there and i'm just going to tie a just a, a knot underneath so i'm going to do that by sort of just doing an overhand knot in my two cords together and then draw that knot down as close to as close to the bead as you can. So just just keep drawing it down until it sort of sits underneath. Now, if you've got a button, mm -hmm. then you can just do like a lark's head knot through the button, and and that will that will um, do the job as well. But if you haven't, you can use a bead, anything really that's gonna just sort of enable you to create a loop at the end and slide it over there, and it's gonna stop the bracelet and doing. Yeah. Okay, so that's how we'd start it off. And then um, you can use a macrame board or your bead mat. And I'm just going to take a pin and pop it through through the knot just to keep it, keep it down for me while mm -hmm. I work. Gorgeous. So, <coughs> um, so with this kit at the minute, we have got loads still in baskets. Just twelve ninety nine. The amethyst one is still on screen. Um, it's very, very, very limited, but it, it's still got a couple left. I've got so many of these kits in baskets. Please, please, please do check your baskets out as soon as you can. Um, because, of course, the quantities are just going to go. They are totally interchangeable. A lot of people have got more than one of these kits. They've got kind of two or three of the kits. Um, and, and, and to be able to kind of get one of each of the kits and, and then just and then you can choose whichever gems and whichever kind of color combinations uh, you want to go to. Um, absolutely fantastic. You're right there, lovely. Yeah, it's, as soon as I start talking, your oh. throat dries up and then it gets itchy and on a cough. So oh, I'll have a go. You. I'll keep going. Okay. <laughs> You've got some water. I've got you? some water. Yeah. yeah so I'll, uh, I might have to have a sip of that if I get croaky again. Okay, lovely. But um, so basically I take my threads then underneath these two. Um, strands of my leather. Gorgeous. I'll tell you what we've got. We've got some Labradorite. Uh, let's do a little bit of Labradorite and then we'll come back to Gemma in a minute. Um, um, yes, because I'm not, I'm not that good at charades. I don't think you should be able to kind of uh, motion and I'm certainly not about to uh, start making jewellery for you. Uh, so let's do some Labradorite. We've got some gorgeous, gorgeous Labradorite. So we've got a Labradorite um, uh, showcase. We will be bringing you a little bit more of a demo. Gemma might just be very quiet and I could maybe talk you through what she's doing, like a running commentary. No? Like, what's his name with the two Labradors? What's his name? Um, uh, co uh, cot, cot, uh, cot, cotter. Cot, cotter. Matthew, David, somebody cotter. Anyway, two Labradors, uh, Olive and Mabel. Um, uh, he's a comedian, he's, he's not a comedian, he's a commentator, a sports commentator. And during lockdown, during lockdown Mark 1, um, he just did uh, commentating for when he used to take his two Labradors on walks. Andrew Cotter, thank you, there we go. And there's Mabel in the swamp wagging her tail. Uh, so here we go. Uh, right, so Labradorite 
faceted squares. Now, what you're looking at here is a member of the Felsbar family. We absolutely love this gemstone here on Jewelry Maker. And we're lucky enough to be able to get some of the best quality Labradorite on the planet. I've seen, you know, really uh, kind of substandard quality Labradorite and it looks nothing like this. You know, this is absolutely top, top, top gem quality Labradorite that you're going to be getting here. Incredible colors, beautiful blues, gorgeous greens. And what you're seeing is light entering the gemstone and reflecting off the inner layers inside the gem. And it gives you this incredible uh, optical property called labradorescence. It's beautiful. Uh, this one here, you've got gorgeous greens and you'll find different colors going through each one of these. Um, some will give you more green, some will give you more yellow, some will give you more kind of peaches and pinks. They're beautiful, aren't they? Let's get that price point all the way down for you today. All the way down, my lovelies. 0800 644 We'll get involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com. 9.99. Gorgeous deal for you today. Well done. And these could be used in your gorgeous wraparound bracelets. They're beautiful, aren't they? Jane, well done to you. Jacqueline, Sue, April. Loads and loads and loads of people coming through. It's great to see. Well done. And they're faceted so well, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful faceting on each one of these. Gorgeous size. Beautiful shape. Sue in Buckinghamshire is through. Well done. Brian in Greater London as well. Well done. Great colour. Great quality. And it's a little bit of a lighter backed kind of base note that you're going to be getting here so a little bit more summery I think as well I do love that grey kind of uh, base note that you get this one here's got full on rainbow qualities in there isn't that gorgeous well done everybody 0800 644 655 we'll get involved on our website jewelrymaker.com gorgeous well done let's do a little bit more <sighs> yeah oh these are big Big rectangles. Oh my word. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Shoo, shoo. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Oh, I love the shape of these. Oh my word, they're stunning, aren't they? That is a genuine gemstone. That's a natural, genuine gemstone. Now, that in a ring. Oh, oh baby, baby. Look at that. Oh, baby, baby. Gosh. Yeah. Pocket money prices. It's a ring. Ring a ding ding. Here we go. Cufflinks, maybe. Love it. $14.99 on the strand. Two, four, six, eight of these on the strand. Oh, my word. I absolutely love these. Oh, wow. Look at all these gorgeous colours. Oh, yeah. £1.87 for your feature ring. Oh, that's so good. Oh, my word. They're just absolutely superb, aren't they? Gorgeous, gorgeous qualities. Alison, Claire, well done to you. Lots of interest there. That's great, isn't it? And don't you love that gorgeous kind of almost um, chamfered edge that you get, kind of going down that beautiful kind of um, crown facet that you get from each one of these, just giving you oh, that really gorgeous kind of estate feel to your gemstone. Uh, well done. Another Alison coming through. Claire coming through. That's great. Well done. Check out your baskets, everyone. Well done. We've got loads and loads and loads more to show you big fat triangles <gasps> oh you picked these up this morning neary no no didn't you do you think heavens neary says these have got earrings written all over them maybe if your name's uh pam st clements they are a bit pat butcher though i mean they're, they're enormous i mean they'd be absolutely unbelievable oh <gasps> that's a pendant oh marker beads in a marla style necklace yeah I mean, these are absolute giant pieces. Oh, whoa. I mean, just incredible. Look at them, aren't they gorgeous? And that really beautiful kind of blunt edge on them as well. And of course, that blunt edge, oh my word, that blunt edge, what it's going to do is just allow you to bezel around these beautifully. Oh, yeah. Lots of notifications about the typo in our jewelry maker newsletter email today, talking about the snotflake cut. Uh, interesting. Well, at least it shows you read your emails, doesn't it? <laughs> I suppose that's one, that's one bonus. So whether you're going to be bezeling around this, using this with your gorgeous gallery wire. Oh, I love the look of this one. Look at this. Use it with your gallery wire. Oh, oh my word. Abs oh, yes. Look at those colours. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so good. I just love the colours you're getting with these. Yeah, they're huge pieces. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, my word. Brenda, Maureen, Emma, Claire, well done. $21.99. Incredible. Well done, everybody. These are just superb. As pendants. I mean, I'd love to see these used with um, with um, gallery wire. Absolutely love to see these with uh, gallery wire. Well done. Okay. What is it, lovey? Oh, 
no, you're taking the price down. What? No. What? There's no way we can. Do you can't move on that price. No way. Oh, $19.99. Oh, my word. These have got to go today. They're absolutely amazing. Well done, everybody. Lisa Allison's got two. Brenda, Maureen, Emma, Lynn, um, Cheryl, Maker, Louise, Claire, Maker in Greater London, Suzanne, well done to you. Allison's come through to get another one. Cheryl, Maker in Avon, Ramona in Texas, Lynn in East Riding of Yorkshire. Well done. I just love these. Jeanette, load. Look, can I show you what it might look like as a pendant? Just one. Yeah? Whoa. Oh, my word. Okay. Through the power of uh, using your hands, maybe, Gemma, on a scale of one to ten, one being the least, ten being the most, what, what, what would you give these? She loves them. She gives them a ten and a heart and a ten and a heart. <laughs> they are absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Gemma's got a really... Bless her, a really annoying cough at the minute. Oh, bless her. I I'm seeing scenes. I'm seeing, I'm seeing horizons in there. <gasps> oh, well, we've only got about 20 left. Well done, everyone. Christine, Jeanette, Sue, Sue. Uh, Alison's got three now. Well done. Sally, Nancy, Dot, Margaret. Well done to you. Oh, I just love it. I mean, I'd pay more than that just for that one there. Can I just show you something as well? I've got a couple of images to show you of price comparisons. These pieces here... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. So 262 divided by eight is what? <gasps> no, so about 32 carats. So each one of these is about 32 carats a piece, okay? I've got a couple of price comparisons that I want to show you. Yeah? Have a little look at these. So those two pieces there, 95 pounds for the piece on the left. £160 for the piece on the right. Astley Clark and Monica Veneda, very reputable uh, jewellers, and they, you know, they're priced to sell. Um, and look at the sizes of the labradorite you've got there. This is under 20 quid, and look at the size of this 32 carat labradorite. It's absolutely gigantic, isn't it? That's absolutely amazing. Lowest ever price. I doubt very much you'll ever see these again. Christine, Eileen, Maker, well done to you. Olivia, well done. Less than 10 chances remaining. Well done, everybody. Maker, Lynn. Diane, well done to you. Louise, Margaret, well done to you as well. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. Yeah. Next. Oh, we do. Yes, let's do these beauties. Uh, these are gorgeous. These remind me of, um, well, I, I, I'm not too sure. The, the, the lab addressence you're getting on these is so striking. Um, they almost look like beautiful eyes, I think. Look at those. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these are so good. Look, some of these are beautiful and kind of pinky with their colours. Others are much more of your, I know, amazing, isn't it? When you get a slightly uh, lighter base colour with your Labradorite, the, the rainbows, the rainbows of colour that you get coming from this incredible gem are absolutely amazing. I just flip some of these over as well so you can see the other sides of these as well. I mean, they are amazing quality. Absolutely tremendous. Look at that. Oosh. Yeah. Sure. No, we can't match the price, Neary. Don't be so silly. Apparently, it's, it's beautiful colour. Tickled pink. Under £20. Neary wants to remove the one. He wants to take the price point even lower. Here we go. All the way down. All the way down. Here we go. Nine pounds, 99 pence for some of the most amazing, some of the best, some of the most beautiful top facet grade Labradorite. It's absolutely amazing. Maker in Cornwall, Sally, Stephen, Claire, Sue, Lisa, Alison, Helen, loads of people coming through on the phone lines. I love the fact it's been left unfaceted, Gemma. It gives it that lovely kind of glassy, kind of almost marbly, mm. kind of as in a marble uh, kind of look to it. It's, it's got so yeah. much going on in this strand, isn't there? Yeah, it's lovely with Labradorite because it lets the, the sort of Labradorescence roll over mm. the gem rather than flash. In, you know, I love the flat surfaces, That's but you get a, a really, flash of yeah. it, don't you? But it rolls in these smooth. Yeah, cuts. the movement is just incredible, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Yeah. Um, 
Susan, Sue's got two of these, well done. Lisa's got two, Alison's got three. Melford, well done to you as well. Leslie, Maureen, uh, Helen, Claire, uh, Emma, well done to you. Honestly, these deals are just superb. And to think that that is a natural optical property you're getting here as well is just superb, isn't it? Absolutely 100% natural. So wonderful to be able to bring you this today. I'm absolutely over the moon with all of these pieces. Um, yeah, we've got less than 10 chances available. Valerie, you could get it. Marge, you could get it. Well done. Leslie, you could get it. But please do check out your baskets. Well done, everyone. 0800 655. Get involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com. Uh, less than five of the gorgeous big triangles left. If you want to add those onto your um, uh, order, please do. Well done, everybody. Under a tenner. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. Beautiful quality. Well done. Francis, well done to you. Please check out your baskets. Teresa's just checked out. That's great. Well done, darling. So is Maureen in Cumbria. Well done. Awesome. Let's move on. Okay. My Labradorite. My Labradorite. I love your Labradorite. Now these, <laughs> those songs are for free, by the way. They're free. They're, they're complimentary. Hmm? Yeah, now these remind me. Oh, hang on. Well, well, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. These remind me of, of um, Tibetan prayer wheels. Mm. Aren't they gorgeous? Gorgeous. They are gorgeous. The way they roll and move. You get these gorgeous little spaces. I'm not entirely sure what the spaces are. They'll just be glass, I would have thought. But aren't this is so lovely? Oh. <gasps> Oh, it's that movement. It's that gorgeous kind of, yeah, it's that beautiful kind of shape, that lovely kind of barrel shape. Oh, I love this Labrador. It's so good. Beautiful, beautiful quality. And um, use them one at a time or use them in the kind of design that Gemma's shown us with these gorgeous mm. wraparound bracelets. You know, use them as cylinders going around a piece and the movement on these will yeah. be just gorgeous, won't yeah, they? Really well. They, they, they're lovely, that, that sort of little um, sort of staggered movement yes. that you get because they're flat surfaces. Yes. It's gorgeous. It really is, isn't it? They're just stunning. Um, Claire. Oh, uh, hi, ladies. Happy birthday, Gemma. Stop showing these lovely Labradorites. It's one of my favourites, says Claire in the Westminster. I know. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid we can't do that. It's a Labradorite showcase. I know. Amazing. We have got the most amazing strands, the most unbelievable prices the best, best deals. Twelve ninety nine for your Labradorite here today. Gorgeous, gorgeous kind of prayer wheels. Oh, they're just, oh, they're just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Um, beautiful size, gorgeous shape. And I do like the fact that we're embracing not just the kind of the deep, dark Labradorite, but the Labradorite, which is kind of a little bit more grey in its background. Um, and then and then the Labradorites you get is just a little bit gentler. It's kind of the slightly lighter colours, like those gorgeous pinks that you very, very rarely see. Jane, Claire, Maker, Carol, Maker, Maker, Netta. Well done. Loads of people coming through. Very, very popular showcase. This one is well done, Neary Nunu. No, no. Well done, Neary Nunu. No, 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 no. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, put this with any of the kids. It would work absolutely beautifully. Yeah, well done, everyone. Twelve ninety nine, Stunning. So we've got now... Oh, which one should we do? Yes, ten. 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 Yeah, there we go. Ten! Uh, now, these... These are... OK, I'm going to show you what I would do with these. Doesn't need to be any more complicated than that. A very simple, a very simple stacker bracelet. Because you're getting cubes, Gemma, I'm Ooh. looking at that recording. I'm looking at this strand. I mean, these would be perfect absolutely. for these bracelets. Yeah, absolutely perfect. And they would combine nicely with any of the gemstones in the kits as well wouldn't they with the pinks they'd look great with the, with the amethyst yeah <gasps> with the highlights they'd look amazing this is such a good good quality strand of labradorite and it's interesting isn't it uh, what Gemma was saying earlier on about the benefits of uh having your labradorite which isn't faceted because the labradorite just rolls over the gem whereas this is much more glitzy much more flashy mm -hmm. in its appearance 13.99 that's a brilliant deal oh my word <coughs> what <coughs> are we going lower what Unbelievable deal already. Let's go even lower. Let's go even lower. Helen, Patricia, Jeanette, Jane, Claire, Sue, Helen, 
9.99 that is a brilliant that is a that is an absolutely bonzer deal well done everyone coming through to get that oh, loads of multi bidders coming through sally lynn maker jeanette lexi well done darling rapwanti well done to francis jane Ho! gorgeous well done to everyone coming through to get these i just love that lab address don't you these are gorgeous oh they give you such a wonderful quality such a gorgeous flash bad boy labradorites yeah there they are oh they're beautiful <laughs> gorgeous now Gemma, if you're feeling up to it and we can stop at any time stop at any have time go. have a little <laughs> go at your demo use you can use minimal words or i could try yeah. and describe what you're doing if you like <laughs> that or, would be fun <laughs> oh so she's picking up the threads there <laughs> okay so i got as far as i've got my needle threaded either end and i've taken that thread to the center underneath those two leather cords so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start smaller and build up to get large to get these wider apart. OK, so I'm going to start smaller. So I'm going to use my little um, round mm. um, faceted bead. So I'm going to pick them up with one of my one side of my needle one or one end of the thread. Gorgeous. Thread them down. Gorgeous. <coughs> and then take the other needle from and uh, no sorry take those right underneath so this first one i go right underneath and sit in between and then i'm going to take my thread from this side uh-huh and thread it through those beads and take my needle over so the thread's coming from underneath so i want it to end up on the top on this side gorgeous <coughs> oh sweetie <coughs> Perfect. I pull the thread through, like so. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to take the needle from the other side over and through the beads. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, you poor thing. It's just so dry in the studio. Oh. And I think when she starts talking. Mm. Okay. So through the beads again there. And then yeah. make sure, because the threads come from underneath and over, I'm mm -hmm. going to make sure the thread goes underneath the other side as well. So we're always going in the same pattern. And that's going to trap the... <coughs> oh, sweetie. You poor thing. Oh, I feel absolutely fine. So please don't worry. It's the, I don't feel unwell. <laughs> it's just... It's just... It's dry in here. Lovely Hannah gave me some honey and hot water. That's really helped. Oh, so if I just yeah. keep sipping on that, I'll be fine. But I, I do feel fine, so please don't do worry. Do feel free if you want to just do the demo and we can just watch. It's absolutely <coughs> fine. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. absolutely fine. Okay, so basically we just keep building up from here now. So we've got our threads either side. Um, and we take a bead each time. And you'll sort of see that two beads equals one cube. Yes. And then you can just keep um, adding different sort of combinations of beads to widen it or to narrow your bracelet okay so yeah we come from underneath yeah. the cords here uh -huh. so we go overneath over the top yeah through the bead and under the other side gorgeous with this thread and then the other thread you do the same but in the opposite direction so yeah. over the top through and underneath gorgeous and it's obviously really important that when you're using um, when you're creating these pieces that you're using a thread that th means you can do kind of multiple passes through the gemstone. So something yes. like, as you say, your wildfire or your fireline or your Nymo thread, yeah. uh, which is not only very strong, but also allows you to do multiple passes through the gemstone. Um, this is such a lovely technique and it's the kind of technique which anyone can have a go at. Once you've got your, once you've got the basic kind of uh, pattern, and yeah. um, anyone can have a go with it and of course having the leather cord as well is great because it just it gives you that kind of it gives you that really strong edge that really strong barrier either side doesn't it that's it that's gorgeous perfect, perfect. it's got that lovely flexibility and it gets nicer with age okay so so they you just carry on like that so when it comes to adding thread in that's that's something you want to know mm -hmm. just take your threads back backwards before you finish so leave enough so that you can take your threads back up along yeah and then you thread your needles again in exactly the same way mm -hmm. um, with another sort of meter of thread. And then you just take it through the last bead and then you carry on beading from there. Perfect. So, or you can, you can tie a knot if you like and then finish it with perhaps um, your thread zapper. Um, but yeah, you, or you can do that. But don't try and tie your 
tie knots in this and join no, by knotting yes, exactly. because it won't pass through your beads. But basically, you just keep going like that. And then when you get to the end, mm -hmm. if I bring one of these out, I've got a little button on here. When you get to the end, I you tie that. that overhand knot again. Mm -hmm. And then you just make... Um, just take this one off. And what's so nice is that can be a little button which is special to you, maybe yeah. a button from a... Um, a cardigan that you love or something which you've been passed down from generations. I've, yeah, I've made one for Tom. You know the buttons, that, the pennies that you put through the machines when you go to yes, tourist do. attractions? I've got one from um, Blackpool Tower that I've done for Tom. Um, and he's got opals in his bracelet. But, oh, um, gorgeous. But yeah, it's done with that. So, yeah, you just then tie a knot further down. Yeah. So that you get this little opening here. So whichever size bead you've used for your toggle. Uh-huh. And you just thread it on and that's... That's it. Oh, it's so pretty. So really simple technique. It takes time and it's something that you can pick up and put down. Yes. But really effective look at the end. It really so. is. And, and and as you say, you can you can you can decide how wide you want to make it, how many rotations you want to go around your wrist, whether it's one, two, three. You've got the facility and, and uh, the 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 flexibility, I should say, within these kits to be able to make your really, really long bracelets. They're unisex, they're easy to make. Uh, and to be able to sit down and do this of a, of a Saturday or a Sunday, you know, in the sunshine, take your gems outside, take your beads outside and use them outside and, and just and just and just kind of um, enjoy making these really relaxing, really relaxing pieces to make that, as you say, you can pick up and put down over the course of, you know, a day or a weekend and just make these gorgeous pieces. I love the idea about gifting these um, uh, for Father's Day and, yeah. and things like that. Or when Perfect. you Father's finally Day. get to meet up with people, I've got a long list of friends that I want to see over the next few weeks who I haven't yeah. seen since last year. And, yeah. uh, you know, being able to make them a little something, which doesn't take long to make at all. No, and you can use very personal gemstones, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Gorgeous. Thank you so much. Oh, well oh, done, you. Welcome. Thank you oh. for helping me out. <laughs> <laughs> being patient thank you <laughs> oh bless you um right we have got a star by now this is an absolute humdinger of a strand of labradorite take a look at this have you ever seen <gasps> I'm in love when you're in love with a beautiful gemstone. Da, 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 da. <gasps> Isn't that just mesmerizing? It's gorgeous. And that is just the first one. This comes with a strand. Uh, sorry, I beg your pardon. This comes with tassels, which are on jump rings. Ooh. Now, that is useful, isn't it? Yeah. This is so good. <laughs> Beautiful strand. And that's just one of them. This one here, where are you? This one here's got loads of greens in. Can you see the greens? Oh, nice. Like spring greens. This one next to it here, it's got loads of gorgeous. Oh, wow. Oh. All of the colours. Oh, <gasps> so good. This is an amazing strand. It really is, isn't it? Yeah. These are 14 mil rounds. I mean, they're absolutely gigantic. Look at the, the quality you are getting. Oh, my word. They're just superb, aren't they? I mean, absolutely brilliant. We've only got 56 chances available. These are already going. They're already flying out the door. I just love it. Have a look at your should-be price. So if you're loving the price, $19.99, I would be getting involved as soon as possible, as soon as you can. We've got the most amazing deal for you right now. We're under £20. Should we do a very quick clock? Let's do it. Let's do a minute. In a minute's time, the price point is going to go down. I've got enough in baskets for this to sell out. <laughs> The price uh, is two or three times over. I can't believe this. The price is already amazing for 14 mil rounds, isn't it? Yeah. We're under 20 pounds. Hit it, Ollie. There you go. Oh, he's done it. There you go, everyone. Amazing. <laughs> I've got Neary just having a... Are you having a, your own little party in there? A little rave in there today. 
dang it, 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 dang Loads of people coming through. <laughs> well done. Lots in baskets there. This is this might actually sell out before we even bring the price on. Alison's got three. Lisa's got two. Anita's got two. Nicola's got two. Maker and Kent's got two. Sue's got two. Julie. Oh my word. There's loads of. Oh wow. Here we go. 14 mil rounds of your top quality Labradorite. <laughs> 10.99. What? I know. Incredible. Yeah, amazing. There's your price point today. All the way down to £10.99. You have gone nuts over these. Well done. What are your favourite ones? Do you like the ones with all the blues in? Yeah? Do you like the ones with all the kind of yellows in? Oh, baby, baby. Yeah. Do you prefer the ones with the peaches in? All of them. Oh, look at the pinky pinkies. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. 10.99. Well done, everyone coming through to get this. It's about to sell out. Julie's got three. Uh, sorry, two. Nicola's got three. Well done. 15 opportunities left. Maker and Renfrew Shire's got two. Janice has got three. Well done. What an amazing deal. There you all go. 0800 644 Gorgeous. Well done. Or get involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com. Download our app. We've still got some more lab like to do as well. Yeah, you've got some absolute beauties coming your way. Well done, everyone. That's about to go. Eileen's got two. Julie's got two. Well done, Karen and Maureen. Oh, yes. Brilliant. Well done. So, I think we can safely say that was a success, can't we? Amazing. Yes, let's definitely do the lanterns. We got the lanterns. We got the lanterns. We got the big rounds. We got the lanterns. We got the faceted lantern gemstone beads. Here we go. So, <laughs> this didn't work, did it? The old prodigy reference really didn't, really didn't happen there. Here we go. Labradorite faceted lantern beads. Oh, these are good. Now, everybody seems to be collecting these lantern beads at the minute, Gemma. They yeah. are they are brilliant. It's such a great shape it is. for any gem, isn't it? It is. They look so, they look kind of classic. They've just got a little bit of a mm. modern edge. They've got right. sort of a 1920s feel to them, haven't they? Yes, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're lovely. Yeah, they are. They've got that lovely kind of elegance to them, uh, which I think is, 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 is very of the era, of the kind of 1920s era. It's beautiful, isn't it? I mean, add in your Mala style pieces, as guru beads, as marker beads, these are absolutely perfect, aren't they? 11 pounds and 99 pence. Well done, everybody. It is a steal of a deal, Neri. You're absolutely right, my lovely. Coming up, uh, we've got all of the amber. Just to let you know, just all of it, all of it. All of the amber. It's going to be absolutely superb. Well done. 0800 644 Just like we had all the lavender, right? You're absolutely right there. Defo, well done. Alison's got two. Gloria, Maker, Eileen's got three. Jane, Maker, Suzanne, Maker, Julie, Maker. Oh, my word. Well done, everyone. And don't forget, coming up in the Masterclass hour, we've got this. Oh, I just love this. Mm. Takes me back. Yeah. Takes me back. I just love it. And my sister, she'd wear a pair of um, stripy kind of trousers with her Doc Martin boots, like Oxford Doc Martin boots, and she'd be wearing a... I don't know, like a Nirvana T-shirt or something. She'd be wearing one. I just, but they're so, but now you look at designers, you know, Stella McCartney, yeah. like really high end designers. They're all using these beautiful celestial yeah. kind of symbols, aren't they? Yeah, they are. It's becoming really, really popular. Yeah. Really popular. Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be absolutely brilliant, the masterclass today. 11 99 for you today. Well done, everybody. Getting lots of messages through for you today, Gemma, as well. For your birthday. Thank you. Um, which is great. Um, no, we did not. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. No, we didn't. <laughs> it's like a pantomime. Yes, they are. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. We're just going through items of things that we think we might have played and things that we haven't. What? Oh, oh. Well, we got the heart, the, the big heart, and the big, the big, the big pieces. I don't know what. I don't know what. I don't know what kind of. Oh, okay. There you are. Here he's. 
Here is making. Oh my word! <gasps> Adam, are you ready to? How long have you worked with gemstones for, Adam? Ten years. A decade. A decade. That make you feel old. Are you ready to see <laughs> some of the best labradorite you've ever seen in your entire life? Look at the pinks. Oh, oh, baby, baby, yeah. Pinks, purples, lavenders. You're getting the lot here. You're getting all of it. Oh, my word. Will you look at these colours? Oh, oh wow. <laughs> They're amazing. I know. I'd, I'd want to make these into the buttons for the ends of my, uh, for the ends of my uh, wraparound bracelets. They are Perfect. so special. They're amazing, aren't they? Oh, wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, wow. Look at these colours. Pinks, peaches, violets. Oh, wow. Oh, these are some of the most rainbow infused, if you like, mm. uh, Labradorite I've ever seen. This is, and I think it's to, it must be something to do, obviously, with, with A, where this is from, the kind of scene that it's from, but also, don't you think it's to do with that beautiful, lighter kind of grey base colour rather than it being dark or khaki green? It's got that lovely kind of lightness to it. It's got, it's got clarity, which I don't think I've ever seen with Labradorite. It's, I mean, it's amazing quality. <gasps> Bronzy colours. Oh, you're going to love the price on this. Oh, look, even the smallest one. Yeah. Gorgeous. Do you know, I'd be tempted to make a stretchy bracelet with those. Yeah. Just and have them flat on your wrist so you could really, you know, <sighs> yeah, look that, at them. That, that would be amazing. You know, just so, so, so simple. <gasps> £9.62, giving you, look at the clarity on that, giving you every single penny off that price point. That is amazing. This is flying out the door. Well done, everybody. What a deal for you today. Maker and Kent, Alan, Janice, Gemma, Gemma in Somerset, Lynn, Jane, Liz, Sally, Alison, Maker, Marion. Oh, my word. There's millions of people coming through. I just love it. And... Uh, I can't get over that clarity. If I just hold this gem like this, you can see my finger behind it, can't you? Labradorite with this level of clarity. I don't think I've ever seen it. No, it's amazing. Yeah. It's, it's, it's next level Labradorite, isn't it? Look at this one here. I don't know if you're seeing the, pe the peaches any better there. Oh, there you go. That's a better way to hold it, isn't it? Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Gorgeous. Oh. Let's squeeze in a brand new strand, shall we? Brand new strand. Oh, well, don't buy no buy. Here we go. <laughs> oh, Neri, I love you. Brand new strand of your Labradorite. These, these go out as quickly as they come in. You've got your grey Labradorite faceted rounds. These are two mil round um, uh, beads you're going to be getting here. Now, although they are two mil rounds uh you know they are going to be much 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 smaller than other pieces that we bought you during this um, um really special showcase you are still going to be getting moments of labrador essence you're certainly not going to be getting the kind of level of labrador essence that you'll be getting with the bigger ones but what you are getting by the bucket load as ollie has just said clarity clarity with labrador is something which you should never expect to get you should never think you're ever going to get it because nine out of ten times you simply won't get it but to be able to bring you two mil spaces um as oh see i just Look, as oh, with rose gold, I'd put this with. Oh my word, that grey is so nice, mm. and such a lovely, and such a lovely, such a lovely um, alternative to black, isn't it? And brown, it's such a lovely, lovely um, alternative. That gorgeous soft dove grey, it's gorgeous, like a, a cashmere grey. Seven ninety nine, brilliant deal. It's a brand new strand. Let's get that price point down even lower. Here we go. You're going to love this. Under a fiver today. It's an added to your order deal. It's £4.99 for you today. Well done, everyone. If you've any of you who've uh, come through to get Labradorite today, please do get this. Add it onto your order. And, of course, the same size as the Amethyst in mm -hmm. our first kit that we bought you. So, of course, you could use it alongside all of the kits that we've just yeah. bought to air. Yeah, absolutely. A gorgeous little a space is in any of the strands that we've brought today. To Definitely. Keep, keep that Labradorite all the way through a piece. Absolutely, yeah. They're beautiful. Lots of multi bidders coming through for this. Well done, everyone. We are moments away from our deal of the day as well, which, of course, is all of the gorgeous amber 
loads and loads of amber coming up uh, which we're really looking forward to so that's all coming up after the break as well and an amber showcase as well uh fantastic alison's got two maker and kent's bought two dots bought two well done beautiful um Fantastic. Well done. And don't forget, you've all got that 30-day money-back guarantee as well, which is well worth using. Uh, but honestly, you'll get your Labrador at home. And, and, and for anyone who's multi-bought today, you'll notice differences within each strand that you get. So by all means, if you can multi-buy today, please do, because of course, what that means is you it puts you in the driving seat, you know, making that informed choice even, even more. Uh, well done, everybody. Uh, beautiful Labrador. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Well done. Okay. Uh, Brenda um, says... Happy birthday, Gemma. You look fantastic. Love your jewelry. So talented. Thank you. How nice. Oh, thanks. Ah, there <laughs> we go. Yes, it's Gemma's birthday today. We're very excited. Um, it's been an exciting show so far, but it's about to kick off even more because we've got the most amazing amber deal of the day coming up after the break. One reordered strand that we've only just literally got back in stock, one brand new strand, and then a load of the best of amber um, as well coming up after the break. Here at Jewellery Maker, we want to still be able to support you in your jewellery making journey. We understand that during these unprecedented times, the priority is to keep everyone safe. We want to still give you the option to learn, experience and join like-minded people by offering our online workshops. Our online workshops are still run by our amazing designers who will guide you step by step and give you all the support needed to develop your skills. For more information, contact our workshop coordination team by emailing sarah.bingham at jewellerymaker.com. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewellery Makers, we have a new Facebook group dedicated to sharing your makes and jewellery making advice. To join the group, simply head over to the page and hit request. You'll then be able to share your designs with our JM community and join like-minded people. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we've got some really exciting news. After 10 and a half years, we can finally launch Split Pay. The whole point of this is to make it as affordable as possible to buy things from Jewelry Maker. So you have the opportunity to pay either two or three fixed interest free payments depending on the item's value. It's that simple. Thank you, Carols. We are so excited about this opportunity and we know that you will be as well. So enjoy this new way of shopping on Jewelry Maker. So from the three of us and everyone else here at Jewelry Maker, see it, love it, split it. I'm very excited to be back with you on Jewelry Maker this Sunday at 1 p.m. I'll be bringing with me our U Bamboo Bedding. Now, if you've never experienced this bedding before, it's sustainable, soft, and stylish. And what better time to invest in new bedding than the spring summer season? It's lightweight, ventilated, but so luxurious. I'll also be bringing supplements and a gorgeous natural face cream as well. I'm so excited to show these to you. I'll see you there this weekend. Don't want to miss a Jewellery Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewellery Maker.
Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. Oh, we are so excited about today's deal of the day. This is absolutely amazing. We've got Alison Tarry leaning into the studio looking at the deal of the day today. Oh, the biggest chunks of amber you've ever seen in your entire life, Alison Tarry. I'm going down there, I'm shopping. <laughs> Get me some. <laughs> Only the best for Gemma Crow's birthday, everyone. Yay. <laughs> that cake, by the way, is not going to make it to the next break. No. Has been just sharing. Yes. Absolutely. Um, the uh, deal of the day today is a gemstone which I love. Gemma, I know you absolutely love it. Love it, yeah, um, absolutely. And I know as well, we know that you love it. Um, we've been bringing you this kind of quality amber for the last, it's about the last six years. And we, uh, as far as amber goes, this is the absolute best. This is Baltic Amber from the best in the business. Um, uh, and alongside um, Gems TV, because of course we're under the Gemporia umbrella, um, again, we are um, lucky enough to source the world's finest amber from what I think is the world's finest amber suppliers, Jello, who are based out in Gdansk in Poland. Um, and it's a relationship which is unlike any other gemstone, kind of gem buying relationship that we have. Um, in the fact that we work alongside Jello and we have meetings with them rather than them offering us what they've got. We will very often go to them and say, this is what we would like. And Marius um, uh, uh, will turn around and say, no, I can't do that. Don't be so ridiculous. <laughs> we'll go back and we'll have those conversations and we'll have those kind of um, strategy meetings. And eventually what we'll do is we'll come up with some of the strands that we've got today. Uh, your two deal of the day strands today are the kind of strands that you just won't be able to get anywhere else in the world, size-wise, quality-wise, and most definitely price point-wise. Why is it so important that we get amber right? Well, amber is a gem. It's not a gemstone. It's an organic gem. And because of that, it's very easy to imitate amber. Uh, it's very easy to make amber using or, or make, some, make synthetic amber, I should say, using man-made products, plastics and things like that. There's a lot of people out there who claim that they're bringing real amber to the marketplace. And actual, uh, in actual fact, it's, it, it's not real stuff at all. All of our amber and all of our gemstones are tested by an independent laboratory and they're tested for, um, uh, you know, what it is, the carrot weight. Um, it, it verifies where the, uh, where the gem has come from, where it's been mined. And, and it can also um, uh, determine if there have been any treatments at all with the gem. Um, amber itself is very, very rare. I've got a couple of images that I wanted to show you. Um, uh, and, and this is one thing that I will always go on about with amber and why I love amber so much. Because what you are seeing here is more than a fossil. Have a look at this image. It's more than a fossil. What you are looking at here is something completely different. So these are categories of fossil types. Uh, and I find looking at stuff like this absolutely fascinating. Uh, the first one here. So you've got an example of what you might be getting there. So a trace fossil. A trace fossil is in any indirect evidence left by an organism, footprints, burrows and fossilised faeces and trace fossils. So sometimes you will see in mud or in rock, fossilised um, dinosaur footprints, mm -hmm. or maybe the outline of a, where a snake has been, has been going through mud, and, and, and that has been fossilised for millions of years. It's fascinating. Um, and what you're, um, what you're, uh, what you're seeing um, in the next one, moulds and casts. Again, amazing. A mould is an impression of an organism, a cast. Oh, hello. 
Ah, there we go. Uh, mould is an impression of an organism. A cast is a mould filled with sediment. So when you find... Um, and it tends to be, it can be um, 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 shellfish, it can be something which looks like a cuttlefish, and you're seeing an impression of their shell. And again, really, really fascinating. But what we're seeing here is something that's turned to stone, okay? So just keep that in your head. Next one. Uh, now, this is replacement. So this is, this is the kind of thing that you, you do see a lot, and you do, it's quite easy to find them as well if you know where to look. The original material of an organism is replaced with mineral crystals that can leave detailed replicas, um, hard or soft parts. So basically, the organic part of the, the beast, whatever it is, has turned to stone, and that's what you're seeing there. You're seeing an, animite there, um, um, an ammonite there, uh, but you can find things like devil's toenails and mm -hmm. things like that, which are uh, your shellfish, uh, mollusk kind of... Um, muscle type and um, um, style of crustaceans which have turned to stone absolutely fascinating next one is petrified or uh, a permit per, per, per mineralized that's an interesting word uh, empty pore spaces are filled by minerals such as petrified wood so when we bring you petrified wood when we bring you the um uh, peanut wood quite often that's petrified or the um uh the calligrapher stone um uh what's it called the calligrapher stone uh, Mm. Scrub, scrub. Oh, what's it called? It's a yeah. jasper. Uh, Mariam jasper. There you are, Mariam jasper. That's layers. That's layers. Uh, that's layers of of petrified petrified wood. Let's go. Let's go to the yeah. Well, let's go to my absolute favourite. Here we go. So so no, sorry. Let's jump over amber. Let's go to um, original material. Mummification or freezing preserves original organisms. You don't tend to find that a lot. The only places where you'll tend to find that is if uh, there's somewhere very very cold and very very dry. So if you were to visit. Um, um, Antarctica and you were to go to where Scott of the Antarctic had his little uh, hut um, um, uh, where he lived for um, uh, many many months if you visit that hut it's like he's literally just left everything has been perfectly preserved because the air is so dry and it's been mummified basically but the most interesting one the most interesting one I think is amber preserved tree sap an entire organism the sap hardens into amber and preserves the trapped organism look at the choice of words there preserves the trapped organism we're not looking at something which has turned to stone we're not looking at something which has been replaced by stone or replaced by mud or or, or replaced by petrified wood we're looking at something which has preserved that living creature and it all comes well our baltic amber comes from the baltic coast and what you've got here is a rainforest that, you to, uh, that, that used to exist. Um, I've got a photo of it on the next, on the next slide. Um, and you look at a photo, you look at the image that um, we're about to show you. Here we go. Perfect. Thank you, um, Neri, of the amber of, of, of where this forest used to be. And you can see just, just where the sea is, that's kind of your Baltic, your Baltic um, uh, coast. You can see it's an absolutely gigantic area of land where this rainforest once stood. And nobody really knows whether um, uh, the trees fell down and then were carried towards the sea by rivers or, where they, or whether they just indeed just, just, just fell. But they were basically encased. The trees were encased um, alongside the resin and trees produce resin when they're being attacked by birds or by insects. They produce sap, which is like an antibacterial. Um, it's like their way of producing a scab, maybe. Um, and those trees, along with all the sap the resin um, um became encased in sediment and that sediment over millions and millions of years you know 10 to um, um, um 40 to 100 million years um ago encased in sediment literally the pressure unbelievable and it perfectly preserves that amber now what we found as well and this is this has helped paleontologists um to come to the most amazing realizations i've got i've got an image of of what probably one of the most famous pieces of amber that's ever been discovered i'm not entirely sure where this was discovered but it's a piece of amber that was discovered with a feather in it and oh sorry is it the wrong one sorry that's my fault here we go thank you um with a feather in it and that feather belonged uh, it, it, it's a tail feather of a dinosaur 
and it's laid, it, it, it led paleontologists to believe that actually dinosaurs, a lot of dinosaurs weren't actually covered in the scales and the hard kind of alligator-like scales that we, that, that we believed um, them to have been covered in. But actually a lot of them were covered in feathers, making them an even closer relative to uh, chickens. Uh, apparently they're the, the, they're the nearest living relative to dinosaurs. And that, and that, little, and that little feather there, um, uh, they, they kind of did a, a, rough, a rough sketch of what, of what the size of the dinosaur would be. It would be able to sit in the palm of your hand. But that, that's what makes amber so amazing. If that, if that organic material had turned to stone and been fossilized, A, I don't think it would have survived the fossilization process, but it would be stone. Mm -hmm. Because of what we've got here, yeah. perfectly preserved, like literally a photograph, a snapshot, as close as we're going to get to going to going and standing where the dinosaurs walked this this is it so deal of the day today we've got two strands um we've got a reordered strand which is going to be the first strand that we're going to do and then we've got a brand new strand your brand new strand is a multicolor strand of amber in nuggets they're huge and we've got this now these pieces of amber are gigantic we launched this strand a few months ago, okay, and we had a decent quantity. It pretty much sold out. Since then, it has been back to air, but with quantities of one and two available. We have finally got this strand back in stock. I can't even imagine how sad uh, Marius and the team over in Poland would be to see this amber go just purely because these pieces are so large I'm sure he probably looked at this strand and thought do I could make I could make two or three or maybe even four smaller beads out of these enormous pieces but we know what you want we know that um, you know we do listen to you and, and, and a lot of you have been saying you know we want these larger pieces of amber to be able to set into statement rings statement pendants we trust and know uh, jewelry makers amber we know it's the real deal we know it's independently tested we know that it's the you know real amber we know that um uh, the quality is absolutely amazing but we do want those larger pieces now Gemma, your experience with kind of trying to source these in i mean these are huge individual pieces aren't they yeah they are they are you know in, in when you go looking for pieces you find maybe the odd really large piece in boutiques and with you know, four-figure price tags on. Absolutely. Um, but I went round all the stores in the in the markets um, and asked for what they had underneath, you know, in the trays. Absolutely. Uh, and they were bringing out pieces, you know, this sort of size, maybe a bit <sighs> smaller, but they were, they were um, still had skin on or they were, you know, not necessarily the beautiful clarity like these yeah. have got. And, you know, I was paying, I, well, I did pay sort of between 25 and 30 five pounds ish per oh, little piece i bought wow just to be able to get those un not unfinished but you know they're not not perfect they're organic and, yeah. and and things like that which you know i love those but yeah. i just do love the organic shapes. they are just incredible and when you look at this strand you're getting approximately two four six as approximately eight on the strand look at these think to yourself what would i do with these incredible now i just want to show you something to start off with we are at 99.99 let's just divide that shall we because you're getting approximately eight on the strand making each one of these genuine baltic amber pieces ranging in size from 13 by 16 to 21 by 13 in size 12 pounds 50 a piece now i have got a decent quantity of these i i, I and i knew this was going to happen i've got loads droves and droves and droves of you in baskets if you are happy at 99.99 please can i urge you to check your baskets out beautiful jewelry that's been made by our budding beaders amazing Theoretically, I'm, I'm looking at this, this gorgeous necklace. I mean, you can look at any of these pieces that Adam's showing us here today, which our budding beads have made. They've said it was silver with rose gold and with yellow gold. Those earrings there, I would sell for more than the entire strand is at the minute. I mean, 100%. I would, you know, have no qualms at all at selling those earrings for, you know, over, you know, 120, 130, 140 pounds. What we're going to do, I've got a very quick um, 
and the clip that I want to show you. This is Steve Bennett, the founder of Gemporia, out in, um, out in Poland, um, talking about the age of this incredible gem and why that makes this so different to other um, varieties of amber. Also, he's joined by Marius as well, who's the head of um, um, uh, Jello, who are based out in uh, Poland. Have a listen to this. When we come back, we're going to bring you a clock and we're going to bring you a huge, huge saving. Have a look at this. Marius has been my uh, expert on amber for many years, and uh, I've been getting it wrong about how old am amber is. Yeah, because... Uh... You can't test amber by any physical or chemical method. You only can test it by, by the, the place where you find it, uh, what kind of rocks it's in and what, what's above it. Yeah. That's how you can estimate that it's minimum 45 million years of age. But the top, top uh, age it can be is even 175 million years of age. Yeah, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. So without being able to carbon date the gemstone, uh, all those stories, in fact, I've been very wrong in all the articles I've written because I've been looking and talking to people about the Baltic as it comes in uh, from the shore here. But inland, they've now dated it as a minimum of 40 to 45 million years old. Yeah, the minimum can be guaranteed. Yeah. The, the, the maximum age, we don't know. Yeah, a lot more than that. Yeah. Dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> this family run business effectively creates a brand new washing machine every one to two weeks. And what happens is they take a steel and they push that steel 10 meters down into the soil. And at the end of the pole, you can see the father there, at the end of the pole, he's got the hose and the hose is circulating the soil within the drum that they've created. And over a week or so, that's gonna be pushing all the soil through the net in the vain hope of finding a few pieces of beautiful amber. I have to say, uh, I, uh, and, and, and we were just talking about this actually when we were looking at the clips, the only reason why we've got this particular variety of amber, these kind of sizes, these kind of shapes, these kind of enormous organic pieces of amber is because of the um, really great relationship that we have with Maris and the team over in um, Poland. We're able to negotiate much harder. We're able to, um, uh, you know, uh, get bigger quantities as well. The kind of quantities that we will buy here at the Gemporia Group are you know, are fantastic. And it's an ongoing relationship where we have a direct input to what we get here at Jewelry Maker. These take months to put together, these strands, and I'm so pleased we're able to bring them to you today. Now, as it stands at the minute, we're looking at, per gem on this strand, £12.50. We've got a 60-second clock, OK? There's about eight on the strand, we are going to go, in a minute's time, we're going to go to the lowest ever price. Now, this is a reordered strand. This strand, um, uh, when we originally uh, purchased, well, commissioned this strand, we had about um, 100 chances available. We, we are able today to take this down to the lowest price point this strand has ever been taken down to, okay? But remember, £12.50 per gem is where we are at the minute. Keep that in mind for that there. Mm. I mean, move the decimal point, in my, in my opinion, £125 for that. I mean, I can absolutely see it all day long. Beautiful, quality, genuine. And I have to say, that is the word. It's genuine. The fact that it's, it's the real deal. Quantity-wise, I wish we had more. Um, I've already got multi-bidders coming through to get this. Your price is coming in. Okay, we're taking this down to the lowest price this strand has ever and probably will ever go to. Yours today, $34.99, making each one of these stones £4.37 in price. That is is amazing. That's how we do it here on Jewelry Maker. And I just huge congratulations to absolutely everyone coming through to get this. Maker in Greater London's now bought three. Sue in Buckinghamshire's now bought two. I've got so many people with this in their baskets. And let's face mm -hmm. it, Gemma, the jewelry which are, uh, one of the things I love so much about the jewelry which are in-house designers, mate, lovely Anne mm -hmm. and Sue, 
their jewelry is always hugely wearable yeah and achievable yeah and the pieces which are made are are are, are achievable to make you can make these with very little jewelry making knowledge and yeah. and i think that they understand that sometimes when yeah, it, it, it it's great when you see the beautiful kind of very kind of off the wall avant-garde pieces but i think really if you're going to be doing a deal of the day and you want to show how achievable how easily this can be made into jewelry this is this is it this is yeah. the case in point isn't it yeah it is and you'll find you know these are like you said the most commercially um saleable pieces so craft fairs and things like that these are gonna just fly out especially at the prices you'll be able to sort mm. of afford to sell them at absolutely you know, um but yeah, just absolutely beautiful jewelry, and you know that you don't have to do much with them anyway. This is do it. you? I mean, yeah. they would look great if you wanted to do ornate beading with them because they're going they're, they'll stand proud because they're so large. But keeping them simple also works. And this is it. When you've got a gemstone of this caliber, when you've got gemstones um, uh, quality of this caliber. When you've got gemstones of this caliber, the jewelry doesn't have to be complicated. It is so simple and so achievable. Let the gemstone do the talking. And as Gemma says, you don't have to do much with these because they, they give so much just in what just in what they are, their size, their shape. They're, they're just beautiful organic pieces that you're getting here. And honestly, if you get, if you see deals like this anywhere else, you know, with the kind of prices which are, you know, you know, you know, they're claiming it's genuine amber. In, in my opinion, and in my in my kind of experience with amber, if prices look too good to be true, they quite often are. I know, and you can trust jewellery makers' quality. You can trust the quality that we are bringing you here today. It's all been independently tested mm -hmm. um, uh, by, independ uh, by an independent, uh, independent laboratory. And also, just to let you know as well, Jello um, provide and, and, and supply amber all around the world to lots and lots of different retailers, not just Gemporia, but, you know, lots of different retailers out there. They really are so good at what they uh, do. And it's the gold standard of your Baltic Amber that you've got uh, um, here today. I've got so many people coming through to get this at thirty four ninety nine. Yeah, you could be, you, you could get about three strands um, at this price point, um, uh, you know, based on where we started at 99.99, and a big chunk of them went. We started with 100. We've got about a quarter of the stock left. You're doing so well. So many multi bidders coming through. Um, well done. Um, multi bidders in Hampshire, in uh, in Nottinghamshire, in Buckinghamshire, in London, in Moray, in um, oh my word, Suffolk, in Devon, in in uh, Kent. So many multi bidders coming through today. That's great. Loads in baskets. Well done, everybody. That is so simple, but so, just so pretty. Yeah. And you think you can make that pendant there for, what, about six pounds. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> unbelievable, isn't it? It really is. It really yeah. is. And the thing is, Gemma, is that I think, I think we could have bought that strand to wear at 99.99 and it would have, you know... You, you know, a load of them, a load of them would have gone. But you know how we work, and, and mm -hmm. I, I think if you've been watching Jewelry Maker for a long time, you know how we work as well. We look at these pieces and we think, let's pass that direct saving on to you, the viewer, because we want you to come back. Yeah. Um. Now this next strand is brand new. Oh, here we go, Julie. Brilliant deal. Thank you, Jay. Oh, Julie, absolute pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Now part two. I'm just going to show you. I'm going to show you this one just to start off with, because this is the one that really has caught my eye. I mean, they all have. But look at that. It's like a fire in a gem, isn't it? Yeah. Gorgeous, isn't it? It's like going through a, a, you know, a tunnel really fast, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that they sort of lead you in. Proper tunnel vision. Gorgeous. Ah. And who knows what you will see inside your amber. Sometimes you can see mosquitoes, bits of bits of tree bark, bits of vegetation, maybe the old pine needle. This colour of amber has become very, very popular on Jewelry Maker. The more I'm around this colour, Gemma, the more I the more I love it. I, I yeah. really am starting to love this even more. And I never thought I'd love it as much as the cognac colours, but uh, because mm. of its kind of lack of clarity. But the colour is like it's like melted butter. It's gorgeous, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is gorgeous. I love it, and it, it's very. It feels very contemporary when you put it into jewellery, and I yes. love that. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, you've got three colours in here. Oh my word! You've got cognac. 
you've got your beautiful um, uh, uh, butterscotch and you've got the cherry colour as well, which is just, oh, it just feels so good. It's a brand new strand. It's a brand new idea that we've got here for you today. Similar quantity of this one available. I've got about 100 chances available here. I'll show you this alongside the cognac ones. Now, the cognac ones that we bought you as a deal of the day, slightly larger pieces. But with this one, two, four, six, eight, ten. With this one, though, you're getting 12 on the strand. So really, it, it, it's as long as it is short. You're getting, you're getting more on this but slightly smaller beads and you're getting less on this, but slightly larger beads. So it's really up to you. The two strands together. I mean, of course they go together. It's the same gem. Um, it's absolutely amazing, isn't it? And you don't find butterscotch in many places. Butterscotch amber being very, very popular over in the Far East, but becoming more popular in the UK because of Jewelry Maker, right? I swear, you know, it's because of Jewelry Maker. Um, I'm, I'm, I seem to be seeing more of the butterscotch kind of colors and it gives you that same kind of feel. Slightly more unisex as well, I think, the cherry and the butterscotch. Um, beautiful quality. Yours today. Enjoy. Shall we do it? Shall we match the price? Let's do it. $34.99, matching the price point of the, of the first initial strand. Well done. Very popular. Maker and Kent's bought three. Maker and Sussex has bought two. Loads of multi-bidders coming through. Any particular designs that you think the colours would be, would be good for? You know, is there a design you'd use? the cognac in but not necessarily the the butterscotch in or vice versa or any particular pieces no i don't think so i mean they always always i always think of honey so then i'm thinking bees and mm. flowers and yeah. things like that it always makes me think like that but these organic shapes i sort of think of like pieces with movement and yeah. like quite bold statement pieces yeah put definitely. them all together both strands all together I think the only, the, only, the only thing I'd say with the cognac is I, I almost want to have it away. I'd, I'd have to make a bracelet and ring and all that kind of stuff. But any that I had left over, I'd have to put them into a piece of jewelry where they're away from the skin so the light mm -hmm. can kind of get through them and get into them. That works out to £2.91 per gem. It's amazing. Isn't, isn't that amazing? It's For the amazing. real deal. The amount of amber out there, which isn't real, which is fake, which is synthetic, which is just, oh, just not. It, 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 and, and, and the way you can tell, um, uh, well, there's a couple of different ways you can tell, but uh, one of the uh, most, most popular ways of, uh, of, of working out if your amber is real or not is by uh, doing the hot needle test. So you basically get a needle and you heat it up in a flame. Obviously, you know, make sure it's safe. And you heat it up in a flame and you press it onto a piece of amber. Don't put it directly over where you want to set the amber because otherwise you'll be left with a bit of a... A funny mark on it but the smell that you get from real amber genuine amber it smells um quite aromatic it's like a frankincense smell it's a beautiful smell whereas if it's if it's if it's fake um excuse me amber it will smell really horrible like a plasticky like a burning plastic smell which is really unpleasant so that's the hot needle test that's one of the most popular and, and one of the kind of most concrete ways of finding out whether you've got genuine amber or not but uh, this has all been tested but by all means do the hot needle test if you want to um, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, you can give them a rub as well, and the warmer they get, they kind of release that beautiful scent, that gorgeous kind of frankincense um, 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 smell. And oh yeah, lovely, absolutely gorgeous. And and, and they do. They uh, they are. A, a, it's a very very tactile gem, and it feels very different to other mm. gemstones, doesn't it? It, does. it doesn't feel cold, does it? No, no, it's really warm and well, it's resiny. It's that sort of feel, isn't it? It's, mm. It's gorgeous feel. Beautiful. Very, very light. And great for your mala pieces as well at those kind of prices. Amazing. Well done, everyone. Now, we've got loads of amber to get through. Yeah. Oh, my word. These are brand new. These are stunning. Oh, right. Okay. I've got about 50 opportunities here. Okay. So, half-drilled amber. Okay. That's, that, that is difficult to achieve. Okay. And now I'm going to show you backs. Oh, but if, I've, if we've got backs, you must have, must have, must have, must have earrings, must have, must have a front. Okay. You've got the most gorgeous hoop. Okay. Beautiful hoop with a beautiful solid uh, ball on the end. And then you've got this. Now this... Get your hoop. There we go. Got your little pin and you get your amber. I'm not going to attempt to kind of put, put the pin in the, in the hole just now. But you glue. There you are. Glue that in using your two-part epoxy. Mm -hmm. And you've made yourself 
a pair of amber hoop earrings. Oh my word, now these are contemporary, aren't they? Yeah, they're oh. gorgeous. They are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Because, oh. you know, for me, I've, I've always got my gold sleepers in and it's nice to be able to have something like that that I can just slide onto my existing sleepers and, yeah. and, and just oh. interchange them. I am absolutely in love with these, Gemma. And do you know what's going to be so great about these? They're so easy to make. I'm literally just holding the amber on there just so you can see roughly what it will look like. But mm. roughly, 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 yeah. yeah Isn't gorgeous. that gorgeous? And, of course, you will glue that on there using your two-part epoxy glue, your piper cement glue, maybe? Piper cement would be fine, yeah. I, I'd say two-part epoxy is really good because yeah. it, it will adhere really well and um, in with resin. Yes. Because... The, the, the amber is technically a resin. Yes, so. exactly, yeah. I can't... Uh, how much are these, Neary? No! Right, OK, one of the quickest makes you will ever, ever, ever get. And of course, you're getting the pair. So, yes, you are going to be getting a pair of the earring backs, a pair of the earring hoops, and you're also going to be getting... Um, uh, you're also going to be getting uh, the two ambers as well. Now, what kind of price point are you expecting these to be? The ambers look so good, don't they? Um, how much would just the hoops be? Let's 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 move these, shall we? Because these um, yellow gold plated sterling silver hoops. I mean, they are really nice earrings, aren't they? Yeah, they're they're really, lovely. They're lovely earrings. Yeah. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous. And of course, you've got the opportunity to use this with lots of different gemstones, lots of different half drawer gemstones. Maybe your oh, we've only got got them made up. Thank you, lovely Hannah. Hero Hannah. Did you, Hannah? Quickly uh, knock these bad boys up. There we go. So here we go. Let's hold the earrings up, shall we? I don't think she did. I think someone else did. Did I, Buffalo? Um, here we go. So that's how they're going to sit. Oh, they are looking good, aren't they? Oh, hello. Here we go. There you are. Look. Oh, whoa. Oh, my word. They look absolutely gorgeous, don't they? They're so good. Mm. I just love the way they look. They're, they're so simple. Yeah. Such a simple design. And look at the way that the amber just moves freely. And, of course, it's so easy to take those off as well. Once it's on the hoop, it's on the hoop. And, you know, unless you take the earring back off, you know, they're, not, you know, they're going to be nice and secure on there. Let's give you a minute, a minute's clock. OK, here we go. Get involved as quickly as you can. Absolutely wonderful pair of earrings here. And yes, just to let you know, we do have these in sterling silver and in the rose gold plated silver as well with different colours of amber. We've got the lemon amber as well uh, coming up. So in 45 seconds, the price is going to uh, come on screen. I've only got about 50 pairs of these available. OK, so it's going to be first come, first serve. And uh, they're brand new. So anybody, anybody who's watching now, do, do, do get these as soon as you can. Oh, I just love them. I love the way they move. Mm. They just look so good. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everyone. 0800 644 or get involved on our website, jurymaker.com. Here we go. Oh, I know no one knows what price point these are going to. What do you reckon? 29.99, 34.99 maybe? Mm. Surely not under 24, 25 pounds. Surely not. Surely not under 20. <gasps> oh, 11.99. There you go. 11 pounds and 99 pence. They are seriously good looking. I, and they're so easy to make, aren't they, Gemma? Yeah, yeah. That, that's an amazing price. What a lovely gift. I know, like, yeah. Just think it would be lovely for my mum. She'd like and, those. And something which you've mentioned before as well, Gemma, mm. with, with uh, you know, these make great commercial pieces of yeah. jewellery. I think I quite often associate amber, and I'm, uh, only because of what I've seen in the past, amber's quite a, can be quite... Um, Quite, uh, some of the designs can be quite classical, can't they? Yeah, it's a um, definite style that sort of accompanies. Yeah, um, kind of amber. Celtic maybe. Yeah, or, yeah. Uh, but what's so lovely about these is they are they're really contemporary, aren't yeah. they? They're kind of modern day classics, aren't they? Yeah. I think more designers are picking up on amber mm. now as well, which is making it more classic and more appealing to sort of a broader group of people. Definitely. It's de these are just absolutely lovely. That price is amazing. Isn't it? Just yeah. a great. Well done, everyone. Oh, loads of people coming through. These ones are about to sell out. Well done. 0800 644 655. We'll get involved on our website, jurymaker.com. Loads of people coming through. You're doing such a phenomenal job today. Well done. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Well done. You're right in there, Neary. I know loads in baskets. Don't don't leave them don't leave them in your baskets. 
Oh, my word. Don't leave them in your baskets. Do check out as soon as you can. Well done, everyone. That amber looks so good, doesn't it? They're just gorgeous. Well done. What a great deal for you today. Well done. Yes, let's do the rose gold ones now. I noticed we've got Bruce in the gallery. Hello, Bruce. Good morning. It's, uh, it's Gemma Crow's birthday today. Would you like to wish Gemma a happy birthday, uh, Bruce? No. No. <laughs> I was going to say, you didn't, you didn't give much choice there, really, did you? <laughs> oh. No. oh, Bruce, you fill my heart with joy. Did the sunshine this weekend not, not improve your mood slightly, Bruce? No. Oh, dear me, it's all rather awkward and frosty in here, I have to say. <laughs> uh, so this time, <laughs> rose gold plated sterling silver so i've just put the little loop oh hannah look at this she's good isn't she? she's so good literally been making jewelry all weekend just for today's show haven't you love oh it's Anne and sue there you go just take the credit i would yeah here we go so i'm just trying to hold those in place there we go oh my word that looks they look so good don't they oh <gasps> Amazing, amazing deal for you today. Here we go, everyone. Only about 50 of these ones available as well. That cherry amber looks so good, doesn't it? It does. It, does. it really suits that rose gold, doesn't it? Mmm. It's so rich and so beautiful. 11 99 There you are, my lovelies. Gorgeous. There's your deal today. Well done. Sorry, I'm just holding like this because if I don't, then they just, then they end up falling back. But they're gorgeous. Oh. So beautiful. Nice. Rachel, Susan, Maker, Julia, Christine, well done to you. Bruce, Bruce, I thought Bruce was coming up with a lovely comment then. He said, you know, I get these, I get these for friends I haven't seen for a long time. And then I'd see them and sell them off for 60 quid a pair. <laughs> it's harsh, isn't he? The but, but you know what? If you are somebody who's uh, going to be, do, you know, you're going to be doing your craft fairs moving forward, you know, heading towards maybe the end of the year. I don't know when we're going to be able to do that. Maybe from June. I don't know. I don't know what the restrictions are or when they're kind of going to be lifted ever so slightly. But if you're doing an outdoor craft event, something like that, being able to get these, they're going to take you just a few minutes to make. They can really bulk up your craft stall yeah. with very, very kind of quick makes, can't they? Absolutely. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And quality as well. And you're not going to be selling them for 11 Definitely Don't be silly. Don't be silly. Now, these are going to fly. These. Oh. Lemon amber. Hannah made these as well. I know. She's amazing. <laughs> it is actually Anne and Sue, our lovely in-house designers. Oh, Gosh, imagine them absolutely fuming in their studio upstairs. It was us! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we know, lovelies, don't worry. Sterling silver and lemon amber. This is so fresh, isn't it? That is. It, it's so summer, isn't it? Just, oh. Yeah. This is gorgeous. Here we go. So sterling silver, lemon amber. The phone lines have gone wild for these. Loads of people in baskets. They're gorgeous, aren't they? So Absolutely amazing. They are. And they're the sort of thing that can go from day to night as well, can't they? You can wear them really casually mm. with your jeans and, you know, your vest tops. And then for the evening, you could yeah. have them with your maxi dresses. or your, Absolutely. You know. Smart cash, as Neary yeah. just said. Yeah. He should know. Uh, it's, it's absolutely true. Well done. Uh, they're so beautiful. And great to be able to wear on holiday as well. You could, if you wanted to, um, use this idea as well to be able to use these beautiful earring findings here as little vehicles for other half-drilled gems that you've got. Yeah. Maybe beautiful pearls. Yeah. Um, maybe for gems which aren't half-drilled, but, you know, you've made the little charms. Um, you could do little birthstone stone ones, couldn't you? Yeah. It's nice to have this... You know, the earrings findings. Let me just show you those as, a, as, that, as that vehicle. And this is what our buying team is so good at. You know, being able to say, um, you know, being able to say, um, you know, this is, this, is, this is what we want. This is the kind of design that we want. And, and not kind of settling for second best. You can tell that we've had a direct input when it comes to designing these pieces. Everything from the shininess of the gorgeous silver to the beautiful little ball on the end as well. Making them so versatile. Loads of people still coming through. That's great. Well done. People checking their baskets out. That's wonderful to see. Well done. 0800 644 655. We're going to vote on our website, jewelrymaker.com. Well done, everyone. Ho! Yeah! Jewelry! Jewelry making! Jewelry making on Jewelry Maker! Oh, my word. Double drilled? <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh. Dear me. 
Here we go. That's lovely. Okay, so on, on this side, it's beautiful and flat and shiny and double drilled. But on this side, oh, look, at that. look at that. Yeah, they'd be great in that bracelet I did oh. earlier with the leather cord. Oh my gosh, you're absolutely right. Just maybe just one and then other gems around other gems. it. You know, just keep it really high end with just one. Yeah, the citrine maybe. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Um, oh my word, so in here. Love those. This bad boy has only been to wear once before. Double drilled. So why is it so great to have a double drilled amber? It means you can you can sort of when it makes it stabilizes the gem, so they they'll lay flat and in line, which you know like they are there. Yeah. They look amazing. But also, if you wanted to do some sort of beading technique where you stagger them, make them into brickwork patterns. Oh, nice. Then you could do that too. Yes. You can have sort of. A double row necklace or a double row bracelet oh. use them almost like spacer bars mm -hmm. you know so there's there's so many options when you've got those two drill holes and you don't have to use them both you can just use yeah use the one and just yeah, so you know amazing. as well the, the spaces you're getting there are all sterling silver as well so mm -hmm. you know you've, it, 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 it's a win-win situation even if you were to make the simplest stretchy bracelet using this as you say having the mm -hmm. two drill holes just give the gives the gem a bit more stability yeah um I, I, I love double drill gems. I think they're absolutely beautiful. And you've got some gorgeous colours here. You've got the white amber, you've got the butterscotch amber, and you've got the gorgeous earthy amber as well. So three of the more unusual colours in this um, gorgeous round. Amazing. $34.99. And, 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 and also, just so that you know, when you're drilling amber as well, you can't drill it from one side to the other. You have to drill it from both sides, and the drills meet in the middle. Because if you drill it from one side to the other, the, where the drill bit comes out, will crack the gem uh, so you want to be able to go in it from 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 either side and then the drill hole meets in the middle it's a really difficult way and labor intensive way to drill gems but with amber it, it needs it you know it has to you have to have that extra investment into making sure that you finish the job properly maker in london irina well done to you my lovely um uh, well done to belinda penny maker in kent's got two ethel christina well done to you Fantastic. Well done. $34.99. Now, we've got a star buy coming up next um, with uh, the beautiful pendant carved butterfly, uh, which is coming up in just a couple of seconds. And we've got the earrings as well coming up as well. Should we go to that right now? Star buy, star buy, star buy. word here we go ah oh, oh, carved that. amber butterfly isn't that gorgeous that's very pretty yeah that's a lovely carving isn't it it really is would you leave it as is would you use it with oh look i've got the beautiful pin setting here Come on, mate, in you go. Can't see the hole. Oh my gosh, there we go. Would you use it with a peg setting? Would you claw set it? Would it be the centre to something? Maybe a gorgeous, you could make it into an awesome ring, couldn't you? You could, yeah. I mean, oh. it's up to you, isn't it? You can use that setting. I mean, that's going to look gorgeous on a, on a necklace, mm. on a chain. But you could also, you know, sort of like the, because the wings have got that lovely that lovely shape and it gives it the perfect points for a claw setting like you yes. said so you could sort of set it on the center of a bangle that would oh. look lovely as well oh my it? word yeah that would be that would be a lovely way of setting it, it it's got this beautiful domed yeah uh quality to it as well and and it, it's interesting um you know marius um quite often says you know we set just amount the right of uh, just the right amount of sterling silver with our pieces we give you just the right amount of amber and i have to say i think that they're so generous with the yeah. amounts that they give us in both respects yeah. um uh, and the fact that you've got that domed finish it adds so much to the amber it gives your amber a really beautiful um a really beautiful glow and of course that's just because of the beautiful um uh, domed top that you get loads in baskets I'll honestly, I honestly look at this. I haven't got a clue what kind of price point this should be going down to. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before anywhere else. Yeah. Oh, wow. $29.99. Now that 
Now that's a really, really, really good price. It's amazing. Yeah, isn't that awesome? It's not your deal today. We're going to go even lower. Imagine the piece of amber that this would have been carved from as well. You know, an enormous piece of genuine Baltic amber um, uh, uh, would have would have been the kind of the beginnings of this incredible piece. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Well done. Okay. Guess what? We're going to go a little bit lower. Are you ready? Let's go lower. Baltic cognac umber. It's carved into this gorgeous butterfly shape. I want to see some more of these moving forward. I'd love to see some more animals uh, moving forward. That'd be absolutely gorgeous. Maker, Melter, Angela, Christine's got three, Elizabeth, Sandra, Claire, Angela, loads of people already coming through. That's great to see. Another really quick make, another, mm -hmm. you know, the kind of piece which, you know, there's going to be, obviously, you know, if you're selling your pieces on, there's going to be pieces which have taken you, you know, weeks to make or days, hours and hours and hours to make. Um, and then you'll want to have, um, you'll want to have pieces as well. Um, on your store, which have taken you next to no time to make at all, because it all kind of helps to balance it out a little bit more, doesn't it? We're at 29.99 at the minute, and in 20 seconds' time, we're going to take the price point down. Already, lots of people coming through. How about we take this below? I don't know, 20. <gasps> oh, how about we go under 20 pounds? How about how about we go lower than 19.99? Lower than 17.99? Lower than 16? Lower than 15? Here's your deal. £14.99. pence. That is the most un-14.99 piece of amber I think I've ever seen. And it's genuine and Baltic amber that you're getting here today. Amazing. Irina, Sharon, Karen, Maker, Anne, Carol, Maker, Elizabeth, Angela. Oh, my word. So many people. This is incredible. Well done. Under £15. I, 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 the sky's the limit with something like this. It's such a wonderful place to start, isn't it, Gemma? Yeah. Wow. That, that's an incredible price. I it, yeah. honestly can't get over that price. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Yeah. That, that, uh, where else would you get carved amber like that for exactly. a start? But then you'd be paying a huge premium for it, I think. If I, you know, <laughs> that's amazing. And imagine the skill set involved in carving something like this yeah. as well. You know, this isn't like carving, um, you know, or, or, or faceting or lapidry. This is, this is, this is, this isn't like carving another gemstone. This is such a soft gem, mm -hmm. which, which doesn't really like being faceted or carved, you know, because it gets very, very hot and it's at risk of kind of almost physically melting. And what you've got here is something which has been such care and attention has been applied to this gemstone, such a skill set. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely flying out the door. Well done. Fourteen ninety nine doesn't surprise me at all. Now we do have... Did you see we got some earrings as well? Oh, whoa. Baby, baby. We've got some earrings coming up now as well. Should we do those now, lovey? Lots of multi bidders still coming through for those. Well done. Mm. It should be another star, but I don't think, I don't, I don't think we've got a time to dilly-dally around with any of your star buy stings. We've got to go all in or all out or whatever. You up for that, Bruce? Oh, he is. Bruce is, okay, Bruce is, Bruce is, Bruce is committed. You say yes. This is good. Yeah, he's Bruce is happy about this. Wow. Well, well, I think happy is a bit of a strong word, but not annoyed. Quite receptive. There we go. Ah, oh, right. I need to put these on the desk, really, don't I? There you are. There you are, Chloe. So you can see those a bit better now. Uh, so what you've got here, uh, you've got your pegs, your pins, and I love these earring findings uh, backs, by the way. I love these. They're so lovely. Mm. They feel really nice in your ear. Turn them around. Oh, wow. hello. <gasps> oh, lovely. Aren't they gorgeous? They're so cute. Aren't they just? <gasps> Look at the quality. Aren't oh, they lovely. just? Proper gifts. Proper gifts. Christine's got six pairs in her basket. Well done. Use them as a pendant if you want to, or as a little charm, couldn't you? Yeah. You don't absolutely have to use... Oh, there you go. Fourteen ninety nine. Now, that is an amazing deal. That's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. How are you feeling about that price point today, Bruce? It is very low. You're quite right. Very, very low. I, d I don't know. He does like to play a, uh, a fair price for his items, don't you, Bruce? What's with all the deals? Exactly. That's what I'd like to know as well, Bruce. Um, but honestly, they are just gorgeous. And um, whether you're going to be wearing them as earrings or whether you're, or whether you're going to be, um, uh, what well, you could quite easily turn this into a little charm, couldn't you, Gemma? Just by turning yeah. the back, turning the little pin over into a loop, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, you, you just yeah, literally roll the loop 
mm. or even make them into tiny appendants, you know. But they're, they're gorgeous. Yeah, that would be a really lovely idea. Into a little pendant, you've got mother and, mother and daughter jewellery, um, you know, or mother and son jewellery, you know, being able to kind of use the larger butterfly and then the little one as well. But look how they've been, it's literally just been, it's been applied to the back. You know, everything has been thought about here. You just easily make a little loop out of that pe uh, peg there. Uh, and then pop it with the... Where's the other one? Where are you, mate? Here you are. Here you are, love. Yay! Pop it with the... The larger one! That is a beautiful <gasps> suite. I mean, you can have a suite of jewellery there, even when you add in your, your chain. Uh-huh. For less, for less than £40. Yes! You know, a whole suite of amber yeah. jewellery. Mm. Which is amazing. Yeah, definitely. Gorgeous. Well done. £14.99 for the big uh, butterfly, and then £14.99 for the pair of... Oh, Quite beautiful amber earrings. Get the suite for under £30 today. Well done. And as a suite of jewellery, you know that the kind of price point that that's going to be able to sell for as well. You know, just amazing. A suite of jewellery for a sweet deal, says Neri. Never has it ever sounded so wrong. Words coming out of somebody's mouth that just don't suit them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Give me the sweet deals. Yo. <coughs> Yo. To my mother. <laughs> Yo. Do you know what I've had? My husband loves... My husband loves um, kind of all sorts of music. Well, one of the... He loves... Um, he loves NWA. And I won't, I won't quote any of it. But I caught him yesterday afternoon. He loves NWA. He was folding up his washing. <laughs> um, singing NWA. But in the best... RP accent you've ever heard. And I said, yo! And it was just, it was just, it was the funniest thing ever. And he loves, he just loves doing it. Bit of a, <laughs> bit of gangster rap in a lovely, in a lovely, <laughs> cruising down the street. Yeah! And it's just, it's just the funniest thing ever. <laughs> oh, I just love him. Anyway, right. Who You're a that? fan of NWA, are you? Uh, do you do the same thing as well, Adam? <gasps> this is brilliant. I love it. I just love it. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Baltic cognac amber coins. <gasps> oh, look at these. <laughs> Amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. Loving these coins. Now, these are so fantastic. Look at this. Oh. <gasps> Now, why are these so amazing? Look at the drill hole on these, Gemma Crow. I know, they're lovely, aren't they? They stack up so beautifully. <gasps> they, and they look great just on the end of a head pin. You just have them staggered in length for earrings and things like that. They look awesome. Oh, yes. Absolutely. I mean, the skill involved in, in cutting these into the... Oh, look, at oh, that looks so gorgeous. Mm. But drilling them like this, it, 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 it's an absolute masterclass, isn't it? This is just amazingness. And, of course, the way they're going to sit on your wrist as well. Oh, just look at them all layering. Larry, Larry, Larry. Oh, look at them. Don't they look amazing? They do. You get so many on that strand because of how they're You stacked. do, yeah. Yeah, absolutely loads of them. Mm. Gorgeous. And the drill holes on these are actually quite generous. If you did want mm -hmm. to put these on elastic, you could. And, you know, make a, a, an amazing elasticated bracelet with these. Beautiful. A gorgeous stretcher. Here we go. 39.99. Oh, just look, look at the way they fall. Mm. Don't they look gorgeous? I love them. I love them. Beautiful. 39.99. Well done. <gasps> Oh, they're so gorgeous. And also, um, when you consider the amount of different colours that amber comes in, isn't it amazing that this entire strand, they're all pretty much identical in colour, aren't they? Mm. Which is, makes it a really special strand. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. You know, they'd be great on the end of the wrap bracelets as well as the buttons, wouldn't they? <gasps> yes, great because idea. Of that angle as well, you're going to really get, you know, get a good angle to loop the leather over. Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. Mm. Well done. Ah, slider. Here we go. Oh, yeah, here we go. So beautiful sliding class bracelet. These are just, they're in a league of their own. Ah, oh, nearly hearts this. He loves it. It's lovely, isn't it? You've got your beautiful sterling silver and cylindrical box chain. 
There's your slider. And of course, what that means is you can take that bracelet or necklace off and put it back on yourself, which is great. You don't have to rely on anyone to help you. Um, uh, you've also got um, your two loops here. Now, put whatever you like in the middle of these loops. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Oh, yeah. One of these bad boys. Mm. Or three of these bad boys, one in each colour, maybe the butterscotch, the cognac and the gorgeous cherry. It's entirely up to you. Um, and then you've got these two beautiful heart-shaped amber um, beads at the bottom, which act as stoppers. They look so good, don't they? And they're really nice and um, chunky, aren't they? You don't need to put uh, amber in the middle, but I, I'm, just, I'm just suggesting. But a um, great combination for amber, great kind of companion for amber is pearls, uh, mm -hmm. jadeites. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, even wow. you can like personalize a bar of silver to put in the middle, like a name, nice. and then just yeah. the amber um, hearts. That's there. a lovely idea, isn't it? Yeah, so not even gemstones. It's all seventeen ninety nine. These are amazing. When we first launched these um, slightly class bracelets, so not the ones with the amber in, uh, we'd launched them at kind of about $17.99, $19.99. These have got two massive amber hearts on there, and you're getting those amber hearts pretty much for free, you know, in respect mm -hmm. of kind of where we, where we um, originally launched these. They're just incredible, aren't they? All in your sterling silver quality. Well done, everyone. 0800 644 Again, involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com. Well done, everyone coming through to get these. And the amber will move freely as well if you want it to. Oh, it's so nice. Mm. Gorgeous. Well done. And, of course, the great thing about this, you don't need to know someone's wrist size, do you, when they're no. making them a piece of jewellery? No, that's a really nice spot. And also, you know, if you wanted it for a neckline piece... Those hearts are going to look lovely, sort of yeah. at the back of a neckline, especially if you've got sort of a low back. Um, oh, yes, definitely. It's an extender. Like that. That's going to look lovely. Gorgeous. Now, coming up after the break, oh, we've got the kits that will enable you to make these pieces, well, this piece here, and so much more. It's going to be a brilliant masterclass full of colour, just a really brilliant medium to get involved with, a really different medium. Oh, yes, love that. Beautiful rose. It's gorgeous. It's all coming up after the break. Now, we're going to go now to meet the guest designer. Do you know Jenna Crow? Do you want to meet her? Here she is. I'm Gemma Crow. I've been making jewellery for many many years probably since i was around 10 i made my first pair of earrings my first love is wire and metal and um, but i work with beads i love gemstones and um, i work with clays i work with leather textiles um it's just so many and it, it is easier to say what i don't i don't work with um metal clays um but that's about it really <laughs> I love jewellery making because it's a really tactile, easy way to express my creativity. Of all the crafts and all the arts that I love, jewellery making is probably my favourite. I take inspiration from so many places. People, mainly. I love people, I love characters, um, I love costume. In particular, I think I love the 20s style of jewellery and I love the Art Deco and Art Nouveau. I, I just love those shapes and tessellations and things like that. They always fascinate me. What is my favourite gemstone? That, that honestly, that is such a tough question. It changes every time I get a new gemstone. But I think I have to say, I'm going to stick with some firm favourites that always stay with me and that is Appetite, Neon Blue Appetite. I adore it. I adore garnet and pretty much all the variety of Jasper. I love Jewelry Maker because it gives me the opportunity to indulge all of the different mediums that I love and really experiment uh, with new techniques and new um, products and new materials. So in terms of my job, I absolutely love my job at Jewelry Maker. But Jewelry Maker um, on a wider scale is just a wonderful group of creative people all very, very passionate about gemstones, about being creative and about sharing that. And that is a wonderful thing. <music> Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker.
Jewelry makers, we have a new Facebook group dedicated to sharing your makes and jewelry making advice. To join the group, simply head over to the page and hit request. You'll then be able to share your designs with our JM community and join like-minded people. Create, wear, share. Jewelry makers, did you know that no matter how many times you purchase, no matter how many times you check out, you only pay one postage and packaging per day. Say that you've purchased an item during our morning show and then decide to buy something else later on in the afternoon. As long as all of your products have been purchased within the same day by midnight, your orders will all be combined and your postage and packaging will work out at that of just a single fee. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Oh, have we got a beautiful masterclass for you right now or what? Um, this is a, a brilliant medium. I do love doing mediums like this on Jewelry Maker. I love, I love beading and wire work and it's, and it's fantastic. It's a brilliant, um, um, it, you know, they are brilliant mediums. But what I love so much about these is this is kind of alchemy, isn't it? This is kind of mm. crafting. This is creating something um, and using something that changes state as well, which I think is really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. It goes from being a a liquid to a solid and I think mm -hmm. that kind of chemistry is just is is so is so interesting yeah. um, and of course the possibilities I know you wish you'd have had longer with these kits because the possibilities yeah. are literally endless yeah and it's lovely that we've got it now so now we've got it and we've got the suppliers and everything then we can do more and more and we can keep yes. building on the sort of projects we do so this is a great place to start with mm. this doming and, and doming oh. resin you get these gorgeous enamel effects so it's you know, it looks just like enamel. It feels just like enamel. Mm. But we're doing, we're doing sort of the easy version that you could do at your kitchen table. Oh. You know, because enameling is really difficult process. It is, yeah. Um, and so this, you can get those effects, but but just you know, literally at your at your craft table. It's lovely. The shine and the colour that you get, it is very, um, very, very much like it. Would you mind turning that necklace? Yes. Is that, is that is it, next to you? Just because it's it, so shiny. It oh, no, it's the next one. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Beautiful. It's like a beautiful Tudor rose, but like a contemporary version of yes. it. It's yeah. Just gorgeous, Gemma. Yeah, it's and really simple. We've do. had so many messages this morning about this ring that I'm wearing, and I have mm. to say, I, I, I was drawn to this piece. Mm -hmm. um, a a, a, a yin-yang um, symbol. Um, it's all about balance, isn't it? It's yeah. all about kind of the balance of the balance of life, and uh, in all good there is evil, and in all evil there is good, and the kind of the balance of um, the balance within us all. And this ring, I just, it's got the right size. It's the colours are crisp, the design is really beautifully defined, and I can imagine as well a reasonably a reasonably easy piece to make as yeah. well. Yeah, really easy oh. to make. Fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's, lo it's lovely, isn't it? And that finish is gorgeous. Isn't it just? Yeah. It's that high gloss, as you say, that kind of enamel style of finish, yeah. which is different to the resin that we've had before, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, when we've got these lovely um, uh, opaque colours, mm. so that's, that really gives it that effect. And because this is doming, what it does is it draws itself up into the shape rather nice. than pulling off. Yes. And so that's why you can fill these shapes with different colours. Now... Okay, so we've got um, huh, we've got the the resin, we've got the colours. Um, the colours are amazing. Can you mix the colours, yes. Gemma? Yeah, you can mix them up just ah. like you can any you know any paint or anything like that. You can mix them up. Fantastic. So I notice on the rose one that you've done there, it's slightly pinker towards the outside yeah. of the rose, it's isn't just it? So graduated the yeah. the pink and the white and the red to get these different effects. <laughs> you use so little. Well, of this. this is it. I was going to say, how much forever. do you actually end up using? It's going to last forever. You, you'll see when I when I come to do it. I literally put the tip of a match, the tip of a cocktail stick of colour into the resin to create that depth of colour. And is it a liquid or is it more of a paste? It's a, it's a paste. It's a really thick paste. Wow. You just add the tiniest amount into your mixed resin, your ready mixed resin. So easy to control. It's not the kind of yeah. thing which is going to be just spilling spilling all over the place. No. Um, 
Uh, that's 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 great to know. I don't have the steadiest of hands, so uh, <laughs> being able to use something which is a little bit thicker and paste-like is wonderful. Yeah. So you've got your 30 gram pots of uh, resin colour paste. You've got black. You've got um, these are all opaque, by the way. You've got um, uh, black. You've got blue. You've got turquoise, white, and red. It's absolutely gorgeous. And of course, you can start to mix these colours together mm -hmm. to kind of get pinks and to get kind of lighter tones and to get your greys if you wanted to, I suppose. Um, uh, but absolutely brilliant. And we'll obviously look at this in the masterclass and learn how to do this. This is going to be very, very, yeah, but yeah, loads of people coming through already. This is going to be very, very popular indeed. Um, we're going to go straight down to the price point, give everyone the same opportunity. The only thing is, I wish we had more. I don't. I don't have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds available. I've got 97 chances and they are flying out the door. Let's get that price point all the way down for you. Already they're flying out the door. They're going to Hampshire, Nottinghamshire, County Durham, Surrey, Warwickshire, West Midlands, Greater London, County Antrim, uh, Greater London. Oh, wow. So many people coming through. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, yours today for thirty-four ninety-nine, and as you'll learn from from Gemma when we start doing the demo, these will go on and on and on and on. These uh, these yeah. uh, paste pots, which is which is brilliant to know, Gemma. Yeah, they're they're going to go such a long way. My brother uses them. You know, my brother makes furniture mm. with resin, yeah. and he uses a very similar paste to this. Um, and he, you know, he's making great big tables. Tables, yes. And he hasn't even got through a pot of of this no, yet. No, really. You know, he uses it. All the time. Oh wow! All the time. You know, he'll take maybe a teaspoonful for a, a you know, for a table for pour, a, table. a ten millimeter oh. thick pour, and you know, it still colours it with that really depth of that, you know, real solid. It's depth a of really color. strong pigment. That that's yeah. so good to know because I think sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to, you know, without without seeing the demo, it can be a little bit difficult to kind of work out. You know, how how much am I actually going to need? And Gemma says, I mean, that 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 there's beautiful. Just give us an idea, Gemma, of of the red. So you've used red in there, black in there, and white as well. No, that's that's just a red and black. That oh, word. perfect. Um, literally, literally, I've dipped my cocktail stick, the tip of my cocktail stick, into the black. Wow. That's it. And then. Um, just sort of a bit more for the red. But it's just <sighs> such tiny, tiny amounts. Wow, of, that's of fantastic. That, that, that is brilliant. I can't wait to see this because this is going to, this is really going to, as, as you say, Gemma, I wouldn't even know to, how to begin doing enamel jewellery. Um, mm. Does that, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, what's the process? Is it lots and lots of heat? Yeah, lots of heat, yeah. firing, and, yeah. and multiple layers of firing. Right, annealing. okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I've done a, I've done an evening class doing it with a, a great guy called Mark Vardy. He does a, some amazing things, mm. but um, it, it is a long process. It's hot. It needs a lot of equipment. Yes, um, you know. So this yeah, sort of this gives is you brilliant. That effect. It gives you the effect, but but you can do it yeah. in the kitchen, which is which is yeah. great. Loads of people coming through. Loads in baskets, and I knew that was going to happen, obviously, because it, you know people want to see this in action before they before you fully commit. But please, please, please be aware. We started with less than a hundred of this kit. It's absolutely flying. Um, you come through and get this. You're obviously going to need a few other things, which we've got coming up as mm -hmm. as well. Some rather unusual looking tools as well. And let's do the resin and hardener now. This is the first time I've done resin and hardener, which is jewelry maker branded. This is mm -hmm. this is really good, made in the UK. Oh, this is this is really exciting. Um, this is the kind of product which we which I, I suppose we would have previously outsourced. And what's good about this, of course, is that we're now able to bring you our own our own version of the product, which of course means means that we can bring it um, bring you really enormous amounts. You know, really really large amounts. Now you've got your dome in resin. Mm -hmm. And your hardener. This is what obviously hardens the um, uh, resin up. Um, ha again, this is going to go quite a long way, isn't it? That's going to go a really long way. Yeah. And, you know, the thing with doming resin is if you want to use your general resin for, like, filling cabochon um, mounts and things like that, yes. filling um, settings, mm. you could use your general uh, resin. And then to finish it, to put the dome the on top. the top, you could then use this. Oh, so brilliant. you don't have to use them in isolation. You can use them together. Not yeah. Don't mix them together, mm -hmm. but you can do your different layers. Very often you layer up your resin anyway. Yes. Um, so you can maybe save your doming resin for just your projects where you want to finish or cap them off. Mm. Um, and then or for your, your sort of effect that I'm going to create today with the with the cloisonne sort of yes. um, enamel effect. So, so with so with amazing. this resin as well, can you can you uh, add things to it like mm. you do sometimes with other resin, like your yeah. micas and things like yeah. that? Yeah, you can use it in the same way. It's just that it will give Brilliant. you a different finish. So whereas on normal resin, you would fill a mold and it settles flat. You know, this mm. 
will settle in a dome for you and you can pour it straight onto a flat surface and it will pull in from the edge. Brilliant, that's great. Rather than flow over. Yes, which I think a lot of people want, especially if you're going to be encasing things like photographs into mm. resin jewellery. Obviously, you seal it with some... Um, hairspray um, but 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 when you when you apply your resin to the top of photographs people want that slight domed finish it mm. kind of magnifies the photograph ever so slightly well, depends if it's off uh, but if you know if it <laughs> magnifies the photograph ever so slightly you know that's a really nice thing to be able to do um, or if you're going to be using it to encase um, uh, to encase well all sorts of different things into your resin uh, like your confetti your sand whatever it might be and um, 37.99 now um, <laughs> Of all the pieces that you've made here, and you've made quite a few pieces, Jim, I know that you haven't, you haven't had these kits for, 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 for ages and ages, but you've had them um, of, uh, for a few days. How much, how, much of the pot, how much of the bottles did you end up using? Right, so I've, I've got, because I've got the small set, I've got the 50 gram and the 25 gram. Yeah. I don't know if you can see how much I've got out of it. Oh, gosh. Next you... to nothing. Have you? So I've probably used about mm, oh, wow. eight grams altogether for these pieces. Oh, my gosh. Are these... These are going to last yeah. forever. So for these, this sort of these sort of makes. Wow. When, you, when it comes to filling um, bezels and things like that, you're going to use more. Mm. But um, for these particular pieces today, you can see just how far you can make that go. Fantastic! I can't wait for this. Um, Yours today, thirty-seven ninety-nine. This is absolutely brilliant. And and yeah, feel free to use it. Feel free to use it with your other pieces that you've used with your resin in the past. Uh, we do have the slightly smaller bottles of resin coming up. Um, yeah, I know a lot of people are holding off till they see the demo, and I and I totally get that. But please, please don't wait it, don't wait too long because we don't have hundreds of these. This is a world exclusive, by the way, and, and, and price point wise, that's so competitive. Absolutely brilliant. Well done, everybody. Um, really fantastic to see so many people coming through. That's great to see. Well done. Sue in Gloucestershire, I absolutely love the resin designs by Gemma. Such an inspiration. Happy birthday, beautiful lady. Love Sue Sue. Ah, oh, that's my lovely, that's my partner in crime, oh. Sue Sue, that is. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. It's my, um, Dabble to my babble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> or, or vice versa. Thank she's you. got such wonderful energy, hasn't she? Oh, she's beautiful. Yeah, she's such she's, a lovely lady. She's a she's a very talented, beautiful lady. Oh, there you go, Sue. Oh, thank you for your message, darling. Um, absolutely fantastic. Well done. Uh, Mandy's asking what the best mixing ratio is. So on the back here, I don't know whether this is what we go by, but it mm -hmm. says... Um, and, and this is what's so great. You know, you'll get this home. You'll probably watch this masterclass back as well on our YouTube channel. Please make the most of that. Um, and, um, and, and here are your ratios, which, of course, you can look at on the back of your bottle. Uh, but it says add hardener and uh, mix well before use. Mixing ratio, two parts resin to one part hardener by weight. Uh, so we'll talk about that more mm -hmm. in a few moments. But, that, but that's basically the rule of thumb, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's very precise. You do have to have your scales. And so I recommend getting the kit with the scales in. Um, because it is precise you can't do it by measurement like a uh, on a jug or anything like that you need to do it by mm. weight and he, and it is you, as precise as you possibly can for the yes. best result um i've got here this is this is had a bit of a leakage never mind uh, if you, well, I've, just got to, I've just got to address the elephant in the room it just yeah see hannah just what's going on with the pipette yeah. included uh you've got here your doming resin and you've got your hardener here so basically it's exactly the same as what we've just bought you but just a little um smaller quantities um and you've got your pipette there as well which is going to be so 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 useful um really do you get what did you say lovely absolutely yes neary uh so uh your price your price point he's just waffling in there um here's your price point all the way down and of course you can screw that onto the lid of your um uh, that pot there mm -hmm. for your hardener uh, but uh, honestly you'll be so glad you've got this rather than kind of tipping it oh yeah tipping it into because you use such microscopic amounts um that that you know you've you know you've got to get it exactly right uh well done 14.99 you know, I'd, 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 I'd be getting this and I'd be getting the other one, I think, you know, and, and because they're, they're such great um, uh, prices. And of course, with your pipettes as well, you know, you're going to you'll see when Gemma starts to measure out the, the, the doming resin and the hardener, why it's so what, just how quickly um, uh, those those weights start to add up mm -hmm. and how um, and how quickly you can go over the mark, which, of course, yeah. you don't want to do. Um, so fantastic deal for you today. Well done. Fourteen ninety nine. Absolutely brilliant. Well done. And I think maybe if you're going to be doing a little workshop or you're going to be teaching someone how to do this, maybe of an evening or, you know, a little a little afternoon workshop um, or you're going to be preparing pieces at a local craft group, then, yeah, absolutely perfect. But I would say, you know, these larger tubes, as uh, these larger uh, pots as well, 
absolutely fantastic. Presumably, you could decant them as well after you finish these. Ones. Oh yeah, you could. Yeah. yeah, you could. As long as you don't mix them up, they yeah. will keep at room temperature. So keep them in the house and store them outside. Yeah. Um, and if if you do happen to if they do happen to get too cold, mm. then they may go a bit frosty, but you can bring that back. Yeah. So I learned this weekend, actually, you can bring that back by putting them on the radiator and just keeping oh, them really okay. nice and warm. And the polymers and just... And yeah. they will sort of come back to clear again and yes. you feel more confident working with them. We, we've had a message through asking if our, our eco resin. resin is doming resin or not. No. So that ah. the, uh, the eco resin we have, um, I mean, you can get a slight... Dome with dome. it by helping it sort of move over the edges and then it will slightly dome it because it won't be a flat edge. It'll have a bit of surface but tension. It, it yeah. won't have a nice rise in the center. It won't drag itself towards the center. Yeah. Um, so like this so no, it's it's not the same. It's slightly like different. But you can use them, like I said, together. So you could use um, your normal resin to set your design and mm -hmm. then dome and resin on top once mm. it's set to just dome the surface. Gorgeous. So you could Stunning. do that. I keep looking at that ring and just how glossy it is. I just, I just yeah. love, I love the finish. Right. Okay. So that's very, very popular. Obviously, this is going to be a great, great, great masterclass today. Um, now we've got the kits. We've also got this as well. When, do, well, what do, you, yeah? Should we do this? Should we just, right? This one here has got some rather. I'm just going to move that one because I'm, yeah. <laughs> some rather unusual looking tools in this one. Let's just, let's just. Oh, it's fine. It was fine. It's fine. Loads of gloves. This time last year, these were like hen's teeth, weren't they? You couldn't get them for love nor money, along with hand sanitizer and uh, loo roll, all sorts of yeast. Uh, you've got here your, um, you've got here your, um, your plast, uh, your, what are they called? They're called uh, uh, latex gloves. Gloves. Loads of lovely gloves. Your latex gloves. Um, I'm not entirely sure what's in here. Should we have a look together? Ah, scales, of course. Brilliant. Open. Oh, uh -oh. Hannah. Oh, Hannah, that did not, that, that sounded expensive. You're right back there, Lovey. Yeah, it's all good. Oh, it's all good. <laughs> okay, you've got your scales. Um, now, oh, wow. So you've got your, um, you've got your scales, which you're going to need. Your, your ba the batteries which you're going to need are two AAA batteries. Okay, two AAA batteries. Okay, so you're going to need those. I don't think it's going to have this. No, it doesn't have any in there. But yeah, two, two. AAA batteries, okay. You've then got no. Is that the price? Mm. It's a brilliant <laughs> price. <laughs> Here's <laughs> look at these. All of your um, all of your pipettes, which of course is going to enable you to mix the colours and things like that. Is that right? Yeah, mix colours or pick pick up resin or even remove resin from your piece. Ooh. So you can sort of. If you've overfilled an area, you can sort of take yeah. it back out with your pipette. Brilliant. Uh, you've got these little pots as well. These are awesome. Yeah, these, these are great just for mixing your first batch, especially when you want to make lots of different colours. They're really good. Absolutely. And that. you've got your little tippy thing as well. Look, your little spout. Yeah. So you can tip the... Oh, this is awesome. You're getting a whole stack of them. I can't, can't get them all apart. Um, <laughs> Oh, you've got here too. What the wolf? These Look at are these brilliant. little measuring jugs. These are gorgeous. These are amazing because they're so easy to clean. Because you just flip them inside out and scrape the resin off once oh, it's dry. Yeah. So amazing. They're brilliant. You've then got your lollipop sticks. Brilliant, brilliant for mixing. Great for mixing. Your clear plastic um, spoons. All right, here they. <laughs> you've got your tweezers. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. And then you get these. Um, these are finger protectors. Yeah, because sometimes you don't want to put a whole glove on. So you just, you know, just need like a couple of your fingers protected so you can pick things up or just position things. They're much more comfortable than just your gloves, you know. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You're getting a whole load of those. <laughs> Better to be safe than sorry. Fourteen ninety nine. There you go. Amazing deal. No, you won't put them on over your gloves. You just put them and use them as finger protectors. <laughs> this morning, nearly was putting them on all of his fingers. Yours today for fourteen ninety nine. <laughs> Amazing. Well done, everybody. 0800 6 655 or get involved on our website, jurymaker.com. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, those scales deserve to be kind of yeah, they're great twice because, that price. That's amazing. You've got your functions for your... Um, 
um, carrot weights and things like that as well on those. Absolutely, yes. So they're going to double up across, across any projects. Oh, my word. Brilliant. Well done. Um, awesome. Let's do the kits, shall we? Um, yes. Oh, I love the, Oh, I just love everything that we've got in this out. This is so great. Okay, which one are we doing first? Love? Is, is it? Is it? Are these both? No, they're two separate ones. Let's do this one here. This has got the blanks in, Neary, just to let you know. Okay, so bare copper round wire. Oh, you're a fan of your bare copper, yes, aren't I you, am. Gemma? Yes, I am. Point six millimeter gauge, ten meters. Yeah, which is nice. great. This is what I've done all the outlining for all of the projects in in the. Um, designs I've done. Oh, brilliant. So you've got, this is the wire that you use to make the little rings and yeah. the, the kind of the swirl. Yes. yes. That's cool. That's really, really yeah. cool. And it, and, it, and it creates that that border, yes, if you like. that's it. Um, so perfect. You've got your 10 metres of your bare copper wire. You've got a findings pack. Now, your findings pack has got a metre of chaining. Uh, oh, what a lovely photograph. You've got, um, so you've got some head pins. Ah, yeah, you've got three different types of head pins. Um, what's that? 25 millimeter raw cup, raw round in copper metal. Am I, am I, oh no, it's these, isn't it? It's these blanks. And so you've got jump rings, you've got um, crimp beads, crimp bead covers, spacer beads, lobster claw clasps, earring findings, and then you've got all of these blanks. Now, well, how do you use these blanks within your jewelry, within your pieces, Gemma? So these are the basis that of all of the pieces. Wow. So that, that's the, you know, the round is the back of the the base of the ring that you're wearing. There's, there's the hexagons there. Oh, You've got the triangles cool. for the earrings. Um, I think you get more than that, though, than pictured there. I think you get yeah. two sets of each, don't you? Uh, la, 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 la. I'm just, we're just going to have a look. Um, so you've got your triangles, you've got your hexagons, two different um, sizes of your hexagons. You've got your, oh, sorry, three different sizes of your hexagons. You've got your two different sizes of rounds as well, and you can see that, look. You can see the, the on the ring. Um, isn't that beautiful? And then, of course, that is the base for that. Isn't that cool? Awesome. Um, now, these are going to go very, very quickly indeed. You've got a whole load of different, um, a whole load of different um, components in here. All the way down. Let's go and take that price point down as low as we possibly can. This is making this medium, by the way, so affordable because today, <laughs> all of this, £7.99 pence. Now, the great thing about this, Gemma, there were obviously going to be, well, I'll say this, obviously, mm -hmm. there, there will more than likely be findings in here that you probably won't use um, um, yeah. with all of these pieces, leaving you with a stashable, you know, a, a, mm. you know w w with stash essentials. It's great, mm. isn't it? Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, that's really beautiful. Are those all separate little triangles, or have you put the white <coughs> resin in there? Um, there's, it's lots of V shapes, and then just spiral the ends down once the resin's oh, set. Oh, my gosh, that's so good. Yeah. That is so good, isn't it? Beautiful. And um, loads of people coming through. Well done. I mean, this is a great, great, great opportunity um, for you today to just add to your order. Add to, oh, look at those gorgeous cufflinks. Aren't they stunning? Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, brilliant. I, do you know what? I think it's, it, 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 it's such an exciting medium. And I do love resin that we've had before on Jewelry Maker. I really genuinely do. But the different thing with this is, is it gives you that opaque enamel style finish. Yeah. The resin that we've had before has been very has been has been quite uh, transparent hasn't it yeah um and, yes and this is just a bit different and you can use you know you can use your transparent colors and things as well in the dome and resin yes yeah. it's, it's not this this um paste can go across all your resins oh, um, so you could make clearer ones it'd be nice maybe to mix it up and have some clearer clear areas within oh, your piece wonderful. or <gasps> you know more transparent colors so yeah, it's, it's, it's great. You mix it all up with all your other resin bits. Now, this next uh, kit, this is our final kit. This is what is really going to allow you uh, to go off piste and to really create your own pieces because you have got mm. this in this kit. Um, now, Gemma, I know that you wish you'd have had, you know, three, four weeks kit. to work. <laughs> I wish I had that one. I know that you wish you'd have had three or four weeks to work with all of this uh, and, and the kits. I mean, what your your brain, I mean, uh, there must be a DVD in this for you definitely, somewhere. Yeah, that's a really good idea, actually. I hadn't thought about that. But yeah, definitely. It's definitely a DVD idea we could do. What would be the next piece of jewellery that you would make for yourself, maybe, using resin and using a kit like this with this enormous 
um, four inch square of bare copper sheet, what would you make? Well, I think I would make a probably pendant, some nice, a nice big pendant. And I'd probably leave some of the copper bare, maybe flame paint it, and then dome oh. over the flame painting. Oh, wow! And then have some cloisonne sort of effect around the sides of enameling. Oh, my word. Yeah. There it is. There's an idea right yeah. there. So it's going to have to formulate now. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> Okay, uh, so you've got here, <laughs> you've got here your findings pack. This has got eye pins, head pins, crimpies, crimpy covers, earring findings, uh, jump rings. Uh, you've got uh, round top head pins, uh, round flat top head pins, and then your four inch square of bare copper sheet. Michelle, Elizabeth's got two. Well done. It's seven ninety nine. What? Wow. No way. I was not expecting that for this kit. That's amazing. I mean, the copper sheet on its own deserves to be that kind of price. To I mean, that's amazing. That is amazing. And what I would say is maybe get that sheet and make a, make a piece of artwork just so that <sighs> practice putting all those wires, shaping the wires, making flowers, perhaps different mm. shapes, getting, putting them on in the demo I show you, I show you how to attach them and <gasps> then, you know, play with the techniques because at that price, yeah, that's, you know, you could discard that really for learning purposes, couldn't you, at that price? Mm, absolutely. Try embedding the chain and see what effects you can get. Oh. Or embedding the jump rings, they're really lovely. If you're very near and you don't want to use wire, there's lots of already form shapes that you can use. Love so. it. Yes, absolutely. You've got you've got your 10 metres of your 0.6 millimetre gauge wire again, uh, which is wonderful, which of course makes all these beautiful shapes. Oh, my word. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait to see what people make with these kits, Gemma. They're so good. Um, right. OK. Tom, uh, are we going to are, are, are we going to see a demo? Oh, OK. Well, let's do that very quickly. Should we do those now? Let's do the silly gum. Where are you, my love? Here it is. We've had this is an amazing product, isn't it? Which we have had <laughs> for um, uh, for uh, quite a long time. And this allows you, this is amazing, this allows you to make your own mould. It takes five minutes to set. It is brilliant. Um, and what you have is you have your two pots. Similar to your resin, actually, you've got your pot and you've got your hardener. And you mix them together like, uh, like you would um, Play-Doh or, or plasticine. Um, and it takes about a minute to mix the two colours together. Once you've got a uniform colour, you flatten it into the centre of the object and cover it completely. Uh, a few millimetres um, thick is sufficient. And it will set in about five minutes. It's uh, the most amazing material, isn't it, Gemma? Yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. This is great. You can take this out with you and you go on walks. Yes. And just take moulds of bits of tree and, you know, nice, like, um, drain covers that you find. And yes. Like There's so many interesting love it. textures when just on everyday walk, you know. Absolutely. And, of course, the good thing about this is it only takes, it only takes about... Uh, five minutes um, uh, for this to set, yeah. which is great. You know, other other kind of solutions, you know, will take much, much, much longer. This really is, you know, uh, almost instant. It's brilliant, yeah. isn't it? It's absolutely brilliant. Um, now you can um, you can make all sorts of you could do all sorts of moulds with this. Uh, but yes, I love the idea of you know taking having this with you and using it to kind of take an imprint of maybe a yes a tree or a, or something metal uh, maybe a lovely railing. Yeah. Um, you know, absolutely fantastic. Just just enjoy. Twelve ninety nine for you today. Well done. Loads of people getting involved there. That's great. Well done. Yeah, very very busy for these today. Well done. Absolutely fantastic. Um, let's do the mixing cups. Yes, here they are. Oh, my word. You get, hang on, you get loads here, love. Oh, no. Is it the... Oh, no. Yes, mixing cups. Here they are. This reminds me of my student days with the old vodka jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Happy times. Well, not really, but anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm not happy at all, really, if I'm being honest, but anyway. Oh, deluded times. That's probably better. Oh yeah, it's like we're playing beer pong with this now, isn't it? <laughs> here you go. So you've got your um, so you've got your little mixing cups here. You know, great for mixing different colours. Uh, really great for being able to um, uh, really great for being able to um, separate your colours out because one thing you don't want to do is mix is mix your um, is, is is kind of pollute. Uh, your white with um, I don't know the turquoise you know want to keep those colors very separate unless you're trying to mix them together yeah. obviously um, and again these are really brilliant uh, mixing pots in the fact that they are um, this kind of almost silicon um, uh, material so they well it's not quite silicon is it but they're plastic so they so, so the colors will be able to um, um, yeah. so, so you should be able to clean these very very easily and nice and stackable as well. But, you know, great for all sorts of different mediums as well. You know, for putting your seed beads in, for putting your gemstones in, 
Um, absolutely fantastic. Well done. Four ninety nine for you today. Well done. Loads of people there. Well done. Okay, Gemma, we're all dying to see this okay. uh, incredible resin in action. Okay, so we've oh. we got a few stages to go through. Yes. So I'm going to start by mixing the resin. And then we can leave that to the side while it's sort of the bubbles pop while we do the next bit and then we'll come back to it. Okay, so Brilliant. I'm gonna start there. So I'll just check I'm in the right place so you can see my scales. I've got a set of scales from a different from a different um, kit a while ago. So if I can get that in the line. We'll have a go at looking so at the, that. Oh, there you go. Do you see that? Yeah. Okay, so Perfect. when you put your scales on, make sure that you put it on whilst the measuring cut that you're gonna work into is on the scales. Okay, because everything adds weight doesn't it so you put it on um like that and i'm going to start with i've got the dome in resin the the smaller pots here i'm going to start by popping in um the um the resin and then we'll put the hardener into that okay, okay. doesn't matter what order you do i just find it easier to just half what i put in yes yeah. yes so first off i'm going to start there so make sure it's on the zeros and then i'm going to start and i only need a really small amount so I'm going to go for just about one gram. That's all I'm going to go for for now. Mm -hmm. um, so we just oh my gosh. gently really add it in. Any. So little spot. That should take me just over 101. Oh, just over. There we okay, go. Okay, so that's okay. So as long as you're like 0 0.12 of a gram in, you'll mm -hmm. be okay. Yeah. Um, so now I know I need... 0.5 grams yeah. of the hardener so I can um, tear take it back to zero and then go in with my little pipette into oh, the hardener so useful yeah brilliant um, and drop this in until I get about 0.5 okay and let it settle because uh, you do that and you, then the number pops up so we literally need the tiniest little drop there you go five one hey, yeah we're, we're well leaving done, Gemma. Okay, so that really is a very small amount, but we don't need much per, per thing because we're not filling a space. We're sort of popping resin on top. So mm -hmm. now I'm going to mix. Now, you need to mix and you need to stir rather than sort of mix. You, we're going to try and avoid getting bubbles. Now, I don't know if you can see. Can you see the shadow that that's casting, the light on the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's easier to see there or in actually in the resin itself. You can see it's got like little lines going through it's like swirls mm. and we want to get rid of those so it needs to go back to completely clear before it's ready so i'm just moving it around make sure you got the sides of the of the pot especially if you're mixing more to really get that um in moving together so just keep going like like that i'm going to try not to get bubbles in it i'm trying to um move it and not get bubbles in as I go. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try and keep my um, my my throat lubricated as we go as we go to avoid what happened last time. Oh, so you keep going, and we want it really melt well mixed, okay? Because um, if you don't mix it well, the components won't won't work together, and you'll get some parts of the resin that's softer uh, and won't harden. Right, so you want to really mix that in well. Take your time, avoid the bubbles. And I always like to let it stand a little bit before I pour as well. So I let it stand about five or 10 minutes before I start to pour it, especially with dome in because you want it a little bit thicker. Lovely. So it doesn't matter. And you've got quite a bit of working time. You probably have got about 25, 30 minutes working time. So mm -hmm. don't panic too much. Um, just leave that so I've mixed it. It's all gone clear again now. I've lost all of those sort of pearlescent swirls. Uh -huh. And now it is probably ready to use. Okay, so I'm going to pop that to the side. Mm -hmm. That's all you need to know for mixing your resin. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to um, create my base layer. So oh. there's two phases to making these cloisonne effect pieces. Okay. So first phase, because I'm not using any heat and I'm not soldering... If I was soldering this, I would make my shape with the copper wire and I would solder that to the base and then yeah. I could fill it. Mm -hmm. But if you're not confident with that, then um, you can resin your wire shape or yeah. your wire form to the back right. and then go in after your 24-hour set and fill, that, um, fill oh, those brilliant. spaces. Okay? 
Mm. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how to make this rose sort of style piece. Mm -hmm. So I've got my 0.6 wire here. And I'm going to take my flat pliers. Just move this so I don't knock it out. Knock it. I'm going to take my flat pliers. And starting at the centre, I'm going to go with my um, these slight nose pliers, these are, right to the tip mm -hmm. of the pliers. And then I'm going to push against... You can, if I take these gloves off, I won't get them back on. So mm -hmm. I push against the tip of the pliers. And I'm going to make a very sort of uneven square. Okay, so using the tip of my pliers to, to sort of as the measure, just make this very rough yeah. square shape at the centre. Cool. Okay. That is a very rough square, I'll be honest yeah. with you. Not, not your uh, neatest square, Gemma. <coughs> no. So well, just pointing it out, needed to be said. But this is where we start. So then I'm going to take my pliers up to the edge. So can you see I'm just sliding them along till they sort of hit the last wire. And then I'm going to push with my thumb against the wire like that and make another angle on the side. <coughs> Perfect. And then I'm going to come in again and I'm going to try and start making extra angles. So I'm going to go from a square to a hexagon. So you see I'm just sort of grabbing hold of the wire and pushing it round spiraling it basically but making making angles and I'm trying to create enclosed spaces <coughs> oh bless you darling perfect okay so um Gemma's just have, gonna have a it's gonna bless her gonna get over we, we, we got the what Aqueous cleaner. Oh, Gemma's got a horrible cough at the minute. Don't worry, she's she's all right. Bless her, she feels fine, but just a really annoying cough. Um, we've got here aqueous cleaner. Oh, okay. Right. Thumbs up from Gemma there. It's good, is it? Thumbs up. Oh, bless her. Uh, it's a hundred millilitres that you're going to be getting here. All the way down, uh, we will, uh, uh, yes, um, okay, let, let's have a look, let's find out so we can save Gemma's voice. Uh, aqueous cleaner, here we go, from Chemset, okay, perfect. <sighs> Aqua Clean delivers a powerful clean solution without the need for hazardous chemicals, is that right? Yes, there we go. She's nodding. Um, this non Sorry, say again. For cleaning your moulds and your equipment Perfect. after using them for resin, yeah. Water-based cleaner for removing um, uh, uncured epoxy from tools and equipment. Yeah, so if you've got your, if you've got your resin in your moulds like this, I mean, you, you probably won't get it stuck in these, but if you've got it stuck in these kind of moulds, it's great for taking the... Um, it's great for removing it from your moulds so you have a nice clean surface uh, to work on. Yeah, we've got, look, we've got... Oh, my word, we've got this one as well. Gee whiz, we've got all sorts of different moulds coming up today. So, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, so you're going to use this cleaner to remove any kind of um, any any of your um, um, uncured epoxy uh, resin that you've got um, uh, stuck in your moulds. But, yeah, absolutely um, uh, awesome material, um, 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 solution to be able to use. Uh, price point $7.99. There you go, everyone. $7.99, really, really affordable. Do you know what? Let's do these moulds, shall we? Yeah, jewelry. Here we go. So let's do um, these ones here. Oh, dear me. Oh, wow. Is it all three of these? This is meant to be a trade show deal, and you've stolen this from another show. Oh, dear. Okay. Okay. What you gonna do? Here we go. So you've got here your oval cabochon shapes. Oh, they're so lovely absolutely gorgeous and you've got the slightly um smaller ones as well which is so sweet these little ditty ones that's gorgeous isn't it yes kind of your penjing kind of uh, globe shapes yes nice idea oh look at these to make little beads with bubbles with absolutely gorgeous so you've got your little um um um, um round cabochon uh, shapes and then look you've got these now i love this can you see if i tip them it looks like it's a faceted kind of 
a faceted quality you're going to be getting here. So you've got a very definite table and crown facet on each one of these moulds. And also these little pegs here um, are for drills, uh, are for, are for um, using as, um, uh, uh, for popping jump rings through to make into a bale. Gorgeous. Should be $14.99 each. Oh, but it says a trade show deal. Uh-oh. All the way down. Let's get that price point in for you today. Here we go. Okay, $19.99 for all three. Wow, these should be $14.99 uh, each on their own. That is amazing. $19.99 for all three of these today. Well done. Absolutely brilliant. And, of course, there's so much you can use these with, not just your resin, but you can use it with your polymer as well, can't you? Gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Uh, under £20. Pounds. Um, yeah, you've got your cabochons. You've got your um, uh, moulding trays with your with your kind of what look like kind of cut gemstones on them. They're absolutely brilliant. And uh, yours today for under £20. Pounds. That was brilliant. Well done. I've got some, I've got some more moulds here as well. What are these ones? I, I've, I, I wouldn't even know where to begin with these. Um, okay. Oh my word, look at these. Are you okay, Gemma? Yeah, I think, I think we do the next bit. If okay, get, let's do the next bit. Great things to bring oh, and then between. when you have your next coughing fit, yes. we can come back. <laughs> yes, we'll bring the graphics uh, for the moles on uh, whilst we're going back to the demo. 9.99, just to let you know, for the resin gem faceted uh, resin moles. These are absolutely incredible. They are, they are so big. I know. I filled them with um, little shards of copper and oh. um, nuggets and things like that, and they look gorgeous. Oh, my word. They're so modern. They're just incredible. The kind of thing you want on your, uh, on your mantelpiece, aren't they? They're absolutely awesome. Yeah, they are. Love them. Yeah, really fantastic. Well done. Nine ninety nine for all three. Right, okay. Go on, lovely. Okay. We're so, with you. So one thing I will say is always make sure you've got something that you're working on that you can then move out of the way without having to pick the object up. Ah, yeah. Okay, so I've just, I'm just trying to find something. I'm going to use this. So I've just got this. So I'm sorry it's a bit jazzy, but it's all I can oh, find. <laughs> jazzy. jazzy. Um, so I've made, I've finished off, and I just carried on making that, those angles to make the rows uh -huh. shape. And then I want to get it as flat as possible. So I flattened it, you know, take some time to get it flat because it sometimes does want to spring. Um, thank you, Chloe. <laughs> oh, there's Chloe. Always thinking. See, Michael She's wouldn't really have done that. Um, <laughs> so I've got that there, and I've um, given this a bit of a clean off, so make sure there's no sort of um, residue or anything on there. So you can use your aqueous cleaner for that, or you can use a bit of um, sandpaper even. And then I'm going to take the co uh, just take the. Um, not the cocktail stick, the lollipop stick, where I've mixed that resin. I'm just going to pop some, literally, just a tiny little bit onto the, onto the um, copper shape. And I'm just going to push that oh, wow. around to the edges. So literally just pushing it off to the edges. It's not going to fall off the edges. So just like that. We've got like a, a thin layer of it. And then I'm going to take my shape and just work out where I want to position it. And, and I'm leaving that tail of wire because that I can turn into the bail. And so what I've done, I don't know if you can see there, where I've dipped it in and pulled it up, it's made a little film above and below all of the wire um, pieces. So wow. you shouldn't have any gaps. If you have got some gaps, so have a good look from all angles. Just push it down. And the flatter you can get this, the better. Obviously, you need to take your time to do that. Mm -hmm. Get it nice and flat so you get contact all the way around. But don't worry if it lifts slightly because the, the resin, almost like a bubble, you know, pulls up with it. So we can just add a little bit extra in some places if we need to. So that's that. That's the first layer done. And you want to let that cure now for 24 hours yeah. before you do anything else. Uh -huh. Once it's cured, you then get to this phase. Oh. Okay, so this is all set, and I've got all That's these so lovely cool. areas to work into. Um, and I'd say when you're starting, start bigger with bigger spaces. Yeah. <coughs> because um, it is, it's easier, you know, until you get your technique. Mm -hmm. And also, it's handy to have a palette, a little painting palette. Um, if you got the dot art kit the other day, you could have, you could oh, have yes. that little palette, and that works nicely. Amazing, yeah. Um, 
and to and for clean up the aqueous cleaner is brilliant or you can use or you can wait for it to set and then just pick it off if you use like a silicone mm. mat or something like mm. that okay okay so you know how little i use 1.5 grams of my resin earlier and you can see i've still got loads left i've used a tiny bit i think you actually used a off. gram I use a gram of the resin and 0.5 of the oh, hardener. Sorry, yes, you so made that one and a half grams. So that just tops it a little bit. Um, so that, that's it. That's all there is. And I've got loads. This, is, this would do about three or four of, about four of those. Okay? So this, this is how, how far this is going to go. So that's amazing. So to mix the colour in with it, I'm going to create two colours. So I'm just going to take a little blob on my on my lollipop stick and just drop it in and now if this was a mixing palette I would just you know be dropping it into the little well yeah like that and then I'm going to take a cocktail stick gorgeous and I'm going to pick up my um red color okay so make sure you've got your surfaces covered because this is such strong color can you see how strong that is it's so strong Whoa. and glossy. God, that is that's I, like concentrated pigment. Yeah, I'll show you the texture. It's like a thick double cream. Oh. Okay, so I've picked that up and that's gonna be plenty. So I've literally dipped the stick Oof. in there. So you see the tiny oh quantities I'm working with. Now if you watch me stir this in. <laughs> watch me stir that in. This is why we got Gemma, so you don't do what Neri said he was gonna do. I'll I literally just plaster it on. See the thing is you only need a tiny bit because you don't want to change the dynamic of your of your um, resin either. Because you think about it, you've got your hardener and your um, and your resin in equal, you know, in your precise quantities. Now, anything you put in is, you know, changing it slightly. So you don't want to be putting loads in. And you can always add. So I've actually mixed probably more than I needed of the resin here, and you can see how deep that colour is. Now if I want to deepen it further, I just go back in, pick up a little bit more and add, you know, and you can create as much depth in that colour as you want. So I've probably used two dabs on that cocktail stick to create that really deep Oh, it's gorgeous. Colour. Okay. So <coughs> what I would do with uh, doing a rose when graduating the colour, I would start with the one with the, you know, the, the pure colour and then I would gradually, gradually add tiny amounts of the black yeah. to this <gasps> as I work inwards. Okay, so where if I was doing blocks of colour, I would mix my red, my blue, my green, my white separately. Yes. Never cross-contaminate by using the same cocktail stick with this. Yes. You see how strong that pigment is. It transfers easily. So I would have all my separate colours mixed. But when I'm doing a graduated piece like this, I would just keep adding the colour to this little pot. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I've got my cocktail stick and I've also got a pin. Okay, so we're going to need the pin as well. And I'm just going to start filling these areas. Okay, so if I start, I start with this biggest one. I'm going to drop, drop my um, resin in. And yep. I'm just going to start, pull it around as much as I can in the large areas with my cocktail stick. Mm -hmm. so just a little drop in there. And really, because we've got that base layer of resin, there's not much space to fill. So we literally drop it in. And then when it comes to those really smaller areas, we want to get it up into the corners. Just use your pin mm. to mm. move it around. So good, Gemma. And this is it's really handy if you've got like a, your magnifying, your handy Andy. Yes. Or um, your Carson lamp. You Carson know, with the lamp, yeah. Magnifier on that will make it easier, especially with small pieces like this. But, you know, you could start with larger pieces. This is probably the most difficult one of all the ones I, I did. It's the most, the most fiddly then of all of them. Um, but obviously you do the, the smaller ones like the yin-yang you've got on there. Yes. <gasps> I love it. That was really quite nice and simple. Yeah, because it's quite a big space. It's much yeah. bigger than the spaces you're working with there. Yeah. So there we go. This is, this is what you do. You're basically colouring in now with your yes. resin. Yes. And you keep going either using the um, using the pin or yeah. the cocktail stick to drop colour in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I just just drop a couple of more I can't bits in here, how far this is going? Can you see how much I've hardly used any. Now, after you've 
after you've filled this and you let this cure again, you can sort of let it cure um, for... Actually, between doing the phases, you probably only need to leave about 12 to 18 hours. But when you, before you want to wear it and it's fully cured, it's 24 mm. at room temperature. Mm -hmm. um, then after you've done this phase, a nice thing to do after that is to then put a layer of doming resin, clear doming resin over yeah. the top to really protect it. Now, the ring you've got on doesn't have that domed layer on the top, but um, the pendant with the jump rings and circles, mm -hmm. that has got a domed layer over the top, so it just gives it another another level of um, sort of depth and protection as well. So, yeah. you know, there's... You can keep going. You can put layers and layers and layers. Now, if this goes wrong and um, you think, oh, no, I've really messed this closet up. I've gone over the lines. It's really flooded the areas. You can take a piece of sandpaper after it's cured. You can take a piece of sandpaper and sand it back because the metal will just, um, will just stay as high points and the resin will sand Okay, so you could just sand it back. Um, but, or the other thing is, before it dries, you can take a baby wipe, wipe all the excess off, then take some aqueous cleaner yeah. and wipe it off and then start again. And as you can see, you're only using such small quantities that you're not going to have, you're not going to waste lots. Okay, so I just... Keep filling. So now, awesome. when I fill up this area, I'll just add a bit of um, of the black to it. So you can see how you can change the shade really quickly with the black. Uh -huh. Or you can, you know, add the tint with the white. It's you can having the black and the white really helps because you can really ombre your shades and your other hues really nicely. Okay, so. My pin, I'm just using really to push everything right into those smaller spaces and those corners. And then, so if I'm going to add black to this little bit of resin. Ollie was saying it'd be lovely to make poppies with these. Yes. Don't you think yeah. for Armistice Day? Wouldn't that Pop be lovely? Poppies would be amazing, yeah. Yeah. Really would. Now, I'm going to use the same stick. I'm just going to take a bit out of the lid. and literally a tiny, tiny dab. I might even have too much here, so... Um, tiny dab, yeah, far too much. You see? <laughs> oh my gosh. But we'll darken that up. Um, and if we want to, we can add a bit more red. Oh in. my gosh, it really does, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, so I've completely taken oh, that don't to let me dab off. the darkest colour. It's your birthday. But what we'll do is we'll work it from the inside now because maybe that will be the darkest we want to go. Mm -hmm. And then I'll add a bit more resin and a bit more of the red pigment to, to change. The colour. In fact, it's not too bad, is it? No, that's okay. okay. Oh, actually, still... no, that's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Panic not. So, okay. So, oh, I love see, it. It's, it's really mindful. You just, you know, really, you have to relax. You have to take your time. You have to just, you know, carefully fill in the little areas. And it's interesting, you're using a pin. I wouldn't have thought there would have been anything, you know, smaller than a cocktail. You'd need anything smaller than a cocktail stick, but actually the pin makes a huge difference, doesn't it? Yeah, it's because, you, you know, I'm. this is a really detailed little piece, mm. you know. So that Ooh. pin just really helps guide, guide and pull the resin into those tiny corners and up to the edges. And you can see how the resin wants to wants to pull into the middle, which is why you have to push it to the outside because yeah. the resin wants to pull into the middle. Um, and I'm not confident, because, because the levels of the wire are slightly different, I'm not confident to really pull each area with this, which is why I've domed after, the, after it's dry. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but with the, the pendant with the um, jump rings... Oh, yeah. I could really pull into those. I could really fill those jump rings up to give me a domed effect on the top. So the one... So the so the one with the jump rings, and, 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 as, and as Gemma was saying, you know, this is where the, your wire really comes into its own. Um, yeah, the pendant with the jump rings, look at this. It's so beautiful, yeah, with all the circles in. The multicolour one, can you see it? Lots of circles. Lots of circles, <laughs> Chloe. Yeah, there you go. I've, I've domed over the Love top of the that. whole thing, but each of those domes is 
each of the circles are really quite domed because yes. I was able to really fill them. Oh. Um, not quite as easy to do that with the roses and things like that, but you, you'll get you'll get used to sort of the limitations that you have within you, your settings. You could do an evil eye one, couldn't you? That would yeah. be a cool one to do. There's, yeah, there's so many uh, so many possibilities yeah. with this. Yeah, the, literally you can whatever shape you can make your wire into, you can you know create pictures and things. Oh. Um, pictures and you know simple shapes or more complicated shapes but the colors mm. being able to add color to your designs yes. is just such a lovely addition to you know to what you can already achieve do you yeah. know what i've really really enjoyed this medium and i know that loads of you at home have as well and it's just giving you the look of that high quality enamel uh jewelry but being able to do it from your own home it's just it's mm. such a rewarding medium and yes it is resin we bought you resin before but this is just ever so slightly different it's kind of more opaque it's got that color and of course you've got that domed quality as well so yeah. well done i've still got loads and loads of people who are who are coming through and checking out kits um in the next hour we are going to be doing a giveaway um now this is very exciting we've got a bag with loads of yeah i mean look at that Look at that bag with loads of stuff. Um, so much uh, stuff in here. Someone in the next hour um, uh, is going to be winning this. Oh, what's that? Oh, is that strands? Big strands of rose quartz. Oh, wow. Some pearls oh. in there. Beading boards, oh. books, DVDs. Beads because too. it's Gemma's birthday. Zuron. I haven't even got any of these. I'm going to take these. <laughs> So because it's Gemma's birthday, because it's Gemma's birthday, she's going to be having a good old rifle through all of that. Scoops. Oh, my word. Uh, and uh, we'll see you in a couple of seconds uh, for the last hour of the show. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Don't go anywhere. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Good afternoon, everyone. I just wanted to ensure that from this Monday, we are going to give you an amazing opportunity. We're not only bringing you a big four gemstone, we're not only bringing you one of the most important barrels ever found, but we have managed to secure for you an unbelievable Zambian emerald show where we have got absolutely amazing sizes, some really unique cuts and carat weights, and of course, the prices that are gonna be alongside those are amazing. So if you wanna add potentially one of the most amazing and important discoveries of emerald ever found, then come and join me on Monday for something so unique. And for this occasion, you're gonna be able to add some of the most beautifully saturated emeralds to your jewelry collections at price points that I don't think you've seen before. So come and join me, and I look forward to seeing you on Monday. Jewelry Maker, we've got some really exciting news. After 10 and a half years, we can finally launch Split Pay. The whole point of this is to make it as affordable as possible to buy things from Jewelry Maker. So you have the opportunity to pay either two or three fixed interest free payments depending on the item's value. It's that simple. Thank you, Carols. We are so excited about this opportunity and we know that you will be as well. So enjoy this new way of shopping on Jewelry Maker. So from the three of us and everyone else here at Jewelry Maker, see it, love it, split it. You may be wondering how to buy here at Jewelry Maker. So here is a quick overview of what to do. When you see a product that comes on screen, the graphics will appear, you'll see an item code and a starting price. As time goes on, we will drop the price on screen and as viewers call in or order online, the quantity decreases too. No matter what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. 
and there's just one P&P on all items that you order in a day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee so there's no risk whether you're buying for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, we have a new Facebook group dedicated to sharing your makes and jewelry making advice. To join the group, simply head over to the page and hit request. You'll then be able to share your designs with our JM community and join like-minded people. Create, wear, share. Jewelry Makers, did you know that no matter how many times you purchase, no matter how many times you check out, you only pay one postage and packaging per day. Say that you've purchased an item during our morning show and then decide to buy something else later on in the afternoon. As long as all of your products have been purchased within the same day by midnight, your orders will all be combined and your postage and packaging will work out at that of just a single fee. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. So, here we go. I just want to show you this. This, have you, have you stolen anything from this, Gemma? No, I put them back. I did want the pliers, but I also want the book and I also want the jewelry stand. Gemma, it's your birthday. <laughs> I'm gonna, I might give them to you. <laughs> Gemstones, scoops, a book, another book. Mm. A DVD, Cellini Spiral DVD, Zuron tool, beading board, pearls, shell pearl, more shell pearl, oh, abalone, seed beads, hang on, mm. all these seed beads, so somewhat a gizmo, what's that, oh my word, is that, that's ruby, Rubies. So basically, um, someone is going to win this in this hour. What are the rules, Tom Neary? Got to buy in this hour. That's this, it. This, Anybody? There's this as well. And A what? And this. What? An umbra. An umbra, umbra, sticky dippy jumbra strand. This book's beautiful. This Amazing. Book, I know this book's beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. I like this. Yeah. From our friends over at Umbra. That's wow. amazing. That's incredible. So if you buy in this hour, you're going to be entered into a prize draw. We're going to pick a winner at random, and the win winner will be sent all of that. Amazing. <laughs> uh, so that is that is basically it. So uh, here we go. We have got tons and tons and tons coming up in this hour. Right. Are you sure? God, Nira's having a right good shout, isn't he? <laughs> If you're wrong, Neary, you're going to look like a right sausage. Seven times 100 is 700. So it's a 700 inch bundle, which gives you seven meters, sorry, no, 17 <laughs> meters, 78 centimeters. So you're getting here 17 meters, 78 of gemstone amazingness. Wow. You've got all of the gemstone quality here. You've got aquamarine. You've got picture jasper. You've got gorgeous iolite. You've got malachite. Lapis lazuli. Jasper. And also, you've got here, rhodonite as well. Rhodonite, jasper. Oh, my word. What are you going to do with all these, Gemma Crow? Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? I think... Um, oh. 
probably crochet pieces. Oh. Maybe just maybe I'd just keep some of them so I could and maybe make a nice clasp, you know, like a nice S clasp and then just Ooh, mix yeah, and match. Yeah. Mix and match them where them as they are. You know. Because you could just link them together, you can layer them up. Absolutely. Can... These are just incredible. Gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Mm. We've got Katie Parker's Seafoam Necklace, which is which is always in the studio. It's a firm favourite, yeah. uh, which is, as you say, that really simple kind of crocheting. There we go. It's really simple crocheting uh, technique uh, used here on monofilament. That is, mm. that works absolutely beautiful, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It's, it's a perfect thing to do with them, I think. Mm. And then you've got the chips and nuggets here on the, on the memory wire necklace as well. That looks absolutely, great. Absolutely, yeah. There's, there's so much you can do with chips and nuggets. And it's lovely to practice combinations of gemstones as well, isn't it? Mm. <gasps> Trees of lives. Oh, that's a beautiful tree of life. You're going to be able to make a whole arboretum using this bundle today. Here we go. Let's take this. Oh, that's a beautiful tree of life. Oh, oh, that bonsai tree. Oh, look at that. What a wow. What a beautiful bonsai. That's lovely, isn't it? 70 pounds. Hang on. That is, that is, that is 10 pounds per strand. That's amazing. That's 10 pounds. Wow, it's a wall of nuggets. That is £10 per 100 inches. That's ridiculous. Oh, my word. Amazing. Let's drop that price. What? No, hang on. You can't be, you can't be serious. You could not be serious. Are we going to... Ollie's got the clock out. There's no looking back now. Once Ollie gets the clock out, that is it. That's it. That's it. Amazing. You've got to get it today. You've absolutely, uh, you're absolutely storming it today. Well done. 700 inches of nuggets. You've got aquamarine, you've got malachite, lapis lazuli, rhodonite, jasper, um, picture jasper, fancy jasper, and of course you've got your gorgeous iolite as well. You've got, the, uh, oh, oh yeah, and your rhodonite. You've got something here for all seasons, haven't you? Uh, for 365 days of the year, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there yeah. Is. And there's so many different combinations there as well. Oh, yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Really well done. Yeah, you've got, you've got, I mean, I, I mean, I'm looking at the aquamarine thing. Oh, no, that's beautiful and kind of springy and summery. And then, you know, mix it with the lapis lazuli. But then, of course, you've got the gorgeous kind of neutral colours of the jasper as well. Those gorgeous kind of sandy colours. Ten seconds and then the price is going to go down. I've honestly got no idea how low we're going to go. But Neary seems to uh, have, a, have, a, have a fair idea. Neary's in the mood for crashing. He absolutely is. Well done. 44. 99 that is a huge reduction in price amazing deal so what does that work out to you per strand neary 642 per 100 inches oh my word that's unbelievable that's amazing isn't that's it? an incredible deal for you today well done such good value you know those big molds that you had earlier the big um resin molds mm -hmm. you can use those to fill the molds you know yes. and then fill them ah. with resin because you pour resin over you the don't top, actually yeah. use much resin when you fill the mold with gemstones oh, it yes, of course. so that's a great way to mm. use them uh, do, do you know what's a lovely idea yeah fill those molds full of your nuggets and then pour the resin over the top and the more you use the less resin you'll use obviously mm. uh message through um Oh, wow, I could make so many of my trees to give away, oh. says uh, Collector. Oh, that's lovely, fantastic. Yeah, why not? Nice. Definitely a chance for you to kind of make, make big. Um, that's an epic price. Mm -hmm. Have you all gone bonkers? Oh, prize, 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 <laughs> prize. If anybody comes through to buy anything during this hour, you're going to be entered into a prize draw to win all of that. That's mm -hmm. literally full. And a piece of jewellery. Of course, yes. Yeah, I've got some jewellery down here as well. Oh, what should we choose? What's we got? Oh, gosh, Jane's got one on her. Please read this out. Got this one I'm going to put in. Oh, Gemma. That one. So that can go in that box as well. Please read this out. Happy birthday to the gorgeous one and only Gemma Crow. Please read this out. <laughs> Thanks, Jane. Thanks, Jane. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it's like Margot in Fife, everything's in capitals. <laughs> Not anymore. Um, there we go. I mean, that is an amazing. What a treat! That is just. I mean, yeah, you could do some. You could do some exercises with this. These are, this is a big grand weight you've got going on here today. That's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. What? <laughs> 
An absolute forest, says uh, Neri. What do you mean? Of like trees of lives? Yeah. There you go. Amazing. Well done to everyone coming through to get these. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Um, and, you know, making your memory wide pieces is, is, is so therapeutic. And just getting yeah. a load of these, because you can be that indulgent and just kind of uh, twist them together. Oh, yes. Mm, that is, that's a lovely way to wear it, mm. you know, just like that. Mm. And normally with these kind of pieces, you have to be, you know, you have to get quite a few. You have to multiply to be, to be indulgent, you know, to get enough gemstones to be indulgent enough. But here, you know, you've got, You've got a great opportunity, haven't you? Well done. Can I just say, this whole hour, pretty much, is an entire hour of uh, mega deals. Uh, there, there's not just... Oh, gosh, I actually need two hands to pick that up. It's not actually just one mega deal. <laughs> You've got the whole hour of mega deals, um, which is amazing. Let's start off with the 10 mil white Howlite uh, rounds. Now, mm, yes. Here we go. Look, we've got a whole host of mega deals here, including all of the Howlite rounds. Now, we're going to start off with the 10 mil and work our way down in size and maybe price. Yes. They look like the moon. Mm. They look like the moon. Do you know, if I had to choose between the sun and the moon, I'd choose the moon. Would you? Mm. I love the moon. I love looking at the moon. Yeah, it's it such is. a beautiful thing, isn't it? It is. Oh, it's gorgeous. Here we go. Elon Musk is going to send astronauts to the moon, isn't he? Is he? Is it, is, aren't they taking a, doing something on Mars today with a helicopter? Oh, my word. Really? Launching, yeah, they're doing a helicopter flight on Mars today. Pretty sure that's what's happening. That sounds bonkers. 5 99 for your white Howlite um, uh, 10 millimetre rounds. There you are, my lovelies. Uh, gorgeous. Can I just say, Neri, you do realise we've got other sizes here, which are slightly smaller. What's going to happen with the prices on the others? It's going to be an avalanche. <laughs> We're going to start an, av an, an avalanche uh, with the gorgeous Howlites here. Loads of people coming through. Well done. Check out your baskets. Five ninety nine for your white Howlite rounds. Absolutely amazing. Gorgeous. I don't believe it. Gorgeous. Well done. And use your um, brightly coloured cord as well to do your lovely pearl knotting in between these as well. They'd look absolutely yeah. gorgeous, wouldn't they? They would. And, you know, they're, they're, they're like the ultimate summer summer gemstone i think how like mm. and then in with those chips and nuggets as well just spread it oh yes nice. around. Isn't it really summery and bright let's do the eight mils bring on the eight mils whoop, whoop. here we go <laughs> here are the eight mils everyone Hello. gorgeous um don't you just love the fascination for the natural matrix that your how has got very, very good uh, for, yes, doing your pearl knotting. Um, absolutely brilliant if you're just starting off doing your jewellery making because, of course, these are so affordable. You've got such affordable gemstones here, haven't you? Such affordable sizes and shapes. 200 carats of your white Howlite plain 8mm rounds. Absolutely fantastic. Neri, I really hope you've thought this through. Where are you going to go? Yeah, I know. So we're going to do 4 99 for these. There are two more strands after this, Neri, just to let you know. Burying his head in his hands now. The realisation that there's going to be a certain expectation with each strand. Oh, it is a great way to get involved in the prize draw, isn't it? You could just come through and get this in this hour and you're entered into the prize draw and who knows, you could be the winner. Mm. You could win the chalkboard. Oh, gosh. You could win the book and another book and another book. Yeah. And DVD. And another uh, uh, book and a DVD and the Umbra strand. And the, well, that's a beading mat and the thing, the, the gizmo and the Zuron things and the, the bag and the gems and the scoops and the, yeah. And the jewellery of Gemma's from her, sorry, from her personal collection. Just a, I'm not throwing so it, it much. fell out. And it's all because it's Gemma's birthday. <laughs> Isn't it, Gemma? Ah. It is. Got any nice dinner planned this evening, Gemma? No, we're cooking. I'm cooking with uh, Sue tonight. I'm cooking the Of course the you're doing the pizzas, yes. Yes, it's a treat. Oh, that is going to be a, uh, a crazy uh, yes, live session that you've got going on there. Yes, it is. <laughs> who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? <laughs> Normally ends in fits of giggles. I just love it. <laughs> it is fun. <laughs> six mils. Here we go. So we've done the ten, we've done the eight, and now we're going to do the six. These are slightly smaller, Neary, just to let you know. Hashtag just saying. We did five, 5 99 4 99 
Come on, Neri, here we go. <laughs> Let's do it like a lord. Uh, well done to Jane, Cynthia, Liz, Marilyn, Elaine. I think the great thing as you get smaller is, is arguably you get a little bit more versatile with what you can do with these. So you can start to make... Uh, <laughs> you can start to make things like your beaded beads using these, can't you? Yeah. Um, uh, whereas a beaded beads with your 10 mils are going to be maybe a little bit big. Uh, but, with your, but with your 6 mils, absolutely perfect. Um, it's not all about size, everyone. Well, and Liz has got two. Elaine's got two. Well done, Alison, Marilyn, Elaine, Jenny, Maker, Sean, Sue, Bonnie. Uh, well done, everyone, at 3 99 Gorgeous for your six mil rounds. <laughs> Make it off uh, of your uh, gorgeous white hat. I don't you just love, I just love the natural matrix these have got. Yeah! <laughs> Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. You know, if you look at the moon through a telescope and you have to move the telescope really quickly because we are moving so quickly, obviously, and you have to move the viewfinder really, really quickly, and you see all those gorgeous canyons in the moon mm. and. Oh, you only ever see one side of the moon as well. Whereas with these halides, you see all, all of it. I don't know the back of it. I don't know the dark side of the moon. I think it's fascinating though when uh, when the astronauts did the original moon landing is that um, when they were kind of orbiting the moon, going around the back of the moon, that they lost contact with with Houston. I guess it would have been for for a period of uh, you know about was it about half an hour. Is it longer than that? About about yeah, about forty five mm -hmm. minutes. Because of course they've they've got the moon in between them and Houston. They're the only people to have seen the other side of the moon. Wow. The other side. Could have been aliens on it. You're absolutely right. So the reason why I'm mentioning all of that is because, of course, you've got Hal right here, which looks like the moon, I think. Beautiful qualities. Um, amazing. Yeah, I'm not just harping on about the moon for no reason. Um, collector in Avon said she'd be there. Oh, what, this evening maybe for the babble babble? Going for the pizza. <laughs> what kind of toppings are you going to be going for, Jenna? Um, with your birthday I'm just going to go quite, quite neutral, like cheese and yeah. basil and some nice. I think that's a good idea. Don't 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 add too much. No, could all go a little bit wrong. No, it's just a rustic, a nice rustic mm. pizza. A bit of induja paste. Ooh. Put a bit of spicy, <laughs> spicy sausage. Uh, you've got next <laughs> your um, four mil rounds of your white howl right now. This is oh. Uh, for me, this is one of the ultimate sizes. Look at all four of those together. Five ninety nine, four ninety nine, three ninety nine. Ah, ah, yeah. Five ninety nine, four ninety nine, What should this be then? This next one. Two ninety nine. Yeah, there you go. And of course, isn't it great that you're able to make that graduated jewellery using this strand? Uh, Liz has bought for Marilyn Lynn. Well done to you. Oh, my God, there's millions of people coming through. Sorry, Neri. Did I bully you into that price? Oh, dear. He set himself up for a fail, he says. He didn't think Shouldn't be doing two nights tonight. We're losing a, a huge amount of money on this. But do you know what? It's what we can do. Neri's uh, willing to accept that he made a mistake there, that we're going far, far lower than we really should have done. Oh, well done, everyone. Absolutely fantastic. Loads and loads of people coming through. Lots of people checking their baskets out now. That's great. Well done. And anyone who shops with us in this final hour, you're entered into a prize draw to win this bag of goodies, which has got books in it. You've got pearls. You've got shell pearl. You've got a gizmo. You've got a chalkboard. You've got Zuron tools. You've got seed beads. You've got, where are they? Got ruby cabins in here. Yeah, ruby cabs. Or ruby cut gems. Those little seed beads. It's all sorts. Oh, no, they're not even cabbages. They're, look. I know. They are cut gemstones. Very Seven by pretty. fives, maybe? Get yourself in that drawer. All you need to do is buy anything in this hour. Two ninety nine. Oh, Oh, I don't know what I'm going to be pulling out there. They're, they're, oh, yeah, look at all those seed beads. Oh, wow, there's so many. Oh, oh, there's even more. Tom Stewart, senior producer, doing very well. Literally ramming this. Oh, oh my word, look at that abalone. That as well. That's gone a bit cray cray, mm. hasn't it? Oh, more seed beads. There we go. So all of that, um, yours, just by buying anything in this hour. <laughs> What's the best thing you've ever won, Gemma? Um, you ever won anything amazing? I, I want to say yes, but I can't think what it is. Hmm. Maybe it's still to come. Yes, maybe it, it just, is. I feel like there's a yes there, but I, I can't. <gasps> oh, that's can't a very positive outlook. 
Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Adam? Have you ever won anything? No? Uh, a raffle. A raffle? Yeah, well, yeah, a raffle's a good thing to win. Bottle of wine. Bottle of wine, nice. Well, it's not, it's not bad, is it? Yeah, I've definitely won a few bottles of wine. Oh, I did. I won a great, um, um, an in, uh, not England, a Gloucester rugby shirt signed by all the Gloucester players. Oh, my gosh, that that's amazing. Cool. Yeah, that was like a star prize in the, in the raffle. Oh, my word. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, no, I can't think of anything that I've won before. Um, no. I'm, I'm sure I'll think of something in a minute. Frosted quartzite rounds. Eight mil rounds. Oh, I love frosted quartzites. They're pretty. Yeah. They're really pretty, aren't they? They look like um, like alcohol inks have been like dropped yeah. into, into resin. Don't they just? They're really pretty. They are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Got that beautiful... Um, uh, as you say, yeah, like an ink, mm. uh, an alcohol ink kind of quality, that, yeah. like it's bled out. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's all because it's frosted. So good, isn't it? Oh, that's so nice. And the fact that it's frosted really allows you to concentrate on those colours, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. yeah, it's a nice effect. I've got, look, I've got the same strand, but in a shiny finish, and they look, look, Ooh. amazing, hey? Very nice. Amazing. I like them together. Use them together, yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Gorgeous. Use them together. Here we go. Frosty quartzite uh, eight millimeter rounds. Here we go. 170 carats in total, all the way down. Incredible. <laughs> Five pounds ninety nine pence. Absolutely brilliant. That's incredible. Well done, everyone. Frosted quartzite, and just I love. That um, I love the uh, the kind of the the matte kind of frosted finish you're getting here. It really just it just looks beautiful. It looks so different to those kind of highly shiny, high faceted gemstone finishes, doesn't it? It just adds it just puts something different into the mix. And as Gemma says, use them together because the two of them together, the contrast is gorgeous, isn't yeah, it? They do. They look great together. I think. There you go. Mm. There you go. So uh, Ollie's Ollie's uh, director Ollie's back won a uh, won a talent competition and they were presented their trophy by deadly nightshade from the gladiators she spoke at my speech day at school she was obviously doing the rounds <laughs> we had um, wolf was it wolf we had, no we had really wolf, yeah at school not michael wolf not michael wolf, wolf no. as in gladiator wolf gladiator wolf yeah. am i right in saying he runs a gym over in australia now i think he does i once won a toilet seat in a raffle says jane <laughs> <laughs> There you go. It's not bad, is it? Uh, Probably one of those lovely ones with the butterflies it. on. Or <laughs> Hopefully, yes, an unused one. Yeah. Okay. And this rhodochrosite is absolutely amazing. Look at this. Gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Oh. I love rhodochrosite. That's a love. That's very <gasn't gasps> deep, dark colours in there, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it? Anything with the with the letters R H O, so Ro, uh, gives you a pinky colour. So rhodolite, rhodochrosite, rhodolite. Um, yeah, absolutely amazing. Beautiful. Gives you that lovely kind of rosy colour. Um, amazing. Um, uh, uh, amazing size on these as well. These are lovely. And of course, you've got the beautiful black inclusions mm. as well. That's oh, a, that's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely amazing. Here we go. Five ninety nine for you today. Well done. Here we go. Loads of people coming through to get this. Well done. It's so nice to be able to. It's so nice to be able to bring this to you today. Well done, everybody. And um, what an opportunity. Uh, give us a call when you can. 0800 644 655 or get involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com. You can shop with us on our app as well. Download our app and watch us on the go. It's such an awesome gemstone this is. And, and there's no other gems which look anything like this it's it, it it really is a unique gem isn't it it is and that's that's quite a unique strand as well because mm. it's usually much lighter pinks and you get the odd darker pink yeah but that's pre predominantly darker pink and those lovely sort of red browns isn't it that's lovely yeah gorgeous well done maker claire's got two of these carol uh, another claire linda anita's got two well done donna uh pauline's got two well done to you april well done maker well done to you maker in suffolk maker maker in bristol well done um and just to let you know you know for your gemstone knotting for your pearl knotting for your malas these are absolutely perfect yeah. for your macrame oh, lovely mala um uh, necklace there that's from Sorry. rosemary on a buddha I mean, that's so zen isn't it buddha buddha 
Gorgeous, well done. 5 99 for you today. Well done. What a great deal. 0800 644 655. Awesome. Jill, Sue, Elaine. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. I put this with either a black, oh, I don't know. See, I like these ones here with mm. all the kind of scratchy I like kind of uh, black inclusions. Would you use a black cord or a pink one? What do you reckon? I think I'd, I think I'd use pink. I think I'd, because <gasps> especially with that one being That's a darker. Me. Yes. Darker tones, mm. or even like a gold or sandy colour. Oh, nice! Yes, mm, nice. Yeah, lovely. Mm. Why not? Absolutely fantastic. Well done, everyone. Well done, Nikki. Nikki and Non. Beautiful multicolour quartzite. Is that this one? Same as the one that was frosted, but not frosted. Yeah, jewelry. So here's the one that was frosted. These were frosted. These aren't frosted. And just look at them together. Don't they look awesome? Yeah. Oh. Mm. I, I love like that them. teal colour, don't you, Gemma? Yeah, I do. I, I, think that's a, I think they're lovely strands. I've never seen quartzite look like this. I've always seen it like one flat colour. A color. solid colour, yeah. But they look lovely. They've almost got like... It's, it's like that ink's been popped into water, yeah. you know, and just making its way through. That's gorgeous. Colour-wise, don't you think it looks like Grandidiorite? It does. Got that it kind does. of grandidiorite colour to it, that lovely tealy green colour mm. to it. I'd have to get both of these to go together. So the frosted strand was yours today for, I believe it was five ninety nine. Is that right, Tom? No, 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 no. Um, okay, so you can get the um, highly polished ver um, uh, version of this. I just, yeah, together they look so good. They do. Can we match the price? You can beat the price. Mm. Can he kick it? Yes, he can. Four ninety nine. Yeah. Anyone who comes through to get this today is going to be entered into a prize draw to win all of this. All of this. DVDs, you've got a gizmo, gemstone. Look at her, look at her, look at her. All of that. You've got a book. You've got some Zuron pliers. Got a DVD. Mind your business. Uh, you've got some loads of seed beads in there. Oh, scoops. Oh, my word, scoop. There it is. More scoops. All of that. And you've got the Umbra strand. Stand, stand and you've got yeah. the cabochon book and a, another piece of jewelry from Gemma Crow. Da -da. Oh, Gemma, that's amazing, Gemma. and all because it's your birthday. Yeah, amazing. So, there we go, amazing. Well done. Lots of people coming through to get this. Well done. Ugh. Opening their orders up. Mm -hmm. And anyone who's shopping in this hour is entered into that prize draw to win this. Amazing, gorgeous. Do you know what's a good idea, actually, uh, Nir? If you've come through to get this at four ninety nine, why not get seven hundred inches of nuggets, which is seventeen meters seventy eight, seventeen meters seventy eight. Um, that's all these gemstones. That's how much they. That's the lengthage that we're talking about. We're looking at rhodochrosite. We're looking at uh, jasper, picture jasper, iolite, lapis lazuli, malachite, and aquamarine. Amazing. Ho. Oh. amazing. Yeah. For your today for forty four ninety nine, which is ridiculous. Over seventeen and a half meters of gemstones here for under fifty quid. Amazing. Well done. Okay, next, what are we doing? We're doing yes, fossil coral. Oh, I love fossil coral. This is such a great summery gemstone. For me, I don't know about you, Gemma, but for mm. me, this is great with all of your summer neutral colours, isn't yeah. it? Yes, it's got this gorgeous like little segments of fruit, hasn't yes. it? Yes, it's like sort of um. <gasps> Cut in half oranges or... Ooh, look at that! They're gorgeous, aren't they? Oh. Yeah, I'd have them in stretchy bracelets so I could look at them. <gasps> Me too. So I could just, you know, or, or macrame bracelets, you know, that nice sandy neutral um, sort of dupe threads and cords and yes. things like that. Isn't it lovely? I tell you what this gem reminds me of as well. It reminds me of sand dollars, if you've ever... Kind of seen sand dollars. Do you know, do you know what a sand dollar is? Yeah. I, I've only ever I, I found them before, um, but only when I was in um, the states. And and it's basically a sea urchin, but it's kind of fossilized. It's dry and it's in like a three leaf clover shape. Mm. It's about that big, and they're absolutely beautiful. And they've got this gorgeous kind of bleached driftwood kind of color, exactly like the colors you're getting here. These oh. greys and stony colors. They're beautiful, aren't they? Mm, oh, yeah. let's get that price point all the way down. These are so good. I just, I mean, as Gemma says, 
set these into jewellery where you can see the gems and you can study them and you can keep looking at them um, you know, uh, uh, all the time. I'm quite selfish with jewellery like that. I'd much rather wear a ring or a bracelet than I would a pair of earrings or a pendant because, I, you know, I can see that jewellery. Yeah. Um, let me see if I can find a picture of a... Oh, no. Oh, no. Here we go. Sand dollar. No. <laughs> Just calm down. <laughs> uh, this is a sand dollar. Here you go. I've, I, I don't know where you necessarily find them, but... I. If I've ever found it, it's been in America. Oh, wow. It's a sand dollar. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, it's those kind of colours, isn't it? It's those kind of bleached colours. It's mm. absolutely gorgeous. Sand dollar starfish sea urchin. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's interesting. That, that might do. There you go. Anyway, well done, everyone. Uh, so six mil of uh, six mil uh, Indonesian uh, fossilised coral here. Millions of years old. And I must just say, it is fossilised coral. Um, you know, this isn't, uh, you know, this is, this is, um, you know, this has been fossilised for many, many millions of years. Gorgeous. Well done. Four pounds and 72 pence. Absolutely you gorgeous. Know, I'm thinking, because of the connection with the sea, I'm thinking, um, go lovely with the amber, the colours as Ooh. well. Mm -hmm. The palette works, doesn't it, as well? Nice. I like that. Mm. Uh, hang on. Yeah. Oh, that looks really good. Well done, Gemma. Mm. She's got the eye. She's got the eye for design. She's got the look. <laughs> right. What are we doing? What did you say? Did I hear you say? Bronzite. Oh, how often do we see this gemstone? Not often enough. Um, this is such a great gem. I, I kind of try and, if I was to try and put my finger on what this gemstone is like, it's like a tiger's eye mixed with a tiger's iron mixed with Peter's sight. Um, but it's like, well, you have a look, but I think it looks like a, a kind of like a, a, a bronzy coloured charite. Yeah. yeah, I love it. I love it. Beautiful fibres. <gasps> Look at that. Lovely texture and a lovely weight to it as well, isn't it? Doesn't it just... Bronzite from uh, America. Oh, I just love those. Yeah, it is like a fingerprint, isn't it? It's like these gorgeous kind of sweeps through the gems. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it does have kind of almost a hematite feel to it. It's kind of like a, yeah. a really heaviness, a, a really lovely heaviness to it, doesn't it? What, what are the metal inclusions in it? Mm. It might be hematite, the metallic inclusions. It wouldn't surprise me at all. Wouldn't surprise me at all. You've got such a, a lovely kind of depth it, to it. Yeah, there is a metallic um, element. element, isn't there? Mm. Absolutely. These are gorgeous. I mean, just look at the way that the light moves across the gem. Isn't that beautiful? Bridge, well done to you. You've got two. Lisa Jones, Sue. Sue in Gloucestershire. Gary uh, in Gloucestershire's got two. Well done to Sandy. Uh, well done to Alison. Tanya. So Alison's got five. Tanya's got two. Uh, Bridge has now got two. Well done. Pauline, well done to you. Alan, Michael, April. Lots and lots of interest there. It's got these beautiful kind of almost brush strokes going through it. It's so lovely. Yeah. Oh, I do love it. All sorts going on in there. And again, it just breaks up the darkness of the gemstone a little bit, doesn't it? It stops it yeah. from becoming too kind of rich and dark. It's got yeah. that beautiful lightness to it. Gorgeous quality. Oh, look at that. Look at that one there. Isn't that a beaut? You know, if yeah. you're going to use one in a bracelet, you know, pick your favourite yeah. one, but, you know. It'd be great for the that. bracelets from earlier, wouldn't it? And also Father's oh, Day yeah. gifts. This is, this is a nice, um, nice dad's gemstone, I think. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, great idea for your... Um, for your uh, for your gents jewellery, although my husband still wears a bracelet that my uh, that my uh, seven year old made him years ago. It's made with plastic beads. She got given them for her birthday, uh, and it's got daddy on it, like with you know with the letter beads. Yeah. He wears it with pride. He loves it. On a, whenever he has a day off, he's like daddy bracelet. There we go. It's got all the <laughs> colours on it and everything. But you know, if you want to, uh, you know, make jewellery that that you know someone's going to wear every single day, or a little charm, or you know whatever it's going to be, a little keepsake. You know, this is such a gorgeous gem. Beautiful. Yeah, uh, this is from A in North Yorkshire. Happy birthday, Gemma. How much Thank I love you. this. Uh, one of the first stones I bought from you. Ah, we, we don't see it very often, do we? No, we don't. No, we don't. We haven't. I think I had uh, some um, rice beads the other day, and it was the first I'd had them in such a long time. 
And I do love them because I love working with wood and the lighter yes. materials as well. I like ambers and woods and organics. And the bronze light works in with that because it's got that sort of organic feel, but yes. it also adds the weight that is sometimes needed with lighter materials. With your wooden bees, yes. It's got almost a grain going through yeah. it like your wood, yeah. hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it complements it well. I've got, I've got another strand of bronze light here. These are a little bit smaller. They are almost even better mm. gosh that's a really really oh, that is a lovely oh wow yeah i've got here as well is it peter site yeah look i've got peter site here and you'll see the two of them together and although they're not exactly the same you, you've definitely got interest there haven't you oh baby baby gorgeous aren't they mm absolutely stunning oh just love it um here we go let's go a little bit lower than we should do uh -oh. gorgeous oh what a lovely surprise having having this gemstone on the show today 349 whoa that's a low price such a gorgeous rustic gemstone and what's interesting you know Gemma's saying that she uses it with the wooden bees a because it's got that same kind of feel that grain to it that kind of uh, organic rustic feel to it but also because it's a little bit heavier and your wooden beads are are inherently quite quite light um so great to be able to put this you know with your lava rock as well you know something which again is quite light um being able to use this which is a little bit heavier and it's just a bit different to tiger's eye you know we've yeah. seen tiger's eye lots yeah. um over the years this is just a little bit different isn't it yeah it is and again great with your first kits today in the nine o'clock yeah hour. definitely definitely works really well with the leathers and and you know that style as well yeah gorgeous well done everyone three pounds 49 lots of people coming through that's great well done um so we've still got lots to come up in this hour or in the next kind of 20 minutes or so before the end of the show yeah we have a double trouble deal it's a double trouble deal for bronzite <gasps> it's coming up now Oh, do you know what? I've been laughing all the way throughout the show today. There's been lots of things which have been going on behind the scenes. Uh, a tube of moisturiser um, exploded all over the desk uh, whilst Gemma was in the middle of her masterclass. Um, all sorts of different things. And I've had to... Uh, I know, you, you weren't in here for that, um, uh, Adam. Sorry you missed out on that one, that little treat. Um, <laughs> just went everywhere, all over the strands, everything. Um, but anyway, uh, we're past that now. <laughs> I was here and I missed it. I don't know if it's any consolation. Yeah, Gemma thought she'd said something. It wasn't. It was just that the desk was just covered in cream. Uh, anyway, um, my male customers love bronzite. Well, there you go. There yeah. you go. We have bought you. In fact, I've just put the bronzite away. I'm going <laughs> oh, yeah, to... Yeah. Oh, dear me. We're having fun today. Here we go. So I'm just going to get... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, so we bought you these two buttes, these two little rippers of bronzite. Now we've got the larger strands. Oh, this is like the Howlite bundle, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Except it's a double trouble deal and it's bronzite. Uh, but I mean, from like a graduated point of view. So you've got two strands here. Now, this is where Neri's produ uh, producing skills are going to be put to the test. Because is it going to be the, uh, you know, the equivalent of a buy one, get one free deal? Let's, 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 let's see, shall we? Is it going to be a buy one, get one free deal, Neri? Neri, Neri, no, no. Come on, Neri, Neri, no, no. Is it going to be a buy one, get one free deal? Let's have a look. That's a great deal, but I've already seen those bronzites that we did earlier on, uh, kind of, you know, a lower price. I, I'm disappointed, Neri, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Ho! Taking the price point down again. Here we go. <laughs> That's how we roll on Jewelry Maker. It's just a good job we're having fun, isn't it? <laughs> 
Because I'll tell you what, we're losing thousands of pounds by bringing all these incredible prices to air. <gasps> but we're making friends. And that's the main thing. We want you to come back to Jewelry Maker time and time again. We want you to be able to have faith in us. And we'll be bringing you $7.99 for two massive eight millimeter strands of your bronze. Like there's two of them in this incredible deal today. And for a gemstone that we don't see very often at all, that's a genuinely amazing deal, isn't it? That is a great deal, yeah. Because you've got so many bracelets in there, even if you just turn them into stretch. You've got yes. four, seven ninety nine, four stretchy bracelets. You know, Ab absolutely. And um, and as the person who just messaged through, her her male customers love a bit of bronzite. Um, it is an amazing uh, gemstone. And do you know what? Um, let's have a quick look actually, because I've got I've got enough of these here. So this is all to do with this is all to do with myth and legends. Uh, so I am going to read this if that's all right. Emotionally, this is only myth and legend. Emotionally, bronzite promotes a loving and unprejudiced discernment within us. It provides the ability to resolve unsettled emotions in our life. Mentally, bronzite provides us with uh, the courage to act on our thoughts and feelings. It instills the courage to follow through life, uh, through, through, to follow through with life path decisions. Oh, yeah, exactly. Amazing. Um, brings harmony, compassion, forgiveness. The bronzite has an energy that helps to promote peace and harmony. Um, that's amazing. Uh, it's known as the stone of courtesy due to its energies. Promotes love, equality, protection to anyone with its in, within its environment. It's for the root and sacral um, chakras. Emotionally encourages loving and unprejudiced discernment. I've already read that one. Um, that's that is so lovely, isn't it? Mm. I mean, what an amazing gem! It is only it is only myth and legend, but you know, I, that is that that's the kind of gem that I want to wear. You know, mm. that's great, yeah. isn't it? It is a really fantastic grounding gemstone and a gem which you know, great for uh, great for guys, great to be able to make into your um, uh, Father's Day pieces, your. Uh, macrame pieces you know these kind of gems will fit into so many different designs and mediums won't they gorgeous yeah. well done you could as well if you wanted to use them on your your wraparound bracelets instead of a button you could use a larger gemstone yeah. like one of these if you yeah. made a little uh one of those wraparound bracelets yeah, yeah you? that's that's a good idea you can just do just like i did before just tie the knot underneath and that's your toggle then yes yeah gorgeous Perfect. why not still got lots of people coming through loads in baskets fantastic should we do another double trouble? I think so. Yeah. I should Coco, as my mother would say. God love her. Good old Jill. Good old Jilly. There she is. Right, here we go. Oh, my word. Double trouble. Whoa! Hang on. Are they graduated? Oh. Five to tell me. Five. Five to tell me. Five to tell I got to time to have a done a microphone. Uh, two graduated strands. Where is that? Two graduated strands of amethyst. <laughs> oh. Ah. You've got five graduated five to twelve mil amethyst beads. Double trouble deal. Um, should be. Are you sure? What did you used to just say? So that means each one of these strands should be about what fifteen pounds. That is a that's a load of rubbish. That that is no way these should be. That, the quality. <gasps> Hold it up to the decolletage. I mean, this. Oh my word! They are graduated. They're natural. It's Zambian emeralds you're going to be getting here. I mean, this is this is not. A £15 strand, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I've got news for you today. It's yours for £14.99 for both strands. Oh, my word. That's just wrong. I oh, mean, that is completely wrong, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, that's just a classic necklace. Like, if you're doing craft fairs and things like that, this is exactly what you need just to make those really quick turnover pieces you can do a great price on it, pass that saving on, and, it, you, you know, everybody would be talking about the fact that they could get a graduated yeah. amethyst necklace. Yeah. It's amazing. Great for your pearl knotting, great yeah. for your, um, you know, to practice your pearl knotting with. And let's face it, everyone's heard of amethyst, and this is how people expect to see amethyst, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Um, use it, by all means, excuse me, intersperse it with some of the gorgeous triangles and um, 
diamonds we bought you in the eight o'clock hour if you were lucky enough to get those because i had all the beautiful chevrons on but mm -hmm. if you want to keep it really classic and really simple just use these i mean it's brilliant you could do i mean it's simple but do a graduated necklace and a graduated bracelet and some earrings you've made yourself a suite of jewelry there for about for about 16 pounds you know if you take into, into consideration all of the kind of threading material as well absolutely amazing amazing. that's a brilliant deal yeah that's incredible 14.99 for both strands today well done should we do another double trouble double oh this is the new variety oh double trouble deal so delight now no 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 so delight uh oh, we've had this new variety of so delight over the last couple of months and it's been absolutely brilliant and it's like the d deepest darkest uh most kind of indigo colored um so i love this new color variety it they're faceted rounds you're going to be getting eight mil faceted rounds can you see can you see why we're so crazy about this look at that <gasps> oh my word i love it like crashing waves <sighs> That's gorgeous, isn't it? I love this gem. It's got energy. It's got feeling. It's got, like, the elements. Oh, look at that gorgeous recording. It's got the elements going through it. It's got movement. It looks like crashing waves, doesn't it? Beautiful, isn't it? <gasps> and tie-dye. It, it's exactly what it's like. Yeah, yeah. it's like tie-dye. My kids are crazy about tie-dye at the minute. I love a bit of tie-dye at the minute. It, it, is, it is that gorgeous kind of feel, isn't it? Eight ninety nine. Oh my word! Oh, wow, that's four fifty a strand. These are flying out the door. Well done, everybody. That is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I, 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 just, I just love that colour. Yeah, I've never been like a big Sode Light fan, but mm. this last lot of Sode Light we've had, it's like almost like lapis blue, isn't it? And it's it is deeper and darker. It's gorgeous. It's not as speckled as some of the other lapis. Uh, sorry, some of the other Sode Light is. It's yeah. got that kind of water. That it just looks like crashing waves, and and I just I love being next to moving water. Apparently, there's something about being next to not just water like a lake, but being next to moving water that's meant to be really good for the soul and kind of you know cleansing. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, whether it's by a river or by the sea or your rock pooling oh so much fun and um, but you know you've got the most gorgeous colors here and you've got that feel of movement and any gemstone that gives you that feeling that kind of uh, feeling of elements of something natural and nature gets my vote it really genuinely does this is all the way from canada this soda light maybe that's why it looks so different i mean i i, I assume a lot of our um soda lights that we've had recently probably come from uh, china i know that we do source some of the uh, um, uh, best stuff from china but um this is yeah, this is very, very special. Gorgeous. Just because we're moving on, it's just purely because of time, okay? You're going to be getting some of that, aren't you? I, I, can, yeah, I can tell. Yeah, I'm looking oh. at the highlight and thinking that's nice together. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, sorry, darling. Yes. Ah, oh, right. So this is a four mil bundle, a four mil plan, a pla, pla, a pla. I got to turn tables on a microphone. Um, here we go. Four mil bundle. You got the halite, you got the bronzite, <laughs> and you got the rutilated quartz as well. Oh, yeah. Never try and shoehorn anything into a prodigy song. So here we go. Um, yeah, bronzite, amazing. We've just bought you all of that bronzite. You clearly love it. We bought you the halite as well earlier on. Um, and make great spaces just to kind of, you know, just as a, a little, a little uh, note. And then rutilated quartz let's look at these bad boys bad boys what you gonna do look at these whoa looks amazing like a, looks like a sort of a harvest um table doesn't it it you does know, like a harvest festival and the pumpkins and the... a horn of plenty yeah yes gorgeous Lovely with your colors. beautiful fruitful colors yeah it's like a strand of seasons, isn't it? You've got yeah. some really... I'd love to separate these out into kind of cooler and warmer colours. That would mm. be a lovely way of setting these. Again, going back to Gemma's kits that we bought you in the... How much was... Oh. Uh, <laughs> in the nine o'clock hour. Perfect. How much was that? 10.99. None of us can remember. Because we're just literally moving on so quickly. Right, what are we doing now, lovely? 38. Oh, whoa. Ooh. Matte mm. Labradorite. Oh, gosh, wow. Two strands. Oh, I love this. Oh, I need this. Matte Labradorite. 
Oh, don't you love that? Yeah. It's gorgeous, <gasps> isn't it? Matt Labradorite, fastest fingers first. No way, this is an amazing deal we're about to do for you here. <gasps> oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. $6.99, ho, oh, there you go. Oh, I love these. Do you know what I found? I found two bits of sea glass um, the other day on the beach. It's quite difficult to find actually because it's of course, you know, our beaches are, do tend to be quite a lot cleaner than they used to be. But um, yeah, I found some sea glass. I gave it to my kids. I said, this is really precious and sea glass. They literally looked at me like they won the lottery. I said, oh, <gasps> mummy. Thank you, mummy. But don't you think this looks, thank, I shall treasure it and drop it on the floor while I'm having an ice cream. But doesn't, but it looks like, here's a piece of glass, uh, but it looks like it's got that feeling, that kind of frosted, mm -hmm. tumbled feel, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah it's, it's got a lovely finish and it makes it yeah. almost look like it's glowing. So when, when yeah. you see the flashes of Labrador, Dressing through that, it really feels like it's coming from right inside the yes. gem, doesn't it? From within the gem rather yeah. than the surface. Yes, you're right. Very popular. Let's do the plain rounds. Uh, oh, the same but different. These are highly polished. Neri, you are putting together some amazing bundles in this last hour. King of the bundles. There you go. Quite an accolade to have there. Oh, I don't know. Oh, Neri, don't say that. Hmm? You're definitely the most enthusiastic bundle maker that I know. There you go. Top marks for enthusiasm. Here we go. Amazing price. <laughs> Here we go. Seven ninety nine for your double trouble deals. Now, of course, you could use them together, couldn't you, Gemma? Yes, absolutely. And all those amazing Labradorite we had in that oh, showcase earlier. Yes. These are ideal because they're, they're nice and small and they'll sit around... It won't be too over in, you know, imposing. Yeah. But they, you know, they hold their own as well. The big, uh, the big triangles that we had earlier on. Oh, there were just so many wonderful shapes and sizes. If you do want to get any of those, go to our website and you can, you can have a look and see what we've, uh, see what we've um, uh, uh, played, thank you, throughout the show today uh, and add them onto your order. You won't be able to buy anything for the 8 o'clock hour. All of that's been taken off, uh, unfortunately, but um, that's just the way they're cookie crumbles uh, in the 8 o'clock hour. But everything in the 9, 10, 11, and, of course, this hour, you'll be able to add onto your order, no problem whatsoever. Seven ninety nine. well, done let's do multi 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 color fluorite oh this is oh, this is epic uh greens purples blues absolutely phenomenal i love this green this is the sea glass green isn't yeah, it it's that it gorgeous kind of uh yeah like old bottle green yeah oh lovely these are gorgeous aren't they and they will fluoresce i mean not like a you know like a a glow stick but but get this near your neon uh, near your ultraviolet light uh, take it out in the sunshine of course which is the world's biggest ultraviolet light and um, and it will glow ever so ever so slightly it's really beautiful really makes this gemstone um stand apart from others gorgeous but the colors are so rich aren't they in this um in this strand they're so lovely Gorgeous quality. Well, there's a brand new strand, everyone. Is your brand new strand? All the way down, all the way down for just six pounds. Amazing deal for you today for 230 counts. Anyone who shops with this in this hour is going to be entered into a prize draw to win all of this. A bag with, uh, you've got books in here, you've got your beading tray, you've got your DVD, you've got another awesome book in there, you've got your Zuron pliers, you've got your gemstones, you've got your scoops, <gasps> you've got everything, literally everything. And you've Three got your Umbra strand, you've got yep. another book, and of course you've got Gemma Crow jewellery as well, Gemma. <gasps> Gemma. <gasps> Thank you so much, Gemma. Welcome. And all because it's Gemma's birthday. Little, uh... What's it called? A little easel Easy. with a chalkboard on there. Seed beads, pearls, rubies. So anyone who shops with this in this hour is entered into a prize draw. One of you is going to win all of that and the bag as well, uh, which is amazing. Ooh. Fiona and Canter Gem. Hi, ladies. Happy birthday, Gemma. Fingers crossed. I'm going to be a nana for the fifth time today. Oh, <gasps> good luck and congratulations. Oh, for what? In one day? You've become a nana five times? <laughs> I know what you mean. Don't worry. <laughs> wow, that would be quite amazing. <laughs> um. <laughs> My dad did go from having one grandchild to four grandchildren within the space of a year. 
Uh, with, actually, within the, yeah, within the space of nine months. Oh, my gosh, <laughs> really? Yeah, because my brother, so he just had Tom, and then my brother had his twins, and then Charlie, like, early. So oh, my word. <laughs> That's quite amazing. <laughs> Gemma, it's been brilliant having you with us today. Thank you so much for joining us on your oh, birthday. You're welcome. It's been lovely. Thank oh. you for, for all my wishes, birthday wishes, and for my cake and my oh, car. It's, it's been, been so... Hasn't it been lovely to have Gemma with us today? And I've, oh, I enjoyed so much the masterclass, the, the resin masterclass. It was so good to see that um, to see that medium. I'm uh, just, you just enjoyed it. Brilliant. Tomorrow, you've got Goshenite uh, as, sorry, it's not a new presenter or anyone, sorry, uh, the Gemstone Goshenite uh, is your deal of the day tomorrow. So we're going to be bringing that to you. Alison is going to be with you this afternoon uh, with lovely uh, Jenny as well, which is going to be absolutely Yay. fantastic. So, uh, yeah, enjoy this afternoon's show. Thank you so much, Gemma. Oh, Have a really you. happy birthday. Thank you. Bless you. And we'll see you the other side of this with Alison and the lovely Jenny. Good afternoon everyone. I just wanted to ensure that from this Monday, we are gonna give you an amazing opportunity. We're not only bring you a big four gemstone, we're not only bring you one of the most important barrels ever found, but we have managed to secure for you an unbelievable Zambian emerald show where we have got absolutely amazing sizes, some really unique cuts and carat weights, and of course, the prices that are gonna be alongside those are amazing. So if you You want to add potentially one of the most amazing and important discoveries of emerald ever found then come and join me on monday for something so unique and for this occasion you're going to be able to add some of the most beautifully saturated emeralds to your jewelry collections at price points that i don't think you'll have seen before so come and join me and i look forward to seeing you on monday Here at Jewelry Maker, we've got some really exciting news. After 10 and a half years, we can finally launch Split Pay. The whole point of this is to make it as affordable as possible to buy things from Jewelry Maker. So you have the opportunity to pay either two or three fixed interest-free payments depending on the item's value. It's that simple. Thank you, Carols. We are so excited about this opportunity and we know that you will be as well. So enjoy this new way of shopping on Jewelry Maker. So from the three of us and everyone else here at Jewelry Maker, see it, love it, split it. Did you know that we are live every day from 8 a.m. through to 5 p.m.? We can be watched on Sky, Freesat and Virgin. You can also watch us on Freeview SD from 8am to 1pm and Freeview HD from 1pm to 5pm. Or you can join us online at www.jewelrymaker.com or download our app from the App Store. Here at Jewelry Maker, we want to still be able to support you in your jewelry making journey. We understand that during these unprecedented times, the priority is to keep everyone safe. We want to still give you the option to learn, experience and join like-minded people by offering our online workshops. Our online workshops are still run by our amazing designers who will guide you step by step and give you all the support needed to develop your skills. For more information, contact our workshop coordination team by emailing sarah.bingham at jewelrymaker.com. Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. 
jewelry makers. Did you know that no matter how many times you purchase, no matter how many times you check out, you only pay one postage and packaging per day? Say that you've purchased an item during our morning show and then decide to buy something else later on in the afternoon. As long as all of your products have been purchased within the same day by midnight, your orders will all be combined and your postage and packaging will work out at that of just a single fee. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jenny Cleary, you're watching Jewelry Maker. Thank you so much to Carol and the birthday girl Gemma Crow uh, for this afternoon, for this morning show. We're doing this afternoon show, Jenny. Uh, <laughs> we are delighted to have your company, and it is, of course, the time for your masterclass. Today's masterclass is all about ear climbers, crawlers. We couldn't say what we're climbers. Call. Climbers. I like that. We call? Oh, we, we're calling them. Crawlers. No, I like ear climbers. I think somebody on Facebook might have said that. Ear climbers. I've got one in. We're going to show you. We're going to show you what you're going to. I'm like this. This is what we are going to learn <laughs> how to make today. I am very excited about this. I, I have love it in right. Them. I have it in right, don't I? Yeah. Look. How cool is that? It is lush, isn't it? I think. So I know my daughter would love this, and all the young girls that are, are here, like. Chloe and Hannah are like, oh, I love that. Oh, I love it. And Hannah's basically a party animal. Now, I am joined by an uber-talented jewellery maker, Lady of Leather. It is the <laughs> wonderful Alison Terry. Oh, Lady oh. of Leather. Here she comes. Lady of Leather. I'm going to make up a little ditty. We've also got Toby Cavill coming up you later have. on to talk to us about prestigious gemstones. We've got some bougie kits for you today. Oh, Alison Terry, we are gassed. Alison has just been recording a DVD that um, herself and I are going to be launching on Sunday. So there's a little bit of insider goss yeah. for you. There's three ways you can come shopping with Alison and I this afternoon. You can get yourself on the dog and bone. The number is on your screen. It's 0800 644 655. Jewelrymaker.com if you want to do it online but in the style of Jack running up the beanstalk Groove Rider is going to tell us the quickest way to shop Groove Rider do tap the app, do tap, the app. <laughs> tap the app it's available to that I just threw in I just threw you that bean didn't I uh, it's available to download in all the usual ways if you have already shopped with us today at the bottom of your order is a box that says combine order if you tick that box it's one pmp all day long and that is just three pounds and 95 pence you can pay with debit card credit card or paypal are you ready to shop girls behind me yeah. yes they are look at them mid-party alison terry lady of leather yes are you ready to shop always and what about you jack claiming up your beanstalk are you ready to shop Ready. He's ready. Guys in the gallery, are you ready to shop? They absolutely are. So I'm going to presume we are all ready to shop. Maybe you're taking us with you in the garden today. We'd love to know how you are watching us. Send us a little message in. Now, these kits that we're going to bring you today are a little bit extra bougie, aren't Thank they? Thank God. I absolutely adored these kits. I haven't had Labradorite or Moonstone mm -hmm. for a long time. And you've got both in both kits. I've got both in both kits. You've yes. got to be Stunning. gassed for that. So HDXCAT is your item code. The other one, the other one, the other one. Okay. Let me see. Let me just flip my board so you can see the gemstones. Here we go. <laughs> you have got the most wonderful drops of Labradorite. Now, Labradorite's become increasingly difficult for us to get hold of at the moment. So we have had a bit of a drought of it. And we've had so Stone many of strong. you asking where the Labradorite is. Why isn't there so much Labradorite like there used to be? We just haven't been able to get it. Uh, it's It's been really difficult. And it's so funny because, you know, we've got to wait to see what Mother Nature provides. And, and there isn't much at all now. This is such a super strand of Labradorite. Whether you're going to have the these drops going down or up, 
every single one of these is displaying wow. the most amazing Labrador essence. The blues are incredible. The reds are incredible. The greens are phenomenal. And you've got such a, a, an ethereal quality from Labradorite. Yes. It is said if you are into healing, if you're not, this is still, a, you know, something that's said it's the most magic of all of the gemstones. And I think this is a gemstone you sort of think, you look at the enchanted qualities that it seems to wow. possess and you think, okay, maybe this is one that we could sort of make a wish upon. Don't you think? Yeah. Then I'm going to have, an, and I think the same about Moonstone. I think that's really ethereal as well. It also represents one of June's birth gemstones. So if you're creating birth gemstone pieces for those gorgeous Geminis, then perhaps this is one that you might consider because it is one of the three birth gemstones for June, the others being Pearl and Alexandrite. So you've got Still named, isn't it? that look at the chatoyancy, look at that beauty. Another gemstone that you feel if you held it in your hand and made a wish, yeah. perhaps there's a chance it might come true. I'd, I'm going to go for that rather than, you know, walking across two drains because they're man-made <laughs> drains, aren't they? Then you've got... Your rainbow moonstone in sea beads. Gorgeous. We gotta keep Lady of Leather very happy, and we knew this would do it. Alison Terry, the Lady of Leather. Now you're already checking out for this, but wait thee, wait thee, wait thee, because you get two reels of wire, one silver, one rose gold, all ready for you to make your ear climbers with 0.4 and 0.8. It is a very bougie kit. YLXC21 is your item code. It's called Moonlight. And already 10% of the stock's gone before you even know the price. Ready? £26.96 wow. is your price. Now think about it. This strand of Labradorite could it's easily amazing. be £20 on its own. More than that, if you're looking outside of jewellery making, you'll pay a lot more for it. Um, it, it's, it is a gemstone we can't get hold of at the moment. You've got that super quality in the moonstone. There's so many of you there. Well done. Oh, wait a minute. There's something I forgot to tell you. Everybody who buys either of these kits will be automatically wow. entered into a draw because of Gemma's birthday to win this bag of goodies. Wow. We've even got the pearl wire in there. We have got some sapphires. Wait a minute, there's seven grams of silver clay in there. A what? There's <laughs> loads of... Shh, said LJ. Shh. Have a look. All there's of a this. There's chain in there. There's, there's chain. Wire. There's... Hang on. <gasps> there's all... Oh, oh, we've got all sorts of things in here. Got Sarovskis, seed beads. There's some aquamarine in here. Mm. There's some obsidian in here. Oh, that's a bountiful goodie bag. But you've got to amazing. check out. You've got to check out your basket. There's more. There's a syringe of clay. It's a little bit naughty, that. Say so there's... Don't worry. Shh. Don't worry. Don't worry. No one gave you the rules. It's fine. It's Gemma's birthday. Don't say so nothing good. to no one. Don't say nothing to no... That is a very, very well-picked bounty bag. I'm happy with that. You're going to be ecstatic yeah, if you are the winner. Right. To begin with the chance, all you've got to do is check out your basket. A winner will be picked at random. We'll let you know who's won. When are we letting everyone know? At the end of the show! And then Great. we can send it off to you. YLX C21, 26 99 for this one. You have to check out baskets. You can buy either of the kits. To be and, and if you buy one of each kit, you'll have two chances, of course. YLX C21, there's hundreds of pounds worth of goodies in that. Oh, no. We could go through it. I don't mind. Uh -huh. Should I open it or not and show everybody what they could win? Or you can empty it out. Do you want me to empty it out yeah. over here? Yeah. Alison's going to empty it out. If you could display it, that would be wonderful. I'll display it. You display it. Well, actually, because I could display it over here, can't I? Yeah, because you can't really see what you're winning. I mean, I know there's silver clay in there, and I know there's loads of what. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I oh gave LJ a bag God. and said, just go and fill that. And she's literally Ooh. gone wild. Alison oh, Tarris. I found the teacup. Okay. It, well, you don't get the teacup. You don't get the teacup. Oh, really? What is it? What is it? Tell me, tell me. Is it a sterling silver charm? No, it's a pair of sterling silver gemstone earrings. 
Oh, 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 the amber, amber earrings. Okay. Oh, 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 oh pair of amber okay. studs. Okay. What else? What else? We've got uh, pearl wire. wire. Oh, we've got. I'll have a look at that. Oh, I'm gonna have a look at that in the middle. We've got some um, some beads. Oh, nice. Um, is it like a stocking for jewelry makers? No, it's fab. Oh, is that aquamarine? Yeah, oh, I saw the aquamarine. Wow. We've got some. Um, oh, that's beautiful. Ombre oh. um, faceted amber. I have got, while Alison goes through that, look at these quartz drops. Moonstone. Aren't they Are lovely? They quartz? They're quartz. See, I thought they were moonstone. Yeah, they've got the iridescence They're of it, haven't they? They're beautiful, aren't they? Let me just have a look. Yes, it's the girasol quartz. So this is the one. If you turn the lights down, oh. it glows. Look. May we? Is that all right, Bruce Singham? They're gorgeous. Brucingham, darling. I love those. Turneth the lightest down. Look. Alison, look, look, look. I Did know. you know they I glow? Know. They yes. glow? They're beautiful. They glow. They glow. Did you know they glow? <laughs> <laughs> Making words up. Isn't that fabulous? Oh my goodness. So these glow. They, uh, they're just beautiful, aren't they're they? They're gorgeous. Then I'm gonna give you thank you, Brucingham, darling. That's one of the best strands of, of labradorite I've seen for a long time. These are insane. They're they six are, millimeters. You get a hundred carats. You've got all that labrador essence. They're just yeah, gorgeous. Those are a bit tasty, aren't they? Oh, yeah. They're a little bit tasty. Then a double strap, by the way. Oh, look. Oh, no. I, I, I was like, what? <laughs> it's a double strand. 36 inches. I'm not sure what that is in centimetres, in the strand. Isn't that just something else? It's gorgeous, isn't it? Are you ready to shop for Mystic Light? You're also guessing. All I can hear is cheeky guffaws. 0.8 and 0.1 in rose gold and in gold. Ready for your ear climbers? This kit! Is going to an incredible 24.99 HDX C80. You've got to check out your baskets. This also qualifies you for an entry into the draw. Wow, what a stunning kit! Thank you, Leanne. I had a bath bomb last night, Leanne. D did I message you and show you? I might have. Leanne sent me some bath bombs. But the funniest thing happened. I'm going to message you. I'm going to message you. Uh, loads of you have got this in a basket. Alison, Sue, Chrissy, Pauline, Claire, oh Sue God. in Gloucestershire, Antoinette, Jackie in Blanel. I have got uh, Julie, Sharon, Maker in Avon. I've got Karen in Fife, the Avon. I've got Pauline, Maker in Wiltshire. Margaret in Cardiff. Uh, Mary in Cambridgeshire. You've got yours, Kim, of the city of Bristol. Alison, you are in with a chance of winning. I am. An amazing, not oh. you. No, you can't because you're staff. Um, you, no, sorry, Alison, not you. Alison, you're in with a chance of winning the prize, but what have you picked out that's particularly exciting? Apart from the silver clay, I mean, we've got silver clay in there. You have three morganite cabochons. Right, go on. Oh, my gosh. Tell me more, tell me more. You've got three top-drilled amber rounds with their pegs. Or, tell me more, tell me more. We've got malachite cabochons. We've got silver clay, we've got amethysts, we've got chips and nuggets, we've got a little bit of Swarovski, we've got a bit of all sorts. We've it's got a very sapphires. good kit. We've got elastic. We've got aquamarine. Sapphires. Oh, sorry, ametrine. Yeah, sapphire. Good grief. Um, can I tell them the price that's written on this? Yeah, tell and me. That's, this is a, that's, that's going to be a discount price. Yes, so it was got, a, yeah. So you got Did, it was in the staff shop, so yes, it was a deal. So you got £20 on that, £17 yeah. on that, so that's £37 on two, pound, two items. Yeah, but then the silver clay, that, that's a but lot of money. How amazing They're black, are those? Are they the obsidians? They're the black onyx. Gorgeous. They're gorgeous. You've got chain, you've got feathers, you've got chips. You've got, I'm not <laughs> sure what that one is. Let me see and I'll tell you. Is it, is it um, oh, it's coffee moonstone. It's, it's a moonstone. Oh. Oh, I chocolate love it, moonstone. chocolate moonstone. Yeah. That's lovely. Wow. You've got we haven't seen that beans. this year. We're going to... Oh. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Um, 
Alison just got, uh, got in her ear. Alison, we know you're having fun, but these kids wow. are going to sell out. We need to get you to your findings. demo. Finding's everything, but if you want to be in with a chance of winning that pack, all you've got to do wow. is make sure you check out your either of the kits. You can buy both if you want. You can buy multiples if you want. And I know you're all going to want to see how you make. So this is how you put it in, because Alison had to talk me through putting it in. The spiky bit goes in first through your ear. Then you hook this bit up over the top. They're so fabulous, and they're comfy, aren't they? Alison, you can't tell you're wearing it. Yeah. You can't. Because at first I thought, oh, is that going to sort of pull you the bottom of your... But it doesn't. I it can't feel it. At all. So I comfy. promise you, I promise yeah. you, I cannot feel... My earpiece in my ear feels more than that does that, in, yeah. in so my comfy. piercing. It's exciting. If you've got any questions or you'd like to say hello to us today, please just message us in. It's 78070. Start your message with the word JM Studio and then we'll pop it up onto, onto our screens. You can also converse with us. If you are shopping from overseas and you can't text us in, you can do it on the app on the bottom right hand of your screen. There's a little icon uh, that's a message sign. Send us a message through there or you can log in online. <gasps> click watch us live and then send a message to the studio. You need to log in to be able to do that. You can also email us at studio at jewelrymaker.com. I'm still hearing gasps, so just one more, just before we hand you over to the lady of leather, what are you gasping about now, darling? What is it? Oh, now, well so now. Right, the, the, you can't so see it there, right the feather. colors in this are stunning. Um, it's top drilled, I think it's a leaf, but it's Oh, I thought feather, you think leaf? Yeah, yeah. I was okay. thinking, or an angel Seven wing. Leaf. Could be either. Stunning. I, I don't. Anyway, sorry. No, no. Don't worry. You're not. Um, Alison, you're not. Alison, we are so excited to learn how to do the ear climbers. What? What's it all about, Lady Terry? Right. So, so I have to thank um, Director Ollie for putting me onto the. Oh, Director Ollie's girls yeah. for putting me onto these because I've I've not seen them before. I've seen bars that sit over the top. The seam bars that go through drill holes, you know I do the earrings that go up the top of your ear, the cuffs, the stuff that goes behind. I love all the different sorts of ear adornment we do. But I've not seen these, I've missed these. These are so, so new. So, I, I couldn't wait to have a go. And this kit, these kits are perfect. Any, any of you, your two mil gemstones are going to look great. We've got some beads, we've got those beads coming up. The big beads go on the 8 mil. You can use it with such a range. You can use it with drops. You can you can um, do a bit of tiara twisting oh, yeah, onto your you wire. Yeah, you can drop down from there. Can't yeah, you? Or, yeah, or you can at the top. A drill yeah. through one. You can put it. You can put it. Fix it. So if it's uh -huh. a through drill drop, a through a drop. Yeah, one of them. I know. You can put it going through. <laughs> so so the, 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 it is limitless. This style is limitless. It's brilliant. So I started with a piece of wire which is probably about ten inches. Ish. Something like, like that. It's too much, but I always I would always rather have too much than to run out. So I'm going to put a bend in the middle. Now, if you've got a, a, a pair of flat uh, nose pliers, they're better. Pop your wire in and then bend it. This is the best way to get a good, sharp bend because you get that really sharp 90 degree bend and then you can just bring that in. So you want a really tight, squidge it together for the top. And then we're just going to bend it right. Have you, have you got the, the these on? on? We're going to we're going to have a okay, look for cool. them, darling. Um, and while you're there, some some of the um, step of pliers. Three stage pliers. We'll the, have a the look. The six step. The six step. Six pliers. step. Sorry. Oh, we don't have any. Okay, of those. we don't have any. I didn't think we had any at the moment. So, on your bend, you're going to make the cuff part first. So all I'm going to do is bend it round. Now this makes quite a wide generic cuff. So this bit is where your skin goes. This, this bit goes over the top. The thing is, different people have different size ears. So you can adjust this, and I would say to people, adjust this to, to fit your own ear. You can squidge it shut. You can open it up. So, so that's that bit done. So now we're going to have a look at the rest of it. So we're going to... You want it to go the length of your ear, which mine is about that. It's amazing how, how small some of them are. And then you want to go, if you want to do it for yourself, measure from the top of your ear down to your drill hole. <laughs> down to your piercing. Your drill hole. Through your drill hole. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So to get the flash or the, the, the lightning, 
ease them apart. You don't want to bend up until you've got your pliers. Now, if you can go, again, either with a flat nose or a chainmail nose, and you're going to push against the plier. You're not going to turn this bit. You're going to push it against the plier. And that, again, gives you that beautiful um, turn. But we want to go up a little bit. I'm then going to put my pliers back in to fetch that flash down. So that's our, that's our flash, but we want to turn the bottom. Now, you can't turn them both at the same time because you want this one to sit below that one. So you've got to give it enough room. So you're looking at giving it probably, well, this is 0.8, so probably about 1.6 mil or a couple of mil. If you turn it so that your pliers are going to be on the outside, and I know I'm turning it, but I'm now going to push then that should sit, hang on, let me open that a little bit, see how that sits directly below, okay? If they're not spot on, don't worry about it because you're going to bind over it. So again, at the top side, you want this to fit inside that gap there, so you can't do it at exactly the same place. So you've got to judge it to be a little bit smaller so that it will sit, let me get the bottom wires going the same way, Okay, so you then end up with this um, flash part so that it sits the same. Now, on, on the ones I've seen online, most of them have one wire. This is the difference between using a hard wire and what you use for most jewellers are using a soft or, or a, a, at most a semi-hard wire. So what you need to do at this stage is work hard on it. Either using your flat nose pliers and literally squidging along it, that is work hardening that wire all the time. So whereas that was quite flexy, that's now getting more solid. So you, or you can lightly hammer it. So you want to go all the way down, especially the bit that's going to go through the ear. So you want to go to about by there with one. So allow yourself an extra couple of mil. So I'm going to allow myself an extra two mil to what I think is going to be the length. And then the one that's going to go through the ear, I'm going to allow, because I'm not doing these to anyone's specific measurements, I'm going to allow that much. So this part here, which is going to go in the ear, that I've now work hardened. Give it a good hammer. Um, if you've got the burr, burr the end or just lightly sand the end. But sand it, don't sand it flat because it still gives you an edge. Actually sand it like that. So your action is creating a bit of a curve on the corner. Just to get rid of that sharp edge, just give it a little bit of a sand. Okay, so we're then going to go. So on most of these, I've used the same weave just to keep it simple. So I'm going to go to the 0.4 wire. Let me undo a section of the wire. There's different ways to do them. So for the one that I've done that's got the flash on, I would preload this. When I say preload, the whole, the whole, um, the bit that takes the time is picking up the beads. So you don't want to be picking them up each time. So if you slide the beads on, the easiest way to do it, most, most of your small gemstones come on a double strand. So you get two threads going through. Pull one of the threads through because that thread is generally a 0.4-ish. And then what you can do is you, you thread that on so they're all still on the strand. Yeah, and you're literally pushing them from the strand. They're not going anywhere. They're not falling off. And you can thread them on so quick. Rather than having to pick them up and find the blooming hole, it is just so quick to do that. Okay, so you can overload it. I'm not for the moment, but overload it. And then, because I start work from this part, the top, nearest the, the um, reel, I'm just going to put a loop on the other end. If you've got a bead stopper, use a bead stopper just to stop them going, going through. It's, it's, it's a force of habit. It's the way I've always worked. Um, you can work the other way. It just means that that ends through. If I, need to, if I need to add anything on, I can always add it on. So starting at the top, so for the flash one, I actually did the gemstones straight away. For some of the others, I've got little little um, woven sections. Oh, there you go. This one with a different weave. 
typical, that's me. Um, so I'm just going to do a couple of loops just to secure it. Now what I would say is the best way to do it, even with flush cutters, going this close to the ear, I would want my wire sticking out away from the ear so when I trim it, it's not at the back. Trying to cut in this loop here, trying to get in there, even with um, fine flush cutters, is quite difficult. So I'm going to go round a couple of times just to secure my wire in place. I'm going to show you that it's a, it's a simple weave. I do it all the time, but it, it, whether you count four in two, five in two, three in two, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to go round four times. Three, four, okay, and then round two, and I can't stand that, so I'd squidge it up. I hate it being loose. Then I'm going to go round the two twice, not pulling them too tight because I still need that gap, literally a 0 0.4 gap, because I want to get that wire through. When you do that next one, that's when you can really pull it tight, and that will give you a really nice tight finish. So if you want to do a woven section, that's how you do the weave. Four, round one, then twice round two. Four, round one, twice round two. Then we're going to fetch our beads down. So I'm going to go down. Now, if you just wrap them round the two, these won't stay in position, and also it can become quite untidy. So pull it down and then go between the two, anchor it there, and then come up the other side. It just secures it a bit more, so I do it on, I alternate. So the next one, I'm going to put it there, pull it down, and then go all the way underneath and around the opposite side. So what I'm going round, the first one I go round, drop it down again, put them over, underneath and around, like that. And then the next one, I'm going to come up. And I've just alternated those, and I'll show you the back in a minute. Feed the next one down. So I've gone all the way around the back, drop it down through my zigzag, and along. Okay, so, it's, so what you get is, if I, if I show that to Michael, so you get two wraps around one side. Can we go to number two? It's okay. Two around one side, uh, and then two round the opposite side. So you're alternating. Okay, now, me being me, I'm actually going to squidge those so that the twos actually come out evenly because I don't like untidy, even on the back. Nobody's going to see it, but I'd like that. They sort of kind of sit in pairs. So you go all the way along. When you get to the... Um, let me just simulate that. So we're going to go all the way along till we get to our first zig. Okay, so I've got my ones on there. I know I've um, not fixed them properly. Slide my next one down. So I'm going to go across the diagonal. So that's got a point, and I'm going to come, whoops, come between them and turn the corner there. So I'm now going to come underneath and I'm now got turn direction, but it's nice and tidy. You've not got any wire hanging out anywhere. Yeah, and then you're now around. I did the top one before. I'm going to do the bottom one that time. Should get three, maybe four. Yeah, I'll get four on here. So I'll come up through there. And, and that's literally all you're doing with these. Round the top. And again, so we're going the opposite way this time. So when you drop your, hang on, I've come up through there, thank you. So when you drop your bead down, we're actually going to go to here. Okay, that's quite tight, squidge those on. You're now coming up through there, up around the other side, and you just keep going till you think or you've measured the length of your ear. You do sometimes, they, they kind of try and fall off the end, especially when they're crammed around this zigzag bit. Let's just pull that through and up 
and add another one and we'll do one more I think we've got one more on there that's almost like I planned it it just helps by putting the two it just helps stabilize them on because you can see those aren't rocking anywhere that is rocking so it just helps stabilize them right I'm going to add that one on so that's going to be my last one I know this is a bit shorter so I'm just going to add three wraps finish through the middle coming towards the front I know normally we'd finish at the back but I don't want there to be any any possibility of getting any scratch at the back now for this side so we've got this one you you could do a swirl or something decorative or whatever with that what I've done I'll trim that off so we're going to trim that off there now I want to cut this because what I'm going to do is bend it back so I'm going to trim this to about three mil, two, three mil. Make sure you only cut the one. You don't want to cut the long one. Obviously, this is stopping quite high up because I didn't put any more on. Then I'm going to use either the tips of your chain nose plier or if you've got them a needle plier. And we're going to just bend the very end up a little bit. I'll tell you why in a minute. And then we're going to bend the whole thing over. Now where that was bent, can you can you zoom in on that? This this little bit here, the end of it is pointing down, yeah? So this is bent over, but this very tip is pointing down. So when I don't do that on your gemstones, by the way, because you will uh, kill them. So you need to push that down and gently, I'm pushing down, I'm not this bit, the bottom bit's loose, I'm just pushing on the top. So what you happen with, if I turn that round now. Can you see how that the end of this is actually pointing downward? So that you're never going to feel mm -hmm. that. So that's completely safe and out of the way. And then you've got your, your part to go in your ear. Like I say, you would, you would have carried on down a bit further than that. That's a, that's a bit short. Um, but that gives you how to finish it off on each end. And then, like I say, burr that. That goes in. You can, you can do the cuff to fit. That's a generic one. So if you've got a big lobe, it'll go round it. If you've got a smaller lobe, you can. the easiest way to alter it is to just straighten that up a little bit. Yeah, so you can bend that in more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. So it's, it, you can adjust it for someone if, if they say, and you can just, what, what I would say to people is squidge it when you get home. I hate, I hate squeezing wire onto someone else because you know yourself when it's comfortable but it's hard for someone to say yeah, oh yeah stop like, there Ow! yeah you don't want to go you. and squash their ear but they're fabulous to wear they're absolutely fast they're so to wear comfy and they just look cool and you know what festival season is upon us yeah um god willing we'll all be able to go to the festivals that you've booked for i mean i'm well, not, just my son's going festively but this is like to the bar to yeah the yeah absolutely it's cool like you know having a nice glass of wine with the girls or going to meet a friend whatever yeah. it just looks cool doesn't it and, and you know they're going to take you you'll you'll get into that you could wear i personally even though i'm a very symmetrical person would only wear these in one ear and i'd have uh, a normal I earring on the other i agree with you i don't think i'll wear an earring in this one yeah I, I took my oh, just out, a simple didn't I? So I was like, yeah, no. you did. I just think that, like that, is is really yeah. cool. It just looks like or a stud shit, in the other it? ear or whatever. Oh, you a know, stud! Just... I'd wear a stud in the other yeah. ear. Yeah, maybe. Just... That's it. Yep. Either to match the colour of the wire or have have a make a stud out of um, one of the two mil gemstones. Yeah. Just have that on a piece of wire as a stud. Through so you, so it picks it up so it it ties in, but it's not gonna. That's the main focus. Yeah. I love it. I think it's brilliant. We've got some messages that we're going to uh, read out to you, Alison. Hi, ladies, Alison. These ear piece, these ear pieces look like something out of those uh, sci-fi shows. Ooh, they are brilliant, yeah. says Michelle. They're fab. You're going to love them. You will. You'll absolutely love them. Next message coming through is from... Just waiting for it. Computer says no. <laughs> Uh, I love making these, says Leanne. Thanks, They're great. Leanne. They're lovely. Can you have a look at the jewelry? Yes, uh, there's more jewelry that was made from the kits, and somebody's asked to have a look at those. 
Aren't they fabulous? So that's very, very similar, based on a design I did for a DVD. So if you've got the fantasies necklaces, and we Is are that working. What it was called? Yeah, we are working on bringing that back. Did you, who did you ask? Did you go and ask the buyers? Yeah. Or to Chloe? Right, okay. And they we, said, okay, we can try and get yeah. it. Because yeah, how hopefully. many times have we referenced that DVD? I know. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> There's a few left of the moonlight kit not loads about quarter of the stock remains wow. and oh and we are over allocated on the other kit with the labradorites and with the, the kits are phenomenal um but don't forget everybody that's bought by the way we're going to pick the winner tonight but we're going to announce it tomorrow just so you know so we are going to pick the winner today but we're going to announce it tomorrow on tomorrow's show YLX C21 is your item code for Moonlight 26.99. Is wow. your price, but I've got some more goodies for you. And I've got them in the beading baubles. They're called bridge beads. Yeah. And Alison, you have used some of these bridge yeah. beads in so your jewelry. In the bracelet, in there's there's two different colours. I've used I've used I've sort of sprinkled a bit. They go so well together. I was talking to Georgia and she said on the buying team and she was like, oh, can you use the beads with wire? I'm like, yeah, why not? Absolutely you can. You can go, oh, look, that looks like a waterfall. It's not really pretty. pretty. And you get Beautiful. the colours and the different effects complement each other. The iridescence is, yeah. is wonderful, isn't it? It is. And then we've got the other bridge beads in the uppy downy bracelet. Yeah, so it's up and down. Really love that. That looks fantastic, doesn't it? Okay, your price is coming in. You've got a whole pack of these. I, would, I wouldn't like to guess. I expect somebody somewhere, Mark Smith, has probably counted them for you. Uh, <laughs> you get uh, 20 grams. You get loads. You get loads in there. And these are in the Crystal AB. LTVD45, they're $6.99. Will I count them? It'll take me ages. Will I count them? It will take you ages. It will. There's probably at least 50 in there, isn't there? I would have thought so. Do you want me to count them? Uh, it'll take you ages. It, it will take a while. Yeah, can you? Yeah, but you've got an open packet, not a closed one, have you? Um, no, I think it's just bulging because there's so many in it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. It's Janice, you've got yours. Sabine's got three. Fran's got two. Carol, you've got yours. Alison in the Highlands, you are also shopping. Carol in Nottinghamshire, you've got yours. Six pounds and 99 pence. Hope you're all right. Did you manage to get out and about this weekend? Have you stayed in? Let us know what you've been up to. I think I'm the only one that went... Went anywhere, aren't I? I we had a table book for ages and ages and ages, me and my girlfriends, and we um, met up. We had some cocktails, and it was happy it's hour. Heart chain. Sorry. It's oh, heart, heart chain. chain. I know. You can't get that no. anymore. By the way, you can't get that anymore. <laughs> can't get that at the moment. And uh, the water record is about ten meters in there, isn't there? Of that heart chain. Oh, easy. Yeah. It's a good prize. <laughs> so here's the jet ones for you, but they've also got the cobalt on them too. So they're like double-sided, these jet ones. And these are the ones that Alison's used in the Uppy Downy. Yeah. That's what I'm calling it, uh, the Uppy Downy, the undulator. The undulator. <laughs> there we go. EGBD57 is your item code. The bridge beads in jet full azuro. Azuro, azuro. How are we going to say? Azuro. Azuro, azuro. 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 Potato, potato. Azuro. Azuro. Zero. <laughs> Let's stop saying the same word over and over again, shall we? I'm just going to say me. beautiful. <laughs> Six pounds and ninety-nine pence for those. You get absolutely stacks in there. Too many to count, if anything. Alison. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, uh, the packs, my packs, right? So I made the bracelet out of there, and you wouldn't think I'd used many. Count well, it doesn't look like you touched them. Yeah. <laughs> I know. And, and <laughs> I used slightly more, I would have said, out of the other pack. And again, don't look like I've touched them. They look great, don't they? They're fab. Yeah, they're, they're fab. fantastic. They'll, of course, work with your seed beading, but they go great with your eyework and your gemstones. EGBD 57. I've got uh, some more goodies for you. <gasps> if this one's a brand new strand of seed beads. Uh, and Ooh. they're smooth rounds of seed beads, which oh. we are really struggling to get. Yeah. Have you noticed how there's only been... The faceted. faceted. Yeah. I haven't seen smooth ones for ages. Well, Best, here we it? go. If you want to create that bubble illusion, then you need these Appetite Plain Rounds. They're two millimetres and they're gorgeous. They're brand new. You've not seen them before. And of course, Appetite is our hot gemstone for the moment. Everybody loves it. 
So, yeah. if you wanted to do a little mermaid tail coming from your oh, ear, which of course I do, in your ear, yes, you could have the little mermaid tail, and you could have it going over the top of your ear, so the tail came round down from oh, the cuff. Oh, that's so and you'd cute. Have a, a, those are perfect for it. Because the they're like bubbles as well, aren't they? They're totally natural. Wow. They're utterly beautiful. Oh. They are like literally like bubbles of colour, aren't they? Brand spanking new today. Ten carats of appetite. Two millimetre rounds, only three pounds and ninety-nine pence is a pocket money oh, price. You can the row same. these up like soldiers on your bead loom if you want to. Yeah. Have a little look at these. They go great on the loom. Wouldn't they just? Yeah. And because oh, they're not faceted, these could go in masculine pieces, you know? Yeah, yeah. You could do like, um, you could absolutely do, do the bracelets with these, do a stack of bracelet or two. So you could do a little dagger in your ear. You can do any shapes in a these ear things. A dagger would be so cool. Would a bloke wear one of those? Yes, yeah, Matt would wear it. He is like Viking mass, isn't he? He'd yeah. love that. Do a dagger and then a shield. Yeah, he'd love it. He does not like prawns, though. <laughs> well, let's not do prawn Do not shape. be coming at him with a prawn, but a dagger. I mean, oh. don't come at him with a dagger. <laughs> I'm going to stop there. 399 XMG, P47, Sharon, Donna, Kathy. Oh, gosh, there's loads of you there, and a message has just popped up. Hi, Jenny, Alison, Fab Team. Thanks for a great demo. I'm watching in the garden. Ooh, nice. Oh, Harry in the garden in Cheshire. How lovely. It's lovely. Oh. I'll be back up there soon. Oh, I love it. We were in the garden with the dogs yesterday. Everyone was chilling. Did you see my little yeah. Instagram? Oh, it was on, went on Facebook as well. Two of ours keep going out, and they, there's a patch in the patio that's just sun, and of course the patio slabs get hot, and they go they're and lie lying, them, and they're just lying there going. Oh. Can they go in and out as they please then? If we leave the door open. Yeah, yeah, same. <laughs> now I have got some really beautiful beryl in the lanterns for you. They're very beautiful, and the lanterns. They're a star, bye! Okay, we've got the, the lanterns for you, and the lanterns have been a really, really, really popular cut. So many of you grabbing for them for the summer, and I think it's because they give you that sort of 1920s elegance, they're giving you a wonderful amount of sparkle. And you're getting, you know, it's not too much sparkle. You know, sometimes the little facets are really, really sparkly. These are elegant, don't you think? These have that great Gatsby 1920s vibe. And I think they've got an absolute, absolute elegance about them. I am thinking, you know, Grace on Peaky Blinders. I am thinking, you know, it's just got that lovely geometric 1920s flapper girl vibe. But I also think these are ideal to wear as a wedding guest in a bracelet and a necklace. Yeah. I think they are absolutely striking as earrings, just one at the top of each ear, followed by a tassel. Keep going with that Great Gatsby vibe. And I just think they're going to look timeless. They'll work really, really well with pearls. Now, because you've got a strand of beryl here, you've got one of the big, well, the main players in, in the jewellery making world, in, uh, in, in the gemstone world, as, as far as a family is concerned. Because under the beryl umbrella, we have emeralds. Toby Cavill coming up later on with some emeralds. We have aquamarine. We have goshenite. We have heliodor. We have morganite. These are all really important gemstones, really beautiful, really sought after gemstones. I love the elegance of the cut. I love the way that these have the glass beads in between them just to give you a little bit of inspiration of how you could perhaps use them. And I think it allows them to swing a little bit. And I think that's what we want them to do. I think when this gemstone has been cut in this manner or any gemstone has been cut in this manner, it, I, th I think it's it's got to be encouraged to have a little bit of movement, yeah. have a little bit of swing, because that's when you get that almost baguette style luster from these elongated cuts that just play with the light. And I think it's, I think it's so unusual, so different, and it is very, very eye-catching. And, and like I keep saying, I think it's a very elegant cut. It's a very understated cut. It's a very classy cut, isn't it? Uh, NVG P12 is your ID code, 180 carats of multicolored beryl. There's loads, now, look how long this strand is. I know. We've had a few strands coming through that have been a bit longer than the other ones, and this is it's one great. of them. 
TC is in the building. He's always early. NVG P12 is your item code. 180 carats of multicolored. Oh, we've only got 50 of these left. I'm so sorry. I should have let you know. We've only had 50 of it. Well, much less than that now. Little queues forming on the phone lines for this one. £14.99. NVG P12 is your item code. You have got the most beautiful collection of soft pastel feminine colors here and that's what we're loving for the summer isn't it we're thinking about perhaps going out yeah. seeing our family seeing our friends going to that wedding going to that christening god willing and these are the colors we're going to wear and i think you know what we're all so excited and happy just yeah. to, even if it's just seeing that one person you haven't seen for such a long time it just fills you up does it, it fills your heart up because you just think oh it's so exciting i did it at the weekend i had two hours and it just makes you feel super happy and and if you time limit it by the way little tip you don't feel too anxious about it yeah that's what i thought because if you only had a certain time i thought okay i can deal with that i can go out for two hours and then two and a half hours and then i know right i'm gonna go home now and then you just get oh, for two hours and then you go home 14.99 mvg p12 14.99 is such a super price when you have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, thirty-one, two, three, four, thirty-four. Forty-four pence each. That's crazy. It is crazy. These make lovely cufflinks as well for the groom Same. and yeah. his ushers. Yeah. Wouldn't they? Absolutely. Those soft, lovely colours. Ah, uh, now, well now, half the stock has already gone. Uh, this is probably the last time you're going to see this strand. So if you love it and you can't deal with the thought of not having this in your collection this summer, maybe you've done, oh my gosh, please let us know. If you had your first stand or your stool or maybe it's at a farmer's market or maybe you're back and you're out, you're selling your jewellery. I want to know how it went. Are you now frantically trying to get more stock? Tell me everything, please. Now, I've got the next size down, but this time they're a little bit more... Um, they, they have more facets to them. I'm going to put them next to each other because sometimes when you see the same gemstone straight after another, it's difficult to sort of for your mind to go, hang on a minute, I can't remember what the other one looked like. So these are the ones I've just given you, the lanterns. These are the star cut. So beautiful. here Thanks. we have the most beautiful mix. And now I think I would use these particular ones for wish bracelets because I think one of these is quite powerful in its own right because it's got that lovely jagged star cut so again really playing on that geometric style that's out at the moment um, it's everywhere isn't it that geometric style everyone's loving it and I think I think wish bracelets would be super for this one SFP034 is your item code under 10 pounds is your price 130 carats will i count them i know you're going to make me count them one <laughs> two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one two three four five six seven eight nine thirty one two three four five six seven eight nine forty one two three four five six seven forty seven that's forty seven wish bracelets that i would sell it at I would sell those wish bracelets at $12.99 each. That's one gemstone with cord. So what's $12.99 times, what was it, 43? 47. 610 yeah. minus 9.99 for the strand, please. And £3 for the cord, being very generous with that £3. So it won't cost you that much. Profit equals... Oh, hang on, she's done her maths wrong. She panicked. So 610, take away 9.99 for the strand and then three pound for the cord. 597 pounds in your pro in your pocket for profit. If you know once they're all sold, that is a I think that is a, a sound potential for profit. But I was talking about this on a show a few weeks ago, and that's the best way to make your profit. If you if you are using one or twos of your beads, you are going to maximise your profit. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh, absolutely. And your time is yeah. going to be spent yeah. a lot less. You know, if you have to pay for yourself for your time, your, your hourly rate goes up that you, way. You have to include your time. If you're trying to do it as a business, then you have to include your time. Of because, course. Because, you know, how else are you making your money? If any other job you were you were in, you are paid a rate for your time. Mm -hmm. So being self-employed right should yeah. be no different. You're just, you are right. Different. People get apprehensive about yeah. that, but you mustn't. You mustn't. Next up, we're going to give you. Oh, these are so pretty. Now this is Russian Amazonite, and again, I'm going to put them next to each other because I've got the same cut. 
I think it's, uh, so these are a different size. I'd use these ones for earrings. I'd use these ones for charms, bubble bracelets, things like that. So these are them next to each other. I'm going to whip that one away. And we've got the Amazonite now. I think these are really breezy, beautiful. I love the idea of having this in a stretchy bracelet. I love the idea of this being also in an anklet because I think anklets work really, really well with a gemstone of this yeah. color. I think there's a great cut to wear around the ankle. And I think it's got some sparkle and it's definitely got a summer vibe to it, hasn't it? Most definitely. UOP 069, what are you most excited for? Text us in. Russian Amazonite from Russia, of course. <laughs> I love this Amazonite. I love the wait. colour of it. 9.99! Yeah. Under £10. Wow. I'm not going to count these. There'd be far too many. I'd, I'd say there's about 60 on there. What do you reckon? There'd be loads. Um, lots of you there. Well done to Stacey. Louisa, you've got yours. Anna, Hazel, Patricia, you're shopping. It's lovely and sparkly, isn't it? It is. I love Amazon. And that's going to go great with both of the, the um, strands we've got coming up. And with the barrel strand, that'll go lovely with that barrel strand. And it'll work great with mm. these kits. It will. I'll put it next to uh, Alan in Bedfordshire. Service, John. Elizabeth in Donegal. I have got, oh, I love Donegal. Have you ever been there? I've never been to Don. I've never been to Ireland. Donegal's lovely. What are you excited for? Yeah, that's what I asked. Is somebody uh, messaging us in? Christmas! <laughs> I am. Yeah, but I am too, because my daughter's coming home at Christmas, so I'm like, well excited. For, I know, but I'm excited for summer. So excited for the summer. I just can't wait. I just love it. Yeah, it. <laughs> I just love it. You, OP, I'm excited for barbecues. I'm excited for friends. I'm excited. To, I haven't seen my mum in over a year. How ridiculous is that? Yeah. It's mad, that, isn't it? Yeah. Now... Oh, these are huge. They're gorgeous. Oh, they're on the bougie strands with the jump rings on them. Yeah, this is a special one. Look, I know, I know it's the silly little things, but these are on bougie strands because you would definitely utilise that tassel. Look at the sheer size of these aquamarines. They are Jacqueline Nasses. Eat your heart out, Marilyn Monroe. Big, chunky gemstones, big sunglasses looking like Audrey Hepburn. We've been watching Dirty Dancing at home because, oh. um, uh, yeah, the, the girl, Amy, that works at the farm had never seen it before. <gasps> and I was like, Ames. <laughs> you can't go through life having never seen that film. So I made her watch it. She's now watched it about 17 times since. <laughs> Sounds about right. WEP021 is your item code. Aquamarine. These whoppers are 14 millimeter rounds. You've got 290 carats, which is huge as well. March's birth gemstone, 24.99. Ideal, again, to wear to weddings. I would definitely put twin little curls. They're beautiful. Do you know aquamarine is so, so sought after? And let me tell you, there was talk at one point of aquamarine becoming a precious gemstone. I don't know what happened to, to that little rumour, but I'll ask Toby later. Um, now, aquamarine is a gemstone that us humans have long admired and utilised uh, for, uh, for its luck when travelling. Now, men, sailors would go, men at sea, I was about to say, sailors would take aquamarine if they're going on long journeys, because, you know, they'd be at sea for months. Yeah. And they would take it to offer to the sea gods to stop them from being um, f from being tempted by mermaids Ooh. and dragged underwater by the mermaids. Yeah, you don't want that. Nobody wants that. But if you, you know, anyway. Um, but yeah, but it, this is a gemstone as well that's also been very, very much used in engagement jewellery. Before the diamond, it was mainly Aquamarine. all about aquamarine. At $24.99, you've got a whopping one. Can Julie writes in... I'm just waiting for it on my screen. I can't see oh. it over there. My son's 21st on the 22nd of June, which is the day after everything. Hopefully, be like, yes, he can go out, out. My hub is 70th, six days later, garden party. Oh, wow. yeah, June's going to be a good busy, one. Busy, busy. Julie, week. you better start saving now. You've got two very big presents to pay for. Can you put that I like with that you the, put your hand up. I always put my hand up. Can you put that with the, with the Amazonite? With, this, with the big drops. 
Drops, on, 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 Amazonite, yeah. yes. These ones? Yeah. I think one of those. Adventuring. Sorry, adventuring. Saying Amazonite, the other one was Amazonite. Yeah, that's the what I was like, oh, what do I do with it? Well, it's my son's birthday in Wouldn't June as well, lovely. Julie. That is gorgeous. Mermaidil, if yeah. anything. Like those two together. Me sorry. Too. No, never be sorry for talking gemstone. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. Nilamani, Nilamani is Ooh. local dialect for sapphire, isn't it? Now this is, but only a certain percentage of the world's kyanite can be called Nilamani. It has to have pure depth of colour all the way through. Oh. And look at that colour. Now Nilamani has taken the world by storm. storm. It was in looking for sapphire that they found Nilamani. Oh. And it's uh, we've we've shown you, haven't we, some of the little video clips of Dave Trough and Steve Bennett out there, um, looking in Nepal, looking for this gemstone. Now it's a gemstone that can create huge, huge price tags, like the one you're seeing on your screen right now. But of course, that isn't your price tag today. Eighteen carats. Wow. And they're ready to be put into rings. Into I think, you know, I keep saying it with the 16-inch chains and just yeah. a little drop. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at the depth of that. Now, 18 carats. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We've only got 18 chances left. Was it 18, did you just say? 18 carats. How many chances, sorry, did you say? Only 24 chances left. 24 99 wow. now, that's more like it. For Nilamani, that gives you those incredible sapphire blues from Nepal. And they go, um, it's got a really, really, really small yield, hasn't it, um, Nilamani? Like a tiny percent. Yeah. A tiny percent of the uh, of, of all, all that they, they um, bring out from the mines is... Nilamani quality. Oh, Jenny, what was the strand of drops then? Um, I uh, will look fab with the Nilamani kyanite. What? These darlings. The aventurine. She's not wrong, are oh, Jill? I think I put them. Gorgeous. I was thinking the same thing, Jill. But I'm going for the for the marquee with it. Oh, the marquee. But you haven't seen the marquee, so. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Yes, yes. Hang on a minute. What about with, oh, just a little bit of emerald? That's, is that Colombian emerald? Oh. Is it Russian emerald? Zambian. Oh, now that's beautiful. I, I know. definitely have those two strands together. I've got together. Zoysite hearts as well. <gasps> and we you? never get hearts. So I'm really excited and about so that. So was I. <gasps> it's going to be driving. a little bit gas this afternoon. It's going to oh, be a little no. bit gas. Hang about. I love this. You need this for your wish bracelets. You absolutely have to have it. Look. I love that. Oh, yes. It's a hamster hand in sterling silver. These are always so popular. Yeah. Lovely in a bra in a, an anklet as well. Oh, yeah. <gasps> to connect I love to, which it. is fabulous. Isn't it? I would put red cord, Oops. whoops, for luck, <laughs> red cord around it and wear it as a, as a bracelet. Lovely, yeah. I love this. I love it. What a great gift to give to somebody as well. Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful, isn't it? It's a stunner. $8.99. RBG wow. Y26 Baltic Cognac Amber Hands to Hand Connector in sterling silver. With a, It's got a piece of amber in it. It's got sterling silver. It's $8.99. That is a pocket money price. Janice yeah. takes the first. Jill is right behind you, maker of the channels. Alison in Angus, you've got yours. Terry, you're shopping. Stacey, you've got yours. Well done to Felicity and Susan. Eight ninety nine RBG Y twenty six. I tagged our Susie in something yesterday, and we've got some plans, haven't we, Suze? Oh. Maker in the Shire, Edith, you've got yours. June is in Warwickshire. I'm all about all of this. I'm all about it. I am. I have gemstones under my pillow. I found a road of crowsite under my pillow this morning. I forgot why I put it there. <laughs> it's not for memory, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Why did I put a road of crowsite under my pillow, anyone? I found it this morning. I was like, I only changed my bed sheets like on my first day off. How did I not see that there? Firstly. Secondly, how did it get there? Why did I put it there? 
I, uh, I know I can be the only one to answer that question, but I just don't know why it was there. No one's been in my room now, apart from the dogs. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Oh, we're good. Look, this is a break time. We've got one more hour of tarry time. The Lady of Leather will be back with me after the break with the Aventurina. I'm calling her that because she is the Lady of Leather. Every time I open my door, I think of you because I've got the key ring on my door oh, key. Yeah. It's on my front door key. So oh, that's well. really good because I've got one of them big old keys. Yeah, yeah. So it's a, a good key ring to have. Anyway, we keep gossiping and we're supposed to be going to a break. Me and Le the Lady of Leather will be back, or the LOL, as she shall lol. now be known, uh, after this. <laughs> Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia Partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source. So your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence. Good afternoon everyone, I just wanted to ensure that from this Monday we are going to give you an amazing opportunity. We're not only bring you a big four gemstone, we're not only bring you one of the most important barrels ever found, but we have managed to secure for you an unbelievable Zambian emerald show where we have got absolutely amazing sizes, some really unique cuts and carat weights, and of course, the prices that are gonna be alongside those are amazing. So if you wanna add potentially one of the most amazing and important discoveries of emerald ever found, then come and join me on Monday for something so unique. And for this occasion, you're going to be able to add some of the most beautifully saturated emeralds to your jewellery collections at price points that I don't think you'll have seen before. So come and join me. I look forward to seeing you on Monday. Jewelry Makers, we have a new Facebook group dedicated to sharing your makes and jewelry making advice. To join the group, simply head over to the page and hit request. You'll then be able to share your designs with our JM community and join like-minded people. Create, wear, share. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome back. We've got a star by for you that is unmissable, particularly if you are thinking all things wedding. Maybe you're branching out into bridal jewellery. Maybe you've got somebody special in your circle getting married. I absolutely think you've got the mother in the, of the bride, the bridesmaids, or the bride herself covered. With this duo, I haven't seen these in a long time, any kind of coloured pearls. These, This particular bundle, of course, is brand new. But what's great about these is that they are flat backed, and then they've got the dome on one side, which makes them so much easier to make rings out of. But that doesn't discount making bracelets. No. It doesn't discount making earrings or, of course, making necklaces. It's still going to look fantastic. You've got such a beautiful sort of steely blue here. Now, 
we're calling them metallic and champagne. I think you could, depending on how you want to work with these, these could go kind of with silver. You could make them into more of your something blue. They're gorgeous, aren't they? That. June's birth gemstone. OXR 054 is your item code. We are going to give you a super duper deal. Ready? Let's do it. <laughs> Real pearls. <laughs> They have the, of course, they've got the coating on them, but they are real pearls with that. It's not, we've called it dyed, but what it actually is, is it's more of a coating than a dye. It's not really, but, but it is classed as a dye when you dip, dip it into something. So these have the most beautiful finish. They work really well together. You can stitch these into garments. If you watch our sister channel, Sewing Street, be a great thing to combine into cushions with tassels, anything yeah. like that that you've, uh, you've started to make. Uh, you know, it doesn't just stop at fabric. If, you are, if you're watching Sewing Street or Yarn Lane, of course you can combine the gemstones with your fab fabric projects and it's just a wonderful thing to do. Gemma, you've got yours. Julie, Isabel takes three. Sabine takes three. Alison in Angus is shopping. Susan, you've got yours. It's great to see you. David's on the lines too. There is a little queue on the phone lines. If you could hit your number one button, that'd be grand. 12.99. Alison, That's everybody knows what a pearl looks like. Everybody yeah. knows pearls, don't they? They do. They do. Now, the, the metallics, kind of a bit peacocky for me. They make fantastic eyes for yeah. sculptures. I always Ooh. use those for eyes. It's, oh. it's my go-to my go to gemstone for, for the eye of a beastie. The eye of Is a it? beastie. <laughs> da, da, da. So most of my dragons have got pearl eyes. Oh. And those are fantastic for it. Twelve ninety-nine. It's a tiny weeny 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 price. Oh, I've crazy. got a different colourway for you. I'm gonna put them all next to each other again because sometimes, <gasps> like I said earlier, oh. when you have them separate, you think, oh. So have a look. So you've got that beautiful lilac. Or if you're American, lilac. And then you've got that gorgeous blue. I love the way Americans say lilac. Do you? You yeah. know, some words, you're just like, say it again. Lilac. <laughs> lilac. Have a look. So Stunning. these, for me, are bridesmaids. Yeah. What do you reckon? Lilac and teal. Perfect. Or aqua, we're calling it. I, yeah, see, I think that's lilac, and I would call that teal. We're just calling them blue and purple. Yeah. Mermaidial. I like that they call it. Mer but again, they've got a flat to one side. The dome on the other, these are freshwater pearls. They've had that wonderful dip colouring. Are you ready? No. For an utter treat again. Definitely for the bridesmaids. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Do boom 12 pounds and 99 pence, six pounds 50 a strand. This is crazy. Sabine's loving it. You are multi buying again, maker in Suffolk. That's You've got your right. Cheryl takes two. Amanda in Essex is also shopping. Well done to everyone that has got there. Sorry, I had a hiccup then. Two strands of pearls oh now you no, you couldn't put these on memory wire could you could you yeah you can oh so you can wire. yeah absolutely that goes through with a drill hole yeah because the memory wire is because it's a hard wire it's it's actually finer than it's i think it's about a point six. Oh, so most pearls right. will go on your memory wire so they'll go through it yeah oh we're happy with that aren't we now we're going to go to a quick technical break for technical reasons of which I, i'm not qualified to know what on earth they mean we will literally be a few minutes and we will be straight back. Don't you dare go anywhere. Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source. So your jewelry is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. 
With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems, and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewelry industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Good afternoon, everyone. I just wanted to ensure that from this Monday, we are going to give you an amazing opportunity. We're not only bring you a big four gemstone, we're not only bring you one of the most important barrels ever found, but we have managed to secure for you an unbelievable Zambian emerald show where we have got absolutely amazing sizes, some really unique cuts and carat weights, and of course, the prices that are gonna be alongside those are amazing. So if you want to add potentially one of the most amazing and important discoveries of emerald ever found, then come and join me on Monday for something so unique. And for this occasion, you're gonna be able to add some of the most beautifully saturated emeralds to your jewelry collections at price points that I don't think you'll have seen before. So come and join me, and I look forward to seeing you on Monday. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. Here at Jewelry Maker, we've got some really exciting news. After 10 and a half years, we can finally launch split pay. The whole point of this is to make it as affordable as possible to buy things from Jewelry Maker. So you have the opportunity to pay either two or three fixed interest-free payments depending on the item's value. It's that simple. Thank you, Carols. We are so excited about this opportunity and we know that you will be as well. So enjoy this new way of shopping on Jewelry Maker. So from the three of us and everyone else here at Jewelry Maker, see it, love it, split it. Come and see, welcome back. Sorry about that, something weirdly technical was happening. Didn't, I don't even understand. Now, have a look at these colors. You know, this is one of my favorite colors of all time, but how is this not Nilamani? Yeah. Well, Toby is in my ear, perhaps he can enlighten us, but look at these colors. They're beautiful. Stunning. Again, I'm going to talk about the dip yeah. in the throat and yeah. just have, have that 16 inch necklace with the, just, just, just having the, the gemstone there. dropping at the dip in the throat. 18 carats of kyanite. These wow. are stunning. So kyanite, quite unlike any other gemstone, yeah. gives us this amazing pulescence inside. Yeah. And it's, it's, something, it's something to behold. It's so beautiful. And, you know, if you love sapphires and you've always thought, gosh, I'd really love to have, you know, a seal on sapphire, but perhaps I can't afford it. I would invite you to try this gemstone because I think you're going to get such depth yeah. and drama out of this and you're going to love it. One of these, I think I'd put it on rose gold, you know. Oh, would you? Or gold. It's got to be bougie, Alison. Oh, I know. I've got, I've got a silver ring in, in Kyanite um, from my sister channel many years ago. Yeah. And, and it's got that 
deep, deep blue, and I just love it. You can dive into it. It's it's like a pool. Oh my god. Twelve. Uh, so twenty one ninety nine. Twenty one ninety nine. One two three four five six seven eight wow. nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen on the strand. Eighteen carats. Unreal. This is such a super opportunity. Sabine, the queen of multi buying today. Three in your basket. Sharon in Lanarkshire. You saw those blues and you just had to have them. Pat in Derbyshire. Text me in. What metal do you want with these? See, I'm thinking rose gold or gold. Alison's gone oh, silver. silver. LJ's gone silver. What about you, Groove Rider? Silver. Silver. Oh. Is it just me being bougie then today, is it? <laughs> just me bringing the bouge to the table. I love a bit of bouge, don't I? Could you imagine one of those on, on maybe an inch, inch and a half of train chain dropping down from your ear? It would look amazing. Stunning. They would. Those. Give them a little bit of swing. Mm. <gasps> I love these two. Oh, you now. I like on the show. These barrels, and it looks like they Gorgeous. might be separated by sterling silver beads. I'm not sure. I'll have a look into are. that for you. Yeah. They are. Well, I've got to say, boho chic anklet. Oh. You know I bathe in amber. <laughs> I am weird. I'm not, not in a weird way, but I'm a bit weird. I put amber in the bath with me for healing properties. Um, I, 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 I think it works, but whether it does or not is... Uh, I'll only find out on the penultimate day, won't I? Yeah. But it's not I believe in it. It's not. I don't know. I don't think so, Alison. I think no. the harm was already done. Now, <laughs> <laughs> you've got a gemstone that, and, and it can be called a gemstone. GIA said, it, it, although it's neither crystal nor mineral, they do count amber as a gemstone. It's washed up upon the shores. Nature giving us this incredible snapshot through history, uh, and of course we can date amber back to about 44 million years in some cases, and it's, it always blows my mind, this is millions of years old, yeah. and here we are, just with amber, and it's not thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds, yet, millions of years ago, ancient forests, the trees would ooze with a protective resin to stop whatever it was, Perhaps a mosquito, something attacking it. Twenty nine ninety nine is a great price for one of these. You're getting a whole selection. I'm going to count them: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. But look at this: they're all different shades. And did you know that amber gets darker and darker throughout time? Over the years, this will get darker. So you're going to enjoy from those lemons that freshness on day one. It's going to get deeper and it's going to be mesmerizing. I love things that change. I, I, I just think, you know, it's like a changing season. So if you're going to make an heirloom piece out of this, everybody gets to enjoy it at different stages of its, of its changing colors. Absolutely. Loads of that. You know, we talked about unisex before. How unisex is that? Totally you know, with the, in this shape, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Each of those separately knotted onto, onto a leather cord would look stunning, absolutely stunning. I'm going to show... Bracelet. Sorry, Alison. No, it's all right. Sorry, I'm so sorry. <gasps> Those two together. Well, that's what I thought. Yeah, oh, what do yeah. you think? Yeah. Now I'm cooking with gas? Yes. Absolutely cooking, full speed. I am cooking with gas. Have a look. First of all, sunstone we have not seen in a long time, and they're in those lanterns that I am so Love loving at the those. moment. Now, I've got some jadeite on. Oh, talking of jadeite... Hachu! I'm not supposed to show you that yet. Oh, now. <laughs> but look at these together. Oh, they go beautifully together, don't it's they? Like, it's like peaches on a peach tree. Yes, isn't it? Because they, they could be leaves. I love that together. Stunning, aren't I they? I love it. I love these lanterns. I love them with the cut horizontally rather than vertically. Yes, it's a very different, it's a very different it's vibe, isn't it? Yeah, and I think this does look like if, uh, if you go to Japan or even to China, you yeah. see all those lanterns. I was in uh, Australia for uh, Chinese New Year, and it was amazing. There's lanterns everywhere and all wow. fireworks. It's brilliant. Uh, but of course, you know, these sort of Japanese style lanterns are, are everywhere. If you go to the Blossom Gardens in Japan, they're everywhere. It's so beautiful. 14, I didn't even see that there. 14.99. 
14 wow. I'm so sorry I didn't tell you your price. 210 carats. Will I count them? I will, won't I? I will. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 42. Cufflinks, yes. Yes. Earrings, yes. Yes. Wish bracelets, yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. Putting this into a bracelet. Big fat, yes. Ooh. Necklace, yes, yes. Loads of you there for this one. Alison, Aileen, Kathy in Florida. Oh, alternate with the um, cubes. They're not cubes, what they I called? got them. Candy beads. Candy beads. They look great. Alternate those in a stretchy. Oh, I love that idea. Yes, they Alison. They look great, don't they? Lady of the Leather does it again. <laughs> $14.99. Lots of, some of you are, about, wait there, can I just show with number 10? Because these go lovely together. What a lovely cut Ooh. on these Labradorites, by the way. It's a bit exciting. Can we do those oh, next? Gosh. Is that They're okay? Like, are they called a beak? A big beak on the bike Elongated or elongated, if you are LJ, bike cones. Look at the rainbow in this one. Beautiful. I still don't know why we don't have lay, rainbow Labradorite as well. I know, it's mad, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Because you get the blue, the gold, but then you get the rainbow ones. That's, look, because that's a proper <laughs> rainbow. <gasps> make a wish, make a wish, make a wish. I'm going to make a wish on these. Wow. <gasps> oh, you're kidding me. A little pocket money price. A priceette, I'm going to call it, because it's so tiny. A bijou priceette. Six ninety-nine. FRG P95. I think these are gorgeous. I think they're like toggles, aren't they? Look at this. Every one of them, every single one, is displaying super Labrador essence. Oh, they are, aren't they? And I like the colour because we we get different colours of the of the sort of base rock. Which, which sets off all those colours. And this is that soft dove grey colour, which I love. Me too. And, and these could be unisex well, again, couldn't they? Yeah. Oh, gosh, the totally. Fantastic guru beads in your marlas. Oh, yes. With these could go in your, in your earrings too. Mm. They drop beautifully. Yeah. They'd actually serve as petals too, Alison. Yes, yes. You could make them into flowers. Six pounds and ninety-nine pence. One hundred and sixty yeah, carats of Labradorite. The faceted, elongated bicones are eight by eleven millimeters, and they're on a thirty-eight centimeter strand. I've got Silky in Perth and Kinross, Alison in London Town. Three for you, Donna in Carmarthenshire, Alison in Bristol, Celia. Uh, you've got yours in Kent, uh, Maker in Tynemouth. Cecilia, I bet you hate it when people do that to you, don't you? Uh, Sharon, you've got yours. Helen, Kathy in Florida, and Maker's on the phones. You're all loving this. This six ninety nine, and it's Labradorite. Two things we love: a low price and Labradorite. Now, don't forget, uh, we are asking you what you're excited for. Send your messages in. Maybe you're excited to see Toby Cavill at, oh, at uh, three o'clock. He's having a little scamp around at the moment. CFG P49 is your item code for the oh. Amazonite plane rounds. These are oh. eight millimeters and they are popping fresh. They're beautiful, aren't they? I put them with some rose quartz, I would. Oh, have you got any? Well, I or have got, I tell you what, the beryl will do just as well. Yeah. Ooh, nice oh, nice with the beryl. Oh, Alison, I love that. Yeah. What about the um, adventuring? What about that? <gasps> Wow, where'd you get that? I just had it. Just had these little pips. We haven't had the coins in uh, Lapis Lazuli oh. um, before. I and mean, you've got them in Labrador as well, have you? Oh, just Lapis. Okay. Oh, just some Is hearts. That? Just some zoisite hearts. Oh, gosh, they're stunning. I wasn't expecting that when you were talking about those. The hearts? Yeah. What were you expecting, darling? D I was expecting different. They're just so gorgeous. Yeah, they're lovely, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. ninety-nine. Oh my goodness. That's all you're paying. I'm not going to shout because I'm a little bit frightened of that price. <laughs> I think it's a bit nuts in space, which is like pigs in space, but not nuts. <laughs> oh, Walnuts. yeah. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Wait a minute. Hang about the asses. Oh, there's just some Labradorite cubes hanging about. 
Oh, they'd make great spaces with the... Um... <gasps> What's that? Oh, just some strawberry crackle quartz that I got because we're thinking about daiquiris. <laughs> Eleven ninety nine <laughs> CFG P forty nine. Now, hang about, hang about. Yes, we had the aquamarine earlier. Yeah, you've got to put them together. Oh, definitely. And they're on the bougie strands again. That I love. I love those. I never used to be into chunky, but these are gorgeous. Oh, look at you with your tassels. Oh, I love chunky. Aren't these just... I love Chunky because it reminds me of, like, Jacqueline Onassis. Yeah. Like, 50s jewellery. Shift dresses with big, chunky beads on. Yeah. It's really... Is it 1950s? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Sort of yeah. 40s, 50s. Yeah, and the 60s. You look at... Um... Yes, it was, like, Bieber, Mary Quant look. Yeah. yeah. Did you watch the sewing bee? I haven't watched it yet this season. Yeah, because, oh, the lady designer on there and that's that's her era is really? the Mary Quant era and she always has the watch it for the jewellery she always has the most amazing jewellery on she's amazing clothes on but the jewellery is fantastic I watch it you know I watch my friend clothes. Stuart was on there uh, Stuart Hillard was on the same thing really yeah. he's lovely I love him 12.99 14 wow. millimetres they're whoppers they're stunning. That's an amazing price, isn't it? But yeah. I actually think these will go... Oh, yeah. Really? See, that's quite a 50s combination, those yeah. two colours, isn't it? In the interiors. Yeah. I love it. UFB 038, 12.99 is your price. Definitely a necklace for me. Any, uh, Maybe with a white pearl in between or knotted. Oh, Knotted with pink cord. Oh, well... And a bit of pink lipstick. I might not go down the pink cord, but... <laughs> Now, I am going to give you... Oh, that came from over there. Golden obsidian. Oh! In plain round, plain not faceted. I'm going to call them smooth. I don't actually like the yeah, word smooth. plain. Plain, what's plain even mean? Um, smooth is better, right? Yeah, I would say smooth. But seed beads. Beautiful. So just picture it, and then look at what I got for you. <gasps> I'm oh, not yeah, baby. Any of these. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, you've got to do an ear. An ear you've got to. Crawler. Rude not to. Yeah. And this is a gemstone. It's in the Game of Thrones, isn't it? Yeah. Dragon's Glass. Is that it? Yeah. Dragon's Glass. Alison Tarry hasn't watched it yet. Here goes multi buying Queen Sabine. These are stunning. I think these, that. in between, well, any of the gemstones I've just given you, but in their own right as a, as a uh, <gasps> stack of brace at 2 49 You know we're selling gems, genuine gemstones, not bags of crisps, don't you, yeah? Yeah, just curious. Just curious. Right, yeah? No. I mean, come no, on that's now. that's not right. Jackie, two for you, Sabine takes tree. Janice, you've got yours. Silky in Perth and Kim Ross. I have got Alison in Angus. Alison in the city of Bristol, two for you. Gemma in Somerset. Sharon in Lanarkshire. Greater London takes five. Cecilia and Simon That's in Kent. Fun. You've got yours. I've got multi buyers going wild. <sighs> Stella in the Highlands has got hers. £2.49. If these That's don't sell bonkers. out today, do we even love gemstones? If they don't sell out today, I'll be buying the rest of them. Indeed. This That's has got crazy. to be a massive profit maker. Uh, Jackie in Blanel, you've got yours. Carolyn Wrexham, maker in Shropshire. Jill said, what? I know, Jill. I know. Jill, they've gone bananas, love. That's what. They've gone mad. Well, those would go fantastic with the Aventurine. 26. When Sorry. are we doing number 19, my favourite? Uh, what do you mean? Don't oh hawk's eye. Oh, a bit of hawk's eye. A little bit of hawk's eye. Talking of hawks, I saw a family of red kites this morning <gasps> in my garden. Yeah. Oh, in your garden. Yeah, we got they come all the time. What do you mean? There's always sheep outside my front door. Oh yeah, my son rang me and went, There's fifty sheep in the garden. So I'm presuming you don't want me to let the dogs out. I was yeah. like, no, leave them in. <laughs> <laughs> These lot were all like, what? We used to have a sheep called Katie that used to knock on the door. 
Excellent. She used to do this. And come in. Yeah. yeah. These. Oh, look at these little Corpse eye. In cubes. They're so cute. I think that's the nicest strand of hawk's eye I've ever seen. Isn't it lovely? Yeah. That is gorgeous. I've changed my mind. I want those w with the candy beads in the... Um, hang on, hang on, yeah. hang on. These and these. Yeah, those and are And these spaces. nestled in between, yeah. yeah? All right, that works for me. It looks lovely, doesn't it? But isn't hawk's eye wonderful because it's got the most amazing chitoyancy and then they've got that dove grey to them. They're beautiful. I love these. These would also work for um, your ear crawlers. Oh, they give you crawlers a whole... Yeah. What were climbers? Yeah. They look climbers. I think climbers sounds better. I think a climber is better climbers. than a crawler because yeah. a crawler suggests something that's creeping up yeah. on you. Whereas if you're, if you're climbing, you've, you're climbing with intent. Yeah. Climbing up. Exactly. <laughs> $8.99 for Hawks Eye. Wow. We're thinking you can use them in these. Yep. Fran, you've got yours. Maker in Northamptonshire. Hillier. Denise! Yeah, these are good. Oh, hang on, I've got a bit of hair. Come on, out you go. <laughs> Denise, you've got yours. But it would look good like that, wouldn't it? It would look these. good with those. Mm -hmm. Love it. Don't forget to text us in. Hawk's eye with aquamarine, Ooh. says Joe. Well, I've got some. Now, do, are you That's thinking? Beautiful. I'm thinking aquamarine. I haven't got aquamarine, but I have got this kind of blue. This is blue opal, isn't it? Hang on. Maybe I have got some aquamarine. I've got aquamarine, but it's really, really bougie aquamarine. I think you mean aquamarine like. Not that this isn't bougie, but it's not got clarity to it. I think that aquamarine. Yeah, there. Yeah, you're right. It does. Look. So with these. That looks lovely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good, great Rather with that than, I've got a really bougie strand of aquamarine, I just think. Oh, my goodness. That probably on its own. I'm so boring like that. I'm very boring like that. Now we've got an adventuring showcase for you. Five new strands. So we launched some of the new strands last Thursday with Alison. These you'll see are different because the place of the drill hole. So you might be looking for the opposing gemstone. We've got it for you now. Okay, we've got some candy beads for you. Now, Alison, you've been, you, you've actually had a heads up with this one. You knew this was coming and yeah. you've, you got really excited and did. you did some research. I did. So we've got a picture of the one that I had on Thursday because I. Um, have, you, have you got the one I did on Thursday, the one, the separate one that got sent? But the other ones, the other ones are designs that you can use these these pieces with. They work so well in these. They're very much my kind of design. Now, so we've got a dagger. Yeah. Which we're going to show you now. So I'm just waiting for my. So that's the one I made on Thursday. So oh, yes, so this is, we did that together. Now, yeah. so the difference between <laughs> the drop there and the drop that I've got here is the position of the drill, hole. The of the drill hole. So the drill hole that I've got here is there. The drill hole in Allison's was here. Now, that means you can do tip-to-toe pieces yeah. as well, which is really great because that we don't... I don't think we've ever matched no, like I that don't before. Think we have. So it means now, if you got the last drops with the drill hole here, they're exactly the same except the drill hole is here. It means that you can now do so many things yeah. you couldn't do before because you've got the exact same gemstone but with drill holes alternating. So you can create all this scaling, all this wow. water for it. If you yeah. got those, you must get these. I don't know why we, we didn't do them all together and show you that at the time because we were waiting for the parcel to come in. But candy beads have been something that have really made a lot of interest actually to you, haven't they? Oh yeah, absolutely. I love the candy beads, they're great. I've done, um, I, mean, I, I just made a simple stretchy out of them because Laura did make the mistake of giving me a few samples earlier to play with. I don't think I've been having a play. Well, it's all and about I just, I just think about it creating. works so well. 
Just beautiful. I've got, whether you change the spaces. Yeah, well, they're, they're just the spaces that come on the strand. Yeah, they're just the, the glass spaces that came on the strand. But I would I would definitely use those those cat's eye with it. I'd, I would use those cat's eye. They'd look amazing. They would. They And they're the perfect sort of size. Yeah. To go down into Beautiful that compliment. drop, aren't they? Yeah. Definitely. It gives a, if you think about the cubes or, or the candy beads, as they call them, they've got a flat surface. So so all the beads sort of have a flat surface. If you don't put a spacer between, when you're on a circle, you can't. They they can't. There's, there's no give. They, they're in a yeah. straight line. So when you put a spacer, you've got that flexibility for it to sort of bend around that that pivot point so so it just works so much better there's so and it shows more of them off i always think i think one is enough also you know slider bracelets one yeah. would be striking i love this color so much i do i talk about wish bracelets till the cows come home i know that but they're money makers well and you know first of all they are money makers because people like sentiment they yeah. like i'm yeah. very superstitious people like superstition yeah if you wanted to make a wish bracelet with this you need one gemstone and you need some cord you push it onto your wrist and you make your wish or you talk about what you want this to achieve as you're tying it up now adventuring in the healing world is said to be the gemstone of opportunity it is next to jade and jadeite said to be one of the luckiest gemstones in the world if you believe in this kind of thing it's not fact of course it's a belief um, especially when manifesting uh, prosperity and wealth or increasing favor in competitions or games of chance it's winning energy makes it gr a great ally for boosting your chances in any situation it could be a first date it could be they're saying, my, my source is saying, you know, putting your taxes in, anything, anything, landing a promotion. Um, it, it, it's, it's not merely an attractor of luck, but it's also a gemstone um, of opportunity, motivation to enhance your creativity, amplify your leadership skills. So these could all be things, all be selling points for you if you're selling on healing bracelets or wish bracelets so that's something to consider as well adventuring is highly sought after in the healing world for its opportunity and its luck now in these elongated um, cubes or we're calling them candy beads i think you've got ever such a lot of scope for design because i think yeah. you thought of a leather sort of thong cord with one of these coming down and then two little beads at the end in a tassel um and you've got them to, almost like a woggle that's really in at nice. the moment yeah uh, it's understated it's, it's understated <laughs> woggle what a word it's like what you used to have in the cubs isn't it your woggle um now $27.99 is not your price today. Wow. You've got a whopping 300 carats. Got a lovely sparkle. GZG P83. Let's go shopping. Lorraine already is. So, Sabine. Utilize that one PMP. These are only $14.99. Wow. At the end of your order, click the box that says combine order and we'll pay and we'll I'll charge you only one PMP. It's $3.95. These are heavy. These are 300 carats. I'll give them a count for you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 31. 31. You should have there or there again. Wow. About. 48 pence each so that's how much it would cost you to make that wish bracelet 48 yeah. pence plus about two pence per reel of a bit of cord because yeah. you only need a little bit so again we're going to talk about profit making if you're putting these into pairs of earrings it's, if it's going to be one pendant with a tassel underneath yeah. it you've got to you've got to remember this has cost you very very little per gemstone and so therefore you're bringing back to the table once you've sold these a lot more profit aren't you yeah. now don't forget to text us in if you've managed to get out there and start selling your wares again maybe you've been there at the artisan fairs maybe you've been there at the farmers market maybe you've had your stand or your stool or your pop-up shop open again for business and you're really buzzing for it Please let us know. Give us a shout out. Tell us where you are. We will happily, happily give you a little plug on air. 1499 GZGP83 is your item code. Sandra, Lincolnshire, Alison, Lorraine, Sabine, Tracy, Cecilia, May, 
you've all got yours. Next up, we're going to give you the marquees. Love the marquees. Which Alison always gasses for the marquees because they are gorgeous. Now, we had marquees last time, but I think the size is a little bit different to these ones. Do you remember how big the last marquees were? I think they were slightly different. I think they These were are brand bigger. new, so they must be yeah. slightly different in their size, which means if you've got the last one, it's a These great opportunity with. for creating graduations. See, I always think a marquee's just for me as a straight up ring. I love marquee's rings. They're beautiful as a ring, absolutely. I popped it into the necklace I made earlier. I swapped the Labrador eyes. Oh, let's the... have a look at that. So you've popped it just in front of me here, yeah. isn't it? You're a rascal. Oh, I love that. Doesn't yes. that look sensational? It really lends to the design. Again, quite medieval or yeah. quite sort of Middle Earth. Yeah, fantasy sort of base. I love a bit of love fantasy. It. The marquees work for so many different products. Again, if you make dragon eyes, as it gets the whole dragon, Ooh, does that be a big dragon? Well, that dragon? kind of looks dragon eyes. Yes, yeah. yeah. you, that, that shape will fit perfectly as the, as the, the, the pupil of the eye. That would go great. Mm. But as a ring, as an individual pendant, um, they're such a lovely shape to work with. You can, you can put something at the base and sinuous, sin, sinuously sort of twist it round to the top of that. Because again, like we said on Thursday, these are a fantastic stone with the sparkle and everything, but there's no... Inter there's no there's no lines you don't want to cross over. Yeah. So don't be afraid of, you know, normally if I get something like a picture jasper or or something, you know, a, 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 something with layer lines on it, you don't want to interrupt those lines. So you kind of avoid and work around them. Yeah. With these, you've, you've got that gemstone to use and show off. I mean, just prong set in a ring, that's going to look absolutely sensational, isn't it? Definitely. I love these. Me too. I just, do you know what? And they're going to, outside of, you know, thinking of them in a medieval style, they can be leaves. They yeah. can go on hair vines. They can be pendants. Yeah. They can go in earrings. And, you know, um, a lot of the Instagram trends at the moment is that bunch of grapes styling around. Yeah. And we've seen quite a few plain rounds today. Bunch them up, grape them down, and then these could be the leaves. You've got a lot of design scope here. 85 carats, QER, U87 is your item code. There's only 51 wow. chances for this, and it's brand new today. Slightly different sizes than the ones we gave you on Thursday. £12.99, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 on the strand. Just over a pound each, and these are big statement aventurines. Remember, aventurine being the gemstone of opportunity. Give it a rub, make a wish, see what happens. That's what I say. <laughs> Pop it in the bath with you if you like. Yeah. Why not? You can. You but, can. But these these are just sensational. You know, having having these drop down, you, you know, you were talking about your lariat style before, yeah. and that, because of the elongation, again, they make beautiful punctuations at the end of a, a necklace. Definitely. Oh, yes, yes, like a pendulum. Yeah, yeah. Is that what it's... Stunning. You know the thing on the, the grandfather yeah. clocks? That's a pendulum, isn't yes. it? Yes. Mm, I love grandfather clocks. Elongated pairs love are these. next. Not the plump pairs. It's longer ones which are spaced further. The one you had before. The upside down one oh, to what we have. I'm such a silly, <laughs> silly billy. Now, <laughs> these are the opposite of the ones we had last week. So if you want to hang something here and then you want something else tessellating down, remember you can do that. The ones I gave you on Thursday were drill hold here, which is really unique, something we don't do very often at all. Now these ones are drill hold here. So here's your drop, the other ones are your leaf with no drill hole at the top. And you can really, really, honestly, if you don't get these and you've got the last strand, you're missing a real trick with your designs because there's so many more things you can do just because of the, a different positioning of the hole. Absolutely. You know, you can, you can use these, you know, I, I often turn them the other way around, but that's just the way I work. But you can use these. They look beautifully, like we said, at the punctuation mark as a pendulum. Mm -hmm. they, they, they lend themselves to being in um, so a stranded necklace where maybe you've got the rounds or even the cubes, and then you're going to intersperse these between, mix them with your pearls. They'll look fantastic. But again, 
if you want to prong set them, you you can ignore you you can ignore the drill hole. It it doesn't really matter, and and just use them in which, whichever orientation you, can you like. Them, can't you? Yeah, you can prong set gallery wire. They look great in gallery wire. They would, and you know it doesn't matter whether you're using silver gold or rose gold because this colour will go. literally sing with whatever you put next to it. Yeah. See, I think I'd go silver with this or rose gold. LJ saying gold, but I like the idea of gold as well. So you know, I don't think anything's going to offend. Twelve ninety nine for wow. these, and they are whoppers. Let me tell you, they're huge, absolutely huge. One, two, three, four, five, six on your strand. Alison, you've got yours. Sabine, you've got yours. So what are these? Two pound fifty each, something like that. They would work beautifully in the sort of fantasy esque designs. The they'd work great in the other necklace. You could do that necklace I've got there, which is similar to one of the slides I gave you. The power, the PowerPoint one, I think, first. The, the have we had a look designs. at that? Have we had a look at that? Yeah, yeah. Yes, let's have a look at Alison's design. Both of these will work. Okay, so let's have a look. So, Alison, you've just explained what you've done for us. You've put something together for us, haven't you? So, so the, these are the. I love these. The first time we saw these, I started going mad for these designs because I haven't seen these shapes and, and drill combinations for ages. And they work with my style of jewellery so well. So I got some pictures that I've done before. Mm -hmm. So this was actually from um, the Fancy Necklaces DVD. Which you and I have not stopped going on I about. Know, I know, we do go on about it. But either, either the top drills or the bottom drills, because I've pronged that, will work so well in this design. The, 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 the elongated drops particularly would work well in this design. Yeah. And they'd go beautifully with um, bare copper as well. So let's keep going. Let's keep having a look at Alison's designs. And, and they are just going to work throughout all yeah. of these. That's so that's so You can see the problems on that. It's a, it's a, a more elongated version. Um, and they just look amazing. And they feel amazing to wear. So all those elongated shapes work with these. You could, you could put a, a, a marquee in the middle of this and it would look fantastic. You're um, right. You're right. Oh, that's gorgeous. How did I not steal any of these? I don't know. You must have <laughs> been really quick. <laughs> you must have really locked those up. Uh, they're, they're wonderful, and they're part of a DVD that Alison launched ages ago. It sold out, and we have never had it back since. If I don't so get to similar. launch that, relaunch that again with you, <laughs> I'm going to go bananas, <laughs> right? Because it was my campaign with you. Um, I'm literally so obsessed with that DVD, and every I reckon I mention it every day. Yeah, <laughs> every day. Do you know I get asked about it so often? Yeah, I can imagine so it was so. It's, it was fabulous. Yeah. I had a couple of questions the other day about it. Please, can we have it? And I'm like, we're asking, we're asking. I tell you what, now. I tell but you these what. would work great in that last one as well. Now, my darling dears. Oh, I love these. I have got for you. Now, see, aren't these curious? Because I've never, ever seen this shape drilled at the top yeah. ever before. They are really cabochons, aren't they, with a top yeah. drill hole? They're, Would you they're say? A, they're an oval, yeah. They, they look lovely. These would be great palm stones, you know, on a chain oh. so that you could have it as a palm stone but also yeah, keep it close to your heart as a gemstone of opportunity. Yes, definitely. So I quite like that. And I think maybe I would do kind of inspired by your designs but just go out and sort of hinge and come up oh, like that. Oh, nice. And then have it, because then it could act like a pendulum but you could yeah. still hold it in your palm. Yeah, absolutely. Tell you what these would work beautifully with as well in leather because you can set cabochons into leather you are a lady of leather <laughs> i know i'm a bit obsessed at the moment and um, but these would work so well in that respect as well isn't it beautiful yeah. isn't it lovely? don't you just love all the speckles inside it as I, well this gemstone has blown me away i've always loved aventurine but this is just next level it is it is yeah. because the quality is, is I know. fabulous I know. isn't it it really is. So Green Aventurine is used to honour Bridget as well, the uh, Irish goddess of f uh, fertility, and Dion, the uh, earth goddess. So that's nice to know. It's, it's an excellent gemstone for balancing the female and male energies and good for creating harmony in the home. Mm -hmm. The phone lines are now going crackers. <laughs> <laughs> is your husband driving you mad? <laughs> now we are literally... Whoa. Just heard what the price yeah, is Yeah, 1, to. 2, Sorry. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 on my strand. 9.99, less than a pound each. Let's go shopping. So to honour Bridget, the Irish 
fertility goddess and the earth goddess as well, whose name is Phen oh, hang on. Phonechian, Phonechian, Phonechian. P H O E N I C I A N. Phonechian. Phonechian? What are you saying? The yeah. Earth Goddess. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying the Earth Oh, you're goddess. a rascal. You should have heard her earlier. Can't repeat it. <laughs> 999 WDR U09 is your item code. Um, is it? I don't know. <laughs> Adventuring wands are noted by Clygel in crystal wands to be relaxing oh. and that help induce sleep. Oh, I need Useful that. for cleansing the emotional and mental body and to help alleviate anxiety, buried fears. I think this gemstone is a real good all rounder, isn't it? It's a wonderful all rounder. Good luck. Yes, please. I mean, I'm not sure I need... I don't really need the fertility, but everything else I'm pretty good with. <laughs> 9.99, that you never know what's around the corner, do you indeed? WDRU09 is your item code. 45 carats of green adventuring quartz. Now. <gasps> yes. The where now, who knows? In adventuring. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dro See, I call these plump drops. <laughs> because I don't, I don't think these are heart-shaped. I think these are plump drop shape. Well, that just might be me being really pernickety and quite annoying. But, you know. Never. <laughs> is, it, is it me or is it yeah, a plump drop? I'm, I'm with you. Thank you. Phoenicia. Phoenician. Not Chian. Sheehan. Okay. Phoenician. Thank you. Who, who sent that in? Thanks, Maureen. Phoenician. Now, you have got plump drops. For me, Alison, pendants any day of the week. Pendants, definitely. Maybe a ring. Uh, earrings. I'll tell you what, I do the ear cuff on the wire so you've got those hanging down, graduated. They, they look would amazing. work like that. And you know, the little the ones, ones, definitely. Yeah. Because yeah, they're still big, the little ones. Yeah. I think I like the idea of wrapping wire around these and putting them in a necklace that's quite a... What's, the, what's like the necklace called? It's quite a stiff necklace, like a... Like a bib style? Yeah, kind of like a bib style necklace, yeah. maybe. Not massive, though, little. Just a little one. But just, yeah. Nice. It's very summery, wouldn't it? Yeah. Maxi it... dress, barbecue, Ooh. glass of gin in hand. Oh. <laughs> Oh, go on then. 9.99 OWR U78. So you've got your green adventurine, uh, and they are in top drilled plump drops. I'm going to call them. Do you know what else you could do with these, which I'd, I'd like actually this and the last strand? You could bead bezel them. Make seed bead bezels around them. Oh, like um, Debbie Debbie Kershaw did the other day. Yeah. Lady KK. You, you could do that with these and, and make that piece all connected together would look phenomenal. That would look amazing. I like oh, it. How about using the sort of cerise pink that we... Um... <laughs> just in case. <laughs> I, I just it. sort of thought it's rude not to, all that luck sat there going to waste. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. You know? <laughs> it's like two magpies in a field for no one to see them. Yeah. Too Where's the sense in that? Now, darlings, I've got to show you this amazing lapis lazuli. It's coming up in five miniatos. Wow. I love these. Do you know what I want to do with them? Tell me. I want to actually drill out and set one of those into a pearl. Oh, Alison Bourgeoisie Why, why does it always have to be, you know, small faceted gemstones that we do that with? That would look lovely. There she is, everyone. I've got to tell you, Alison Tara's got a little bit of a spring in her step today. <laughs> She's been very cheeky. Now, the hearts, the rubies on your side? No? What are you saying to me? Oh, I <gasps> love these. They're my favourites. Ruby and sapphire. All the bouge. Oh, my gosh, I haven't seen this strand. Oh, I so it. I love it. I just want this in a necklace that I wear every day. I love it. 
beautiful. And someone's been half inching these and it wasn't me. <laughs> Let me, I can, I know because it's been undone. Let me just do it back up. It wasn't me this time, Chloe. Chloe rings me on the way home. <laughs> she's, after COVID, I know she's going to start frisking me. <laughs> I know it. Look at the, oh, I love it so much. This is ruby and sapphire in one strand and it couldn't be more delightful. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely. Can I just put it against my neckline just to see what it's going to look like once I do have that? You need the ears to, go, it. Earrings to go with it. Oh, it's not I'm gonna, I have got there. a necklace on, so I'm just going to put it up a little bit. But you can see that colour from there, mind. Yeah, end. absolutely. Oh, That's I love it. so pretty. I love it. I'm so ready for the beer gardens now, Alison, look. <laughs> I know. Well, no, somewhere bougier than that, actually. Oh, I don't know. Champagne bar. Oh. Ooh. Just get Let's go out. to Bista Champagne bar. I like it there. Isn't that lovely? Have you ever been to Bista? It's no. lovely shopping there. Other mm. retail parks are available. <laughs> Sabine. The queen of multi-buying, Sabine, the Sp Sabine multi-buying queen. Sabine, I, I'm guessing you must sell your jewellery. Uh, Sabine has got <gasps> to be a business. Please, can you order me one? Please, right now, right now. That's ridiculous. Eight ninety nine. You could strand that. I would put it on a sterling silver clasp. I would even use my 24 karat gold, um, what's it called? Class. Fire line. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The 24 karat gold one. I was clicking your, my fingers at me yeah, yeah, and not know, you. Please don't think I was doing that at you. Um, it's fine. And I would sell that for £80. It's ruby and sapphire. See, I'd be tempted to separate them even. Oh. I'd be, I'm multi buying them, that's for sure. What time that is ridiculous. What time am I on? Do I pay more as staff? I bet I do, don't I? Who dropped the price on that? Have a look for me. Sorry, this is totally selfish, but I love them. I love them. If you don't get these, you're missing a trick. And by the way, you must get your certificate of authenticity oh, yeah. because if you start going, if you start, if you start going and going, oh, I'm going to only sell these for ten pounds in a necklace. No one no. will believe that. No one will believe that it's sapphire and ruby. No one. This is going to sell out. Of course, it's going to sell out. If you, if you ask, if you. If wow. you love precious gemstones at all, you have to get this because the price is so low and it's oh, down oh. to last six. Now, if you sell your jewellery on and you don't get this, I think you've just missed one of the best Biggest business tips. opportunities you could possibly have in front of you. I can't understand this price. It's wonderful. It's brilliant. It's something that sh does not happen here every day. I don't know why these are that price, but I've said right from the beginning, this is my favourite strand of the hour, right from the beginning. We are so over allocated. It hurts um did i miss out on that because i was just thinking those hoop earring designs as well to they'd be my fabulous yeah they'd look great with the <gasps> they'd look... oh i'd already thought of those on some sterling silver i mean what if allison were Ooh. to make one of her earrings and me a bracelet out of this strand as a chat oh you're going now <laughs> nice try jenny but i'll be in the car in five Even minutes I'm not that quick <laughs> 14 in baskets, two left. These have gone and sold out today. Now, we're going to give you the lapis coin. <gasps> Now, these pips have been such a, a wonderful addition to our shapes and sizes. I don't know where they've been all our life, but they've just happened to... Now, the, we, this is one of the most amazing gemstones. It's called Lapis Lazuli. Um, although, if you are shopping from America, it's Lapis Lazuli, Lazuli I think. Uh, now, this is a gemstone that we can date back throughout the ages. It's a gemstone that was utilised by the ancient Egyptians. It's the blue in Tutankhamun sarcophagus. It is the blue that was crushed down and used by Michelangelo to paint the sky in the Sistine Chapel. It is the blue that was used in, in um, Cleopatra's makeup. And this gemstone is, is sourced in Afghanistan. It's hard to get hold of. You can only get to the mine on horseback and you can only bring back what you and your horse can carry. No carts, no, no vehicles. You're going to get a certain amount of the way of, uh, the, through, with a car, with any kind of vehicle. The rest is all on horseback or on foot, and it's a long way. Now, you've got the most amazing injection of colour here, and the sparkle is unreal. 
I love these pips, I do. Are these from Afghanistan? Now, because sometimes it can take 10 years or so to get from the mine to the table here at Jewelry Maker, and that's, that's you know, usual. Sometimes to get into a, a jeweler's, you're talking even longer than that. There will very, very likely, more likely than not, be a huge drought of this gemstone any moment now. We're going to feel the backlash of the situation that's been going on for the last 10 years in Afghanistan any moment now. So if you love this gemstone, you can't think about not having it. Then you need to get these because they are going to a super price. I have never seen pips in lapis lazuli. It's the only strand we have. And this is brand new today, is it? Brand new today. We're cheeky today. Okay, we've got to give you a price. We are running out of time. The TC is up next. Toby Cavill will be giving us his knowledge. And we're going, they're going under £10. Check out now, quickly. £6.99. Alison, it's that injection of colour, isn't it? I know, it's that pow, isn't it? It's absolutely crazy. I love lapis and pearls. I think it goes amazing. The aventurine looks absolutely stunning with it. It goes beautifully with greens. It'll go, be it'll go gorgeous with all of your colours. Put these on as little rings. They look great. They Stack do. of bracelets, little they're scratches. great. But I would definitely, definitely think about putting one in a pearl. I think that would look sensational. Tube setting. Tube set it. You can tube set this. Bezel set it. You can bezel set it. They look sensational. We are delighted that you love these as much as we do. Amanda takes tree. Uh, Stella, you've got yours. Amanda in Sussex and Essex. Uh, I've got Donna. I've got Alison in London with three. Alison and Angus with two. Jane in Devon. Valerie Hillier, maker in Buckinghamshire. Sabine, Sabine, the multi-buying queen, has four. Elizabeth, Elaine, uh, makers on the phone. Corinne in London takes two. Hayley in Midlands. You've got yours. Andrea in Lincolnshire is shopping. <laughs> Loads of you there. West Midlands, you've got yours. Elizabeth in Warwickshire, you've got yours. $6.99. Now, Alison Terry will be nine. back on Sunday to launch her Sunday, DVD. Yeah. Woohoo! Woo and what's the DVD on, dear Liza, dear Liza? We're on pellet beads and some pips. Pellets and pips? Yeah, but not those type of pips. It's not chicken feed. Not that no. kind of pellets no. or pips. No. It's actual pellets and pips. Pellets and so pips. we can't wait. So we're not these so we're kind of pips. Not those kind of pips. Not those kind of pips. We are gassed for that. So it's a seed beading pellet and pips. It's, it's, it's a beading, yeah. They're a pressed press bead, uh, the pellets, and some of them have got pips. But it's mainly that round the pellets, and it's a bracelet DVD. And what about the Masterclass? I haven't even got that far yet. Okay. <laughs> well, it'll be a surprise. It'll so we will see Alison for the Masterclass on Sunday. A huge thank you to our wonderful guest, Lady of Leather, Alison Tarry, everybody. <laughs> but the TC himself, the master of the gemstones, is going to be joining us after the break. So if you've got any particular questions about gemstones, about pricing gemstones, anything you want to know, Toby Cavill is literally raring to go. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, apparently Sue in Edinburgh uh, behaviors. Would, was she? What, why? What did Sue in Edinburgh do last time? Oh yes, I remember that. Did make me laugh though. No, carry on, Sue. As you were, Sue. <laughs> As you were, Sue. Uh, I'll see you with the TC after this. Good afternoon, everyone. I just wanted to ensure that from this Monday, we are going to give you an amazing opportunity. We're not only bringing you a big four gemstone, we're not only bringing you one of the most important barrels ever found, but we have managed to secure for you an unbelievable Zambian Emerald show where we have got absolutely amazing sizes, some really unique cuts and carat weights, and of course, the prices that are gonna be alongside those are amazing. So if you want to add potentially one of the most amazing and important discoveries of Emerald ever found, then come and join me on Monday for something so unique. And for this occasion, you're gonna be able to add some of the most beautifully saturated emeralds to your jewelry collections at price points that I don't think you'll have seen before. So come and join me. I look forward to seeing you on Monday. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. 
Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we've got some really exciting news. After 10 and a half years, we can finally launch Split Pay. The whole point of this is to make it as affordable as possible to buy things from Jewelry Maker. So you have the opportunity to pay either two or three fixed interest free payments depending on the item's value. It's that simple. Thank you, Carols. We are so excited about this opportunity and we know that you will be as well. So enjoy this new way of shopping on Jewelry Maker. So from the three of us and everyone else here at Jewelry Maker, see it, love it, split it. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. You may be wondering how to buy here at Jewelry Maker. So here is a quick overview of what to do. When you see a product that comes on screen, the graphics will appear, you'll see an item code and a starting price. As time goes on, we will drop the price on screen and as viewers call in or order online, the quantity decreases too. No matter what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's just one P&P on all items that you order in a day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee so there's no risk whether you're buying for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back. My name's Jenny Cleary. You are watching Jewelry Maker. Now you can see Cavill written right behind me. And that must mean only one thing. I am joined by the TC himself. Please welcome to the show our gemstone expert. It's Toby Cavill, everybody. Good afternoon. How are How you doing? How are you? I'm great. I'm doing just fabulous. The sun's shining. We've got some beautiful gemstones. We have. I am doing just well. How are you, more importantly? I am brilliant. I'm ready to learn okay. is how I am. I'm ready right. to learn. I love it when you come in, Toby, because you teach us things that we didn't know. You also, uh, last time you came, you put my mind in, you know, you took us to Thailand with you. You yes. took us to the mines with you. Yeah. And I loved it so much. So we're Ooh. going on a trip again okay. with Toby Cavill. So All put right. your seatbelts on. Toby's going to take us places that we wouldn't ordinarily get to go in our minds, of course. And um, Toby, you're going to we're, we're going to firstly talk about Zambian emerald. And in the gemstone world, we know that, you know, Zambian emerald, Colombian emerald. These are the two sort of main players in the emerald world, aren't they? They yeah. are the, the royalty, the king and queen of the emerald, perhaps the Russian as well. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I'd certainly agree with that. Um, Russian material has always been kind of the pinnacle. Yeah. Uh, despite uh, Colombian being in the play. So naturally, Russian material has always been a, a benchmark because it has such a beautiful crystallization towards it. Yeah. So if you look at a Russian emerald, you can identify it immediately because of the crystallization it has. It's almost sapphire-esque, and the return yeah. of light you get is beautiful. But when it comes to prestige, when it comes to the most expensive emerald that you can find worldwide, that it is that of Colombia. Yeah. The Muso emeralds, uh, any of you that have watched me over on Gemporium, have seen me deliver you Muso emeralds in, um, you know, in 18 karat gold, in, in platinum. But for example, Colombian emerald top grade material now, you can pay up to up 
to in, a, in excess of 100,000 a carat. Quite now, yeah. when it comes to your 18 karat gold jewelry, the Colombian emeralds you see in your yeah. local jewelry stores, you can pay, it's probably an, a, a medium price of around something like uh, 5,000 to 10,000 so a carat. So that's the expected price if I was going to sort of a high-end jewelers in my town. Yes, not, exactly you know, right. Not the Tiffany's, not the Chopard's, not the... Not your typical so your this is like the, the, the high-end high street jewellers. Exactly. Now, following that, we've got a couple of other players. You're right. We have got Zambia in there. Yeah. We have also got Ethiopia in there at the moment, which is an Ooh. up and coming. You're going to be hearing okay. maybe a little bit more about Ethiopia over the next um, kind of couple of months here. But when it comes to Zambian, and what's important to understand about emeralds is every emerald, as you know, is different, you know. But most importantly, you can identify an emerald based on its location by looking at it. Anybody that knows emeralds well, yeah. because you've not only got you've got Brazil, you've got Colombia. Oh my, I mean, oh my gosh, by the way. Let's the just have a look at that. The colour is unreal. I haven't, I'm not even going to start talking about colour yet. Well, I am actually, because when it comes to identifying, again, I could show you, Jenny, you know, okay, I could look at five different emeralds and go, right, that's Colombian, that's Zambian, that's Brazilian, that's pretty much. Okay. The Ethiopian and the Colombian is actually reasonably close to each other, but this mm. material right Right here, and what's amazing about it is you see, look at that crystallization you've got it. So it's, um, it's amazing. This right here looks like a Pariba tourmaline that you are holding. Yes, now, it does. Now, yeah. Let me tell you a story a little bit, a little bit, another Ooh, story. Tell us like a story. story. And when I was last at Wimbledon, which was about oh, two years ago, lucky. I think it was two, maybe three, I, could, I was watching Roger Federer play. <laughs> yeah. And his wife was wearing this ring. Okay? Was she near and, you? And I was her. Was she near She was you? about. 30 meters in front of me. Okay. What, okay. you see her jewelry from there? I could see, yeah. And we're right. I could see, not only could I see her jewelry, right, but I couldn't figure out whether she was wearing an emerald or a Pariba tourmaline at that time. Okay. It was a bluey green, greeny blue. It had size. And at that point, I got the, uh, I, I, I got this uh, tri trail of pro a thought process that was like, that's the perfect complement for either of those gemstones. You know, for something like an emerald, which is a type 3 gemstone, which means that it naturally grows with inclusions, to be represented, to be, to be considered or, or compared to that of a tourmaline, which is a type, one, a type 2 gemstone, which has a lot more clarity, that's the best kind of um, comparative you can have. You know yeah. what I mean, Jenny? It's like you saying, you know Toby Cowell, he looks a little bit like Brad Pitt. I'm going to take it all day long, right? But no one's ever going to compare me to Brad Pitt because I don't look like it. But when it comes to this emerald, to be compared to that of either Russian material yeah. or that of, a, of, a, of, a, of the finest tourmaline that you can find is the perfect complementary thing perfect that you can have. It's perfect isn't now, it? Now, let me tell you, and this is where we make the difference here. With Zambian material, actually, a lot of the material is reasonably dark. And Mike, just quickly, if I could show you this, talking again, giving you that, if we could just come on this, Mike, just to give you again that the comparative. So we've got Colombian coming in at five to 10 grand a carat. When it comes mm -hmm. to Zambian emerald, this is local down the road, Jenny. So this yeah. is local to where we are here today. A okay. Zambian emerald, as you can see it, right, that piece right there oh, is two lovely. and a half carat emerald at seven and a half thousand pounds. Good Lord. Okay, Zambian that's material. That's really expensive. Very expensive, but this is the prestige of Zambian, right? This is one of the, this, this mine at the moment is one of the most important mines in the world. Okay, so take us there. Take us to the mine. Tell me about what goes on in Zambia. Have you sure. been to that mine I yourself? I haven't been to that mine. I would love to go to that mine. It's one of the largest single producers of emerald, actually, this specific mine. Really? It caters for around 25% of the world's emerald that come out of the ground. Gosh. Now, the variable of what we've got for you is we deal with the top kind of top percentage of that material. Yeah. Now, if I was to say to you um, the brand Fabergé, have you heard of the brand Fabergé? Oh, I love Fabergé. You're a yes. big fan of, they do the eggs, the eggs exactly. Yeah. Very yeah. expensive brand, one of the most yeah. expensive um, well, they jewelers date back in for the years, world. Fabergé. So yeah, so they used to own this mine. They're actually the finders of oh, this mine. Oh, really? Yeah, that's the level we're talking about here today. So this our mine, emerald is from the Fabergé mine? Well, this is the next level. So Fabergé initially owned it, then it was bought by a company called Gem Fields. Have you ever heard of a company called Gem Fields? No. Okay, so Gem Fields, if you go and have, please feel free to go and have a look at them. They are probably one of the leaders, leading authorities in the gemstone world. Gem so Gem Fields, what they do is they own a number of mine around mines around the world but they ensure that everything remains ethical that right. the standard remains oh, there that, yes. the, 
that, that everything is in line. Great. Now, Jen Fields is like the equivalent of me saying someone like Warner Brothers to the movie industry, right? I know who they are, you yeah. You know who they are, right? So that, I'm just trying to give you something that's very comparable here. Now, Jen Fields, actually, they bought this mine from Fabergé. Fabergé. They bought it for them. And uh, let's. I just want to show you again a slide with this on. Um, they, I mean, you know, it was chump shank, lunch money for those guys. They spent about 150 million on this mine. Thank you, right. Uh, but then if they're going to get all these emeralds back, it's going to be profitable well, that, for them, well, right? why would they buy it otherwise? Of the quantity of the emeralds. As you see, Jem Fields buys Fabergé. Uh, Jem's so company, Jem Fields, to buy Fabergé and fame uh, for making intricate Easter eggs, as, as we were just discussing there, for uh, about $142 million. Mm. Now, what's also interesting about this is you see this gentleman down here. This gentleman at the time, okay, this guy is called Ian uh, Harbottle. He okay. was the CEO of Gem Fields. Okay? okay? He is the CEO of Gem Fields. Yeah. Uh, or was at the time. Okay. Okay? Right now, do you know what he's doing? Do you know how what, what he's doing uh, around the world by any chance? No, he's one of our guests and one of our experts at Gemporia. Oh! Okay, he I is thought now... you were going to say Fabergé Borton. No, he is now on our team. I was, I'm not joking. Okay, Stop, I was, really? I was, pres I was giving a, to, a presenter some gemstone training about two months ago, sitting, talking about Zambian Emerald, this exact slide, and he walked past me. I was in the kitchen at Gemporia, he walked we past like, me I and guy. I did a double take. And he was there, he was there bringing us, bringing us some sarite. He's working very much with sarite right now. He's taking sarite right back to the marketplace. Sarite has had no, be any, I shouldn't be talking about sarite because it's an emerald show, but he is now taking sarite to the world market. Any of you that have managed to get sarite over the past, yeah. hold on to your horses. Because we've been in a position with sarite where there was no material coming out and therefore mm. it was unmarketable. Mm. There was no point in doing any marketing because there had to be no material yeah. to back up the marketing. Now the mine is back up and running again. Wow. And Ian is alongside Morat, but more importantly, he is is now a member of our team. Of our you will team. see him on Gemporia. And he was at Gemfield. He was the CEO. That. Wow. He was like this, 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 yeah, this gentleman right here. Coolest guy you'll ever meet in your life. Seriously amazing guy. All right? Yeah, we can be, we, I'm going to try and bring Please him across bring him here in. so you can all meet him. Okay, and if you Google this guy, you'll see articles like, what does Ian Arbottle eat on his way to breakfast? And, you know, this guy is really? a... Really? He's like the Kardashian of he, the gemstone world. Yes, but with far more class and is watchable, you know? So, really, what's really key about this and what's amazing about what we can do for you here today is we have got, you know, the ex-CEO of this mine wow. on our team, you know? We have got the equivalent of, I, I can't give you an equivalent, but we have got some things really going here today. I bet you've fired him with loads of questions, oh, haven't you? I, will, I, I, don't, I mean, I, he constantly just gets WhatsApp messages from me, constantly. Just, uh, I probably annoy him more than I actually, you send him you know. voice notes. I do that a lot with I'm people. a voice noter. I'm a big voice noter. I am a serial noter. voice noter. I only noter. voice note. I haven't got, who's got time to yeah, text? I annoy lots of my friends with that. I, but yeah. I can't type for toffee. So, uh, you know, that's how it is. Now, let me just give you an example, because Zambian Emerald, when it comes to the quality of Zambia and really holds its own, really can hold its own. The reason why Fabergé got involved initially is because of the quality of these emeralds and then Gemfields obviously bought it because of the potential. Now, this emerald, again, has been used in some of the most expensive jewellery worldwide. Yeah. Most importantly, I'd probably this piece of jewellery right here, if that's possible, Mike, I'm sorry I'm keeping you here today. The Romanoff necklace. Now, this is the reason why Fabergé owned this mine, why Gemfields came involved. But today, what I want to show you is the top 1% of the Zambian material. Because you'll notice the saturation of that material is very, very deep, actually. But this material right here is the material that everybody wants to get their hands on. You are getting that crystallization. You are getting that clarity, those Pariba blues. And most importantly... That's what they are. It's, it, these are amazing. Yeah. And this is why I wanted to come and join you here today. Not only that, but we can give you half a carrot of these. Now, Jenny, we have already color matched these for you. We have already tried to clarity match these for you as well. So the two that you guaranteed are of some of the finest quality. Now, based on what we were showing you on that, in, that, in, on, in that shop window a minute ago of two and a half carats at £7,900, yeah. you can see the price per carat is around two and a half thousand pounds, pounds per carat. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah, okay. 
Now, what we're going to do here today, just to show you how good we are going to go and how low we're going to go here today, we're going to bring in our starting price for half a carat of less than 200 pounds. So I'm going to take that two and a half thousand pound per carat benchmark and I'm going to take 90% off the price, actually about 92% off the price, and that is going to be our opening price for you here today. Okay, now an opening price, of course, mm. if you watch regularly, this is the RRP of, of what we should be doing. And, and this really is always, we strive to be super competitive globally. So we're already competitive at the start price, which is on your screen right now. You can see these have been oiled. That's a, that's a, a very, it's Normal. just an oiling. It's like heating sapphires. It's it's like, but, but an oiling is nothing, is it? I mean, we oil when we get out of the bath. Well, we, I'm not actually an oiler when I get out of the bath. I'm a serial oiler. Are you oiler. Like an oiler? You must oil. Yes. Everywhere. All over. But, it, you know, that's, it, it, it's, it's, in terms of treatment, right. it's really nothing. And you've got <coughs> just the most amazing colour. They are. These now, can be set into earrings. They can be can put be into rings. Exactly. Whatever you fancy. Uh -huh. Whatever you fancy. To give you some inspiration, we can show you different types of jewellery here that you can make and how much you'll pay for it. But the most important thing about today, what we can deliver you, is not only guaranteeing this is Zambian material, not only have you got that quality. Look at these Gorgeous. right here. But Jenny... Look at those earrings right there. Come and look We've at got how much you can pay. coming up for you later. This will be coming up. Exactly right. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Everything coming up later will be able to fit these sizes uh -huh. here today. This is Zambian Emerald. Me having a quick mooch. I'm going to go down to our final price in a sec. Just before that, though, look at this. That piece mm. right there. This is equivalent to what you're getting in your, in your piece today. That's a four oh, and a half right. thousand pound piece of jewellery right there. Crikey. This is where this emerald goes. Now, Laura... Right now, we're about to share everyone why we're the best. What Ian Harbottle, the ex-CEO of Genfield, gets us from the Fabergé mine. Right. Because you might be thinking at home, Toby's going to take £100 off and we're going to be done at £99. But you would be wrong. Because today, for you, we can take these... 75% lower. We're going to under £50 here today. We are going to 49.99 here today without the sacrifice Unreal. of quality, of colour, of size, and they're a matching pair of emeralds. It's a great gift for somebody. It's wonderful for you to set into jewellery yourself. May's Birth Gemstone at 49.99. These will sell out today. We've heard about that mine. We've heard about the quality. Now, we know about emeralds. Of course, everybody knows emeralds, don't they? You, you grow up aspiring to own emeralds, right? Emeralds, rubies, sapphires, that. diamonds. What a stunning piece of jewellery that is. And also, Jenny, quick, quick, I think some people are going to be having questions out there in terms of, if I multi-buy these, are they going to be consistent throughout the, the two packs that I get? Yeah. Are the four gemstones going to match me? Yes, they will. We right. are guaranteed to give you two in each package, and also they will be colour matching. So I can see that uh, the, uh, people are already multi-buying. You can make yourself mm -hmm. a long pendant. You can yeah. make yourself necklaces. Yeah. You can make yourself a four-stone ring. You saw that mount that we had a minute ago with the four-stone ring? Yeah, gorgeous. That, that quadrant that you are getting in that previous shot that we had you can make that in your gold for less than Beautiful. 150 pounds and you know what you could if, if you buy four of these that's four separate rings we saw the mount with the surround on it as well there's just so much you can do so much you can do we got the same size uh, it was the same now but in a pair cut uh, so just give me two seconds no problem at all and we're going to go to those pair cuts so the pair cut's been really in at the moment um, particularly in rings, I've, I see a lot of engagement. Those are about to sell out any moment. The ovals are going, they're going to sell out. Now, the first thing that strikes me is the incredible colour here. So these again are Zambian emeralds, and they're in that beautiful, beautiful cut. And again, I, do you know, I'd love them to be stud earrings, but I also love these in rings. There's so much. Again, you can do, but if you want to put this in the stud and then drop down with, let's say, an oval, you can. It's about being the designer here and actually taking these gemstones and then you design around the gemstones that you have got in your possession. You become the jeweler and that you choose your gemstones, you become the jeweler. But these aren't any emeralds. These are Zambian emeralds. They're they only oiled. No other treatment apart from an oiling and the clarity, Toby. When I see an emerald with clarity, yeah. 
I know I'm in the money there. We, we, see, we see emerald with no clarity often, and there's nothing wrong with that, and it's great, and it's emerald. But this is high end. This is the bougie side of emerald, isn't it? This is, is, this is really some of the finest material that you can get. Look yeah. at that crystallization. You're right. It's a type 3 gemstone. Yeah. So what we mean by that is it grows with inclusions. Yeah. And in the same way that you don't see many blue elephants when you're on the African you know, plains, okay, it's the same with this emerald right here. Mother Nature doesn't create emeralds like this normally. And you must understand, you know, that when you're ever creating, unlike any other gemstone out there, okay, you have got to have the mineral mineralization of emeralds can only occur with two different gems to two different rocks hitting each other you're gonna to have to have your schist uh, your schist and you have your pegmatite without right. that equation without that occurring so when they hit each other that creates yep. emerald exactly so they have to be present both together for an emerald to occur wow now um for everyone at home, I know the pear shapes going to be popular because I know pear shapes are very in right now, they they're are, very on yeah. trend. And, and Jenny uh, and Laura, please forgive me here. What we're going to do right now is we're going to go even lower than I did on the last piece. I know oh, that we have got the same carrot weight. What we're going to do right now, and don't think this is going to be consistent throughout the show, is we're going to take these to less than £40 here today. So you can get these set mm -hmm. into your silver. You can get these, yep, they're going to be only £20 each here today. You can set them into a setting like that and wear them for less than £50 on a pendant like that in a Fabergé emerald. I can't wait for you to get these. And, and we know that a lot of people have been watching Bridgerton, so they're all out for that 16-inch chain with a drop that just goes to that point of your... So, oh, you have to watch it for the jewellery. You have to watch it, really? Toby. The jewellery is insane. Is it's, on, it? it's on Netflix. Um, so they have these 16 inch uh, chains and then just a drop there, but it's all like um, oh, right, in the gap. right in that bit there. And everyone's gone mad for that style now. Ooh, it's everywhere. But this is exactly, exactly the ideal gemstone to do that with because it's in a drop and the color is striking. So if it's going to be a small, delicate piece of jewelry, that color is what's going to pop. It's going to be striking. It's ideal for that quarter of a carat in each. And look what our Toby's done. $39.99 here today. And also this color, this is one of the most attractive colors that you can find. When it comes to emeralds, this unique green, that unique color that you get is such an, uh, uh, a leading color. It draws the mm. eye in naturally. Yeah. And this is exactly what it's going to do with your pendants. To be able to make a pendant like that for less than 50 yes, pounds, so. probably for less than 40 pounds actually, because you're only putting the one gemstone in there, yeah. is absolutely sublime. And I know, Jenny, uh, from you mentioning it, a lot of our you know customers, a lot of our jewelers, let's say, who watch us, make jewelry to sell. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know where I can go and buy a Zambian emerald pendant. First of all, in silver with any any quality like this. No, I, and you know something, I don't know anywhere else that you can actually go and source gemstones and know exactly where they've come from, yep. have that peace of mind, have the assurance of the certificate of authenticity. Certainly in this country, I don't know anywhere else you can do that unless you are in the, in the jewellery industry already and you yep. go out and, you, you know, you go traveling, you go to the Rock and Gem shows, yep. you go to, you go to Tucson yourself. And, you know, a lot of our jewellery makers, they can't do that. A lot of our, a lot of our jewellery makers are jewellers and they sell their jewellery on. This is the ideal opportunity. Ideal. Amazing. And, and, and even better than this, you know, this doesn't rely, you don't need me or Jake or Dave or Steve with this, actually. Because of the connection we have now with Ian, yeah. with Ian and Harbaugh, we're getting involved helping us with this yeah he can lead us directly into the mine he used Wonderful. to work here. it's called the k-gem mine in case any of you are interested um and you know he can now give us access to materials like this we have now got the one-way ticket the one-way ticket there's no we've got no st stop off or layovers on our way to the mine when we're exactly. purchasing it we're going direct we're going first class but we're not paying the price for it and, and you know it's we must get him in because i'd love to hear the whole experience about the mine and you know, it's just, it's so important, isn't it? We've got a message that has just come in uh, from Alison, who says, Hi, Jenny, Toby and crew. Are you bringing the Zambian Emerald as a single rather than pairs, please? We've got, um, we've got parcels at the moment, so we, we don't have any individuals. We've got parcels. But, but these are, of course, I've got now, how many is here? Uh, five here. But these, if you've got your tube setting, these are ideal for your tube setting. We've got the mounts for them in the next hour, yep. but if you followed Hayley Kruger's tube setting, this is for your tube setting rings. They're wonderful for that, but they're also great. 
your stud earrings. They're also brilliant for those delicate pendants. Again, just one of these. And it's all about hiding the bail with that, isn't it? And just looking like the pendant is floating. Um, it's such a big look at the moment. It's everywhere, everywhere that look. And um, it, it is the biggest London trend at the moment, is that look, isn't it? You can absolutely achieve it with these. It's so, so on trend right here. Now, what we call this pack right here, you can make your pendant earrings and a couple of rings. You can literally wear uh, an emerald on every mm -hmm. limb that you have on your body with this pack. And Alison, you know, the prices we're doing today, you know, thank you for messaging in, you know, those pairs that we are doing, I mean, there's five in this individual uh, parcel, all right? When you see what we're doing today, when you see the prices the tiny prices mm. that we are asking for these Alison I'm telling you now I think you're, you're, you're better off getting a for you're four or off, five yeah, of them absolutely because once again Alison look at that okay every piece that we bring around there we've got a sample pack of five there you've got that crystallization you've got that return of light you've got that beautiful even saturation of color those Pariba blues and of course no, 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 Laura, we're going lower than that, okay? We are going to match the price of the last auction that we did, yeah. okay? That's what we are going to do here today. You asked me to come and bring you a special show. We did. You asked for one of the most beautiful emeralds in the world. I love them. From one of the finest locations. I, Laura, I know this is well over a, par, over a carrot, and I know this is a parcel of emeralds that we are getting here today. But when we manage to secure bigger deals of bigger quantities, you manage to get bigger deals. And that is what today is all about. For $39.99 here today, you are getting yourself on five Zambian Emeralds, 1.15 packs. ACU P48 is your item code. You've got to be very, very quick with this. Look at your carrot weight. You get five. They're under £40 now. Francesca, you've got two in your basket. We've only got one left. I've also got Susan, Mary. Uh, right, okay, Francesca's checked out one. They've sold it and gone. Well done. I just needed to give you a little name check there because I saw that you wanted to multiply and unfortunately you couldn't. I've got three millimeter rounds next and you get seven coming up for you. <laughs> Do, do, do. Ooh, so, these oh, also, Jenny, if anyone were uh, out there kind of wondering, okay, well, Toby, why do I see some emeralds that are darker than other emeralds? Why do I see some emeralds that have more clarity in them? Mm -hmm. Why do I see more emeralds that are bigger in size? Well, one of the hardest things about emeralds, not only have we got kind of got to have a, a two kind of minerals coming together for that initial mineralization to happen, but then within that, you've also got the likes of chromium, vanadium, and iron that are getting in there. Now, chromium, vanadium, first of all, don't really like hanging out together. They're not really the best of mates. You don't really invite them to the same party because something's going to occur. But when that comes <laughs> to something like an emerald, okay, if you can manage to get a cro chromium in there as your primary with a little bit of vanadium, then you're going to start to get this crystallization. Then and the party's starting. They are the party starters. I call them the rock star. They're the rock star elements. And again, normally it's so hard to find them at the same party because they're so popular, because everyone wants to get their hands on them. But what we can do here today is we can give you that chromium, the vanadium, that perfect amount of iron that's giving you that Pariba blue slash I mean, these Russian really have it, green. don't they? they Look are, at the color. They're perfect. That's the perfect distinctive. If you, can't, if you can't tell whether it's blue or green, that's exactly where you want to be. Now, um, guys at home, that last auction sold out very, very quickly, and this is going to follow the same, because not only have we got these in round brilliant cut, but we are taking these to the same price alongside it. We are giving you here these for 30, uh, sorry, for 39.99. Uh, my brain isn't really quite uh, ready to kind of compute seven pieces of emeralds for and less than 40 And you get they've all been certified. Oh, yes. I mean, this is, that's something that would cost you extra, you know, if you had to go and get yours, if you bought from anywhere else, you want them certified you have to then go back and have it all done for you that's something that can cost you a lot of money you've got seven individual gemstones here look at we've only got six left this is what's that per emerald don't oh, what's just, four divided just, by seven i'm really bad at math so 1.15 what is it what is it what's four divided by seven how much is that per emerald oh five pounds 71 an emerald just, just that doesn't, it doesn't, th those two, do you know what? It doesn't belong in the same, these are Zambian emerald, emerald, emerald with clarity. Don't get me a synthetic emerald. Please. It's mad, isn't it? And let me tell you now, this isn't just any emerald. This is an emerald from the Fabergé mine, from the famous Cajun mm -hmm. mine. The emerald that provides you an aesthetic that can only be found in that of top 
Russian material, top Malisheva material. On Gemporia, when we are selling emeralds of this caliber, again, you're talking platinum, you're talking SI graded diamonds, VVS yeah, graded yeah. diamonds. And it's the same with, and that's why earlier on I was wanted to show you how much people can pay to own and will pay to own this kind of quality, Jenny. It's which mad. certainly isn't 3999. No, and, and you know what? It's got to be, for me, I think, you know, if, if we're giving you any advice, it's that I think this is a profit making opportunity for anybody that does buy from us to sell on perhaps you're going to set them in your argentium perhaps you're going to set them in your silver clay i don't think there's anything you can make other than a profit or a great big smile on your own face if you're keeping this for your stash it there's just whether you want to put all of these into one piece of jewelry all of these into one ring all of these into one pendant the color is unreal half the stock gone and plenty of you in the queue on the phone now i'm going to keep going and we're going to stay with, hang on a second, bum, 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 bum. Let me just make sure I put them all away. Five pack of rounds. These are 3.75 mils. We've got lots of jewellery out here as well, which I'm going to show you a little bit later. Um, so these are, again, uh, fancy cut. Fancy cut rounds. And the colour again. Ooh la la. Now, the reason, for people at home or customers at home might be thinking, okay, Toby, why, why have you cut these into rounds? I'm not used to seeing emeralds in round cuts. Oh, I love a round emerald. It's a fabulous question. Uh, well, the reason we've cut these into rounds is because these have got crystallisation. You know, these have got clarity. Yeah. And by cutting these into rounds, we can actually further accentuate, further exude all of that saturation and all of that crystallization, that refraction that we are getting from yeah. these emeralds. So it helps with to these. highlight those qualities? Exactly. We're just looking to exude them. We're just looking to get the most out of it. Now, normally with an emerald, what we're looking to do is we're looking to keep that dark, that saturation of color. Yeah. We don't worry about clarity. We don't necessarily worry about brilliance. We don't worry about those factors or exactly. refraction because there isn't much. But look at this right here. Look at that refraction you are getting. Look at those bluey greens. And most importantly, look at the consistency. It is, it's different. the creme de la creme of emeralds, isn't it? When you've got that, when you've got that clarity, when you've got that colour, yeah. you've got that vibrance, and, you, and you've got that sparkle. Those are things that you don't necessarily think you're ever going to be able to achieve in one emerald. You've got all of those things in these. There you go. And, and it really, it, these are opportunities that don't come about all the time. Some things happen because the COVID situation happened. Some of the, those things have been great. Some of them haven't been great. This is one of those Look times where it's great. Look at that. Ha have a look at that colour. I mean, ordinarily, I'm, I can only presume that had Tucson have gone ahead, these we, we wouldn't have these right now, would we? We certainly would not be having these right now. You're right, Jenny. Um, uh, Laura, uh, we're going. We're going to squeeze down under that. We're going under 44. Let's let's not go to 44 now. Let's let's match the price again. Let's go to 39.99. I'm liking that price point. Everyone at home is loving that price point, as You're I can see. You're a very today, Tobes. Uh, well, you know what? I'm getting a bit more comfortable here in the seat. I'm getting yeah, a bit more he's relaxed. His, it's quite yeah, nice. His slippers are on. No, his slippers aren't on today. We've got full shoes on today. Are you matching sock today? Or uh, no, 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 no. Good no, no. On I've you. got one Good. blue and one black one on today. Excellent. Um, the socks are, you know, it's nice I don't, to have. I don't think I trust people who wear, although my son does wear matching you're socks. You, you're saying you don't trust me? No, if you if you wear matching socks all the time, something ain't right. Well, there's a lot of people you're cutting something off your list right. there. Um, but you know what? We've only got two left, Oh, home. gosh. Oh, golly gosh. Uh, yeah, it's, and you know what? It's nice being here, but also I'm starting to hear more from the from customers at home. Thank you for messaging me in. I'm starting to meet more of the staff around here. Yeah, feel free if you have any questions, if you're wondering who I am today, feel free to uh, message in if you have any questions mm -hmm. at all, if you, have, uh, if you would like to know anything, if you're looking for a specific gemstone, if you want to know, um, you know, uh, what the Beryl family is all about. Yeah. If you, whatever you'd like to know at all, uh, within reason, we are... Uh, I'm here to, you know... Remind me your favourite gemstone. Uh, it varies. Um, I mean, I'm a big Russian Sphene fan. That was it, Sphene. Um, I'm a big Demanto Garnet fan, but also I have to say, um, the sneaky one is the, is is Pink Zircon, you know. Pink Zircon? Yeah. Pink Zircon for Do you me. go through stages of what you... What um, sort of no, I'm kind of pretty consistent, to be honest. It depends on if I'm feeling a bit more green, pink or yellow. How, how bougie is that day? Yeah. What side a better roll out of? Oh, 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 these are gorgeous. Wait till you see the colour. The demand of these, I think, Laura, are Every going to be huge. To be fair, all of the gemstones we've brought out have been amazing in colour saturation, haven't they? So, one, one thing I'm all about, 
you know, one thing I'm all about is quality standard. I've been working within gemstones for long enough to really understand where the quality standard should lie. And so that's also what's taking a bit more time now before I'm coming to shows here is going through products, going yeah. through these gemstones, yeah. looking at the quality standard, working back with our teams further down the links to ensure that you are getting that quality. To ensure that the emeralds that you are getting here today, I mean, look at the, look, I mean, look at the emerald that you're not even touching, Jenny. That is a Pariba tourmaline that you've got right there. But as you can see, face on as well, you get that depth of saturation. Amazing. You get that depth of color. Now, what you're about to see as well, just as a heads up, um, Jenny, is the lowest price point of the show so far while I've been here. Just, to, just, I'm just giving you a just quick... to reiterate though, this the, the color is there, yep. the clarity is there. There is nothing, we've gone back up in size. We have. There is nothing at all that should indicate to me that these are going lower in price. That, uh, no, I think a lot of people out there would be expecting to see these in a local jeweler, a pair of earrings. Let's say they've set Stunning. them into silver for, simple, for ease of mind, okay? If they were, let's say they're set into gold then. All right. No, I'd turn my nose in up a jeweler, table, I'm like, expecting to see this in nine carat gold jewelry for about £799. Definitely. Plus, plus. They're the earrings you wear on your wedding day. These are these are beautiful emeralds. Perfect. We've got we a lovely got nine carat gold mount in the next hour as well. I'm good with that. How does £29.99 sound? Ridiculous. How does that sound? It sounds ridiculous. It sounds like an utter treat. It sounds like an opportunity that you cannot miss. You've, you, you will get your certificate of authenticity. You even can utilize that one PMP. 3 95 right. all day long. The whole thing's ridiculous. So, so you're a comparative? Please. Okay. You know, a minute ago I was talking to you, sorry Mike, um, I was talking to you about okay, how much would it sell for in a jewelry store if it was a similar price. Okay, so this is from the KJ website. This is a 49 point. Zambian emerald. Oh gosh, I thought that was massive. So no. they've just like superimposed it. Yeah, yeah. Forty nine points. Forty nine points. Seven hundred and twenty five pounds. Okay, right. that's right okay. now, right now on the internet. And there's, a big, just there's a big inclusion in that as well. There is, as emeralds are yeah. expected to. Okay. But we've just given you 35 points for 29.99. You know, it's not like we've given you, you know, for 599 and we're going, and that's still a good deal. 29.99. Where's the sacrifice? What have we sacrificed to give you that price? Because it's not color. Tell me. It's not I size. I need it's not to cutting. know. Are, they, are these now synthetic? Have we now uh, oiled these? Have these been irradiated to make them green? No. Just an oiling. Just Nothing that we don't do when we get oiling. out of the bath. That is it. 29.99. Stunning, isn't it? I can't it's walk phenomenal. into Domino's with twenty nine ninety nine and be satisfied. Okay, alone, alone into a jewelry store. Unbelievable, twenty nine ninety nine WFUP seventy. And these, this is a profit making opportunity if you sell your jewelry on. I certainly think so. This is an opportunity for you to have gemstones in your safe at home. Mm. That when you know someone really dear to you comes, uh, you know, and says oh, they're getting married or they would like some special jewelry for whatever occasion, yeah. you have got that beautiful pair of Zambian emeralds, and they really are a striking example of emeralds. 55th wedding anniversary, a May birth uh, gemstone, so perhaps somebody's getting married and it's but one of the bridal groom's uh, birth gemstones. Certainly, but you know what I really love about this is, the, is the history behind this. You know, this is, Fabergé don't just go and buy a, a mine. Any old nearly. mine. Yeah, Let, go on, tell us, know. tell us, give me, so, give me some so depth. So the fact that they have purchased that mine for the quality of the emeralds to fit their quality standard. Now, Fabergé, I don't know if you've seen Fabergé jewellery, Fabergé tables, Beautiful. whatever they sell, those eggs. You can't go near Fabergé unless you've probably got at least half a million pounds in the or bank. Or a royal title. Okay, or a royal yeah. title. That's the level we are talking about with this kind of jewellery. Hundreds of thousands, if not millions of pounds. I'll have some of what Toby's had. Gemma, um, actually not not enough today, to be honest with you, Gemma, but this is what it's all about here today. He's high it's on gemstones, about, that one. It is. I'm high on some gemstones. But it is an exciting... I'm high well, on I think, gemstones. actually, we forget. We, we give you strands and we give you this and that, and, it's, uh, and we love making jewellery. We forget the history behind some of the gemstones. We forget the stories, the... It, there's a whole Indiana Jones situation Isn't going that? on behind each gemstone that we bring to the table. And, and it really is something that we must never forget. So much effort, so much hard work, so much negotiating on price just to bring it to the table. And those are things that you don't see 
And I think it's important to know the story about where your gemstones come from, isn't it? I do. I think that, you know, and it, it does, it always reminds me of Indiana Jones. You know, all this stuff goes on and then he's there. It, it, it is that kind of situation. But now. also, again, with the, sorry, Jenny, but with no. that as well, we've got the we've got the the past. It's like the likes of Fabergé yeah, being involved. The history. But we've also got the present because remember, after Fabergé, it was bought by a company called Gemfields, and the CEO of Gemfields was a gentleman called Ian Harbottle. Now, yeah. Ian again is now on our team. You'll see him at Gemporia. He's now helping us with Sarai. And it's it's this gentleman was so important. This art, you know, I can show you from here. This article right here says. Ian Harbottle, what the Gemfield CEO reads on his way back to work. Now, I don't know how famous you've got to be before when the Financial Times start doing articles like that about you, but I'm Friday. guessing it's pretty famous. You can see him there ah. in the Piccadilly Circus. Um, you know, he is now on our team. Alongside the likes of who have we got? John Saul, Mark Saul, the Wabito brothers. Yes. We have got yourself, Jake Glenn Lehrer. We have got John Dyer. We have got some of the biggest experts in the world surrounding us and they are all part of the key to doing what we can do for you here today now have a look at what jenny's got for you have a look at this opportunity look at that color now these to me are classic emerald green classic. yes so there's more chromium in these yeah. okay bringing you more chromium more iron bringing you more depth of color now look at how beautiful that color Gorgeous. is. Gorgeous. That's more of your textbook kind of Zambian material yeah. right there. Yeah, It'll, yeah, You'll absolutely. find less crystallization, but you'll find more saturation. If you were to look at sort of antique jewelry, then I think in antique jewelry, this is the kind of emerald green that you would expect to see. And to clarify, we've got mounts for these in the next hour as well. For yep. any of you at home, we've got something for you. We can actually show you how these emeralds look set, I think. Um, if possible, um, we can actually show you uh, kind of one of these beautiful necklaces. You'll see how these ambient emeralds work so well with each other. Look yes, at that crystallization look at right that. there. Now, we're going to bring you a carrot right now. And right now, I'm going to give you the best price per carrot of the show. Yeah, we are at a carrot now. Yes, that's right, Laura. And you've already told me the price. So guess what? We're going to follow it. And Laura's just realized it's nine, uh, 0 0.9 of a carrot, not 0 0.6. And 29.99 <laughs> here today. 29. Look at that um, glow. Look the, at that these glow. have the most amazing saturation of color. And they're very traditional. I think if somebody is Beautiful. seeking an emerald for its exact color, that traditional color, that, you know, crown jewel emerald color, then it's this, and at that price. It's stunning, isn't it? So this is Crazy. where we really have to be thankful for to be working alongside someone like Gemporia, and you know, and, and we, uh, us as a partnership here at Jewelry Maker, get some amazing opportunities. This isn't normally the type of uh, gemstone that we're talking about jewelry making with. This is normally the type of jewelry uh, gemstone that you find already set into jewelry, already you know set into their mounts, yeah. already you know, already done finished product. But because of this new route that we have now got through Ian, through the ex-CEO of Gemfields, yeah. who also used to run this exact mine, we it's, can do the unbelievable. It's mad. And we can hear those stories. I can't wait. I can't wait to hear the stories. Um, you've got to be quick because this one's going to sell out. Maria, Christine, you've got yours. Hazel and Lucy are shopping too. At any moment now, these are gone. And, it, you know, everybody knows emeralds, don't they? They're certainly in my top five. I absolutely adore emeralds. I have done since but, I was small. You know what's small. also really lovely about this mine is not only do they, with this mine, normally with mines, Jenny, as you know, they, they take, they, we dig, we take it out, and it stays out. But what they do is once they finish digging, they actually refill. They yeah. refill all of the areas to ensure that the mine, but the ground stays sustainable. So it's still possible to be move, on, move, move forward once this mine is done. But what's also amazing is that when we're buying, and when we're buying from this specific mine, we're helping the likes of gem fields, and they develop the likes of schools, they help local communities. Ah. So just, to, just can I just show you something here? Just yeah, quickly. Um, definitely. You know, and this, you know, this, us all, but having Ian, someone like Ian on our team, this helps all of this. So for any of all of us out there that, you know, like to, you know, uh, want to give a little back, you know, buy, buy, buying, by us, Gemporia, purchasing yeah. from this specific mine, we're helping with this. We're helping with the Chapula Secondary School. We're helping with villages, with water wells being built. And that's also something that's quite nice to know. You know, it's nice yeah. to know that when you're buying from us here, and obviously when we're purchasing from them, it follows its way down the line. 
because we are helping other people. That's, we that, are and helping. that's so nice to know because I think the gemstone world, if you don't understand it, can be, you know, because of the, of the way the press can portray things, can be a little bit of a, oh, you know, you just don't know. When we just hear Toby saying, you know, in buying, in Gemporia, buying from this mine, we are helping yeah. the local communities. Yeah. That for me is absolutely massive. Of course it is. Of course that's what we want. And I think particularly today, more than ever, we want to make sure that we're all being kind and we're exactly. doing the very best for everybody that we can. Yeah. And that, you know, we're getting beautiful gemstones, sure, but in return, the local community is is being helped out humongously. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it also makes it safe working environment for other miners out there. Anyway, um, you know, it's just one of those nice things that you can. But have. it is something that I think is important to to press on. Oh, have I got the wrong one? Mm. I do have the wrong one. Sorry, please. Okay, bear with well, me. I can't talk price until we've got the right we've got the right goods. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's Hang no on a minute. Jenny, don't worry oh, about sorry. it. You got nothing to worry about. It's Monday. It's Monday afternoon. You just take uh, your time. It's more pear cut. So these, Toby, right, I live near London, as you know, and everywhere, pear cut diamonds, you know pear what? cut, there's, everywhere's gone mad for the pear cut. Shall I, can I show you something quickly? Tell me everything you know. Can I yes. show you one slide? Uh, um, sorry, yeah, sorry, Mike, you have to bear with me one second. I didn't come prepared for this one. Uh... Da, 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 da. Sorry, guys. Uh, so I, uh, what I want to do is I want to give you an example of how important the pair cut can be when it comes to evaluation of your jewellery. Uh, I've got an image, hopefully, yeah, from a customer, actually, um, who purchased uh, some Ratnikiri Zircons for us recently. Okay. And she's actually talking about the difference between the oval and the pair cut. And as you can see here, as you come into this shot, you've got the oval and the pair cut. And if you scroll, pan to the left, Mike, oh, just ever so slightly, beautiful. you'll see here, look, she's talking about when she got them re-evaluated. And I right. got the Rally Curry Zircons re uh, last year. The insurance broker said the pear shape is worth about 25,000 and the oval around 20,000. While the oval has more carat weight, the pear shape is harder to replace. So uh -huh. therefore it's worth $5,000 more Crikey. than the oval. Okay. Now, I, I, can t I can tell you that, but that's one of our clients. And by the way, she spent less than £10,000 on those pieces. They're now being okay. worth over $55,000. Investment, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, and so that's why we wanted to bring you these pairs here wow. today. When it comes to pairs in emeralds of this calibre, this is amazing. I have to warn you all at home. I'm sorry, ladies. This is the last parcel we have in Moose Gemstones for you. But Beautiful. we're going to go out with a bang. Because we are going to be still staying under £30 here today, Laura. For £29.99, you can get the pear cut. You can get the location. You can get the origin. You can get that beauty. Oh, dear. Unreal at that price. Unreal. I'm holding on to this. You've got to look at it before I drop it. Look. Stunning, isn't it? Oh, my goodness Stunning. me. The colour is just beautiful. And aren't they going to look super again in those little delicate Bridgerton inspired pieces? They're going to look super beautiful. They do, don't they? they but you can make petals out of these as simple well. Simple elegance out of yeah. these. Like, you know, you can give these as gifts. You can, I mean, that crystallization, I think a lot of people that you give these to, they might think they are tourbalines. And I think that's one of the nicest compliments that you can have. Um, and just, you know, remember everyone at home, you know, this is just us utilizing what we have for you. This is only possible at these prices through someone like Ian. And um, yeah, just congratulations to all of you. To every, every single one of you. Now, a lot of you have been asking for uh, strands so that you can lead them into a necklace. I've got a really, really stunning strand of rondelles for you. And of course it has to be a star buy. Okie crokey, we have got for you a stunning strand that I do think is going to make the perfect chain, but I would be doing one gemstone, I would have my links of chain, another one links of chain. I don't think you need to use too many in your rosary linking with this, because if you do, then you're leading down to that little dip there with that wonderful, elegant pendant. You don't, want to, you, you don't want to take away from that. So just little accents. This is going to give you the ideal opportunity to do that. Now, in a strand of rondelle, first of all, Toby, yes. this is quite a specific thing to ask, you know, the supplier. Right, we'd like them in rondelles, please. Ordinarily, you'd have them how we would cut 
just yeah. there. So, so this is already quite a niche thing to get because we are cutting Zambian emerald yeah. for not not necessarily jewelers straight away, but for for jewelry makers. Exactly. So that's got to be a very small percentage of the people in the world that buy gemstones. Mm. So that must cost us extra for that reason, right? So, yeah, when it comes to this kind of caliber of emeralds and putting it into the lights of something like jewellery making, it's not something that we normally put in the same equation because exactly. of the price of yeah. them. You know, for someone making jewellery normally using Zambian material, you're going to have to pay through the nose. And therefore, when you're making your jewellery, if you, especially if you're selling it, yeah. the cost, that overall cost lay down is going to be very, very high. So... We know, well, yes, the, the, because of the way in which we work, because we have our own cutters, because we have our own setters, because we have our own designers, because we get rough directly from the mine, it allows us to be able to do unique things with this material, but without paying the price for it. So we don't have yeah. to go to Mr. I don't know, Mr. William and say, Mr. William, can you cut these into lots of rondelles for me? And he'll say, yeah. well, I don't normally On do that with this bike. material. Yeah. You know, yeah. And he'll say, well, if you do want me to, I'm going right, to charge you, you know, $25 a carat to cut. You know, on top of the and price, drill hole, yeah, and, and, and on top of the price that we've paid to buy the material. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Just of for the course, cutting pleasure. Yeah. Now, because again, we can go right, all right. Um, you know, let's talk to one of our team here. Let's work on these rondelles because we keep all that in house because that's supported by us. That extra cost incurrence doesn't occur to you. Now, just for everyone at home, you're getting 15 carats of material in here. Now, what I love about this set is, first of all, and what I recommend. I used to sell, you know what, we used to sell something like this, okay, with, they were just graduated, okay, graduated like this yeah. of about 20 carats, and we'd sell that for about £1,299, okay, now the fasting wasn't just quite run down, it was a bit more fast than this, but that right there. In a finished piece of jewellery. In a finished just, piece yeah, of jewellery, okay. but let me tell you, the jewellery basically just had that with a bail, with a clasp, clasp on the back. Yeah, but they're beautiful. Amazing, really lovely. unbelievably yeah. beautiful. And you can go in as close as you want. You can move them. The one thing is, is you'll get that crystal return. One, yeah. risk you run, one risk you run with emeralds is you don't get that return of light. They're flat and you don't get the return of light. Laura, sorry, what did you just tell me? Right, okay, everyone at home, are you ready uh, to brace yourself? Because when it comes to price for carrot jewelry makers, I don't know another channel, I don't know another store, I don't know another person that can deliver you this price per carrot when it comes to emeralds. In fact, Laura, I know we've agreed the price on this. Just put the price on your screen right now, on the screen right now. Guys and girls at home, jewelry makers, just have a look at what you're about to see come on your screen and you honestly tell me that you thought it was going to be anywhere near the price that you are about to see. Get a price in your head. 15 carats of Zambian emerald. The start price is, is our RRP, okay. so we have to put that on first, okay, which Laura, if you then. do that. Let's start with that then, Laura. And, and, and our RRP that. means that we have to be very competitive. You, you know, if somebody was to Google or go on our website, that you know, they're not going to stop and go, oh no, that's too expensive. They're going to go, actually, that's really competitive. Yep. Great deal. Yep. So your start price is coming up on your screen just now. But of course, we're not staying there. We're live on air. We can give you a much better deal. So globally competitive at the start yep. price, which is our RRP that yep. goes onto our website, should there be any left after the show. Certainly. Now, as you can see, we haven't even gone to 199, 170 pounds. Now, if I could take these to less than 100, that'd be lovely, right? You're saving yourself 50% off our RRP that we're talking about yeah. here today. We're going to be going lower than that, right? We're going to be going lower than 70 pounds, lower than 60 pounds for these. We're going to be taking these well under 50 pounds. If you are not already getting involved, let me tell you now, you will miss out on this deal that we are going to provide you here today. Today, we can take these to less than 40 pounds. 40 today, pounds. for 39 pounds. In fact, Laura, scratch that. Let's go to 34 pounds 99. These are yours. I tell you what, a sunny day and he's gone bananas. 15 carats of emerald, maize birth, gemstone, straight into recently. a necklace, straight into a bracelet, 34.99. But of course, our phone lines are buzzing, busy. I'm really sorry if you experience a queue. Hit that number one button. It'll take you over the automated. We are incredibly busy. Just a little bit of oiling. Now, Nothing wrong makers, with that. 
as I was saying, when it comes to quality, we will always deliver you quality, okay? I mean, we will always bring you a very high quality of gemstone. Let me show you another designer that's working with exactly the same material that you're getting here today, and have a look at that. Obviously, it's a bigger carrot weight. It's a huge carrot weight. Who is it? But it's exactly the same material right here. It's a, well, they're not mentioning the designer's name, but you can see here, the quality that you're getting is exactly the same that we are giving you here today. It's those beads. You know, okay, now these are more pumpkin kind of cards. I think ours are nice. But okay, that's a £30,000 piece of jewellery, but, but I'm, I want to give you perspective but here ours, today. But ours is shaded better than that, I think. Do you? Yeah, exactly. Definitely. They have more saturation. Yeah. They have. But look look how these are kind of like different colours. Yeah. Some of them are deeper, more some of them, to them. Yeah. But as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, this is not. This is not 39.99 jewelry that we are giving you here exactly. today. Exactly. How much is that piece of jewelry? 30,000. Oh. 30,231 pounds 72 pennies. I know what I'd rather spend Tobes, do you? Yep. <laughs> now, I've yep. got more very very quickly. I don't have uh, sorry, say that again. So we're going to go completely um, somewhere else now. It's Zambian still but in pips. So these really are a great way to perhaps introduce yourself to emerald. Uh, these are going to be great for stretchy bracelets, brilliant for stacker bracelets, amazing for earrings, great for that injection of colour. Oh, lovely, aren't they? They're beautiful. So we can see the differences. There's no clarity in this. It's all about that saturation of colour and having that play of, of emerald within your designs. And, you know, to be able to boast that you're using precious gemstones as a jewellery maker, these are totally natural, by the way, um, is such a, a huge boast. And if you are selling jewellery on, particularly now that, you know, lockdown's over, you might, be, you might be seeing a huge surge of people wanting to spend their money and you're wanting to branch out. You're going to want to invest in those high-end strands, precious gemstone strands, and, of course, Always important that you have as many birth gemstones to create those bespoke pieces, those personalized pieces uh, in your collection. This is next month's birth gemstone, so well worth stocking up on. I'll tell you what we'll do, Jenny. We're going to get rocking and rolling on this quickly because I know we have so many people wanting to get their hands on this. Uh, what's our lowest price point of the show been today, Laura? $29.99? Let's go. Should we half price? Should we half price on that? Yeah? £14.99? No oiling? Zambian material, you've got that saturation, you've got that colour. Is that, is that right? Is that, okay, we've just, that? He, he's been let off his lead, yeah. he's gone wild, we can't bring him back. <laughs> WDG P07, 1499 for Zambian Emerald, 20 carats. Yeah. This is going to make so many different styles of jewellery. You can waterfall cascade these, you can do your bubble technique with these. You can even just make a stretchy ring. Oh, yes. Easy peasy, stretchy. Well, do you know what? Stacker bracelets with this is ideal, isn't it? Totally mm, ideal. And it's a certainly. chakra colour. You know, and also, I love you, my mean, you saw that necklace there. You can multi stack necklaces. You know, you can have a triple stacker yeah. of necklace. You can have whatever you fancy with this. But let's be frank about things. At £14.99 right there, that is some fabulous quality. For 20 Unoils. carats. To know you've just bought 20 carats in any precious yeah. gemstone at all, like whether it be emerald, carat. whether it be sapphire, whatever. It's such a small price to, to pay, isn't it? In the next hour, we've got Burmese Jade. I'm so excited about that. We've got some Garnet, which you just heard Toby say is one of his favourite gemstones. We've got absolutely stacks coming up to you. We've got Grossula Garnet as well, haven't we? We do. Which I, I don't know much about, so I'm really looking forward to learning from you. Okay. I, I, yeah, I'm not, I've not seen the gooseberry garnet before, so I'm really gassed for that. It's absolutely and utterly beautiful. Yeah, because Jake is, was going mad about it, going wild about it, so I'm so really excited. So I think the excited. Lord over at Gems, uh, it's going to be a cracker. It certainly will. <laughs> we'll join you. Don't you dare go anywhere. We'll be back after this. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia Partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. You may be wondering how to buy here at Jewelry Maker. So here is a quick overview of what to do. When you see a product that comes on screen, the graphics will appear, you'll see an item code and a starting price. As time goes on, we will drop the price on screen and as viewers call in or order online, the quantity decreases too. No matter what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. 
and there's just one P&P on all items that you order in a day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee so there's no risk whether you're buying for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that we are live every day from 8am through to 5pm? We can be watched on Sky, Freesat and Virgin. You can also watch us on Freeview SD from 8am to 1pm and Freeview HD from 1pm to 5pm. Or you can join us online at www.jewelrymaker.com or download our app from the App Store. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Makers. Did you know that no matter how many times you purchase, no matter how many times you check out, you only pay one postage and packaging per day? Say that you've purchased an item during our morning show and then decide to buy something else later on in the afternoon. As long as all of your products have been purchased within the same day by midnight, your orders will all be combined and your postage and packaging will work out at that of just a single fee. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Okay, we are ready to mount now. Are you ready to mount, Toby? So excited. You ready to mount? I'm always ready to mount. Okay, then we have got the That's hour a, for you at home. family of jewels, aren't I? Have a look. Have a look at this. Whether you bought any of the emeralds or whether you've got some ovals in your stash already, this is a really simple, classic design. And I think, Tobes, when you've got something like this and it's got the, uh, the split bale there or the bunny bale i know a lot of people call it that don't they bunny bale or rabbit bale because of the yeah. looks like bunny ears uh you have got an opportunity to just showcase your gemstones all about that all about the gemstones there's no other detail other than that lovely split bale and then of course your prongs open ready for you to pop in your ovals you certainly can yeah um and, and what we love about this and why i wanted to bring a mountain like this for example is when you're for example talking about the emeralds that we had a minute ago all right or when you're looking to utilize a gemstone that otherwise is not easy to find in any kind of significant size what it allows you to do is it allows you to bring in three gemstones together to give you one overall look yeah. to give you the biggest circumference possible that you can get on your decollete as they say Ooh. which allows you again is going to only bring more attraction it's only going to give you a bigger look and especially if you've got three emeralds that you can match like we have right there you've just got such a unique aesthetic it's that won't beautiful. be found anywhere else now i think the the, the problem is is that if you were to go and, again go and buy a, a piece of jewelry like this with three zambian emeralds in it set into over almost a gram of gold hundreds. you're looking at what how much are you looking at hundreds right Four hundred ninety-nine pounds. E easily, it depends. Of course, pounds. depends where you're shopping for it, but easily that, easily. easily and right? don't forget, this is solid nine-carat gold. Ordinarily, here at Jewelry Maker, we do a lot of plated findings, and it, uh, and so many times that we bring solid gold snapped up straight away. But yeah. This is really difficult 
it's really difficult for us to see. It is very hard to do. Now, for any of you out there today, of course, because we've done your amazing deals on the emeralds, we are going to do the same on this gold here today. And for this piece right here, we are going less than £50 here today for this 9 garat gold pendant, £49.99. Uh, we are trying to give you the easiest access to these kind of mounts, you know? Oh, absolutely. And you know what? It's the, uh, I think a lot of people, if they're working with gemstones that are as prestigious as a an emerald, a ruby, a sapphire, they want a forever piece of jewellery. They're going to sell it yeah. as a forever piece of jewellery. So to have it in solid gold is certainly my preference. I love that we're getting this value. We know that the price of silver and gold over the COVID situation has been wild, hasn't it? It's been at the highest it's ever, ever been. You've got a big gram weight here. You've got a lot of detail. And these are ready to receive the ovals that we've had in the show today. Ready to go. So it all comes together beautifully well. And also, if you order it today, I guess, it's all going to go into one shipment, which means it's going to all arrive uh -huh. on time. And therefore, one a friend of you that are a little like, uh, you know, as organized, like, unorganized like me, uh, it's just all there when you open it. But also, you know, the setability of those, the yeah. look that you are going to get. Remember, this is nine carat gold here Solid today. Solid nine carat gold. So based on some of the prices we did earlier, you're going to be able to put that into a into a, that mount right there, a trilogy of emeralds for like less Beautiful. than less than eighty pounds. And it looks so classic. That's a classic design. It's elegant. It's classic. It's all about the gemstone. It's it has that air of sophistication about it. It's just beautiful. We've got more for you. Now, remember that is solid nine carat gold. These aren't plated. They're solid nine carat gold. Now, I'm going to give you next, I think, the earrings, aren't I? Number five uh, in the earrings. So, we have got here for your six by four ovals. And these are stud earring findings. Uh, the, the item code for the ovals is IP. IV. Oh, sorry. IV. IV UP24. IV UP24. Now, what I love about these, Jenny, sorry to interrupt. No, please do. What I love about these, and we can show this also from this shot here, yeah. oh, with the earring, it's even side on, okay? You can see the openness of the gallery. You can see the emerald, not just from the front fascia, but you can see it from the side. You see here? Um, so. Jenny, on the round, as you can see, from a side profile, you see in green, also from a side, from a side profile Oh, there. right, okay. You're not, yeah. We're not having the, the gold work kind of work its way around. You can see the emeralds from any direction. Any think, direction. And I love the, that. So Toby's showing that these aren't the same earring findings that I've got now, but what Toby's saying setting. is the same setting. Sorry. So the, no, 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 not at all. Um, so the emeralds, you can see from all, and it's important, it's a gemstone of great colour, uh, and that's what you want. You want to be able to see that amazing colour. For me, my preference is, is with gold anyway. I love Yellow silver. gold, you mean? I love, uh, yeah. Uh, certainly with emeralds and rubies, I love it. Really? Yeah. I think you've got maybe your contemporary, the, the white, uh, sorry, uh, first of all, uh, Laura, sorry, uh, let's go to 44.99 on these, how for two of these, yeah. A uh, pair of earrings, 44.99 today. But that's it, yep, yeah, 0.7 grams of gold, I, I know. Uh, but, more, but more importantly, more importantly, uh, you know, for that look that you are getting with that setting, with that uh, um, saturation, with that aesthetic, that right there is a fabulous deal. Yeah, oh gosh, it's, it's an amazing deal. It look, um, the, this is classic, to me the gold is, more, is the most regal look. Yeah, definitely. That's was, why I love that's it. That's what I was going to go to. So that's what I was talking about. So yeah, you're right. The the yellow gold gives you that regality to it. Yeah. But I can imagine someone like you wearing the yellow gold. Okay, a bit more of a um, classic kind of lady. I where like, someone like I Laura like classic, might wear yeah. the, the white gold. It's a bit more contemporary, a bit exactly, more young, yes. if you know what I mean. Yeah. I mean, are you calling me old? I feel like you just called me old. No, I didn't. Feel I actually, like... the word I used, the word, the word I used She's was classic. She's an old classic. I, yeah. You've got no chance of getting called that word, Laura. But Jenny, again, classy and contemporary. Is that a fair? I was, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm like a... I'm Someone like a, get Toby Cavill a I'm amongst shovel, the pigeons. please. I'm amongst the pigeons. <laughs> Uh, you know what I'm saying, ladies no, and gentlemen. No, I do, honestly. I'm older, obviously, by quite a lot to LJ, and I do prefer the classic look. And LJ's still young. She's still partying. She needs to look contemporary. Absolutely. Is she it's an LJ true. or an LG? LJ. She's Laura Jane, so we call her LJ. Okay. All right. Now. Just checking she wasn't the founder of a really big electronics company. No, she's not. Yeah. We're grand. Here we have, so here, now this is a little bit LJ, because this, I would say, is really quite contemporary. 
have a look. Yes. Using for your, your rounds that we had earlier, and I think this is really a contemporary look. So these go with ACU P48, that's ACU P48, or any other rounds of that circumference. And this is why Alison, remember Alison, Alison, remember earlier on when you messaged in saying, can you got, have you got a piece, yeah, have you got one of these I could buy? Alison, this is why we were trying to encourage you, this is why we are trying to bundle these for you. Yeah. So you can not just get one look, but you get all four coming together. Um, these as well are going to less than, <laughs> these are going to less than 20 pounds. Uh, right. In fact, they get to less than 16 here today. 15 pounds 99 for this mount here today. 2.3 grams of your silver. Let me tell you about the retail industry. I used to work for one of the world's You've got biggest. Zircon in there, mind. You've got know Zircon that. in there. Yeah. You've got okay. Zircon in Just, there. Sorry, as you were. As so you were. before, I, and also it's a white Zircon. It's clean. It's brilliant cut. But when it comes to retail, okay, when it comes to the retailer, when they're buying silver in, they're buying silver in at probably in a, uh, uh, just around seven to ten pounds a gram of yeah. silver. And when they go to sell that, you're then paying double, triple that when you're buying it in the shop. This right here is 2.5 grams of silver, and we're at 15 pounds 99. What you must also understand is it's not just gemstones that we can provide you benefits with. We can also do it with the metal work as well. We can also do it with the design work. And where a normal jeweler might go out there and they they might buy two kilos of gold every quarter to make their jewelry. We are buying half a half, you know, we're buying kind of 500 to a thousand kilos of gold wow. or silver or palladium or platinum, whatever it may be in February, you know, 20, 2016, because that's when the price was last good. And yeah. we'll buy yes, that to keep yeah. us consistent for five years or 10 years. Because it's the day that we come back to you and we say, oh, this mountain here today, I'm sorry, guys, it's £30.99, is the day you say to us, well, Toby, that's a, your USP. You provide me with the same quality, the same standard, the same weight for the lower price. That's the deal, right? Yeah. So that's what we have to guarantee you, and that's just <laughs> part of the benefits. Fifteen ninety nine with the zircon in there as well. We've oh, got to yeah. move on because that one's going to sell out. Next well, one. I, I lived over. I lived in the uh, in Ratnik area for a few days. Did in you? The, at the zircon mine, yeah. I, mean, I was about 19 you at the time. You camped there for a couple of days. And that, well, they, they live on site. The families live on site, so it was lovely. I just got How long to, did you stay there for? About four days. Yeah, pretty cool. What did you eat? I uh, have to know. Lots, I have to know of, lots of intestines, uh, a lot of liver. Um, Did you? Chicken. Yeah, well, that's normal from being in that part of the world anyway. It's kind of normal. Duck's feet, like a duck's feet soup. I've, had, a like I've that. had that, yeah. Chicken foot broth in China. Oh, I've lovely. That. Tasty. Yeah. Um, I actually quite like that. It's really tasty. Yeah. Really tasty. I'm but good it's with a it. lot of, um, yeah, it's a lot of local animals, um, insects. We need to know, like, if Toby tells us these stories, I want to know what it smelled like, what they ate, what the roads were like. Oh, the food's fabulous. I need to know everything. The roads are terrible. The food was fabulous, as it is in that part of the world. Uh, that's one thing I do miss the most. Um, now, what have we got here? You same bit in rose gold, but uh, doesn't that rose gold really bring out the zircon now? Say that again, sorry, Danny. So you've got the rose gold, which really brings out the zircon. And also, really it's a lot more expensive color. to rose gold plate this from your standard silver. Okay, it's certainly not going to be, you know, in your local jeweler, you could probably pay a third more for your rose. Today, you need to just pay one pound more. Sixteen pounds really? ninety nine. Don't pay a third more. We'll take. We'll charge you a pound more. Rose gold is everywhere right now. Everybody wants it. All the it. influencers are wearing rose gold. Oh, rose gold. So I think it's the vogue. geometric, you know, trend that's going on at the Got moment. Got a geometric isn't it? collection on the way as we yeah, speak as well, it, Jenny. It's a really. It, it is so so out there at the moment. But all these geometrics have to be in rose gold, yeah. don't they? You know. Uh, so this is one if you're keeping up with the trends. We don't just, we, give the tra we follow the trends, Jenny. You know we don't. But, we but then keeping it quite classic, it will last. It won't. It won't get outdated. So this is sort of a bit of a nod to both. Bit classic, but also following the latest classic trends. Classic contemporary, could we yeah. say? But it's I, I absolutely. I absolutely. It's think. like taking yourself and Laura, putting fusing them together yeah. into a pendant. Classic contemporary. Indeed, I think that's most. That's most people's idea of hell, fusing me and Laura together, isn't it, Most Laura? of what? Did you say? <laughs> idea of hell. Oh, uh... No. Have a look. <laughs> I don't know. Have this. <laughs> <laughs> we can be quite annoying, Laura, can't we? I can't Here we see go. it. I can't <laughs> see it. <laughs> I'm a delight, she says. Oh, dear. Now, gold, classic. <laughs> Here we go. Here we've got the classic. Um, but, again, a fairly contemporary style. I, I like this one a lot. And you've got, so this is plated. This is gold on sterling silver. It's 18 karat gold. And it's there to, to uh, of course, encase your beautiful rounds that you bought earlier. This right here, I think, Jenny, is going to be the most popular of all of the pieces we bring. Like you said, it does have that classic contemporary look to it. Yeah. It has that classic 
classic design to it. And what we're going to do, Laura, is we're going to match the price of the rose. We are going to match this at £16.99 here today. You've still got those four millimeter round fittings, but most importantly, and look at how solid that is. Can we, even from a side profile, really Jenny, you can see, it? Yeah. No, we're, not, we're not thinning out the walls here. <laughs> we're not carving out a way here. We're giving you pure, solid nine carat gold. And of course, in, uh, in having it like that, we take the, we take the piece away from the skin so that the light can travel underneath because a lot of those emeralds have super clarity. You got it. And that's just going to aid with that, allowing the light to travel underneath. That's $16 dollars VQ, you know, it's clever design. It's not just about, oh, that looks nice. Let's stick that on a necklace. It's all about clever design. Mm. It's all about the design working with the gemstones. We're really passionate about gemstones here. So it makes no sense to us whatsoever to give you mounts that don't complement your gemstones. You've got to get the very best out of those emeralds so that every time someone looks at you and goes, oh, I love that necklace. These emeralds were from Joe Emporia. You have to go and check them out. That's what we want you to do. That's what it's about. The QP K14 $16.99 is your price. Next up, Tobes, we have got some earrings. Do. So these right here are for your six by four ovals. Um, they are going to go so so well, so so well with what obviously what, what we were what we were offering earlier on. Yeah. Um, now. Just have a look at this design. I think this is going to be a design that every, I think everybody likes to wear, everybody could wear, everybody might actually have a, a, a design like this. But what we're allowing you to do today is bring you that classic look, that classic feel. And also remember, Jenny, that with the caliber of those emeralds that we were selling earlier, no one's going to assume this is silver. Nobody no. is going to assume these are silver. No, they'll think it's platinum or they'll think it's white gold. Um, absolutely. So when you're paying like £9.99 for them, you know, you're getting yourself such a unique deal, Definitely. such a unique price. But, you know, you're not stuck to just putting emeralds in here. If you've got any no. gemstones previously, when Jake brings them to you or when Toby comes, then absolutely, as long as they are this, the, the, this, this part here is the same measurement, then run with it. $9.99, I would make sure I had enough in my stash to... Uh, because you're, you're selling your jewellery again, aren't you, now? So if you're going to be selling out of what first? Earrings, aren't you? Yeah. I think you have to replenish these and you have to get them in a big quantity so that you know that you can keep supplying your customer because if you can't keep supplying your customer, they're going to go somewhere else. Maker in Yorkshire, you've got yours. Christine takes tree. Madeline, you've got yours. Michelle, you've got yours. Susan and Rachel and Hillary are also shopping. $9.99. BQJ V34. Uh, we've only got a few of those left. I would estimate, again, you could sell these, you know, with those emeralds in them, you could be selling in excess of two, uh, 200 pounds, something like that, because yeah. of the level of those emeralds that you've got. I've got a pair here, right here. You can probably see them on my screen from a distance, you know. Same mount, same, exactly the same mount. Uh, they don't have Zambian material Ooh, in them. Lovely. They just have emeralds. But again, look at the price, 455 pounds. That's very normal. That's very normal. It is. For us here today, less than 10. Thanks, Mike. Same bit in rose gold. The gold have just sold out, uh, I'm afraid, so we don't have those. These rose gold are beautiful. All right, and let's just keep this uh, kind of uh, this roller coaster rolling, rose gold roller coaster rolling. Uh, £9.99 is going to be consistent throughout here today. You notice we haven't even taken wow. this to £10.99. We've kept it under £10 for we you. We would have paid We've the taken extra. the hit for you. Yeah. yeah. This is me. This is me taking hits for you right here. Here we go, 999 ORJV89 is your item code, rose gold. Of course, with the butterfly back, you don't need to worry about that. They're all it's finished and ready so to go. It's never been so easy, is it? it? It hasn't, and you're in control of what gemstone you put in there. And the thing is, if you are creating wedding jewellery, you want to go and visit the bride, and you want to give that bride options. Do you want this setting, this setting, or this setting? Yep. The worst thing you can do is go with one setting never and then assumed. say, oh, I don't want studs, I want drops. And, and you're scuppered because mm. you can't... You'll have to go away, come back, That's it. and then she might have gone somewhere else in the meantime. Have options, because if you give yourself options, you give yourself scope for design, scope for your, for your customers, you give yourself the power then, don't you? 9.99, ORJ, V89, those have gone limited stock. We're going to keep going. Let's, in fact, let's do the rings now. Let's go. Oh, hang on. I can't count backwards, can I? Wait there a sec. Don't worry. Don't panic at all, Jen. I'm so bad at counting. Are you? Here we go. Yeah. Is that where you do it in Irish? Terrible. Terrible. Um, I think that's just an... I, just, I don't even know why I do that. Is I think it, my, maybe I copied my auntie. Okay. So maybe Did that's why. Did she used why. to count a lot? Yeah, she used to count with me a lot. Makes sense. So, you know, 
Some things just you, stick. You wait they? to see the things that you do that your nephew picks up on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to happen, Tobes. Uh, yeah, so hopefully. be very careful. Only the good traits. Now, we're very limited in the J to K, oh, which is why you're yes. seeing uh, the J to K in red as it comes around on your screen. Now, oh. this is just a classic. It's oh. for your 6x5 ovals. It's got the zircon on the shoulders twinkling away oh. like diamonds. But this is like you, this could be a classic engagement ring style, couldn't it? Oh, it is. It, it is the classic style. It's your everyday wearable size. This yeah. is the size that you wear. This is the size that you want. It goes with our emeralds earlier on. Yeah. Um, less than ten pounds, Laura. Um, less than eight what? pounds. Let's go. Let's go six pound ninety nine on these. Okay, six pound ninety nine wow. on these gold plated ninety five silver mounts. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. You can get this for less than seven pounds. Goodness I me, pay more for parking. $6 .99. I pay more for parking. Unreal Z Y R J fifty four. Uh, this is unbeatable value, especially if yeah. you're making gifts, making to sell. You've got to be as quick as you can. These do sell out so fast. We are going to bring you the Jadeite very soon. This is your, one of your last opportunities for mounts. With the zircon, as well, of course. With the zircon, of, yes, of yes, course. Yes, yes, and yes. you've got such a classic look. We're going to bring you the trillion mounts in a moment. You've isn't that beautiful? It's beautiful. And also those trillion mounts are going to go with those beautiful pendants we had a minute ago as well. Yeah. So I can see why our jewellery makers are asking for those. Definitely. You know, I, we're so busy. If you see something you love, please snaffle it up as fast as you can. We can't guarantee stock at this point. Six ninety nine ZYR ZYR, J54. That one, that one will... We'll sell out, I think. Well, next up, I'm going to give you the rose gold. The, the fusion of uh, the, the fusion of classic contemporary coming together. Uh, for any of you at home, uh, we are going to be staying consistent with the pricing here today. So look, if you have if still got seven pounds left here today, these can be yours for only six pound ninety nine. You've got that beautiful prong setting of ability there. You've got that open gallery around a lot of the sides as well. You've got the gold that's been left out in the middle to allow the light flow for your six by four millimeter stones. I really love the way the shoulders aren't super thick. So if you wanted to stack this ring, you could, but also if you want to keep it understated and yeah. all about the gemstone, because those, particularly in the emeralds case, they are a really striking color. So you want it to be all about those emeralds. Definitely. But if you want to put a band of gold underneath, you absolutely can. But also comfort. Uh, uh, so comfortable, you know? so comfortable. It's not clumpy, it's nope. not cumbersome, it's delicate, but it's beautiful and it's feminine. But also, also, if you move that onto your middle finger as well, Jenny, you know, on the outside finger, you know, you've, where you've got fingers either side, you can push your fingers back together and you're not going to oh, yeah, feel, they're not going to get in your way. You know, you're not going to feel that if you grip something, if you move your hands, if you're writing, you're not going to feel it getting in the way, if you yeah, know what I mean. Right. That's, it's in a small size, it's in, a, it's in the smallest yeah. size, this one, so it's not going to go on my... I mean, yeah. I know on that one. Yeah. But yeah, absolutely. You know You're right. It's super comfortable. Uh, now, we're really, really limited in the J to K, which is the one I've got here. Fabulous. I've got the silver version for you now. This is so sweet. Let me pop that there. Have a look. The, the small size J to K is sold out and gone. We have... Absolutely loads of uh, the medium so size. So many people coming in. There's loads of you there. We've already sold out of J to K. All right, and as I said to you earlier on, guys, we're being consistent here today. Look, less than seven pounds, you know, even taking this down from somewhere like 9.99 to six pound 99 is something that is amazing. Remember, this is still your 925 silver. This has still got everything you need alongside it, your stamp, you still got that authenticity certificate here from Jewelry Maker. You still get the chance to be able mm -hmm. to make your choice when you receive it. But most importantly, you have got yourself that perfect mounting for those beautiful emeralds that we provided you earlier. $6.99, it's a tiny price to pay. And it's a forever piece of jewelry, isn't it? So we've got size L, M, we've only got five of those. So N to O, uh, we're really busy for as well. Size P to Q, we're down to the last 13 of R to S. Uh, message just in, have you nothing for oval five by three? Have we a five? Yes, we do. That's exactly why we have our messaging, messaging here, collector from Suffolk. That's exactly what we can do for you. As you can see, we give Jenny a nice drawer and she's about to bring you exactly what you're oh, asking for. I've got sweet. So I've got the pendant and the earrings and I think, are these the earrings? These are the earrings in yeah. gold. So I've got the gold coming up, but I can just show you what they drop like once they, but this is the pendant. 
So this is what they look like. Stunning. This is in gold. Yep. And I've got the silver for you. Oh, I love this because you're getting all three of them. All stunning. So you all get... All three. You've got the pendant bail as well, you see. You've got a pair of earrings. So what we're going to do... Bail. Okay, we should be squeezing... that. You should get all three basically just for just under £15. Pounds. But I'm scraping as much as possible here today. Laura, let's squeeze these down to only £13.99 oh here gosh. today. You want the earrings, you want the pendant. You can see again, Alison, why earlier on we were giving these emeralds. And when I say giving, yeah. providing these emerald yeah. parcels with quantities. Because right now, $13.99, you can set yourself three stones in there, go straight to Etsy, put them on the marketplace, and you're making profit before exactly. you know it. Exactly. Well, a lot of or our customers are now jewelry. back out. They're at their farmer's markets, they're are at they? the artisan fairs, and they're selling their gorgeous jewellery. And, of course, it's busy. People want to buy things. Have People want to go outside. Have you ever bumped into one of our customers? Yeah, a few times. Have yeah. you? Yes. That's yeah. fabulous. It's lovely. Um, near where I live, I think there's qu there's quite a few really? people that I've bumped into. Really? Yeah, and it is lovely. There's one lady that sells her stuff in Stevenage near me in like the shopping arcade. No way. Yeah, and it's lovely. That's so, and it's so nice to see as well. It's it like, is. Oh, I remember doing those, and oh, that looks amazing like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you get to see everything sort of come alive. You give Fabulous. the gemstones and everything comes alive. It's lovely. And if you are selling, you're probably on your stall right now, but if you are selling maybe at the weekend and you'd like to give us a shout, you'd like to, us to give you a shout out, of course we will. Send your messages in. Anything, Absolutely. yeah. Any of you, you know, you can message in at any point you want if you have any questions. If you want any gemstones specifically, um, anything you'd like to know or anything you're curious about, really. Um, you know, for example, how much am I going to have to pay to own, the, the, you know, this right here? Yeah. Uh, what will this cost me in reality? What would this cost me external of Jewelry Maker? How much would this cost me if this were 18 karat gold? What is the gold percentage in these? How long does it take to make these? You know, all of these questions, they almost is set like 22 karat gold, this. It's, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. So it's, I think it's 18 karat gold, isn't it, on sterling silver? Exactly. So that's why, so this is what gives you this, that 22 karat gold. Like, what Richness, I mean by that yeah. is it's exactly, it's so, so rich. Is it easy to tell the difference between 24 and 18? Can you? Easy, you easy, to, Japanese, yeah? easy. Yeah, obviously, because you've got the different alloy mixes there. So it's... It's like looking, for us, it's like looking at, uh, you know, water and squash. Um, oh, okay, okay. Uh, Laura, let's take these to, let, let's go, let's go 14 99 on these, uh, if possible. Yeah, that's how it is. And so that's why, that's really why these are, you know, we, what we've had to do here is because this is more of a pure 18 karat gold overlay with about three and a half microns of gold, yeah. you are getting that rich kind of color because the light isn't able to refract itself down to, so let's say normally there's one or one 1.9, 2.3 microns. Uh, this having three gives you that thickness. It also gives you that richness, but also, Jenny, it means you can wear it for years and years to come and the gold's not going to rub off. You exactly. know, it's not going to make your ears dark, black, whatever it Take may be. Take it off when you're in the bath and shower. Yeah. You got it. No oxidization. Uh, so tell me, how many layers usually, when, when you're having something plated, how many layers of gold would be on top of that? Because it's done, done in a layer. It's right, done on a so. micron level. Okay, so talk to us about that. What is that? So, so a micron level, so if you think about a millimeter, it's probably the smallest kind of unit or form of barometer that we can use to measure distance or yeah. size. So when you're talking at micron levels, you're talking of a, a, a basically a scale, let's say a scale of 10 within the millimeter. Okay. Uh, now an average jeweler say would put on 1.6 microns of gold. Okay. Okay, so let's say 1.6 layers of gold okay. for sake of ease. Okay. With this material, you're getting around 3.2, 3.3 microns wow. of gold over that. And uh, microns are plating over that. And that's why we're giving you that rich look right there. That's amazing. It's all what we do. It's all part of it. And we so can it, afford to. Uh, and, 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 you know, just the fact that you know that, Toby, gives me that assurance that actually every element, every single element that you bring to the table, you really know about. Well, and used, that's so yeah. important. I, well, I think that's why I wanted to come and join the team here at Gemporia. That's why I, I love coming and speaking to you guys. I, I used to work for one of the world's biggest jewellery manufacturers. It was my job at that time. I was a data analyst at the time, actually, when I first started there. I used to have to measure the gold loss. So every, if we take a gold bar into the factory and that weighs 30 kilos, yeah. when, when we've made 29.6 kilos of jewellery and there's 0.4 missing, we've got to find that jewellery. Now, that gold. That gold potentially could be in the air, could be on the floor. Stop. Could be, yeah. 
Um, you've, got to, you've got to account for that. Uh, sorry, Laura. Uh, right, everyone at home, this is going absolutely and utterly wild <laughs> already. There are so many of you getting on the phone lines, and you don't know the price of £14.99 yet. Right, so for everyone okay. that's just heard that at home, get ready for the hurricane of callers coming in. I love the idea that you're making all this jewellery up so simply, just with your pusher tools and the gemstones that you've been collecting. Now, it could be that you're waiting for Thursday and think, I'm going to get more loose gemstones on Thursday. I've got some in my collection already, perhaps. Maybe you're going to make your own pendants to go in here. Perhaps you've bought the emeralds that we gave you earlier. $14.99 takes huh? that design so much further. It's such a wonderful price, real rose gold over solid sterling silver. CJJ V57 is your item code. Now it's time for Jadeite O'Clock. We are very excited about this. So, we've only got half an hour left in the show, so can we I, are gonna power through. Can I, can I show you one thing before we get into this? Show me this, everything. This, the rarity of this is very significant, okay? This gemstone is not normally, is not even normally make it over here to Europe because of the availability of it in the marketplace. Uh, so what I've done is I've taken a little article. Now I get article to this, uh, I get access to this company called Gem World. It's for gem experts and gem buyers out there. It gives us a, a market uh, background of what's going on in the industry right now. And as you can see within this box, you know, I've, hi I've, 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 I've highlighted that for you. It says, oops, sorry, sorry, Mike. Uh, Most retailers and appraisers in the Western world lack the knowledge to judge the quality, parameters, and value of natural, untreated jadeite. Right. This is because natural jadeite material in all qualities is scarce in the Western marketplace and because they lack the literary references to rely upon. Okay. So what that's telling you, okay, that's, that, first of all, this, is, this, this article is called Quality Assessment of Natural Jade like Process and Tips for Appraisers. And the first thing they're saying is, don't go to the West to find this information out. Because the amount of, 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 of jade like that actually makes it to the West yeah. is extremely minimal for a number of factors. Primarily because of the rarity of this material yeah. and finding yourself natural jade like. But secondarily, it's because the Chinese market wow. absolutely and utterly love this gemstone. Yeah. For thousands of years, the Chinese have regarded jade as the most, or jade as the most precious of all earthly objects. Yeah. Yeah. Not gemstones, objects. objects. They used to make armor suits out of these for, for samurai war warriors. This is a huge, huge part a huge part of the world of jadeite. Now, Beautiful. this right here sits in the perfect size that we are looking for when we are buying jadeite. Can I just show you this? Because this is important. Yes. When yes. it comes to jadeite, size matters. Never more has size mattered than when it comes to a gemstone like this. Why? Now, take the slide from the GIA, and they're asking the same question. Does size matter? Does it really matter? And they're saying, look, yes, it does. But there are only two sizes that matter in the jadeite market. Primarily, you're starting with your 8 to 11 millimeters, then from your 12 to your 17 millimeters. Well, you'll see here that our cushion cut right here sits perfectly in the middle. We have got your 10 by 8 millimeter cushion. But most importantly as well, wow. we have got that saturation of color. We have got that beautiful polish. We have got that refraction. And today, instead of paying, you know, the, uh, something like... You know, uh, 99 99 129 .99, we can take this to less than 30. Stop. £29.99 pennies is all you are going to need to pay today to own this caliber of gemstone. Talk and to me about type A as well, Toby, because that's so, something that not all of our customers have seen where it says type a in fact, the... well, uh, I'm going to come back to you on Taipei. Okay, just to think. thank Laura, you. Laura, uh, let's also, uh, I haven't put the price yet, let's go lower than that, actually, okay? Let's go to only £24.99 on this. Taipei, what does it mean? It means it's natural. It means it's 100% natural. It means it hasn't been treated, hasn't been waxed, oiled, resined, sugar-coated, dipped in chocolate, dipped in uh, mushy peas to make it green. Oh. Nothing at all, okay? It is, it is as color. natural as it gets from the from the planet this is really the highest quality now how are we getting this we are, yeah, getting, how are this. We getting this well because jake dave and steve they took a trip out just before covid actually yeah. to burma and they are one of the few people ever to be able to make it out to the burmese gemstone wow. markets this right now is unbelievable do you know why and do you know why that was so significant mike can i just borrow you again well uh, you know you can't have two, two, two things at once there 
But this next article is key. Okay. Because this article is telling us what's going to happen to the future of JDI. And that's why Steve and Jake and Dave went at exactly the time they went. Because moving forward, as you can read right there, uh, from now on, the Burmese authorities will no longer approve um, domestic and foreign enterprises to operate jadeite jade mines. And the expired jadeite mines will, no lo will, will not be postponed or renewed. All mines were completely closed, or will be completely closed, sorry, in 2021. And therefore, from the current data of the 29J that J price trend, the price increase is still inevitable. So there's three factors we need to really understand it here. Three factors. First of all, people like Jake and Dave, they're not going to be allowing any foreign enterprises anywhere near the mines anymore. Second of all, what they're doing... To so that was a once-in-a-lifetime trip there. That th was it. They will never go anywhere yeah. near there. I, li I live around the corner in Thailand for six years. I couldn't even get couldn't close get to the place. Really? I couldn't get close to the place. But second of all, they're, they're renewing all of the licenses for these mines because they want to, just like Tanzanite did mm -hmm. with their wall, they're trying to get a grip of it. They're trying to get a grip of it. But as you can see, the availability of this material is, is very, very minimal. Yeah. The mines are being closed, and that's why that and final the price paragraph, has got to go up then, Toby. We've got to, we've got to feel the backlash of this. J Dike J price trend, the price increase is still inevitable. Uh-huh. You know, this is talking about analysis of future trade uh, future trading of Jadeite. You know, that's what the uh, um, you've got to get it now. Get there, Mike, Have your piece at home. That's what this that. article is about. It's a yeah. trend analysis of the future Jadeite market. That's why we're bringing you these here today. This at is these incredible. price points of only twenty four pounds ninety nine. I mean, we could have held on to this ourselves, kept it for a year, kept it for two years, and it would have increased in value by a major amount. Yes. Yeah. But we haven't done that. Nope. We're releasing it. That, that, this is what we do, though, Jenny. Doesn't happen in stocks This is shares, why I've got the it? best job in the world. Not only delivering you top gemstones, not only yeah. delivering you one of the finest objects, finest objects yeah. ever named by that of, of the Chinese world, but also at price points we know that other people aren't going to deliver you this quality for. Now, we get, we've got more. We've got more tobes. We've got more. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I'm, I'm here with bated breath. I don't think I've seen a round like this. Really? It's a, they, you like normally a round find cabochon. in ovals, to be honest. You tend to find yeah. them normally in ovals. Uh, because again, But not, of the, not like of this, this away. is like a perfect round. I love that. that yep. was, that's the ideal ring. Come, everything comes with a certificate of authenticity. This again is type A jadeite. This again has that beautiful colour. It's Burmese, yep. ticking all the boxes. And it's a BNL as well. It's a BNL product list right now. We are going to be seeing a brand new low here today with this jadeite. Don't even worry about having £20 in your pocket because today for only £19.99, this can be yours. Burmese bargains here <laughs> at Jewelry Maker. It's unbelievable, isn't it? And, and don't forget all those things that Toby just Ooh. told us. Keep hold of yours. Personally speaking, of course, I think that's a great idea. I'm not a financial advisor, but I just read that, you know, it, price rises are, are inevitable. Yep. So surely keeping hold of this is a good idea, right? 1999, XGU, P71, all the collectors out there, this, Everyone. you see this opportunity for what it is. Multi-buy if you can afford to. Sophia is. Madeleine, you've got yours. Karen and Hello. Oh, oh, That's the kind of look you kind of get, ideal. isn't it? That's the kind of look that you're going to get, beautiful. isn't it? That kind of look right there. Very yes. beautiful. Very, very feminine. And as you can see, that's the look Ooh, that this is going to give you here. That's the look that you're going to get. And I'm not sure, again, we have mounts. I think we've got round mounts available for this. Mm -hmm. Maybe in the building. Speak to our call centre. Um, but, you know. With this, is, this is what we're trying to provide you now. A ring like that in the normal Gorgeous. world, you are going to find for, in gold, maybe for 599 yeah. 699 I mean, that looks like a Von Cleef, so that looks fairly expensive. This gemstone is only found in the most expensive ways. Yeah. This gemstone, Gorgeous. you know, you don't walk into, you know, um, I don't know. I can't even give you an analogy. Like an F.J. That, Hines, exactly. or whatever it's called, or an H. Samuel, or a... Exactly. Or F. J. any of them. Hines, that's yeah. it. Yeah, you did it with F.J. F H F J something like that. F H Hines. Something like that. Type A Burmese jadeite. This is a collector's item. Yeah. Uh, Jill in Cheshire, you've got yours. Hi, Jilly. Uh, Palavika, you've got yours. Jean, Madeleine, Helen, Rachel. Uh, well done to Rosemary. You've got to check out this one. We'll sell out today. Oh, I love this oval. It's been sat next to me, just behaving very nicely indeed. <laughs> and I really want to take it home. With they me. do that. They do that, don't they? I just keep like, because mm, this could be the prettiest of pendants. 
it's a it's a big one and the color is gorgeous 2.5 carats here in one gemstone type a again Look yeah so a lot of you at home are seeing this size increase are seeing this carat weight increase and you're thinking Okay, we're going to, you know, they're obviously going to have to up the price from the last piece. Maybe this is going to squeeze uh -huh. to under, under 30 pounds, maybe. But Laura, I think, I'm hoping you can do this. Otherwise, it could be quite embarrassing for me. I'm hoping the system can do this. We are taking this, we're going to try and take this under 20 pounds. Try and match the price of the last piece, if you can do that, Laura. It's thinking about Come it, on. she's saying. Okay, well, we'll see what we can do here. Please say, please give us proper numbers. Yes! yes. 19.99! <laughs> It's unreal. You know, we have something called gallery wire, and to gallery wire this and put it in a pendant, to gallery wire this and put it in a ring would just be is this so your very wire? classic. Is copper wiring? No. no. Gallery wire is um, like a professional jeweler's wire, and it. So, we, do we have any pictures of gallery wire pieces that we can. Chloe's going to bring one out to show you. That's nice. Um, and it encases gemstones and it just looks so professional it? and yeah it's beautiful and come it's and always show me your gallery usually wire, always Chloe. precious uh, precious metal we do have non-precious metal but it just makes it look like you've you've bought it from a very expensive jeweler okay. it's, it's, yeah. and it allows you to sort of design around that gallery wire and create okay. that beautiful it's All a right. beautiful finish so Chloe's just going to show you ah. well I pass it to Tobes okay Thank you, darling. There Thank we you so go. Much. Hold on a minute. Let's have a quick mooch. Here we, we go. Should we, should we go from a distance? Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Here's, here's, here we are. Oh, you're gonna put, show me on camera. Then I'll be able to see it big on the screen. Oh, thank you, Kylie. <laughs> Sorry, no. Oh, oh, yes. I see what you mean you now. See? So I you can see gallery what you wire mean. things. We have lots of different styles of gallery wire. Really? Yeah, so this one's quite prongy, this one. That's beautiful. But look, look at that, Tobes. Isn't that Ooh, lovely? Oh, I'm, oh. Oh, it's very nice. You see, and you can actually flip it over either. Sorry, sorry, Michael. You can sort of flip it over either way and have. Ah, and I that see way this one here. There's that opal. Now they put half the prongs underneath the opal and yeah, half yeah, the prongs yeah. on top. It looks good, doesn't it? It's stunning. Oh, well, there you go. So it's a, and it's, a, it's an easy way of getting that Thank you. really professional look. Thank you very much. Sorry You're so that. welcome. Gallery way, bank it. Noted, banked. Excellent. Next up, more jadeite. We're going to be very lucky. Do you ever, I just, you have to, just in case it is lucky, you've just got to give it a little feel. Oh, give it a rub. You've got to. You've got to. It's they a rubbable, have things like, it's you know, one of those rubbable shapes as well. Do they have, obviously, I mean, you couldn't be in Burma. Um, which number, sorry, darling? Um, you know, they'd have the Blarney Stone in Ireland. Do they have anything like that in Gemstone Wells where you can sort of touch it for luck? Do you know what I mean? Uh, oh, they must be. They must have it in well, Burma. The thing, the thing is, over there, they're big into their. So superstition is a huge thing over in Asia. I'm so superstitious. Are you? I am, Toby. I, I've been known to Do go around about. Do you worry about ghosts in water when you walk past water? Well, you should. Have you seen Spirited Away? Have you never seen Spirited Away? Spirited Away? No. Yeah, it's, a, no. it's like Japanese animation. You have to watch. It's brilliant. Well, oh, no. your nephew will like that when he's there older. There you go. Yeah, uh, Japanese what manga. Like it's a Japanese mm, animation kind of stuff? Yeah, no. Anyway, no. Uh, they're very superstitious over there. They like yeah. all their chakras and like all their energies and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. they actually have a multitude of gemstones, a multitude of gemstones that they either rub or wear or do whatever, oh, yeah. you know, to give them what they're, you know, to bring it through. I'm now, there for that. I'm there for you that. You there? Yeah, I'm there for it. Okay, lovely size this as well. As you can see, that purity is consistent. We can see on the uh, card of authenticity as well, that natural element to it, not enhanced. This is a nine by seven mm -hmm. millimeter, and we're squeezing not just under 20 right now, but we are going to only 17 pounds and 99 pence. Well, I don't understand these tiny weeny prices. It's not for us to question. Let's just um, So that's what I run. want. That's, that's, that's my job. Yeah, it's okay. my job. We'll, we'll just grab and run and, well, and never speak of it again. Well, Jenny, let's let, no, let's talk about this. Let's talk about <laughs> this. Let's talk. Let's talk about this. All right. We are one of the few Western companies, period, ever to be able to get access to a, some, a location like this. this to mad. actually get into Burma, to actually buy material normally. Okay, from from now onwards, if you want yeah. to buy Burmese material, it's it got to be exported from the country before you buy it. Now, how many offices is it going to go through before it gets exported? Mm. How many pairs of hands are going to touch it before it gets to you now at home? How many fees? have you had on top of that? Okay, and that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Everybody adds their 10%, right? Or their 15%. Now, normally, what we've done here, why we can go so low, is we're cutting out all of those middlemen, every one of them. But this will be the last time. It'll be the last, we think. Unless Jay, Jake 
you know, figures out how to make a, a jet pack or something where we can just fly in there kind of discreetly. You know? Is there anything discreet about a jet pack? I don't know. It, could, if, unless it's a hybrid jet pack, no. I tell you, honestly, this, it, all of these stories, again, it is going but back to reality, what we were saying it? earlier. Yeah, it's, that's it's, reality. Yeah, but the gemstone world, there's so much going on. You might see the swan gliding towards you, but the legs are going crazy underneath. The gemstone right. world is working really... They're going The bananas. whole industry is working so hard just for us to look pretty. And, and uh, you know, there's so much that goes on. Definitely. And it's really, really interesting, I think. It's Thank so you. interesting to learn. Me too. And, and that's uh, why I'm sitting here today, you know. It is such a fascinating industry. Every different gemstone it has really a story. Is, isn't it? yeah. yeah, it's amazing. You know, I agree. that's why and it was very lovely living in Thailand for six years. And people say, oh, it must have been really tough. But actually, the, the, the main driver of keeping me there was gemstones. And the experience of the whole everything. thing. You learn everything you know now. It's a whole different culture. It's a whole different piece of mm. bread. You know what I mean? It's a whole different. Everything is so much, so unique. Everything has a different culture to it. Everything has a different superstition yeah. behind it. You know? And so. Just like with this here. Now, it's so important. All of that is, quick is so important. for you all. Uh, yeah. Producer uh, Laura included. This is the last one we're going to be bringing you here today. Okay. And what I'm going to do for you is we're going to do this as like a promotional auction. We're going to give you a little PR auction right here. Do we what need, I mean does this that. gemstone need a promotion? No, it doesn't. I didn't... It doesn't, <laughs> but I'm all about You're going to do it anyway, okay. If it's not going to be promotion for the gemstones, it's going to be some self-promotion from me. Okay. Because, um, Laura, we're going to squeeze, and I'm, we're going to squeeze under £15 here. I think, I think I already got approval from Wayne on this one. So £14.99 is where we're taking it. It's the lowest price, under... price of the show. It's still Fermi's Jadeite, <laughs> and it's still unbelievable quality. Under £15 for this incredible Type A Burmese yeah. Jadeite. It's just got to be done. If you've never, ever, ever had this gemstone within your grasp before, it comes with a certificate of authenticity. Now, we don't have anything like angel policies attached to gemstones, which means that you can, of course, set these into whatever you want to set them into and sell them. There is nothing ah, like an angel policy that I says see. you can only sell X amount or Mother Nature give the, gives these to us. You can make and sell. Go wild in the aisles. Exactly. But, but the, you know, there's so many... In craft, even if you're working in car craft or whatever, yeah. so many of them have an angel policy attached to them. For sure. You can make to gift, you can't make to yeah. sell. And that's card. This is a gemstone. Exactly. You can make it and sell it. Exactly. It's, it's brilliant. These are commodities right here. Yeah. These are commodities that you're buying and selling. That right there, that's a commodity. It's a lot rarer than any gold you're going to see. A lot rarer than any diamond you're going to mm. see. A lot rarer than any ruby you're going to see. This right here is extremely rare. To get an authenticity, uh, an authenticity certificate alongside it, showing that treatment being 100% natural, showing it is from Burma, showing yeah. its size is all where the value lies. And I guesstimate a minimum of about 50 pounds saving on that piece right here, right now. Absolutely. Now, we're gonna give you some, um, some garnet now, because I know that this is one of your favorites. Garnet is one of your favorites. Cheers. So we're gonna, which one, Lawsy Dawsy? We've got, oh, look at these. So this is gooseberry grossula garnet. Do you First know, of all, I was thinking this was going to be green. So why, why would you think that? Because the gooseberries are green. Oh, really? Yeah. Gooseberries are green? Yeah. Okay, so can you name me another grossula garnet? Bear, based on, bear in mind, you just told me that colour. Mm, is a zavarite a good, That's yeah. a grossula garnet. Now, okay. grossula garnet, normally when it's found, Jenny, yeah. sits between... I'll show you how grossula garnets are found. Let me just show you... Uh, I, can actually I thought it was grossula, so you're calling it grossula. I'm just as bath and bath. It's that old analogy again, But I'm again, boss, so should I be grossula? You should be grossing it up, grossula. Okay, okay so this right is... Okay. this. Here's the colour scale of grossula garnet. This is the world scale of grossula garnet okay. right here. Oh! What colours do you see? Golds and greens. Right. Do you see any... Uh, any oh, any... hang on. I can't see that far into Okay, the... sorry. Is that all right? So it's like hilly. Oh, so you're on about the... I was just thinking from one so gem to the other. Yellows, yeah. yellows yeah. Uh, canaries, whites, 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 oh, whites, gosh, greens. Oh, yeah, gosh. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Okay? Yeah. So let, can we, should, we, should we come and have a look at the one that we have for you yeah, today? Yeah, but this is like a red. Let's look have at this. A, let's, have a, let's have a look at this. So, um, yeah, this is, the, this is the first ever... The first... Ever yeah. red grossula 
garnet to come out of the ground. And it's totally natural, by the way, just in case you were wondering. Talking about going into the trend, this is Tanzanian material. This is how it's best. That's how they're supposed to look, like that. Jenny. Tell us what, a, what like a grocery this. garnet is. What, what <laughs> puts me in the bracket of a grocery garnet? Is it the chemical composition of this gemstone? Is it what is it? What makes it a grocery garnet against a different type of garnet? Um, it's it's all to do with the bre the breakdown of the gemstone. Okay. So it's all to do with the breakdown of the gemstone. And as you know, mm. you know, um, because of every gemstone has a different breakdown. Yeah. So a Russian emerald is different to a, a Zambian emerald. Using that example from earlier, is different from a Colombian emerald. Is different from a Brazilian emerald. Yeah. Now, when it comes to grossular garnets, because of the way in which they form, uh, the way in which their uh, their chemical equation allows, you will yeah. only enable en able to be able to find these with the likes of um, yellows or with the likes of greens. And that's okay. because you either have chromium or you either have something like boron that is yeah. coming in to give you the boron for the yellows and the, and the iron um, or the chromium for the greens. So what makes this different? How come it's red? So this right here has manganese in it so like it, uh, normally in the party manganese. right we've got um, we've got x silicate x silicate y silicate z uh, and chromium that is gives us the green is manganese in a ruby huh is manganese manganese in a ruby? you will very rarely find a ruby you'll find it more in like specitite garnets right okay mandarin garnet something like that okay now, what's happened here is that chromium uh, element uh, mm -hmm. particle has been displaced by that of manganese. Right. There has been a scientific displacement that's come into play that's allowed this to stay grossula, fitting within that chemical equation, yeah. just like this is wool, you yeah. know. Um, but, also, but, but it's the only garnet in the world that you will find that manganese sitting within it. Ah. And so, so this, this gemstone has, some has changed the whole industry. The whole industry, and that's what's very, very is amazing. Is it a recent but discovery But to find then, the red is extremely rare. Um, yeah. This discovery is probably, I think it was originally found around, that it was originally found about 20 years ago, if I can remember correctly. So it's correctly. really recent very in terms recent. of gemstones. Um, but there was, again, there was actually quite a bit of material coming around. There's the only other one of these that I know um, is uh, in the Smithsonian. And the only reason we managed to get these, this is from um, from John Saul. You know, we talk about John yeah, Saul, the yeah. founder of Tanzanite. Uh, and he actually managed to provide us this parcel. And he pretty much is the only, uh, he's the king of East African gemstones. Now, are you ready for what you're, the price about what we can do for you here today? Um, not only are these coming from John Saul, not only can we do amazing things, but this price, honestly, you're literally just paying our airfare cost. The head is in You're just paying right our now. airfare cost on these from John. £7.99 is your price here today. You might be sitting at home <laughs> saying, Toby, surely that's pyrope garnet. I'm looking at pyrope garnet there. It's red. No, this is still Groschula. You might be thinking, yeah, you're right. You'd find your reds and your purples and your pyrope, but this isn't pyrope today. If this was pyrope, you'd have less clarity. You'd have less size. Ooh. But because this is Groschula, we get clarity, Jenny. We get size. We get color. And most, in, well, most importantly, we get that color. But also, look at the bleeming price. I mean, these look like some of the world's finest rubies with that clarity, yeah. don't they? The color is intense. Amazing. $7.99? Yeah. It doesn't make it... I've got, it's, it's a pocket money we're, price, we're paying, that we're is. We're paying for the airfare. That is it. It's pocket money. Only pocket John money. Saul could give us a gemstone of this kind of calibre and we then go and sell it on at this price. You can Don't see tell why. Him. I had to Don't tell him. To. Don't tell him. I, I'm, I'm close with John now. He's accepted what I do. You know, we, we've, we, we're close he's enough He's moved now. on. He's yeah, accepted. He's, he's given up. <laughs> but, you know, but he appreciates, you know, he appreciates what we do for him and he appreciates, you know, advocates like like us, all of us right here, yeah. you know. Spreading um, the word of important gemstones. Exactly and, that. And it's not all about the diamond. It's, I mean, diamonds are wonderful, but there's so many wonderful treasures that Mother Nature gives us. This yeah. is one of them. Uh, so we're going to squeeze in. We're going to keep squeezing. Oh, we've got a lot of squeezing today, haven't we? Whoops. Well, here we go. Oh, this is, you need to put this in a ring. This is gorgeous. So we have got here 1.7 carats. Yep. I put it with gold, obviously. Not everything goes with gold with me, but red for absolute sure has to. Um, Reds and oranges for sure. Look, look, at, this look, at, this. On, look at this next to Jenny's finger. Look this at it looks again. like a hot coal. 
I mean, look, I come from it's one amazing. of the biggest corundum cities in the world. I'm the biggest corundum uh, uh, advocate. You could, you could be, by that I mean rubies and sapphires. Yeah. Now, this right here is, again, outdoing that of Burmese quality of ruby. You've look got that the, yeah. pigeon, you've got that glow. You have got that movement of color with the industry. Look at that. It almost looks like it's got liquidity in it. You see, as you keep moving it, it's like a dragon's you, get different, eye. you get different facets. Look at that. Yeah. It changes every time you move it. Now, we get ready for the price. All right, this is just gorgeous. get ready for what's about to happen. Just brace yourself, sit down, get your inhaler out, just do something because <laughs> today we are taking these to less than five oh, pounds. Stop it. Yeah, today we can I take these some. to only four pounds ninety nine. Jenny, How you're gonna have to be quick this? if you want some because there is gonna be a lot of people raring. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, don't, hang on a minute. Please, just don't wait ask a minute. Me. I can't give because you Because if to that I question. went up to someone and went Here's a rough piece of garnet. Will you cut it for me, please? They'd be like, yeah, that'll be £100, I'm almost pounds, embarrassed please. that I can't tell you why we can do that right there. The reason that we can do what we are doing right there, again, that comes down. I need to give John Saul a ring because I knew I was doing a few of these here today. I'm going to be honest, completely honest with you. Um, because of all the emeralds and stuff, I didn't get round to our final that's pricing on these. And that's why I was just running through my ha hands through my hair a minute ago while I was looking at our producer, Laura, saying, is this honestly what we are doing with these? That can't be right, Law. That can't be right. Uh, it's, it's honestly, uh, look, Jenny. I've oh. got so many new customers. Welcome, welcome, I've welcome. I've so many questions as well. I think a lot of people got a lot of questions today. So somebody's got six. Arthur's got four. They're all multi Yorkshire's got four. Somebody else has got five. I'm with you guys. I'm You've with you. have got to. You've I'm multi by these as well. Absolutely. Imagine. I don't need to. They're right here. I can't believe that price. Madness. I certainly would be putting it with gold. I mean, if you want to take it to a jeweller and have it set, we know that Haley Kruger offers from a that service as well. Go and ask your jeweller if he can cut you, if he can, if he can yeah. get you a tenth of that for £4.99. Go and ask him. Yeah, yeah. Go and ask him, right, if he was to set this into gold, being a garnet, how much he'd sell it for in his jeweller, if you're, if you're a jewellery maker, you know, and you're looking for some inspiration. Yeah. But honestly, Groschula garnet. I mean, look at that, first of all. Certified as well, Toby. This comes with the... Uh, I, and it must, obviously, it's been heated, right? It must be heated. It must be really enhanced. It's right? absolute, no, no, It's no. natural. It's totally It's 100 natural. Percent natural. It's mad, that. And that's your USP as I well. I think that's the maddest thing we've done. That's the maddest thing we've done. But we've got to wrap it up, I'm afraid, jewellery makers. I will be back tomorrow afternoon. But Toby Cavill, when are you back, sir? I when? am back next Monday. Next Monday. So you'll be with Zena next Monday. I'm with Zena the Warrior Princess next Monday. And what are you bringing to the table next Monday? Do you know we can't yet? can't discuss those types of things before we come to screen. Oh, madness. Um, there is a lot going on right now. Um, look, just tune in next Monday. We're going to have so many various bits and bobs for you. Um, just just tune in because it's going to be special. You can follow Toby Cavill on social media on Facebook. Uh, give Toby us Cavill, Gemstone Broadcaster. Feel there free to come and join me. And I, and I hope this week, the lady that messaged me telling me I was too loud and shouting last week, I hope I've kind of corrected that a little bit today. Well, there were other messages as well, Toby, that we no, can't no, she's read me straight out. Okay. Um, but Toby Cavill uh, on Facebook, please go and give him a follow. You will learn so much more. And you can message Toby that way. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source. So your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence. be as well so enjoy this new way of shopping on jewelry maker so from the three of us and everyone else here at jewelry maker see it love it split it you may be wondering how to buy here at jewelry maker so here is a quick overview of what to do when you see a product that comes on screen the graphics will appear 
you'll see an item code and a starting price. As time goes on, we will drop the price on screen and as viewers call in or order online, the quantity decreases too. No matter what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's just one P&P on all items that you order in a day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee so there's no risk, whether you're buying for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, we have a new Facebook group dedicated to sharing your makes and jewelry making advice. To join the group, simply head over to the page and hit request. You'll then be able to share your designs with our JM community and join like minded people. Create, wear, share. Jewelry Makers, did you know that no matter how many times you purchase, no matter how many times you check out, you only pay one postage and packaging per day. Say that you've purchased an item during our morning show and then decide to buy something else later on in the afternoon. As long as all of your products have been purchased within the same day by midnight, your orders will all be combined and your postage and packaging will work out at that of just a single fee. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. 